Joe, why the fuck are we playing this shitty game? Because Minecraft was getting boring. Boring my rear end. I hate this game. Donathan, let's just calm down. Don't tell me what to do, Joe Obama. Oh, these cards suck. Just like Melania. Keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. All right, Will Smith. Oh, heck yeah. Get wrecked! Fuck you, Joe. That was only 2% of my power, dog. It would be a shame if someone were to put down a plus two. What the f***, Bernie? That ain't no plus two. Challenge it, you pansy. Yeah, do it, Trump. Ah, sh Ha ha ha, you idiot. F*** you guys. You as well. Joe, I hope you draw 50 cards. One can only hope. What the hell? About f***ing time. You've got to be shitting me. Take that. Um, I don't know. Uh, that looks good. Oh no, whatever will I do? I hate this fucking game. That's what happens when you be a bitch. Stupid idiot. Let's fucking go! Man, there are so many. Pick a fucking card already. Holy sh! Take a chill pill, old man. For your information, I don't take chill pills. I take medication pills. Dumb. F oh sh! F you, Sleepy Joe. Thanks, Mr. Mittens. Not so fast. I'll be taking those cards. Just like me taking Michael on a date. Michael Phelps. Wow, you finally found a boyfriend. What the hell? I wasn't talking about him. Wow, I'm so happy for you, Sleepy Joe. Fuck you guys. Holy sh! How long are you going to take? I want to take my time, Joey. Choose red. Fuck. Hmm, I changed my mind. Trump, please choose red. You're a fucking orange. You know that, right? Wowza. What the hell? There we go. Come on, dog. Are you serious? Fuck you, Bernie. What the hell? Eutychus Maximus. This card is red. Don't do this to me again, game. Thank the Lord. Hmm, they all look so good. I'll go with the Age of Dreams girlfriend. Same. Nah, you guys got it all wrong. This is the real age of his girlfriend. Holy sh**, you're right. Man, I'm glad we're finally starting to get along. Motherfucker. I spoke too soon. Challenge it, head. Hell no. You're a fucking wimp. Oh, I love this card. I'm gonna break my fucking monitor right now. I got you, Trump. What the actual f Holy sh**, thank you, Obama. Bring it on. You owe me big time, Trump. Easy GG, no re. I love this game so much. Bernie, go crawl back into the hole that you came from. Choose red, fuck you! Hey, it's a free country, I can do what I want. Did you know that JFK was in office for only two years? Only two years? Did something happen to him? Rest in peace, my brother. Oh, that's what happened. Anyways, how is everyone's day going? It's going good. Melania and I went to Freddy's and got some ice cream. You guys got ice cream without me? Bro, we messaged you like 20 times and you didn't respond. Are you serious? Yes, I am very serious. I think your phone may have been dead. Now, why would my phone be dead? Well, maybe because you aren't charging it. Bro, I always charge my phone. All right, then what's the charge right now? Uh, let me take a look. Oh, it's dead. As I said, you didn't charge your phone. What the hell, Obama? I wanted to take a peek at your cards. Great, these cards are absolute dog water. Actually, maybe these aren't so bad. Let's get crazy. F me. F you, Bernie. I guess this is fine. Black attack. What the hell? Hopefully Joe's cards aren't absolute sh**. F this game. F this game. F this game. About fucking time. What the hell is that? Oh, sh**, it's a white bunny. What does this fucker want? Trump, first off, it's a rabbit. Second off, he will give you three seconds to make a move before he gives you cards. Thanks for the input, Sleepy Joey. Oh, hell yeah, I'll be taking those cards. Trump, go fuck yourself. Ah, these cards are sh**. Why does this game hate me? Because you're a crusty old man. Whoa, calm down, Trump. No, I will not calm down. I'm going to break something. Trump, stop throwing a temper tantrum. Shut up, Melania. I'm not throwing a temper tantrum. That ain't Melania. You're right. I just invited a random woman over to my house. Trump, are you cheating on Melania? Anyways, has anyone seen any good movies lately? What the hell are these cards? What's wrong, Joe? Don't you like those cards? Hell no. These cards are worse than Trump's proposition to nuke a hurricane. Don't even bring up that fucking thing. Oh, you suck. Fuck you, Orange. My man's just got rolled. Joe, you're about to be rolled in a second. Oh, suck on these nuts. I'm about to pull a 2016. Me after Taco Bell be like... Imagine eating a Taco Bell. Ironic, coming from the fat dude. Shut up, I don't see you being skinny. Why the hell can't you guys change the color? 
Bro, that's so bad out of context. Of course you would say something about it. Whoa, what the hell is this? I'll be keeping that. Bro, we ain't gonna glide over what you just said, you racist motherfucker. Oh, cool your jets, Mr. 2016. Fuck you. Guys, we're gonna lose if you guys keep putting down colors that he has. Don't worry, I can fix the issue. After we finish this game, I'm going to write a novel talking about all of the negatives in your presidency. Well, it looks like you won't have to write anything then. Donald Trump, the moron who spent billions on a wall. At least the wall is useful. Barack, I'm going to steal your Say Gex folder off of your computer. What the hell? That folder is exclusive to me. What the f*** are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing, Trump. I hate this game. Obama, this game is all about skill, and you, my good friend, are lacking in the skill department. Bro's got a skill issue. Oh, I've got something for you, Obama. Trump, if this is another black joke, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Look at this, what the hell, I thought it would go to him. Get shit on you, fatty. All right, time to make it rain. Just like you made it rain missiles in Syria? Oh, got him. Two words, Qasem Soleimani. Bro, I did that with probable cause, and you know it. All right, fine. Zooey mama. Hmm, I think we need some more bunnies up in this joint. Why the hell would you do that? Because I love little white bunnies. Hey, oh, that's a little bit sus, Trumpy. Hold the f*** up. Did you just call me Trumpy? Yes, Trumpy. I swear you guys come up with these names just like Epstein. Trumpy, you better refrain from what you were about to say. Yeah, you might make Michael mad. Stop calling my f***ing wife Michael. Thanks for the cards, Michael's husband. I'm about to go ape sh Makes sense. Donald, I'm gonna get you f***ing canceled on Twitter. Bro, good luck with that. Elon is giving me the spa treatment so I don't have to worry about the haters. Eat this, Obama. Bro, why the hell is everyone in this lobby racist? I ain't racist, dog. I support black people. I mean, you were my vice president for many years, so I'd expect you to support them. Let's change the subject. How is your day going, Obama? My day is going horribly. Michelle left me and I have to play Uno with you guys. Skill issue. It's not a skill issue. It's a life issue. Bro, if you think about it, they're both practically the same, just like Joe's husband. Joe's husband is Joe. Hi, everyone. I'm Joe Biden's husband. See, they're literally the same. I feel like jumping off of a cliff right now. That's way too relatable. Bro, this Uno session has turned into talking about unaliving. Yeah, I think we should maybe get back to the game. Oh, motherfucker. Get bombed, nerd. Okay, I'm predicting it right now. I think we're going to be here for an hour. TBH, it'll probably be longer than an hour because of the number of annoying sweats in this game. What the hell do you mean sweats? This is literally a card game that requires little to no skill. Well, I actually do think it requires skill because you need quick and logical thinking just to make a good move. A bad example is me putting this zero down. You may have a point, but any ordinary Joe can play the game for the first time and possibly win without any skill. What, who said my name? No one said your name, Joey. I was giving an example to Trumpster. Well, that's plus four for me. And that's a good example of someone that doesn't have a good thought process. You just straight up ignored the challenge and assumed Bernie didn't have a blue card to play. Trump, if you were me in that situation, then you would have done the same thing. No, I would have actually challenged it instead of being a wimp. Oh, I know what your thought process really is. You're all about not being a wimp. No logical thinking or anything smart. What? Why would that be my thought process? You literally just said that you would have challenged it because you're not a wimp. Oh, well, maybe you got a point. Watch this, I bet you're gonna challenge it. Well, you know me, I never back out of these sorts of things. Shit. Well, I guess that's where critical thinking comes into play. Yeah, and you failed to implement that, dumb ass. Holy shoot, time to use critical thinking and take Obama's cards. Up yours, Bernie. I'm gonna put this shit down. These cards be looking blue. Hell yeah, blue like the planet Neptune. Dang it, you guys should have changed the color. Are you serious right now? Dude, I'm gonna lose it. Finally. Kobe. You lucky bastard. Oh, double dunk. Ten bucks says that Sleepy Joe pulls nine cards. Not today, Donald. Well, it was worth a shot. Oh, Bernie, you're in for a treat. I'm literally gonna rip up my mittens. Don't, I wanted to smell them. What the hell? Hey, yo, what the fudge? What, I do that with Joe's shirts every day? Joe, are you okay? Do you need help? Yeah, I think you're going crazy or something. Do you guys not do that with your wives? Joe, you're actually a really messed up dude. Joey, you should consider therapy. Bro, there ain't nothing wrong with what I'm doing. Let's move on from this very weird conversation. How's the weather for everyone? It's fairly good. The sun is out, no clouds, and it's just perfect. Oh, eat this, Obama. Fuck you, Jokey. Using Ben's critical and smart thinking, I think I should challenge this. Wrong move, idiot. Shut up. I will literally send drone strikes over to you. Man, Barack, you're really stacking up those cards. I don't want to hear it. This isn't relevant to the game, but I just wanted to congratulate you on your new shitty song. Are you talking about the boy's a liar one? Yeah, that song was hot garbage. Trump, that song actually slaps, and you know it. Yeah, it slaps you right in the face, like an angry woman slapping you for cheating on her. Um, that was a tad bit specific. Anyways, yeah, that song is overrated. That's BS, and you know it. If anything, our song is underrated. That's just how good it is. Keep telling yourself that, Sleepy Joey. 
Time to ruin everyone's day. Out of all the cards you could have played, you played the one that is going to give me all of your cards. No need to thank me. Thank you, Joe. Bernie, these are literally the worst cards. Yep, you're welcome. Okay, this time Joe will pull six cards. No, I won't. Now get your head out of your rear end and start thinking logically. Oh my gosh, you just got served, Orange Man. Ah, uh, whatever. While we're on the topic of music, what is y'all's favorite song? Bro, 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars is literally my fave song. That's a lousy pick. The obvious best song is actually Stressed Out by 21 Pilots. That shit's relatable as f***. Very true, Donald, but I prefer a song that doesn't make me feel old and horrible. Bro, Closer by the Chainsmokers is actually the best song. I completely forgot that song existed, dog. How could you forget one of the greatest songs of the 2010s? I don't know, maybe because I didn't really care for the Chainsmokers music. Did you just hand Obama the win? I was so fucking close. Not close enough, get good, nerd. Every single time, dog. Challenge it. You wimp. No, he isn't a wimp, he was just using critical thinking. Oh, shut up. Anyways, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, music. If we're making a tier list for the best music, then I think we should put Eminem at an A. I agree, but I think we should just spit out songs that we think are good. I think Maps by Maroon 5 is fairly good. Wow, I didn't think you actually had a good taste in music, Sleepy Joe. Holy sh! there's no way. Bernie, you just handed him the win. I was so fucking close too. Yes, oh sh! I just realized Obama has one card. Hmm, I gotta think about this. Play your fucking card, Trump. Hmm, maybe I should keep this. Oh, great. I got nothing to stop it. Thanks, boys. It was a pleasure playing with you guys. Obama, you suck. Thanks. I appreciate the nice comments. Ha, you were bluffing. Shut up, Mr. Build a Wall. Hey, anyone else got any favorite songs? Uh, I like Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. Not gonna lie, that's not a bad pick. Why the hell did you bring back the White Bunny? Why do you guys not like the White Bunny? Is it because it's not black? Bro, I couldn't care less about the color. All I care about is the time limit it's gonna give me. Got him. I'll save you, Joe. What the f***? Bernie, you just screwed him over even more. Bernie, you f***ing idiot. The hell, I didn't know he had another plus two. Here, I'll avenge you, Joe. Thank you, you mother trucker. Not so fast. What the hell, Joe? I literally avenged you. Well, you weren't very nice earlier, so that's why I did it. F*** you, sleepy head. Oh, baby, it's time. What the sh What do we do? Change it to a different color or something. I'm changing it to yellow. I bet he doesn't have that. Bernie, what the fuck are you doing? Don't change the color. Well, we just lost. Good game, boys. Holy sh! I thought he actually had a card he could use. I may not have a card now, but now I do. Time to make it red up in this place? I don't think you have a red. I think you're bluffing. You never know, I could have a red six. You know what? I want to take a look at it. What the fuck? Don't take my card. I'm sorry, I just want to look at it. Not so fast. I want that card. Bro, are you kidding me? Thanks for the card. Wait a second. Ha, got him. Bro, it feels like we've been playing this game for an hour. Yeah, and it seems like no one is able to win. I could easily win, brother. Anyways, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? I like chocolate chocolate chip. That's a sleepy pick. I think salted caramel ice cream is where it's at. Nah, the best one is actually mint chocolate chip. What the actual hell is wrong with you? That is literally the worst one. Holy sh**, he's back at one card. I guess this will do. Bro, suck it, Trump. Oh sh**. Wait, maybe I can salvage this. Okay, I guess that's fine. You're totally not getting the win, Trump. Are you sure about that? Bernie, what are you doing? You just gave him the fucking win. Hell yeah, suck a duck, Joe. I fucking win. Fuck all of you. You're a fucking moron, Bernie. Shut the hell up. I didn't know he had blue. Suck it, you idiots. Never underestimate the master. The master of sucking on these nuts. Fuck you. Oh boy, I'm gonna win this one. Keep dreaming, Trumpy. Why the hell do you keep bringing that stupid nickname back? It's not a nickname. It's your actual name. That ain't my fucking name. What the hell? Suck it, Obama. Oh, shut your brainiac mouth. My time has finally come. Moron, now I'm gonna screw Trump over. No, you ain't. Are you fucking serious right now? I'm very serious, dog. Ah, yes, it's time for the king to play. Yeah, the king of walls and towers. Oh, shut the hell up, Sleepy Joey. Bro, why did you change the color to your hair color? My fucking hair is not yellow. You're right, it's actually orange. Shut up, Mr. Great Recession. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, yes, it's finally my turn. Hmm, let's go with the number of times Biden did something good for this country. That is straight facts, brother. Hey, I did something for this country. Yeah, you pulled it into the grave. No, I made chocolate chocolate chip a more known ice cream flavor. Joey, are you okay? Did Jill give you a different medicine today? No, but Melania stopped by the White House. No, she fucking did not. Melania, are you down there? What the actual hell? How much do you love Melania? Joey, where the fuck is she? Thanks for the cards, Obamna. You ain't gonna glide over this old fuck. 
So how's everyone's day going? Joey, I swear to fucking hell, I will literally delete all of the chocolate chocolate chip ice cream in the world if you don't tell me where Melania is. Wait, wait, she is literally at Walmart. That's what I fucking thought. I'm going to explode. In Syria? Shut up, Orange. You literally grow on trees. You've got to be kidding me. Let's go. I'm so lucky. Yeah, you're so lucky to be indicted. Wait, how the hell are you playing Uno if you're in jail? I ain't in jail. I'm at Mar-a-Lago. You got out early? Bro, I was never in jail. Get your head out of your rear end. That was a dumb move, Joe. Oh, shut up. Hey, at least he ain't a wimp. Oh, not this again. Trump, it's not about being a wimp. It's about critical thinking. Whoa, Obama, I didn't know you were smart like me. It's common sense, you fucking buffoon. Oh, shoot. Ben has one more card. Bro, do you think we can't see the screen? Obama, what the hell are you doing? Are you serious right now? I hate this fucking game. Critical thinking. Fuck you, Joey. I hope you step on a Lego barefooted. Right back at you, horse face. Holy jeez, you just got steamrolled, Benny. Yeah, just like you being steamrolled in the 2020 election. Oh, bro just got pulverized. Joe, I'm surprised that you even know what that means. I literally don't. I just heard it from Nile Red. Come on, come on, choose red. No fucking shot, that worked. Bro, you're literally mad that you didn't get red, huh ha. Huh? Oh, Benny boy, the power of bluffing is great. What the hell? He's got one more card. Come on, cards. I'll give you a sniff if you give me a seven. What the fuck? No, how the hell did you do that? Good old sniff and twist. I got your creepy ass. Fuck you, Obama. L plus ratio plus didn't ask. Bro, why the hell is it this color? As Obama likes to say it, that's so bad out of context. Very true. What the hell? Classic Obama. Oh, baby, it's time for the challenge of a lifetime. You better challenge this, Benny boy. Theoretically speaking, I feel like that would be a bad play. All of you people are wimps. I love men. Wait, I didn't mean to say that. Well, aren't you gay? Trump, those were internet trolls trolling you. Bro, you just admitted to liking men. He's got a point, Joey. This is why I hate Joe. Who's Joe? Holy sh**, why the hell won't this give me a card? Anyways, how's your day, Obama? Oh, it's fine, but it's about to get way better. Bro, keep your black attacks to yourself. Hey, I also have a black attack card. Don't fucking call it black attack, you racist. Hey, don't hate the speaker, hate the inventor. I'm pretty sure Obama is the inventor of it. Fuck you guys, I'm gonna join Nixon's friend group after this. Bro, that old dude don't have a friend group. He doesn't even know how to use a phone. What the hell? I wasn't even paying attention to the game and I get plus Ford. That's what you get for lying about going to Baskin Robbins. Dog, I told you that it was closed for the day. I don't believe that for a second. Bro, why the hell would Jokey lie about an ice cream shop being closed? He literally lives off of ice cream. Hmm, fair enough. Oh, Stephen Curry. First off, it's actually Stephen Curry. Second off, I'm about to win. Guys, we need to think of a very smart idea and fast. Let's DoorDash ice cream. What the hell, Benny? That's for being a big dumb dumb. This is an easy win for me. Well, I'm pretty sure we lost. Not so fast. Obama, do it. Guys, don't stall it. I'm clearly the winner. Brown attack. Mother trucker, you guys are cheaters. That's what it's all about, fatty. Yeah, get wrecked, Trumpy. I swear to fucking gosh, stop using that fucking nickname. Not until you buy me Baskin Robbins ice cream. Fine. When the hell do you want to go? Not so fast, Trumpy. The viewers have to decide if we go or not. All right, fine. If you guys want us to go to Baskin Robbins, then comment Trumpy wants Baskin Robbins. Oh, baby, time to change the color. Is that what your parents said when you were born? Shut your mouth. You're just jealous that you don't own a fancy club in Florida. Didn't your fancy club get raided? Trumpy, you just keep digging a deeper hole for yourself. Yeah, and they'll be doing the same thing for you in a few years. You just got obliterated, oldie. I don't want to hear it, pasty white ugly face. Bro, I heavily dislike this white little bunny. I thought you said that you love white little bunnies. Dog, it was April Fool's when I said that. Trump, did you get into Hunter's bag again? Bro, you burned that bag. Thank you, Obama. Joe, the next time I see you, I will throw hands. Suck it. Trumpy, I will literally rig the votes for the next election. Didn't you plan to do that already? Nice job, Benster. No problem now. You have to pay me for my service. One vanilla ice cream, please. Hell no. I'm just going to take those cards. What the f***, Trumpster? That's f***ing it, Joe. We ain't going to Baskin Robbins. What the hell? I didn't even say anything. No, but you started this stupid nickname thing, and I hate it. Just like I hate these cards. Take them, Obama. F*** you, orange orangutan. See, Joey, you started this whole nickname thing. That's it. I was reconsidering going to Baskin Robbins, but now I'm not going to. It ain't your decision, dog. It's the viewer's decision. F*** I forgot about that. All right, fine, you win. Benny, I'm going to give Elon a call real quick. You can do that after I plant this bomb. Are you planting that bomb in Yemen? Holy sh**, Donald J. Trump, you're about to face the wrath of my drone strikes. Sorry, Obama, but I don't live in a hospital, so you can't bomb me. Never mind, you just did. You better pick up five cards, you limp noodle. Hey, at least I don't have a wife named Michael. That fucking does it. I'm out of here. Fine. We didn't want you to play with us anyway. What's up, boys? Ronald, how the hell are you in the game? 
Well, I've been hiding in Obama's closet, waiting for him to leave just so I could play on his account. That's a common W for Ronald. Don't you mean a rare W for Ronald? Ben, don't even start by talking about your hatred for Ronald. What the hell, Trunk? Sorry about that, Ronald. Hold the f*** up. Did you just call me Trunk? Yeah, isn't that what everyone calls you? Ronald, I'm this close to breaking my monitor right now. Oh, wait a second. Suck on this, Reagan. F*** you, Trumpazoid. Ooh, I like that nickname. Now I'm going to use it. Just like me using your mom. Oh, wait. Trumpty Dumpty, you better watch your mouth. I heard someone say black attack. Well, now it's white attack. Bro, Obama would be slapping you silly if he heard you say that. Joe, I'm going to get you canceled on Twitter. Been there, done that. Yeah, he was already canceled for sniffing children. What the actual hell, Joey? I thought you were better than this. Ronnie, I don't do that anymore, I swear. Jokey, you literally talked about sniffing Bernie's mittens the other day. Yeah, because I wanted to make sure they were clean. Sleepy Joe, do you need some therapy? Guys, take a second to watch this calculated move. You're a thorn in my rear end, Benson. Oh, now we're making nicknames for everyone, huh? Well, in that case, Trump, you're a big... Whoa, Whoa, what the hell? Benny, what is wrong with you? Benny, do you kiss Jill with that mouth? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Uh-oh. Ben, what the hell did you do to Jill? Oh, I think I'm getting a call from John Pork. BRB. Anyways, how's that ice cream button treating you, Joe? Trunker, it's fucking broken. Did you try smashing it with your keyboard? Here, let me try it real quick. No shot that he actually does it. Holy sh! what an idiot. Trump, it didn't work. You're a fucking scammer. Nah, you're the real scammer for promising everyone a way better country. Shut up, Ben is about to have one card. Correction, I actually have one card. Ben, you're fucking stupid. You just gave him the win. I'm going to sue Hasbro, dog. Ha, get wrecked, Swirly. Oh, what the heck? That's for being mean. Grow some peaches, dog. You're a 40-year-old man. Bro, I don't grow peaches, I grow oranges. So that's where Trumpet came from. Joey, Sleepy Joe, Jokey, Joe Bid, Joe Mama, shut the hell up. Bro just went through all his nicknames. Challenge it, trombone. Ah, f*** it, let's do it. I'm gonna pull an Obama in a second. Feels bad, man. Oh, shut up, Ronnie. Man, this has been a fun session of Uno so far. Yeah, I've got to admit, this has been pretty fun. Yeah, because you morons don't have ten cards like me. It's a simple skill issue, dog. You are a simple skill issue, Jackface. F*** you, Trump. Guys, let's all chill out and talk about how our days went. All right, fine, my day was okay. What about yours, Joe? Uh, I guess my day was okay as well. Suck on these nuts, Trunky. Ronald, I'm gonna call Obama and tell him that you were hiding in his closet. Wait, Donald, please don't do that. I'll do anything for you, just don't tell him. Anything? Hmm, well, if we do go to Baskin Robbins, then you'll have to pay for the ice cream. As long as you don't tell that Enderman that I was here, then I'll do it. All right, good sh Benny, you're canceled for being a quirky white boy who is not goaded and is without the sauce. Oh, sh What the hell? Suck it, nerd. Up yours, orange boy. Thanks for the win. Haha, -ha, moron. Hey, I found a big red button on my desk. I wonder what it does. Joey, stop right now. Ronald, there's no need to worry. It's just the ice cream button. It's completely useless. Come on. Fuck you, fuck face. Joe, are you like unintelligent or something? Bro, you're the one that's unintelligent. You tried to fist fight a liberal. Wait, hold up. He did what now? Nothing happened. It was just a dream I had. Nah, bro, that shit was 100% real. Ben and I were at a bar last night and Ben wanted to fight someone. So he went up to this big dude that looked like Hulk Hogan. And the big dude literally jumped out of his chair and launched the nastiest punch you could ever imagine. Ben was winding the entire trip home. Ben, I'm literally ha-ha. I can't even ha-ha. Shut the f*** up, Trumpster and all of yous. I would have won if Joe didn't distract me. With what, his old man Riz? Actually, he don't got none of that. I got plenty of that, my homie. Bro, don't ever call me your homie again. We ain't and never will be homies. Hey, he's got that yee-yee haircut, though. Yeah, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nerd. Bro, you nearly just got canceled. How come? I didn't say anything wrong. Fuck you, my vanilla bean. Bro's really trying not to get canceled. What are you even talking about, nerd? Guys, I think Obama just came back from the store. Sucks to be you, then. Benny! Hey, only I can mess with Trumpy. You vote rigor. What the f***? And you were telling me that I was going to get canceled. Just listen to this moron. I'm gonna send Elon on your rear end, Barry Benson. Bro, all I said was rigor. He said it again. Bro's gonna have the Obama gang on his back by tomorrow. Dog, you're definitely going to have them on your back for saying that. Bro, I'm friends with those guys. What the hell? Trump, you can't tell them any lies about me. Don't worry, Benny. I would never do anything like that. Thank you, Trumpy. Or would I? What? Anyways, I feel like pulling an Obama. No shot. Uh, what do I do? I'll just keep it. Bro's probably got a nuclear bomb card. Nah, I got these nuts. Wow, you're so original. But actually, though, I went to Walmart and bought Mr. Beast's these nuts chocolate bar. Wait, how was it? Rate it out of 10. Eh, I'm unbiased, but I'd have to say 6. You've got a terrible taste in food, so I might just buy some for myself. And try it. Oh, sh**. Obama's coming. I'll see you guys later. 
Oh, see you, Ronnie. I wonder if Obama will realize that the game was playing on its own. Oh, shoot, I left my game on. Hello, is anyone still on this call? Sadly, yes. Hey, I'm sorry for being mean to you guys. I just got a little bit heated in the moment. Speaking of heat, I'm about to put something nice on top of the cards. Oh, classic Yemen move. Okay, I officially take back my apology. You guys are total assholes. Ha, uh, you never learn, Obama. Trump, watch out. There's a hurricane. What? Where? Nuke it. Ha ha ha, you buffoon so naive and gullible. All right, Mr. Pipe Bomb, we get it. Dang, nabbit. What's wrong, Trump? You don't have red? No, but I have your wife, you quirky old man. F you, orange monkey. Why did you call Obama a monkey? Dog, I was talking about you. You better watch your back, Benny boy. I was talking about Trump, bro. Sure you were. Guys, we probably should acknowledge the fact that Benny has one more card. Oh, Trump, things always change for the better. Obama, I swear, you're using hacks or something. Oh no, you caught me red-handed. You moron, Barack! I hit Uno, this is fucking shit. Nah, you're just bad at the game, Enderman. Anyways, where's the leak, ma'am? Trump, you are the most racist man in America. Not as racist as the- Okay, let's move on. Benny, why did you do that? Because of swag. Hypothetically speaking, if you weren't a big moron with a side of retardedness and also big stupid, then we wouldn't be struggling. Dog, you literally have two cards. You definitely ain't struggling at all. In fact, I think Obama is about to use his black attack to give you the win. I think this is the best time to start saying future dates. Oh, future dates with your husband? How is Michael doing anyways? Michelle is my fucking wife. Get it right, you fat, overweight orange. Gee, someone is very touchy today. Yeah, because you're calling my wife a he. He he. Michael Jackson. Joe, no one asked your dementia face to open your fat mouth. Your husband did. No, she did not. And stop calling her a he before I go ape Trump, you better not say it. That seems like something you would do. Donald, do you want to see a drone strike in person? Guys, just shut up and play the game. You know what? Joey is actually right. All of this bickering is making us hate each other even more. Finally, you actually use your cranium to come up with a calculated answer. Ooh, it's raining in Syria again. It's raining cards, not missiles. Good call. Anyways, what's your favorite color, Joe? Well, I love lots of colors like red, brown, teal, and blue. Okay, then what's your favorite out of all of those? I'd have to say brown. Is that because you're not racist? No, I just love the color. It reminds me of the ground. Ah, sweet, sweet dirt. Joe, you're the type of person to go outside, dig a hole, and grab a handful of dirt to eat for breakfast. Wait, what the hell? Are you spying on me or something? Spying on you? What? I have never spied on anyone in my entire life. Hold that thought. Obama, did you just chicken out of a challenge? No, I was using critical thinking. Obama is now ten times more of a wimp than before. Congratulations on being a big wimp. Joe, did you take your medication pills today? You seem a little off. Yeah, you're off your rocker, old man. Holy sh**, these cards aren't too bad. Sorry, Joe Obama. Ooh, I shall partake in this tomfoolery. That's fine. I didn't want to play anyways. Hmm, opinions on VR? Very random question, but I'll allow it. Um, yeah, I think VR is fairly good. It makes your head hurt after a while, but it's worth getting that good old something. Hey, could you elaborate on what you just said? Anyways, if I had to give it a score from 1 to 10, I'd have to put it at 6. It's not great, but it's not bad. Trump, I feel like you're lowballing it. I really think it's an 8. You can play VR Minecraft, Beat Saber, and many more fun games. But I do agree with the whole headache thing. It just sucks. Dog, I'm about to make your life misery for saying that. What the hell? I have freedom of speech, dog. Freedom of speech don't apply here. Also, I just feel like you deserved it for being you. Fuck you, Trump. Now I have 21 cards. Good for you. Now you can be king of the morons. Says the guy that lost the election to an old sack of dust. What the f*** did I do to deserve this? Well, for starters, you destroyed the country. Second off... Just shut up. I did no such thing. If anything, I made it better. Joe, don't lie to yourself. You know that you, in fact, destroyed the country and are just trying to make chocolate chocolate chip the nation's national ice cream. So what? Maybe I like ice cream. There ain't nothing wrong with focusing on chocolate chocolate ice cream. Joe, you have officially lost it. Are you sure that you took your medication pills today? I swear to f***ing gosh, if you keep mentioning the stupid medication, then I'm going to blow a gasket. Nah, the only thing you'll be blowing out is your back, because you're a crusty old man. Joe, I hate to admit it, but you are a very old and frail man. You guys are literally almost the same age as me, so don't even start it. Hypothetically speaking, Obama is actually 61 years old, so he's technically not even close to being as old as you. Shut up, you 39-year-old pedo! Says the guy that literally has sniffed so many children throughout his life. Bro, he's got you there. All right, it's time to bring back the little white bunnies. Uh, why is it white? Bro, did you just notice it being white, or are you just colorblind? No, I'm just blind. F I didn't mean to say that. You didn't have to tell me, dog. I already knew that info. Oh, shut up. Hmm, I think you're a racist bunny. Why the hell do you say that? Well, he kind of gives off that vibe. Dog, he don't give off no vibe for me. I think you just have horrible vibe senses. Nah, he gives me this weird look. I think he doesn't like me. 
Bro, you're not black, so he's not being racist. He's orange, though. Oh, I guess you're right about that. What the hell? He's got Uno again. Yeah, but it probably ain't going to last long. You want to make a bet? No, I don't want to make a bet, but I would like to make a bet. 20 bucks says that I will win. 50 bucks says that you will lose. Easy money. Joe, the chances of you actually winning are extremely low. Yeah, because I can do a black attack. F*** you. Now I'm going to lose. Only thing I can play is my drone strikes. Guys, we have to do something to stop this. Joe cannot win. Wait, I can change the color. Trump, you better pray to God that he doesn't have a cancel card. F*** yeah, suck it, nerds. Obama, send that 50 bucks to my PayPal ASAP. F*** you, jokey. Yeah, up yours, moron. I'm a winner. You're a loser. Shut up, you f***ing suck. Yeah, suck on it, losers. F*** you, Joey. Make sure you send that 50 bucks, Blackie. You're a racist motherfucker. Trump, why does this look different? I spent three bucks on a new game mode because I thought it looked cool. Why would you waste your money on something so dumb? Joe, this ain't dumb. The only thing that is dumb is yourself. What the hell? Um, I think I forgot to enable sevens and zeros. Michelle, you're paying the price of Donald Dump's mistake. Obama, I'm going to shut off the Wi-Fi. Whoa, what the fuck is wrong with your voice? Well, Obama changed my microphone settings, and now I don't know how to fix it. Dog, you sound like a 20-year-old white woman. What the hell did you just call my wife? Anyways, I really love this new game mode. Get canceled, mister. I mean, Mrs. Obama. Ha, we heard your little slip up, Obama. Time to take care of the trash. Suck it, Trumpster. Obama, can you fix this dude's microphone? She doesn't sound black. Trump, you're pushing it. You better lay off the black jokes or else. Or else what? You're going to send your gang after me? No, I'll stop by to pick up Melania. The f*** you won't, and I'll make sure that you won't be able to. We'll see about that. Oh, baby, I got an Uno. Oh, sh**. We have to do something to stop the tangerine from winning again. I can't do nothing, broski. You might not be able to do something, but I can. It's always the plus two cards. F*** this game. It's such a shame, Donald Dump. Shut up! Take this, brown face. Whoa, your voice is deeper now. Yeah, I kind of fixed her mic. I don't know why, but there was nothing wrong with her mic before, so I just made her voice deeper. Also, suck this, Joey. I got an Uno. Ain't nothing going to stop me. You forgot to click Uno again. I clicked the fucking thing. This game is rigged. Hey, the only thing that is rigged was the L- Shut your orange mouth and stop being jealous that you lost to me. Joseph, I ain't jealous. I'm just upset that you messed it all up. Yeah, just like me messing up Melania. Whoa, Joe, as your friend, I'm going to tell you that that's messed up. I couldn't give a flying fish. Trumpster and I aren't on good terms. Yeah, we have been fighting since 2020. Actually, maybe it goes further than that. Bro, now I have to draw cards. Let's go. First try. That's what I said for the last Uno game. Jokey, I'm this close to losing it, and you don't want to see that. Bro, if you lose it, then you'll have to find it again. Hey, you stole my joke. Deal with it. Come on, give me a card. Ah, here's a seven that is completely useless. Bro, this game would have been much more fun if you enabled sevens and zero S. F*** those, I just got a custom card. Choose two players, the first one will be heads and the second one will be tails. If the coin comes up with Uno, the 50 must draw four cards and vice versa. Hmm, okay, Obama, let's duel it out. What the heck, I don't want to play this, homie. Well, too bad, you're doing it anyway. Come on, I gotta win this. No shot, dog, I have my almighty wall by my side. Yeah, baby, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. This game is rigged. We should have played the rabbits one. Dog, the rabbits one was boring. This one is way better. No shot, Trumpy. At least the rabbits one had white bunnies in it. Man, I was expecting that sentence to come out of Joe's mouth. What's that supposed to mean? I ain't that weird. Jokey, we all know what you like to do to things with hair. No turn for you, Michael. What the hell? I just wanted to play. Wow, Obama finally fixed your microphone. Honestly, Trump, you are more orange than Mars. Yes, because my all-natural tan is so vibrant. How many layers of Sherwin-Williams paint did you have to put on to make it look so good? Barack, I've been asking you the same thing for a long time. Michelangelo, why the hell did you cancel me? Because you aren't being very nice. Yeah, and you weren't very nice when 2009 hit. Trump, that's enough. I think we should talk about how our weekends went. Who, me? I'll go first. I sniffed some flowers today. Are you sure it was flowers that you sniffed? Guys, Trump's about to win. Ah, yes, this is a free win. Get wrecked. Hold up, I can save this. What the heck? There ain't no way, Brosif. Oh, there's always a way, Jackface. Joe, you have to put something down that will save it all. I hope the retirement home comes to pick you up. It was the only thing I could have put down. I'm sorry. Don't say sorry to Obama. Say sorry to the country. Obama, you better pull something good or else Michelangelo might win. I'm really hoping he doesn't have a yellow. Oh, Obama, hoping won't get you anywhere. However, I will tell you what I have. I have a yellow one. Trump, let's make a deal. When we go to Baskin Robbins, I will pay for the ice cream and you won't have to, okay? Now we're talking. I love to save me some money. You cheap piece of trash. I can't believe you would sacrifice a win just to save some money. Hey, don't act like you wouldn't do the same thing, Michelangelo. Stop calling my wife Michelangelo. Her name is Michelle. Who is this Michelle you speak of? I only know Michelin. 
bro, my name ain't Michael Michelangelo or Michelin. My name is Michelle Obamna. Man, even Manchil can't say your name right. Shut the hell up. At least I don't have a money-hungry wife. Dog, Melania ain't money-hungry, but she is hungry for D's nuts. Ha, got him. Bro, my gang about to pull up to your crib if you ain't careful. Dog, your gang ain't gonna do nothing because I have my supporters by my side. Are you referring to the ones from January 6th? Shut the heck up. All of that was fake news. Trinket, that was all real. I'm about to lose my freaking mind. Didn't you lose that when you lost in 2020? Guys, let's calm the hell down. We're supposed to be a couple of good friends playing some Uno. I'll chill out when Obama stops roasting me and making stuff up. Dog, I don't make up nothing. All of the information is real. Ha! Easy. GG. No re- Joe, you have to behave too. I will not tolerate any bad behavior from any of you. So you won't tolerate our bad behavior, but you'll tolerate what Obama did to my Minecraft house. Wait, what did he do to your house? He completely destroyed it, and he even left a giant crater afterward. Also, watch me destroy Joe in this coin flip. What the hell? It's like the game is rigged or something. Yeah, just like that other thing. Trump, just keep coping. Dog, the only thing I'm copying is your wife. You ain't gonna do nothing, my fellow old man. You're literally in your 80s, and I'm in my 30s. Bro, that is extremely cap. You always have an extra paint can that can fill any wrinkles on your face. Dude, don't expose me like that. I don't expose you. Sure, Donald, sure. Oh boy, it's my turn. Joseph, choose blue. I have a surprise for someone. What the hell? You can't team up. Yeah, you can. And it ain't against the Geneva Convention. Dog, don't even start with the Geneva Convention. Oh, thank you, Jokey. Now I can initiate our plan. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? You cheaters. I knew you guys were messaging each other. Trumpy, it ain't nothing personal. This game is a bunch of barnacles. Wow, I can't believe you won. Congratulations. Shut the hell up. Trump, chill out. We can just play another game. Yeah, and you guys will cheat just like Joey did. Dog, I won that last Uno game with pure skill. Joe Bid, I'm so happy that Jill wanted to divorce you. Jill isn't going to do anything. When she finds out that you've been going out with Obama, then she will divorce you. What the hell, Barack? Is this information true? No, it is all fake news. First you go out with Joe, and now you steal my catchphrase. What the hell? The only person I go out with is Michelle. I don't go out with people that like to sniff things. Come on, dog. I stopped doing that a long time ago. Joseph, let's be honest. If you have the chance to do it, then you will do it. Ha, now he's trying to glide over all of the stuff from before. Obama, I don't want to be your husband anymore. Anymore. I mean, wife. She admitted it. I knew it. Dog, I'm not a man. You guys just keep putting things into my head. That's what they all say, Michael. Michelle, I swear on my mother, I am not going out with that frail old man. All right, I'll believe you this time. But if I hear or see anything suspicious, then we're done. Ha, you forgot to press Uno again. Get good. I pressed that stupid button. I hate this game. Hmm, let's put this wonderful card down. Ah, yes, I can smell a win coming on. The only thing you'll be winning is a coffee mug that says world's worst father. I don't have any children, though. Oh, wait. Bro really forgot about his sons and daughters. Hey, at least I don't forget what I'm doing after a few seconds. I don't forget nothing, dog. Wait, what were we talking about again? And that right there is the art of stupidity. Just like Michelle not pressing Uno. Trinket, I pressed that button harder than I would the subscribe button on PewDiePie's channel in 2019. What the hell? You never smashed the subscribe button? Bro, it's better to just click it instead of smashing it. You are an uncultured swine. Guys, Trinket is literally about to win. Yeah, baby, see it and weep. Suck it, Trump. This is a big brain move. You guys are actually cheating. I can't believe this right now. Hey, do you need some cheese cries with that wine burger? Shut the hell up. Man, how does it feel to have nine cards, Trinket? My name is not Trinket, and it never will be. Keep telling yourself that, Trunker. Ha! You get what you deserve. Michelle, that plus two was not necessary. Oh, it was very necessary because I am not on your team. Ooh, you just got served, Void Man. Joseph, you better not catch me on the streets because if you do, then I will do what I did to Trump. Whatever it is, I want it. So you want a can of ass whooping? I'm going to stop this conversation before it gets any worse. Thank you for finally maturing, Trump. Don't think I forgot what you did earlier, dog. Trumpy, the past is the past. Let's just focus on the future. Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to next year. Tricycle, keep dreaming. I'm about to jump through my monitor just to smack you in the face. Whoa, that's too far, Trump. I think we should just talk about how our days went. All right, fine. My day has been fine. Melania and I went to the White House and took some of Joe's prized possessions. My day has also been fine. Jill made me a farewell cake when I came back from the hospital. Um, is everything okay, Jokey? Dog, you've got to be kidding me. Sucks to suck, Obama. Actually, I think that was very smart. I'm going to take away your computer if you keep doing that. Barack, are you really going to let Michael boss you around? Dog, Michelle will literally obliterate me if I don't do what she says because she is the definition of angry. Speaking of anger, I'm about to make someone's day worse. Oh, this is an easy coin flip. Watch me win this. Oh, shoot. Let's go, Trumpy. Bring it on. Ah, I hate this. Better luck next time, Trunk. Shut up. I will have my squad pull up if you're not careful. 
the Geek Squad, dude, that would actually be perfect because I need my computer fixed up. I wasn't talking about that. Oh, you were talking about the Tangerine and Orange Squad? Ah, okay, that's good to know. Ah, holy moly guacamole, you scared the cucumbers out of me. That doesn't mean you have to cancel me. Oh, it definitely does because you were the one that gave him the dumb idea of screaming right in my crusty old ear. Ah, shut the hell up, Trump. Bro, you canceled me again for no reason. Yeah, and the next place I cancel you will be Twitter. Joe, how has Jill been doing? She's been fine. Thanks for asking. Hold up. Why did you just ask that out of nowhere? Because she's with Obama at his house. Jill, are you downstairs? What the hell? Obama, where is Jill? How in the heck am I supposed to know? I'm not even her husband. Bro, she's in your house, living it up. Joe, Jill is not in our house. I made sure of it. I wanted to play the game and you just ruined it. Just deal with it, Trumpazoid. Ha! Thank you, Obama. I knew there was still some good in you. What the actual hippity hoppity Obama? It had to be done, Michelle. Up yours, Obama. Guys, did you know that two plus two equals fish? Man, it sounds like someone is going crazy again. Did Jill make sure to feed you? Ah, I fed myself. What the hell was that? Ah, you're making me angry. Sounds like bro didn't get enough sleepy sleep today. Okay, f*** you. Ooh, it's time to play my favorite mini game. And it's also time for me to get payback. Trump, be ready to lose this game. In your dreams, Michelin man. Come on, land on the 50. Ah, I hate this game. Let's flip and go, easy. Oh, why do you always cheat? This is pure skill, my lady. Ah, there ain't no skill involved. Actually, I agree with Trump. It is all based on how much skill you possess. Okay, then let's test that logic. Joe, you'll be going against Obama. Don't let me down, Joey. I won't let you down, my future wife. Hi, what the hell? Obama, be prepared to be destroyed by my Biden blast. Man, I must possess a lot of skill because I just won. Ah, this is complete and utter bullradish. I don't know what to tell you, man. Just get some more skill. Barack, that was amazing work. I'm so proud of you. Shut the g- uh, hell up. Obama, you might want to check in on Michelin, man. I think he's having a stroke or something. Michael, you will be taking on Obama. I better win this argrr game. Chill out for a second, Obama's husband. Let's f***ing go. Argrr, grr, grr, grr. Uh... How does it feel losing to me? <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, mm, uh... Guys, seriously, though, why the hell are you making those noises? <laughs> because I just lost to my husband. I'm not your gosh dang husband. I'm your wife. I'm not Michael. The Michelin Man, Michelangelo, Oregon Mitch. I'm Michelle. Dog, don't forget about Mishi, Mikey, Manchel, Obama's husband, Michael's wife, and... Arrgh! Stop it right now. Bro, can we kick these two annoying noisemakers? Every time they open their mouth, they just start speaking nonsense. I could say the same thing when you get on a stage. Shut up. I speak the truth and only the truth. People love it. The only thing people love is me because I am the greatest person to ever live. Yeah, and you won't be living for long. Dog, you ain't going to destroy me in this game. Oh, Joey, when I win this, I will be the greatest person to ever live. Will your children see you as that if you win or will they still not like you? For your information, my children love me very much. Okay, then why haven't they told you that? Anyways, I think we should continue this card game. Obama, why the asparagus do you keep skipping my turn? Ain't no way Manshell just said, what the asparagus? Dog, what the actual heck? What the hell? Sorry, Manshell, but it had to be done. Ah, yes, my favorite pal, Obama. Thank you for your support. No problem, pal. I'm glad I could be of service to you. Obama, I'm about to blow a gasket. You may need to get that checked out then. Dog, I hate drawing cards. Never mind, it's time for a coin flip. Hmm, I think Joey is an easy target. Trump, why the hell did you choose me? Because beating you is easy pickings. Dog, I will bring out my real Biden blast if you start to pose any threat. What the actual hell? I should have won that. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, easy game. Shut the hell up before I expose you for what you did in the Minecraft realm. Bro, you ain't got nothing on me. I'm a completely clean man. The hell you aren't. I saw you taking some stuff from Obama's house the other day. That's bullradish, and you know it, Trumpy. Just keep coping. Coping these nuts. I hope you lose this game, you crusty old man. Just keep coping, Donald. You'll eventually find out that everything will never go your way. Ah, I will win this game. Dog, my cards are goaded. Barack, what noise does an owl make? Bro, I don't care if no one asked. I just asserted myself into the conversation. But I just wanted to know what sound an owl makes because I have no idea. Joe, you've got to be kidding me. Do you seriously not know what sound an owl makes? A sound makes who what now? Joe, you've got to be one of the worst people I have ever spoken to. Huh? My name is not people. My name is John Cena McTwist with a side of onion rings and a cup of mayo. Joe, shut up and watch this amazing jump in. No, you can do that and watch me screw over Obama. Joe, I am about to say a lot of words. Why the heck would you do that? You were my vice president for Pete's sake. I can't believe you just pulled the worst card move in the history of ever. And you f***ing did it again. Obama, I don't have a single clue about what you said, but I did supply you with four cards. You're welcome. Barack, I'm about to make your day way better. Suck it, Joey. 
What the hell? I was just joking. Ha, now you get to pick up four cards. Let's go. Thank you, Donald. All right, so I did some math, and it looks like you owe me 12 buckaroos. I take PayPal, Venmo. What the heck? You guys were cheating again. Oh, don't act like you didn't do that a few years ago. Dog, I won that Minecraft game fair and square. Oh, baby, let's get this easy, Dub. Not so fast, Donald. Ah, uh, not this stupid game again. Trump, I made sure to pay someone to fix this coin flip game. Oh, great. I'm going to lose this stupid game. Come on, give me the win. Don't give Trump the win. I need it more. Why? I hated this game. Looks like you'll have to draw four cards, Trump. Joe, I ain't paying for the Baskin Robbins anymore. Hey, we made a deal. You can't reverse the deal. Well, I just did. Use your own money, you filthy, stinking rich man. Pick up two cards, deal breaker. Stupid, stupid game. Trump, chill out. I think you deserve a second chance to win against Joey. Woman, why the hell did you do that? I want to be done with it. Look, I think you can win this time. Oh, Trumpy, are you ready to lose again? Okay, I can do this. Ah! I'm going crazy. Let's go. Ah! Ah! Got him. Trump, are you still mad that I won that coin flip? Ah, got him again. Trump, you can get off the game if you need to. Not until I get a win, dog. Bro, let's be honest, you probably aren't going to win. We'll see about that. Oh no, he has one card. Oh my gosh, it's coming down to the wire here. Michelle, you need to keep it red, please. Oh, keep it red, okay. What the hell? Bro, I don't know what to do. It's anyone's game at this point. Obama, I think Trump just won the game. Ah, uh, why does this card game not like me? Bro, there ain't no way. Joey's about to win this game. Not if I have anything to say about it. Suck it, Joseph. How the hell did you know that I didn't have a yellow? It's pure skill. Oh no, Michelle is gonna win. No, she ain't. I'm looking at her screen and she has a yellow five. Joey, you need to change the color. What the hell, Joseph? You just gave Michael the win. Oh yeah, suck it, nerds. <laughs> you suck, Michael. Up yours, you moron. I'll be posting that clip to Facebook. The hell, you ain't doing nothing. I'm gonna call Zucky to get your account removed. I hate this game. Fuck you and your wife, Michael. Joseph, I swear to flipping gosh, if you chose that game mode we had on before, I will lose it. Don't worry. I made sure to choose a different game mode for your little baby face. Joseph, did you seriously not turn on sevens and zeros? Bro, what the hell? You canceled me because I couldn't change those settings. Joey, I agree with Trump. You deserve to be canceled for not turning it on. Guys, let's be civil about this. Heck no. I ain't being civil towards someone who loves to sniff certain living things that have hair. Dog, I don't do that anymore. I'm a completely different person than before. See, Dad, he really is a changed man. Honey, when he starts to sniff things, you'll be completely aware of the person he really is. Trinket, it's all in your head. The only thing in my head is the easy dub I will be obtaining from this children's game. Take this, Jokey. Trunky monkey, I don't draw cards that easily. Oh, Joey, you really thought it was that easy to get me to draw two cards. What the hell? Gosh darn it. Why the asparagus did you do that to my daughter, Obamna? Bro, you were the one that literally started the card train. Yeah, you started it, you big orange. Ivanka, that nickname is out of date. His new nickname is Trinket. Ah, uh, thank you for the correction, Jokey. Guys, hush up. I just got a new card. When you play this card, everything flips from the dark side to the light side. Man, that kind of reminds me of the time when Obamna tried to pour white Sherwin-Williams paint on himself to make Joey think he was a ghost, but it backfired, and Joe said some things about it. Look, we don't talk about that. Ivanka, honey, why in the world did you just do that? Because it seemed like you didn't have enough cards there. Ah, I did have enough. Joseph, why did you do that? Because I wanted to put you in Trumpy's shoes. Dog, Trinket's shoes would be too big for me. All right, it's time to change it up. We're going back to the light side. What the hell? I enjoyed the other side more. I wonder why. Ooh, let's change it back to the dark side. Trumpazoid, I will personally come over to your house just to take Melania on a date. Bro, you literally have a husband. How in the pickles does that work? Dad, be nice. Obama has a wife, not a husband. Wow, someone in the Trump family is actually smart. I'm genuinely surprised. Obama, I'm a literal genius. Like, my genius is almost frightening. Trinket, I'm clearly the most genius person in our family. Holy shoot, get wrecked, Trunky Monkey. Dog, did you forget that I can challenge these cards? You got this, Ivanka. Ah, Mother Trucker, this game is total trash. Never underestimate the power of my Trump walls and towers. <laughs> Truck you. Trumpy Dumpty, stop making it my turn. Flip no. I want to keep doing this until I win. Bro, just let my turn be over already. I'm sorry, dog, but I can't let that happen. Also, I'm not sorry at all. Kobe! Stop it right now. That's it. I'm going to end this idiotic card jumping thing. There was no point because I didn't have any cards to jump. Also, you literally didn't end it. Whoa, what the hell is going on? Well, I just canceled all of yours, and now I'm going to do it again. Oh, shoot, he has one card left. 
Yeah, baby, we take those W's. What the hell? You're a cheater. Suck on these nuts, Trunk. Jokey, I'm going to call up my old pal to take care of you. Guys, chill out. We can just start a brand new game. And let him cheat? Hell no, that ain't happening. Well, too bad, Trinket. We're starting another one anyway. Oh, gosh, dang it. I hate this game. Just keep crying, Trunk and Donuts. Ah, my name ain't Trunk and Donuts. What the hell is going on? Not so fast, Ivanka. Trump will blow a gasket if you keep doing this. Not so fast, Obama. Uh, where am I again? You're in a fudging terrible game that is making me go insane. Dad, did you take your meditation today? Meditation? Really, Trumpazoid? Ha <laughs> ha. Shut your mouth! Dad, you need to take it down a notch. I ain't gonna do nothing. Joe, I will beat you in this game, and that's a fact. No, you won't. Keep dreaming. Ha 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 ha. Joke's on you. My dreams are reality. Wah, wah, wah. Trunk, are you about to cry? No, but you will when you lose this game. Dog, I never lose a game of Uno. Bro, don't even. You literally just lost to Ivanka, a.k.a. the best daughter ever. Ivanka ain't the best daughter ever. Mine is. Look, I think she and I are equally as good. Hell no. You're way better than the guy who has a son that has green stuff in his bag. It sounds like someone needs to go take their meditation. I don't need to take Michael's meditation. What the hell? So that's where Michelle has been going for the past few days. Obama, I called her up to see if she knew anything about it, and she told me that she did, and now she's Trump's meditation boss. Well, I don't like it. She has now quit her job. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't need her anyway. Obama, wait. I'll give you Trump's expensive wall if you let her stay. Hold up. You'll give me his wall just for her to help Trump with meditation? Absolutely. Ivanka, you ain't doing nothing. Dad, you need this. It will calm you down and make you feel way better. The only thing I need is a mug filled to the brim with root beer. Dad, are you drinking the stuff that I left on the table? Now, why in the world would you say that? Well, you seem a lot more angry than usual. I am not angry. I'm furious. Trump, stop being so loud. I will do what I want, Joseph. Now go sniff some things and stop bothering me. No, I don't think I will. Ah. <sighs> uh... Whoa, who invited the unaliving goat? Uh, I'm not a goat. I'm a man with rippling muscles. Bro, you ain't got no muscles. <laughs> yes, I do. Ah! That's it. You guys need to stop. I came here to play a game, not to hear you two bickering over who has bigger muscles. All right, fine. I guess I can tone it down for a bit. Oh, shoot. Obama's got one more card. Great. Now I have to draw cards because I don't have a single one to play. Never mind. I got one. What the hell? I just wanted to play. Dog, you're getting a little bit too close to winning, so we can't let you play. Oh yeah, baby, it's time to turn to the light side. Wait, what the pickles? Guys, he's got a blue cancel card, just remember that. Ivanka, you have to keep it on green. Do not change the color or else we will lose. Okay, I'll choose green then. I clicked the wrong one! You are so flipping lucky that I have a wild card, Dodo Brain. Thank you, Dad. Now take this Obamna. Uh, uh, uh. Sounds like someone needs their husband. Ah, uh, Michelle is not my husband. She is my wife. Guys, Trump has one more card. Stop mimicking me. Ivanka, I will literally hack the mainframe to take your Minecraft account. Guys, what do I do? Just place a card. I don't care anymore. Man, it's such a shame that it has to come down to this. Hold up. I don't think he has a card to play. Obama thinking we'll always have a 50-50 chance. Let's freaking go! Yeah! Oh, this game is rigged! I won't let you see the silver play button when we hit 100k subs. What the hell? Obama, are you even subscribed to this channel? Uh, ah, I know. Bro's not even subbed. I'll make sure Denton doesn't let you see it when we get it. Wow. All right, fine. We'll let you see it. Just make sure to subscribe so we can hit 100k subs. Yay, I'm happy again. Anyways, how is everyone's day going? Well, seeing as everyone on this call was going insane, I'd have to say that my day is going fairly well. Well, my day hasn't been going great because Obama didn't want Michelle to help Trump with his anger issues. Look, about that, I was thinking that maybe Michelle could continue to help Trump because I now see his true anger. Wait, do you, do you really mean it, Obama? Yes, and I think it would be better for your family. Wow, thank you, Barack. It really means a lot. All right, you two, let's not get emotional. We're trying to play a card game. Wait, this is a card game? I thought this was Sniffing Simulator. What the pickles, Joe? You're creepy. Ivanka, don't talk to the old man. I think he wants to sniff you next. Queen, don't listen to him. He just forgot to do his meditation. Joe, I am not your queen. Now stop being a creep and never talk to me ever again. But I loved you. Jokey, knock it off and play the game. All right, I shall play the game, but I am only doing it for my queen. Ah, uh, shoot, I don't have any cards to play. Bro, don't do this again. Let's go. I got a goaded card. What the hell? Trinket, there was no need to do that. Thank you, trombone. Oh, shoot. I didn't really think that through. Joseph, if we lose this round, I'm going to blame it on you. Dog, we ain't going to lose the round. I have high hopes. Got you, Ivanka. Bro, 
I pressed Uno. This game is broken. Easy wins. Get good. Barack, I'm going to hop in my car, drive to your house, and walk up to you just to slap you right in the face. Bring it on, bro. I can take an orange on. Guys, stop this right now. Let's play one more game to determine the real winner. Yeah, let the final game begin. Kobe. Oh, man, I can play any card I want. Hmm, I'll play this nice card. Oh, no, why the pickles did you do that? Don't worry, Joey, I got your back. You don't have my back because I can still feel it. Dog, I didn't mean it like that. I meant, oh, never mind. Yeah, baby, let's go. This is all your fault, Trump. I didn't even do anything. What, the pickles? Jump in! Yeah, baby! Thank you, Trinket. Oh, oh, why does this keep happening to me? Don't worry, Obama. I shall avenge you. What, the asparagus? Ah! Time to go back to the dark side. Yeah, baby! Let's freaking go. I love this side so much. And we all know why. (laughs) Trunky Monkey, did you get into my son's bag again? No, but I got into the White House without you even seeing me. (laughs) Bro's literally turning into an SCP monster or something. Dog, the only thing I'm turning into is a strong and muscular man. Guys, for real though, we should all calm down. Yeah, I totally agree with Ivanka on this one because we've been yelling at each other for so long now. Hmm, I can't make promises, but I'll try to tone it down a bit. Yeah, all right, I'll tone it down a bit unless something happens. Thank you, Trinket. I'm glad we're all able to come up with a compromise. Anyway, what are your opinions on the old gravel blocks, Joey? Donald, we literally were talking about that yesterday. Joseph, every time I ask you something that is random, you either say, we talked about that already, or we recorded a video about the subject. I genuinely think you're not drinking enough water or something because we never talked about anything before, nor did we record a video about it. But we literally posted a short video about us ranking old and new Minecraft blocks yesterday. Joe, I want to believe you, but we genuinely don't have a single clue about what you're talking about. Ah, whatever. Take that, Obama. Ah, gosh darn it. I was so close to having Uno, too. Trump, this is for giving two cards to Obama. Joe was the one that played the second card. What the heck? Don't worry, trombone. I will give Obama another card because of what Ivanka did. Obama, I will give you another turn for what these pinheads did. Man, this is practically us teaming up. Hey, that ain't allowed. I didn't say we were teaming, dog. I was just saying that it was like us teaming up. I'm sorry, Trinket, but it has to be done. Bro, I was having a great day until you put down that rigged card. You've been angry this entire time. How in the world has this been a great day for you? Look, when I'm angry, I'm happy. That's just how I roll. That doesn't even make sense. If this stinking deck doesn't give me a card, I'm going to lose it. It's about freaking time. Thanks for not changing the color, Bayrack. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? Ah, no. It's such a shame, Ivanka. Ah, I hate this freaking game. It's just a game, dog. You need to take a chill pill. Joe, I think you know what has to happen. Wait, what? What the hell? Ah, I hate this. Dad, it's just a game. Take a chill pill. Oh, be quiet. This is my life, dog. Sitting behind your computer playing Minecraft all day is your life? Yes, I mean, no, I do work. Yeah, you work on your precious wall that is in the Minecraft realm. That's not what I meant. Sure, Trumpet, sure. Obama, how quickly can Michelle come over to help Trump with his anger? Well, she's at the store right now, so she'll probably be able to come over in an hour. Ivanka, I don't need help with nothing. I am completely fine. Dad, you're literally losing your mind over a video game. You need Michelle to help you out with the anger. There is no anger. It's all happiness and unicorns and whatever else is happy. You skipped my turn. Ah! That does not sound happy, dog. Oh, I mean, oh, well, I guess you jumped in, which is fine. Nah, bro, don't try to fake it. You were straight up angry. I wasn't angry. I just stubbed my toe on the table. And I felt the need to raise my voice. Uh Uh-huh. Sure, Dad. Uh, yes, I shall play this card. Thank you, Trinket. What color do you want, Trumpy? Pick red. I knew it. Get your baited, orange man. Well, joke's on you, Jokey. I have a wild card of my own. Bro asked me to choose red, but proceeds to choose yellow. What a nut job. Speaking of jobs, how's Kamala treating you, Joe? She's been treating me well. Thanks for asking. Jump in, baby! Was that just you raising your voice? No, I was actually angry there. How could you be angry at something that is technically good to you? Well, you know, uh, I got to get angry at the most random things. It's just a thing I need to do from time to time. That's so dumb, though. I see no point in doing it. There ain't no point in that, but there is a point in doing this. Obama, what the hell? Sorry, not sorry. Kit Kats. Bro, that's not how it goes. It goes like this. Sorry, not sorry. Reese's. Nah, dog. I remember it being Kit Kats in the commercial. I think you're starting to develop the same thing Joey has. Wait, I want chocolate chocolate chip, not the ice pop. Joseph, wake up! Ah! I'm awake! What in the pickles is happening? Nothing is happening. You just keep falling asleep, you sleepy head. Another one! Yeah! Dad, can you stop yelling every time you jump in? Yeah! 
I hope Michelle gets here faster because I'm going to lose my freaking mind. You really thought you could pull that on me, huh? Oh, come on. Just give me a break for once. Challenge it, jokey. Hey, I ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I'm a winner. Look at my prize. You're a big L that sits and sheds tears. Zip your hole. I ain't no big loop. Trumpy, why do you do this? Thank you, Obama. No, you've got to be kidding me. I was the one that pulled the five cards. What are you crying for? I wanted to make Ivanka pull five cards, not you. You're just an old man. I am not an old man. I am so young and hip with the time. I don't care if you have a few songs in your playlist that were released by Justin Bieber. You're still an old man. I'm not old. You're old. You guys need to stop. Both of you are old. Now move on. I'm not moving on until Trunk and Donuts over here apologizes to me. Flip no. I ain't saying nothing. You will apologize right now. Trump, apologize. Or else I will bring out my Obama prism again. Ah, flip now. I'm sorry for calling you an old man, Joe. Thank you for apologizing, Trumpy. It's not a problem, dog. Just don't expect me to say it ever again. Oh, I think someone wants to talk to you, Trunk. Hold up. I was just joshing, dog. I have not heard that phrase since the dimes. Joe, no one calls the 2010s the dimes. Bro, I will make it a thing because I am a trendsetter. I don't know why, but the sentences coming out of your guy's mouth sound like it's from a song or something. Uh, where are we again? Oh, great. Can someone wake up Joseph? Look, there are some children. Ah, where are they? I need to sniff. Wow, you learned that move from the best. Yeah, I learned that from Ben. Hold the truck up. Since when did you hop on a call with Benny? Anyways, I, I think we should pay attention to the game. Bro's definitely dating Benny, LOL. Honey, are you actually dating Ben? I'm not dating Ben. I already did that, and we're getting married next week. What? I did not give you permission to do this. But I don't need your permission. As long as I got my mom's permission, then it's all fine. Wait, Melania knows about this. Of course she does. I cannot believe you are marrying that math nerd. Will you guys focus on the game? I need to win this. We'll talk later, Ivanka. Trumpy, if you need Benny taken on a vacation, then hit me up on the grams. I got you, Joe. No turn for you, Dad. Bro, I want to play to win. The only thing you'll be winning is the Worst Father in America Award. There ain't no such thing, dog. And besides, I'm the greatest father in person in the world. Uh, I'm not too sure about that one, bro. Obama, why did you just flip it again? Because this side is a lot better. Good thing I have a flip card to play. Ah, come on. You could have kept that card to yourself. Nah, broski. The dark side isn't good at all. Trumpy, why the pickles did you just do that? Because I wanted to keep it on the dark side. Ivanka is running low on cards. No, that's just your imagination again. Oh, wait. Maybe this is my imagination. Joe, this isn't your imagination. She's actually running very low on cards. What do we do? Obama, what are you doing? Ha 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 ha. Thanks for the easy win. Obama, why the hell did you do that? I don't know. I'm going to send some missiles to your house, Obama. Yeah, I hate this game. I hate the internet. And I hate ignorant people like obama i'm not ignorant oh i just misclicked truck you jokey what game mode did you put on now i put on the your mom game mode there ain't no such thing joseph whoa when the hell did bush join the game i joined when i invited melania over for dinner guys let's settle down the game just started yeah and it'll end with me winning in your dreams bushy terp why the hell did you just do that because you deserved it for being you bro i like being myself since Trump did Joe dirty, I shall plus two bushy wushy. Obama, I thought we were on good terms. No one is ever on good terms when you play this rage-inducing game. Obama be spitting facts, dog. Yeah, and I'm also spitting cancel cards. Bro, what the hell? Ah. You good, Bushy? Oh, hell no, but I am doing good in this game. Wow, thank you so much, Trump. Now I can finally do this. Bro, there was no reason to do that. Bro, you literally canceled me and gave me two cards. This game is rigged. Kind of like that other thing. Trunk, stop being an orange wine baby. Bro, it's true though. The only thing that is true is my and Ivanka's wedding. You are not marrying my daughter. Stay away from Ivanka. It's too late, Trunk and Donuts. She planned everything already. Joe, mark my words. I will find a way to ruin the wedding. If you ruin the wedding, you ruin your relationship with her. And that's a true statement. As long as she doesn't marry you, everything will be fine. You're a careless father, and that's why I'm taking all of your cards. Ah! What the hell? That's what happens when you try to ruin everything, Trunky Monkey. Wow, you called Obama a monkey again. I cannot believe this. What the hell? I was talking to you. Joseph Robinette Biden, my squad and I are going to pull up to your crib later. Obama, I swear on my mother I didn't call you that. Barricade, he's lying. It was very clear that he was talking to you. What the hell, Jokey Wokey? First Twitter, now Uno. Good job, Trinket. Barack, don't even start right now. Why? Are you afraid that you're going to lose just like that certain year? Obama, I'm going to smoke you in this game. For real, for real. Trunk, don't even try to be like the cool kids. Because all the cool kids, they seem to fit in. I wish that I could be like the cool kids. Joe, that is the saddest attempt at singing ever. Yeah, just like Bush being a sad man over here. 
Where, where, all I hear is crying, Bobomna. Shut your trap, Gorge. Mushroom Gorge, I love that nickname. Do not call me that. I'll call you whatever I want, Gorgie. Not gonna lie, that sounds a bit... It sounds a bit what, hmm? Never mind. Obama, stop jumping in! All right, fine, only because you're a fragile and crusty fossil. Wow, I can finally agree with something that Obama says. Yeah, and I can easily snatch those cards from your tangerine hands. Ah, I am not a freaking tangerine. What the hell is that? It's a randomized card. Jokey Smokey, we can talk about this. No, this is stupid. I appreciate the cards, Bama. Joseph, I can't let you do that to my homie. Ah, I'm going to marry Ivanka today. Oh yeah, baby, take these dumb cards back. Oh, I knew you were going to do that. It must be such a shame to not have three cards, Trunky Monkey. Why did you do that? I'm going to lose my freaking marbles. The only thing you'll be losing is next year. Jokey, Joker, Joey, Joseph, Junk Tray, Jokey, Wokey, Jokey, Smokey, Bidden, Bidet, shut the hell up. Bro just used his nickname, Emote Wheel. Did you just burp into your microphone? I'm sorry about that. I chugged a whole thing of Mountain Dew before this. Uh, I know a lot about Mountain Dew. Dog, wasn't your old profile picture of you holding a can of Mountain Dew? Yes, Jokey. It was. Guys, Bushy has two more cards. Not anymore. <laughs> I hope you lose, Joker. Thank you, Mr. Bama. What the hell? I clicked the wrong button. Thank you, Bushy Wushy Smushy. Barricade and Bushy, I will personally ask your daughters if they want to meet Dream. You ain't going to do nothing, and I'll make sure of it. Hi, Hunter. How's it going? That's great to hear. Well, I was wondering if you could put some of the green stuff into your dad's Holy bag. Holy shoot, it's Joey! That ain't me, you fat orangutan! I'll give you a small loan of a million dollars. Obama Hunter won't do that for a small loan of a million dollars. Great, I'm glad that works for you. Alrighty, I'll talk to you later. What the hell? I'm calling Hunter. Too late, Joseph. He just turned off his phone. Gorge, I'm calling your daughters next. Wow, I was expecting that to be said by Joseph. What the hell? Easy, got him. Shut the hell up! Dog, I thought you were still taking Michelin Man's meditation. Oh, heck no, we do something else instead. Trunk, you better not be taking her out to dinner. Look, she and I are perfect for each other. Stop saying that nonsense. Michael is, I mean, Michelle is not into you. I knew he was a man. I'm dumping this sack of Trump, sh watch your mouth. Since when did you become the family-friendly guy? Since D's nuts. Ha 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 ha. Boys, Trump is getting a bit low on cards. That's just your eyes, Bobamna. Yeah, Uno, baby. Oh, shoot, what do we do? Yeah, ha ha ha. You suck. Bush! What the actual hell? Bush, what is wrong with you? You gave him the win for free! I just want to personally thank you, Bush, for being such a good player. Up yours, you tangerine. You rigged this game as always. All right, Mr. Towers. Trump, stop being a sore winner. We get that you're the grapefruit who won a card game. Where the hell do you pull these nicknames from? You're at- Shut your freaking mouth. Oh, here we go again. Joseph, learn to grow some peaches once in a while. I already grew some peaches. Jill and I were able to give them to Hunter. Uh, what the hell? Did you guys just hear what Joseph R. Biden just said? Joe, that is weird and creepy as hell. What? All I said was that we gave our peaches to Hunter. Our peaches? Joe, is Jill just like Manchel? My wife is not a freaking man. I have said this countless times. Do you want to see her driver's license? Barack, we don't need to see anything. Your wife is clearly a man. End of story. Bye-bye. See you later. This ain't no end of the freaking story. Stop calling my beautiful wife a man. Guys, we really should focus on the game. It will relieve everyone's anger. You said that right as Obama took my cards. Ah! Which color? Yellow. Choose yellow. Yes. What the fudge? This game is dog water. Oh, never mind. You're so lucky, Trunker. That wasn't luck. It's just pure skill from the amazing Donald Turnp. What the hell? Thank you, Turnkey Dernkey. Now I'm gonna win this. I'm sorry for this, Turkey. What the fuck? Not so fast, Bushy Wushy. Mother Trucker, I pressed that freaking Uno button. I ain't no wimp. Let's challenge this. Ha 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 ha. Get got it. Ma Bro really turned into a goat. <laughs> Shut your mouth and place down a card to stop Barricade from winning. Uh, what game am I playing again? Hit that skeleton! This isn't Minecraft. Ah, uh, what the hell? Jump in. You better pray he doesn't have a green card. Oh, boys, it's time for an easy win. Oh, yeah, baby. Easy wins. Ah, uh, this happens every freaking time. Fudge, ah! Uh... Obama, you rigged this like I rigged the other thing. I agree with both of those statements. Obama, fudge you. You guys just need to get good. Ha 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 ha. Bro's laugh is like the Wicked Witch of the West. What the freaking hell? I did not deserve this. You dang well deserve that, plus two cards for messing up these past games. Fudge! 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 Ha <laughs> ha. No, you messed it all up again. Trump, will you stop calling me a cheater since I saved you from a plus four? Hell no! I'm calling you a cheater for the rest of this Uno session, you cheater. 
I'm calling him a cheater too. You rigged this game, you game rigger. Whoa, what the hell? Bush, why did you just say that word? Obama didn't give you the pass. Yeah, and now you're about to get a whooping from my gang when we finish this game. Obama, I didn't say the word. All I said was rigger. Holy shoot, he just said it again. Bush, you're gonna be in some heat soon. Nah, he's gonna be in some heat right now. Bush, I'm securing the current coordinates and sending it to my boys. Obama, I swear, this word is in the dictionary. Look it up. Bro, I'm infiltrating the dictionary's headquarters too. They should not have that word in there. Not gonna lie, you're kind of dumb. Just type in R-I-G-G-E-R. Oh, wait, you're saying rigor? Yes, that's what I've been saying. Boys, return back to the Obamium. It was a false alarm. (laughs) Ha ha ha, he actually thought Bush said the word. On second thought, change your destination to Mar-a-Lago. Hold up! What I meant to say was, oh, I guess those two words got mixed up. You freaking buffoon, I'll let you off the hook for now. Boys, change your destination again to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Wait, where is that located? Jokey Smokey, that's where the Baskin Robbins is located. I'm about to send my Secret Service men to that location. Let's see how your men can get through mine. (laughs) Ha 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 ha, I can't. (laughs) This is too funny. Bro, this is too funny. (laughs) First off, what's so funny? Second off, Trumpy just copied you. Turnip, stop copying me. Also, nothing is funny. Ha 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 ha. Just tell me what's so funny or else I will plus four you, Trumpy. Turnip, just take the four cards. It's worth not telling him the thing. Obama, I know Joey. He does not have a plus four. If he had one of those, then he would have used it already because he's an old man. Ah, that makes total sense, Joe. Don't lie about your cards. Take that! Whoa, what the hell is that card? Bro, this is dumb. Everyone can see my cards. Dude, this game mode is amazing! <laughs> I agree. Uh, why is there a cloud covering your cards? Hold up, he has his Secret Service men modding the game. Joseph, you're cheating again. When will you learn? Hold the truck up. This is an actual thing you can get in the game. I didn't have anyone mod this game. Bush, can you confirm this information? I can confirm that it does make your cards disappear. Wow, this game's rule cards are so dumb. Actually, I think they are amazing. Amazing. Like the way you're able to make your cards disappear is easy game. Oh, shut up. You're only saying that because you got lucky and got that rigged card. Oh, that's weird. I can smell something. It kind of smells like jealousy. <laughs> Bro's voice box was about to explode. Oh, you canceled me. <laughs> Suck this, Mr. Yemen. Bush, you have no right to talk. Go crawl back into the hole you came from. For your information, I did not come from a hole. I came from your mother's house. Boys, I'm about to pull a big brain move. Oh, no way. I really didn't think I was going to get an actual card to play. Also, I think it's about time we do something about this stupid cloud thing. Don't you dare, Turk! Give me those cards, Jokey. What? No! Sounds like someone needs their husband. Jill is not my husband and will never be my husband. But you were talking about her having peaches earlier. We do have peaches. They are even freshly picked. Bro, I think you need to get a new husband. Michael is always available. I'm going to lose my freaking mind. Ah, right. she is a woman. Boys, we need to focus on the game. Yeah, let's just focus on the game now. I don't like how you said that. I knew something was fishy. Gosh, dang it. Just kidding. Hey, <laughs> hey. Obama, do you want to see something happen to Michael on Tuesday? Ain't nothing going to happen to Michelle. She is being heavily protected by my Obamium guards. Dog, I just found Michael. This really is her true form. Stop insulting my wife. Her name is Michelle LaVon Robinson Obama, and she is not obese like Turk. This is not fat. I am just big bone. Also, I have been working out, so it's technically muscle too. Ah! Jump in! Yeah, baby! Turkey Durkey, stop yelling. It's not very appropriate. I will do what I want to do, Bushy Wushy. Now go read some more children's books before I build a wall straight through your and Laura's house. I dare you to do it, tricycles. You ain't got the peaches to do it. Watch me, Bushy. Bro, you're so lucky I don't have a plus four card. Man, that sounds like a skill issue. Bro really just jumped in. Now it's time for Jokey Smokey to pick up some cards. It's such a shame, Joker. Trump, I know what you and Pence did last night. Don't make me tell Melania everything. Wait, that's who the mysterious old man was who was following us. You're a creep. Look, I was following you guys because I got lost in Walmart and didn't know where to go because I was very sleepy. Joseph, is that what you did to Tara before you made your move? Uh, I did not have any relations with that woman. Hey, that kind of sounds like what Bill said about Monica. Yeah, that is exactly what he said, and he really did have relations with her. Look, Tara and I didn't do anything. She was just full of it. Joseph, I hope you go to court for pulling a bill and a dream. But I love Dream's work. He loves the children so much just like me. Caught in 4K 60 FPS. Post this to YouTube. Post this to Instagram. Post this to Twitter. No, anything but Twitter. They don't like me on there at all. Guys, shut your mouths. Bush, stop switching cards. Hell no. Oh, shoot. Just keep the cards. Hell no. You can take this junk back. Hmm. I'm quite curious about these cards you guys are fighting over. No, not my cards. Dog, 
These are amazing cards. What the actual hell? Bro, nothing can beat the unstoppable color changing card. I wonder if that card could be used outside the game. What? Do you want to turn black so you can say the word? Why do you always have to turn something into something else? I was just going to say something about changing your skin color to being more orange than what it is now. Bush, can you confirm this information? Bro, why the hell are you asking Bush? He's not black or orange. Yeah, but he does know a bit about you since you guys have been very close friends. I haven't talked to Bush in five months. What the hell do you mean? Bro, we were literally at the bar last night. The hell, Barry? You said you were working last night, not drinking with Bush. Look, you're my best friend and all, but I feel like you've been getting a little bit too close to Michelle. Don't you freaking say it. But the Michelin man is a man. Uh, I think Obama just passed out or something. Nah, I think he's just heartbroken to hear the truth. Anyways, I think it's time to switch it up. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, ha. I actually think Obama's asleep or going crazy. I am high, yeah, yeah, not going crazy. Yep, he's definitely going to need some of Joey's pills. But my pills are only for the dementia. Joe, your pills were never for the dementia. The pills were actually for the craziness you always had. I was never crazy. Now you're just making stuff up like the time you said you were going to make America great again. How the hell did I make that up? I actually did make America great again, and it was in the best shape since the invention of massive walls. No, it wasn't. I think you need some of my pills because you are just a big orange. If I'm an orange, then I don't need pills because I will always have the vitamins and nutrients to keep me in good health. Uh, hi guys. I'm glad we're able to sit down and play UNO again. What the he? Joe, wake up. And you're just a big orange because you know how things work. You know what? I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, anyways, how is everyone's day going? Oh, mine is going absolutely swell. Bushy, I'm going to call up Laura and tell her that you and Obama have been going to the bar at night. Hold the truck up. I misclicked on that plus two. Bush, I know what you intended to do with it. You did not misclick anything. Look, maybe I can slip you a few documents that Joe has given to me over the past three years. Oh, hell yeah, you got yourself a deal. Just send them to Mar-a-Lago. Aren't the Secret Service men at Mar-a-Lago? Yeah, but I hired Bill to intercept the mailman for me. Thanks for the info, Donnie. Obama, it's time for you to pick up four cards. <laughs> Joseph, I just want you to know that Bush is going to get you. Ha ha! ha Are you kidding me? Eight cards. Hey, you can blame Joseph for starting it. I was just following his orders. That's bullradish. And now it's time for sweet payback. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy freaking shoot! Sixteen cards. Ha ha ha! What the hell is this game? Uh... <laughs> Sixteen fudging cards are insane. Also, that was very deserved barricade. Shut up, Joseph. Wait, you started that card thing. I'm sending drones over to your house. Not if I hack the mainframe. But before I do that, I need to switch it up. Not my cards. I had a lot of good ones in there. Bush, these are absolute trash. Bush, I can brighten up your day with a plus two card. <laughs> That's just great. Thanks, Trunk and Donuts. Yeah, baby. It's on no time. I'm totally going to win this game. Oh, shoot. Uh, Bush, what do I do? Ah, tactical plays. You handed Obama to the win. Thanks for the easy win. He was bluffing. Oh, Phil. You guys are so lucky. I almost had the win. <laughs> you weren't even close, Baralaralar. Oh, trust me. If someone had my cards, they would see how close I was. Oh, really? Then let's really see how close you were to winning oh great he's got two blue cards what the hell don't give away what cards i have this is what happens when you be a big dunderhead obama bush we need to stop him from winning all right then change the card number jokey he has a blue eight Ew. oh yeah i got an uno now time to obtain this win Ha, ah, you can't win because I changed the color. Joe, can you place down another three? Uh, sure. Joker, no, you gave him the win. Hell yeah, another win in the belt for Dolan Trump. Joe, I'm gonna get John Wick on you. Frick you, Obama and Trump. This game is dumb. Oh yeah, I'm a winner, ha <laughs> ha. Idiot Trump. Jokey wokey, this better not be another one of your weird game modes again. Don't worry, it's not. I made sure to be sober before I clicked anything. Holy shnikes, is that your son? No, I think that's my 14th daughter. Dad, do you seriously not remember me? I'm your freaking son. Dog, I don't own a son because if I did, then it wouldn't be in the sky anymore. Man, your father just keeps getting dumber and dumber by the day. Maybe it's because I keep slipping some of my sugar into his ice creams. Dog, that stuff don't do nothing to me. I smoked the Zaza with my homie Obama, so your stuff is weak. Joke Keep that on the down low. I don't want Epstein back at my door asking for more of that good stuff. I will PayPal you both to shut up about your stupid addictions. Actually, can you donate it to my 2024 re-election campaign? I'm really desperate. Frick no! Go beg some other old hags for their money, you wrinkly skin freak! Guys, calm down. Let's just play some Uno. Good
Good call, Hundy. Oh, I got the old switcheroo. Broccoli, you're so nice. But honestly, since you're black, you can go first. Is this the part where I can make black jokes? Turpy Wurmpy, we're not doing that. Also, take this, you wigger. Whoa! Obama, did you just hear that? I didn't say it. I swear. All I said was wigger. Ha <laughs> ha! He said it again. Uh, Barack, are you good over there? Joe, you little piece of racist. I'm gonna come over there and shove my hand up your. You punk little. Why don't you catch these hands, you old. Where's the aspirin? Brock, let's calm down and take deep breaths. How in the hell am I supposed to take deep breaths after what Joe said and what you just did? Look, I jumped in so you can have your turn back. Just take deep breaths. I don't need deep breaths. I think I'm good now. Heck yeah! Time to get this Uno win. Joe, don't do anything stupid. What the hell? Joe, you gave him the win. Uh... You guys suck. This epic win will go straight into my job resume. You're never gonna get hired, you smoker. Ah, sounds like someone is jealous. Why in the hell would I be jealous of someone putting something so useless into their resume? Honestly, Twitler has a good point. If you want to get hired, then you need to put something in there along the lines of child sniffing. You only do that if you want to be like Crooked Joe over here. Shut the hell up. I don't sniff kids. Dad, didn't you sniff those two kids you were watching? over yesterday oh hell no joe did you seriously sniff my children that nancy pelosi fella told me that if i sniff them then i would get yummy food joe your secret service men better be ready to fight because i'm sending all of my obomium guards to the white house i have ice cream men come at me you stupid nit. say it you coward boys 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 you're all pretty can we get back to the game before joe actually says the word oh trumpy wumpy it's time for you to give me your cards ha 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 what the hell? Bro, you suck! I love you too, Turp. Turkey Durkey, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. <laughs> Challenge the card, Daddy Trump. Hold the hell up, bidet. Never call me that again or else I'll send my dog after you. <laughs> this game! Rumpy Dumpy, don't be upset. He eat some spaghetti. Uh, Joe, open your mouth again and I will come into your room just to slap you silly. A bunger, do you have a plus two card? Heck yeah. Hunter, do you have one as well? Hell no. This game is a heaping pile of dog water. Ha ha ha! That's karma, you son of a birch! What did I do? You tried to make me pick up six cards! Turkey, you just made a big mistake. Ha ha ha! One card left. Nerds. Joe, what are you doing? Yeah. Thanks for the win. Ha ha ha! You always bluff when you have one card, you bald man! That's it. It's dance dance time. Honey, what the hell is that? Oh, Dad, your forgetful mind will soon see what it is. I? What is going on? Hunter, what did you do? I had one card left and you just used some stupid card to get it taken away from me. Ah! Thanks, Hunter! Now this game will last forever when I pick up so many cards! <laughs> I'm glad it will be that long because I can now push off the dinner Ivanka and I was gonna go to... What the hell? Ivanka was having dinner with me, you little smoker. Neither of you will be taking my daughter anywhere. <laughs> so stop it right now! Barricade, why did you do that? That's... Oh, I'm gonna have the FBI raid you like they did to me. Oh, that reminds me. How's your time in jail going, uh... Dog, shut it. I ain't in jail and will never be in jail. Oh, really? Then why did you say that you'll be surrendering soon? Hold up! Was that the aliens? I knew my friends at the White House weren't lying. Joe, your friends at the White House are literally about to step into their graves. They have no idea what they're talking about. But my friends are kids. There's no way they're gonna unalive. Joe, when you referred to yourself as daddy toward those children that one time and offered them ice cream, did they really come to the White House or did you take them? The world may never know, Baralaralar. Trump, stop it. That's not again. Not as, as, uh, uh, Challenge it, you weenie hut junior. Come on, fix my luck, dumb game. Our hell freaking yeah. Suck it, Turpy and Hunty. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh. No, Hunter, you son of a beasting. Hell yeah. You never press the button, dirt block. Hey. <laughs> I hate this freaking game. Stupid cards, stupid people, and stupid Warpy. I... Obama, here's a little song I wrote. Might want to sing it, note for note. Don't worry, be happy. Shut the hell up before I blow up the entirety of Florida. Oh, thanks for the cards, old bonkers. Ha <laughs> ha! Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, wow, I can't believe you, Obanyanas. You really stole Joe Salinas' cards. Don't even. These were my freaking cards to begin with. It. That's a bunch of fake news. Jokey, we're gonna get your cards back. Don't worry. Thanks, Dad. Daddy Trumpy Wumpy. Dad, I will not tolerate this behavior anymore. If you keep being weird, then I'll stop supplying you and Bama with my sweet stuff. Hey! Hold on there, homie. Joe will stop acting weird from now on. Isn't that right, Joey? Oh, I think there's children in front of my house. Be right back. Jill, take the keyboard. 
I gotta go capture those children. Hunter, I swear to you, I will make sure this weirdness of his will go away. Just give me a day or two to prove it. All right, fine. Also, thanks for the cards. Oh, whatever. As long as you don't stop supplying us, then it's fine. Wait, how the heck is Joe playing right now? Well, I think Jill is taking over for him since he went to do something. Ha ha, suck it, Jilly! Uh, Jill, are you there? I think she's muted right now. What the hell, bomber? I think you know what has to be done, Hunter. Challenge it or else you're a pansy. Come on. No! Ha 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 ha! This is funnier than that time Obunga got slapped by his husband. Michelle is not a man. She is a straight female woman. No! Ha ha ha! Looks like someone didn't have the right card to play. Ha 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 ha! Hold up! There's no way! Ha 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 ha! What is this game mode? Uh, this is rigged! Oh, no. Whoa! What does that do? I hope it does your mother, you orange-looking piece of crud. Keep my mother's name out your freaking mouth before I come over there and slap the living hell out of you. Just like you did with Vince? Ha 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 ha! Weak stuff, dog! Shut the hell up! Hunter has one more card D. Jill, don't do anything stupid when it's your turn, uh... Wait, he has two cards now. That must have been what that dance card does. What the heck? I got one too! This is rigged! Hey, boys! Sorry for taking so long. Those kids were running too fast for me to catch them. Joe, shut up about the kids. Hunter's going to stop giving us that stuff if you keep being Mr. Cupcake. Dog, I don't like cupcakes. I only like ice cream cake. That's my third favorite one. Oh, then is your second favorite one the snozberry flavor? Ha 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 ha! That actually is my second favorite flavor. Now challenge it, tricycle. First off, I can't believe you love big blue kids. Second off, hell no! Well, actually, psych. You're a coward, Turpy. This is why you're going to jail. Uh, I'm not going to jail! Just face the facts, Term. It was inevitable anyways. Oh yeah, this is also inevitable. Obongos. Ha 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 ha. Hunter, why don't you shove that one card up your rear? Maybe I will, dog. Uh, yo, what the hell, Hunty? Trumpty Dumpty, it's time for you to get a plus four again. Dog, I'm more powerful than last time. I will win this challenge like I did in your mother's bed. We'll see, turkey worky. No freaking way. It's not... Ha ha go suck on those Oz. You lost again to the massive D, Trump. Dog, you rigged this game like you rigged Georgia's votes. Joseph, I had to do it so I could win in 2020. Oh! The aliens are back. Where's my mommy? I want my mommy. Dad, shut your mouth and grow a pair of peaches. Jeez. Hunter, he had peaches, but he and his wife donated them. Tourniquet, don't start this weird thing again. I don't want to talk about his wife being a man. Wait, how did you know Jill wasn't a woman? Wait, what? My mother is a man? No, of course not. Jill is a woman and always will be because that's what Jill does. Oh, hell no. Mom does woman. Ah, but today I officially hate you more than turnkey. Not so fast. I am the most hated person in your list. Sorry. Ha 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 ha. Thanks, Obominator. Ha ha ha. Okay, it's time to pull some of that luck out of my rear because this is a big issue that needs to be dealt with. Ah! You mother... I'm gonna shove a whole load of wood up your come at me head i'll slap you will smith style keep crying truck <laughs> yeah you wine baby do you need some cheese cries with that wine burger <laughs> obama good news my tech team just told me that i will win this game guaranteed so sucks to suck hunter and obanka what the hell what did i do to deserve this i was just sitting here yeah you haven't been messed with in a while so i took care of you freaking oldie I'm not old. I'm just big boned. Wait, I mean, I'm not old. I'm just young and hip. Speaking of hips, did you ever get that hip replacement since you're older than the fossils in the ground? Dog, I don't need anything replaced. Actually, I need you replaced because you're a stupid liar. And stop placing down reverse cards. I'm getting sick of it. Wow, since you're getting sick of it that easily, you must have a very weak immune system. And we all know why that is. Oldie. Ha ha ha. You got got it, Joller Bill. Shut your black face up. I'm tired of you being mean to me. <laughs> if you call me that ever again, I will take the president of Ukraine to dinner without you. Bro, he ain't gonna go with some weirdo that drone strikes hospitals. Look, it was their fault that they didn't leave the building when I fired at them. And besides, they were trash talking our country. Will you two shut the hell up? We're here to have fun and play the game, not to bicker about dumb things. All right, fine. I don't want to hear another racist thing come out of anyone's mouth then. Fine by me, dog. Anyways, how has everyone's day been so far? It's been fine. Jill and I went to a Ferris wheel and I thought I was going to fall because 
Ben Shapiro was behind us screaming, you're going to fall, you incompetent old man. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Honestly, W. Ben for that. Yeah, Ben's doing us all a service. Uh, I know this is probably bad, but I've never seen or spoken to Ben before. Bro, that's definitely a good thing. He is a literal idiot who won't shut up about the speck of dirt or something like that. Bro, I remember when Ben was talking about that. I think I blew him up afterward. Nah, Hillary actually blew him up. It was hilarious to hear about his blown up house. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that was pretty hilarious. Oh yeah, baby. Time to do a little bit of trolling. Thank you. My cards were mega trash. Yeah, now you get my heaping pile of trash. Well, it's not trash, but it's kind of like your presidency. Oh, so they're the best cards? Wow. I'm so honored. Honored to have the worst president in history tell me that I'm the best. Oh, bomber, since you roast my presidency as well, I'm going to have to take those cards of yours away from you. What the Fortnite? Oh, ha 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 ha. Got him. What in the Harry Potter is this magical spell? I hate this game. Bro, you're a nerd. I didn't know that you knew what Harry Potter was. Heck yeah, man. Me and my homeboy Snoop watch it every week. And while we're watching it, we smoke that Zaza, dog. What the cheese puff? Snoop didn't tell me nothing about you guys watching Harry Potter while smoking that Zaza. Yeah, that's because we didn't want you bringing over Manchel to our place again. Oh, is it because she doesn't want us to hit the Zaza? Yes, Broccoli, that's why. Look, I'll try to sneak out of the house without her knowing. Just invite me when you guys binge the movies again. Nerds, watch this epic big brain move. Get canceled, snow addict. Turnip, I am not addicted to that stuff anymore. I gave up on it. Weren't you talking about supplying Joey and Sweet Home Alabama with that good old sweet stuff? Oh, that. Turnpy. I was talking about lollipops and chocolate. Ha ha ha! Also, this is payback for canceling me before. Uh, what the heck? Bro, I'm exposing your underground dealings to Fox News! No! Why did you do this, Obama? Uh, I had three cards, dog. I accidentally clicked it when Wormpy said that he was going to expose our dealings. Hunter, I'm gonna tell everyone that you are an addict to a certain thing. Uh, it was a misclick, dog. I would never do such a thing to my best bud. Don't even. You didn't misclick anything, Og. Uh, Michelle, get that weird news reporter guy that keeps stalking our every move. I have a good story for him. Wait, call your dog off. I'll send you three times more of what you normally get. What the hell did you just call my wife? Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm hopping in my car and driving to your house. Michael. Oh, crud. Michelle, play this Uno game for me. I have to beat someone's rear. Hunter, Obama literally has six-pack abs. You may want to hide. Bro, he's literally so far from me. It'll be a while until he gets here. I wouldn't say a while because I'm pretty sure he's only five minutes away. Hello, is anyone there? Ah, hello there, Manchelle. We were just talking about your angry wife. Oh, great. What did you frail and old politicians do now to make my Obamiwami angry? Well, to start off, Joe called him a blackface and then Hunter called you a dog. Joe and Hunter, why the heck are you guys being so mean to me and my wife? I mean, husband. Gosh dang it, Rump. Don't ever call me Rump. Well, he threatened to tell everyone about my underground dealings with him and Joe. Wait, you still sell those sweets to my Obama? Look, I needed money because Joe took everything from me. Hold the school bus up. I didn't take nothing. However, you took all of the kids from my basement because it was so bad. Yeah, you know that you'll get in trouble for doing it, but you still tried to do it. You people are messed up. I hope Obama shows up at both of your doors. Oh, what's this card? Ah, ah, they're back for me. Get away, aliens. Joe, there's no such thing as aliens. Calm down. What a, did you do that for? Ah! Because you are being so annoying right now, you baby. All right, now it's my turn. Take this, scumder. Oh, Rumpy Dumpy, little do you know that I actually have one of those as well. Ha, 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 ha. Sucks to suck, Rumpin Michelin man. Frick this game. Where the hell is Obama? Oh shoot, he's here. I gotta hide. Hey, bring your laptop with you so we can keep this game going. That is such a bad idea. Let's do it. Hunter, you better hide good and well. My muscular man will search every square inch to find the person who made fun of me. Yeah, listen to the man. He knows so much about his muscular wife. Joe, I'm about to do what Obama did, except I will knock your teeth out. You have to get past my freakishly big wife before you can do anything to me. Joe, your wife is smaller than a sofa cushion. There's no way she's freakishly big. Also suck on that, Hunter D's. Hunter D's nuts! Ha ha ha! I see what you were doing there, orange orangutan. Michelle, I'm pressing the red button on my desk. Joseph, Obunga told me that you had your team program that button to bring you ice cream instead of sending a boom boom. Obongos is wrong! I would never program a red button to alert someone to bring me a birthday cake, surprise ice cream with sprinkles and a cherry on top! Dad, you did do exactly that. I've been in the White House before and you showed me it. That's fake news! Don't believe what you see in real life. I mean, in basements. I mean, on TV. Oh, I didn't mean.
mean to click that. Now Trumpy has three cards now. Joe, you're just hallucinating again. I actually have six cards. Oh, I guess you're right. Joseph, I have six cards. Oh, why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, I thought you had two cards. Trumpy, you lied to me. <laughs> Ow! Dude, stop yelling into your microphone. You almost blew out my eardrums. Nice try, Hunter. I have infinite plus four cards. <laughs> that doesn't matter because you're terrible at bluffing. <laughs> oh, shut your trap, Hunto. Next time my bluffing will be better than ever. Next time I will make America even greater again. Shut it, Tangerine. No one asked you to spew a bunch of nonsense. Stop canceling me. I did nothing wrong today. Uh, why did you say today? Were there other days that you did something bad? Well, uh, I may have helped Trump bring 10,000 oranges from Mexico on Saturday. Dog, that info is private. Stop yapping your jaws, dog. Stop taking my beautiful cards. Ah! Oh, Hunter, where are you? Oh, boy, looks like Zaro Bamba found his way into your house, hunty. Twitler, keep it down. Audio can leak outside of my headphones. Oh, is that so? Yes, now keep it down, please. I don't want to go to the hospital. Trump, stop it right now. Wait, I can hear something. Trump, you idiot. I gotta get out of here. You better run fast, dog. <laughs> Hold up. There you are. Get over here. Oh, hell no. I'm running from you, dog. Bro, I'm about to win, and Obongos is about to obliterate you. You ain't about to win. You're bluffing like always. Oh, shoot. He's a fast mother trucker. Stop running, you coward. Get him, honey. He called me a dog again. Uh, Michael, you're lying. Also, I don't know what card I played. You gave me two freaking cards. I hope Obama catches up to you. Oh, dog, this is my chance to get away. Oh, Bunga tripped on my stash. <laughs> where are my car keys? Hunter, look behind you. Thank you, Turnpy. You actually knew where they were. What the hell? That was supposed to scare you, not help you. By the way, thanks, Michael, for giving me fewer cards. Oh, great. That was so dumb because I'm picking up cards. Ha 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 ha. You suck, Mitchie. Ha ha ha. I'm starting my car. See you later, O-bombs. <laughs> Dog, I'm gonna win this time. I can feel it in my balls. Bro, what? I think Trump is officially more sus than me. I don't think so, dog. You were telling children to come to the White House for some ice cream. That's because I wanted to treat my young friends to some nice, yummy ice cream. No, he's gonna win. Ha ha ha. You didn't have the right card, you nitwit. Ha. Ah. Oh, shoot. Obama is trying to run me off the road. Bro, here's an easy solution. Just speed up. It's so easy. Bro, and I'm going so fast. Should I really do that? In real life, definitely not. In this fake video, definitely. Manchel, don't do anything stupid. Bro, I won't. I know exactly what to do. What are you about to do? Ah, now Trumpy has one card left, you numbskull. Thanks for the card, Michelle. You're not such a bad person after all. <laughs> I knew you were going to pull a card. Wait, what? I didn't think you were going to get a playable one. Shoot. Guys, I'm currently in Obama's house. Wait, what? Where are you? I'm entering the kitchen. Michelle, have you seen Hunter? I saw him walk into the house. Michelle, don't you dare tell him. Uh, yeah, he went into our second bedroom. Thanks, Michelle. Bro, why didn't you actually tell him? Because Hunter now owes me a bunch of that sweet stuff. I'll give as much as you want, dog. Thank you. Wait, did you just call me a- Hold up. I said D-A-W-G, not D-O-G. Never mind that. I'm about to win this amazing game. Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha. Ah. No, you aren't. Not in a million years. Choose green. Michelle, why did you choose this color? Because he's doing this stupid thing where he says to choose a certain color. But in reality, it's a different color. So we choose a different color that he doesn't say. Oh, man, this is about to determine everything. Michelle, you buffoon. Gosh, dang it. Stupid colors that I don't have always ruin everything. Psych. Ha ha ha. I'm a winner. You guys are losers. You freaking suck, you dog. I didn't know it was going to be a cancel card, old hag. You little piece of trash. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh... That's what you get. Oh, of course. Trumpy one. You suck, term. I love you too, Barricade. Thanks to everyone on screen for becoming a member. Also, thanks for watching. Joseph, what DLC did you choose this time? Oh, I think I chose the nuclear one. Joe, what the heck? You just left it as the regular DLC Uno. Whoopsie, I must have forgotten to press the button on the screen. Hello, you crusty and old politicians. I see we are playing a game of Uno on this fine day. Get the hell out of here, Ben. No one wants to play with your idiocy. Calm down there, you boomer. Did you make sure to take the pills that your wife keeps in the medicine cabinet? I'm about to open a can of <laughs> whooping if you don't shut up in the next five seconds. Oh, take this, you frail old man. 
don't worry, Joe. I'll save you. Like father, like son. Stop meat riding, Obama. Obama, what the flip? This is unacceptable. Oh, Obama, your meat riding didn't do crud. Ha 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 ha. Take that, Joe. You mother fricker. I feel like saying the word you meanie. Hold the hell up. What freaking word are you talking about? I think. Oh, I'm talking about the N word. Joseph, it'll be curtains for you if that word slips out of your mouth. What's wrong with the N word? I love saying it to all the young kids. What the hell? Biden, I'm about to drone your house for being racist again. Ah, uh, daddy, don't bomb me again. Jill wasn't happy when you did it last time. Well, you stupid buffoon, shut the hell up so we can play a civil game of Uno. Will you people stop skipping me? It's stupid. Keep placing reverse cards. We need to keep his turn out of reach. What the hell? You guys are cheaters. I knew I should have just gone to Michelle's wedding. Hold up. Michelle ain't having no wedding with another man. You're right. It's not a man. It's actually a woman. <laughs> oh, shut the hell up. The next time I see you, I will knock your teeth out. You won't be able to do that because you have woman hands. Guys, shut the freak up. I'd love to see Obama break his hand whilst breaking Trump's teeth, but now's not the time. We need to play Uno. You're a cheesy old dude. No one wants to hear your BS. Everyone wants to hear my BS because it's way wiser than your BS. <laughs> I can't with this guy. Joe, you're an idiot. No, he's the definition of dumb because he is just that dumb. Ha 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 ha. Joe, read a book or something. I think your brain hasn't taken in any knowledge since the prehistoric days. Obama, you rigger. Why did you do that? What in the actual hell did you just say to me? You heard me, you rigger. Whoa. Ha 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 ha. Obama about to go ape. First, Ben says the N-word. Second, Trump calls me an ape. And now he just stole my cards. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, Mr. Coco Bean? Hey, Joe, I'm gonna send you a file. Just open that and then run the program. Oh, okay, I got you, Obama. Hey, Secret Service men, can you do what Obama just said? Thank you. Oh, great. Obama just sent Joe pictures of me smooching Michelle. No, he sent me a secret program to run. Hey, Joseph, can you tell me what the name of the program is? I'm just curious about it. Oh, yeah, it's called- Joe, shut up. You cannot tell anyone the name of it. Oh, okay, Dad. Ben, my dad said that I can't tell anyone the name of the secret program. I'll I'll give you a cargo ship full of kids and ice creams if you tell me what it's called. Oh, hell yeah. Deal. It's called the Black Man's Cheat Software. Joe, what the hell? Barack, you're a slippery lib and a cheater. I knew we shouldn't have invited you to this game. Yeah, we should have sent you to the- Shut the hell up, Ben. Joe, if you run that program, then you'll be a wuss for the rest of your life. Um, Dad, I don't want to be a wuss. What do I do? Trump's words don't mean nothing. Just run the freaking program before I shut down the whole ice cream industry. That won't do anything because I got Uno, baby. <laughs> Let's see you beat this, nerds. What the hell? No! There ain't no way in hell that I'm gonna lose to a load of cheaters. Ben, use your big brain. What are we gonna do? We need to stop Obama's turn from happening. Well, I can't do anything. Joe, can you place down a different card than red? Hell no. My dad is gonna win this game. Great! Ben, I'm drawing cards. Okay, keep drawing until you get another color. There's no chance that you two are gonna stop me. Ha ha ha! Just give it up. Well, we just lost the game, Ben. I hate you, Obama. You're a cheater. Wait, what the hell? I thought he had a red card. I thought he did too. Let's just see what it really is. You mother frickers, this game is trash. Ha 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 I got him, Daddy Obama. I got him. Oh, Joseph, just for doing that, I'm gonna take those moist cards from your wet and crusty hands. Oh no, Barack, he stole my cards. Do I run the program? Oh my freaking gosh. I told you to run the program when I sent it to you. What the actual hell is wrong in that head of yours? Did someone drop you from a high place when you were younger? Or did someone inject you with stupid serum? Oh. Oh, I eat stupid serum every day. It is so tasty. In fact, I feel like eating some right now. Oh, Trump, that was so mean of you. You need to apologize right now. I ain't apologizing to a cheater. You deserve to be skipped, you buff. Boone. Wow. Obama, Trump is saying mean things to me again. Will you stop acting like I'm your dad? I ain't and never will be the father of a brainless idiot. Barack, I didn't say anything about Trump. Says the guy who everyone thinks is a stupid, brainless, dumb, old and crusty idiot. Obama, stop cheating. We all know you're using the big black cheat program or whatever it was called. No, dog. That was just pure skill from the mighty Obama. Oh, now we're stealing nicknames, huh? Well, how about I shove these cards up your and we'll see if stealing my nickname was worth it. Trump, I get that you're down bad, but you don't need to be so sus. Guys, I'm gonna change the color to black. I love that color. Joe, that's the color blue. You really need to go back to kindergarten, kid. Dog, I went to kindergarten yesterday, but not to learn. Huh? What? 
Oh, Benny boy, it's time for you to take this big fat oh. <laughs> Why do you keep doing this to me? I didn't even say any racist slurs this time, dog. You just admitted to saying the N word. You're a freaking racist, bro. Deal with it, Brownie. There's more where that came from. <laughs> this game session just keeps getting better and better. No, it's not. You guys are saying meanie weenie things to my big, big daddy Obama. Uh Will you shut the hell up? Uh, I'm not your f***ing dad. Yeah, he's not your dad. He's actually your mom. Your real dad is the Michelin Man. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest plot twist in gaming history. I need to call him. Don't call my freaking wife, you piece of crud. I will have you erased from the map if you do. Thank you, Obama. Now I have less cards. Ha 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 Goofball. Uh, dad, is that you? Joe, why the hell are you calling my public phone? You're supposed to call the secret one if you want to talk to me about the thing. Oh, this isn't about the thing. I just found out that you're actually my dad, not Obama. Hold up! What is the thing? Joe, I am not your dad. Your dad ain't alive. But, Dad, hello? He hung up on me. I'm canceling the date we had tonight. You are not going out with my wife. I will literally snipe you if I see you near our house. Barack, I think you need to do some meditation because the anger is getting to you again. Oh, shut the frick up. I want to see you deal with an old bag that won't stop bothering you. Stop! I hate you! Stupid! 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 I hate this! Don't worry, Mommy. I can get those cards back from the orange orangutan. You're a freaking doofus! I hope you drop the next bowl of ice cream you get! You take that back right now, you fat, orange, spray tan, ugly, Mars-looking orangutan. Hell no! Mommy, why did you give me cards? Take this, you monkey. Ha 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 ha. Buffoon. You're pushing it, you piece of sh Keep it up and I'll expose what you and your sister did. Joe, what the hell? This is payback from earlier, you dingus. Challenge it, you wuss. Joe, you're crazy if you think I'm gonna challenge something so dumb. Get a clue. That just shows how much of a chimpanzee you are. <sighs> Wimp. Classic Joseph, always calling Obama a chimpanzee every time. Ah, uh, no. Ha 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 Looks like you didn't win, nerd. Get good. Shut up. I was supposed to win, but the big black cheater program told me to use a different card. You're actually using that. Wow. I guess we know who to not invite next time. Wait, I was just kidding. I would never use any cheating program named after the woman who made it. Joe, I'm not a woman. Just stop it right now. I'm sorry, Mommy. Oh, guys, I have one card again. Ben, there's really only one way we can stop him from winning. Do what you need to do, Trump. I don't want this crusty old man to win. Hey, I'm not crusty or old. I have very soft skin. Ah, uh, good play, Trump, but this will only delay him winning the game. This ain't going to delay him. It's going to stop him from winning. Hey, Mommy Obama, I had to pick up cards because I have do a- Do not say what cards you have. I will take you to the orphanage if you do. I'm sorry, Mama. I won't say anything. What the hell, Joseph? Oh, heck yeah! You forgot to hit the button! I didn't forget. Uh, the program told me not to hit it because of reasons. Trump, was that necessary? Oh, it was totally necessary. I definitely didn't want to pick up more cards or anything like that. Ben, I'm sorry, but I think I'm gonna pull a funny. Trump, don't you dare. Rah! Don't worry, kid. I'll save you. Oh, Joseph, you fell straight into my trap! Ha! <laughs> Wait, that wasn't supposed to happen. Trump, why the hell is it stuck on your turn? Frick you. Why the hell does this keep happening to me? Ah! Uh... Hey, Ben, I heard you love cards so much. Would you like some more? Don't you freaking dare do anything you'll regret, boy. Oh, hell nah. You better watch your kids tonight because they might be going on a vacation with Joe to a certain island. Oh, boy, I love going to the islands. You can do so many things on one of them. You ain't coming near my kids, bro. My buff bodyguards will protect my house at all costs. Shut up about that! Joe is at one card and I don't know which one it is. Joe, what does the black program say to do? It doesn't say anything. Wait, it says that I now have access to the N-word pass. Let's go. Yes, let's go. I know what that means. Hell yeah. I got the win. Easy, baby. You cheaters. I knew you guys used secret code words for this. I don't know what you're talking about, Orange. I think you're just hallucinating again. Oh, shut the hell up. I know your schemes, Mr. Black Man. Hey! Mr. Orange, shut your mouth. My mom is sensitive to those kind of words. Oh, I'm so sorry for hurting your mama's feelings. I better buy her some chocolate to make her feel better. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry for skipping you, mama. Joseph, we're done. I will no longer be your father. You aren't my father. You're my mom. I think you might have dementia or Alzheimer's. Well, I'm not your mother anymore. Bye-bye. Trump is now your mama. I don't want him to be my mom. I love my OG mommy. Trump signed the papers. He's legally your new mama. Yeah, and now I'm sending you to my favorite island. You're not my mama, and I'm not going to that island without my brother. Well, who's your brother? Brent Rivera is my brother, you nitwit. All right, I'll lock him in my cage and I'll send him there. Are you happy? Yeah, whatever, but I'm not calling you my mommy. You people are very strange. Obama, I think it's time for me to get my revenge. Ha ha ha. What the hell? Bro, I ain't challenging that. 
Freaking rigged. Sounds like someone is a bit mad because they got gotted. That's for cheating, you dork. Oh, shut it. You weren't even the one who placed the card. You're right, but Ben and I are technically working together since you guys want to use cheating programs. We didn't use cheating programs. I just got Joe to say a bunch of malarkey so you guys would think it was real. I knew it from the time I hacked into his computer and saw no big black man program. Wait, you hacked my computer while we were playing Uno? You're a creep. Oh, Joseph, I would love to see those cool looking cards. <laughs> oh, Obama, not so fast. I'll be taking those cards. Thank you very much. The hell? I got those cards fair and square. Oh, my dear Trumpy Wumpy, I think those cards actually belong to me. I'll be taking those back now. Thanks. Frick you! I hope the wheel on your wheelchair falls off. You take that back right now, Mr. What the hell did you just say to me, you little pipsqueak? You heard me, Mr. Orangutan. Shut the hell up. I don't want to hear this mother and son talk. I ain't no woman. Get off my back, you stupid nigga. <laughs> what the frick were you about to say there, you racist mother? I wasn't going to say anything. I just had a mix-up in my words. This is the last time I let this slide from anyone. Next time, it'll be over for you. Barack, have you ever thought of just talking with the person like a real gentleman instead of beating them up? Barack doesn't know how to be a gentleman. He only knows how to be ladylike. All right, Mr. Stormy Daniels, I think we heard enough from you. From my hypothesis, I can confirm that I will have an UNO. Not anymore, Benny boy. <laughs> That's how the master plays the game. Take this, Obamba. You little piece of crud. I helped you win the last game, and now this is how you repay me. Oh, Donald, it's time for more cards. No! I had a freaking Uno, and then you just got rid of it. I hope you lose. Up yours, buddy. You deserve that for being mean to me at the start. You're as soft as Joseph. Grow some hair on your peaches, you idiot. Obama. Mama, don't think we didn't see that. You freaking suck. Ha 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 ha. I love you too, Trump. Joseph, you are going to pay for Obama's actions. I didn't even do anything, Mommy. Whoa, whoa. Don't call me Mommy ever again. You ain't my son no more. Trump, I shall avenge you from earlier. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, Obama. Get ready. How about you shove this mother little dumb bull up your Oh, it sounds like someone is getting a little bit mad. Do you need your husband's meditation? Shut the up, you orange looking. Oh, boo hoo, look at me. I'm a crying little baby named Barack Obama. Go back to Crybabyville, you toddler. Come on, give me a freaking card. Hell yes, I'll be placing that. Uh, Trump, are we still working together? Hell Oh yeah, we can't let these blue guys win. Joe, don't let them win. Ben, you better have the win in the bag for this one, dude. Oh, Trump, we freaking did it. Hell yeah. Ha 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 ha. Frick you, Obama and Joe. Ha. Karma's a bitch, ain't it? Shut the fuck up, you idiot. Yeah, you guys are cheaty meanies. Make sure to subscribe so we can hit one million in a year. Boys, we're back in Uno. Biden, what the actual frick is this map? It's only November. Christmas time is here, Donnie. Oh, my Baraki. Your cards are looking so juicy today. I'll take them. Who in the hell invited Drake? I invited Drake, my pookie bear. Ah! Trump, why did you do that to me? Because you invited this zesty freak. Ha 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 ha. Drake, your nickname is Zesty Freak. It fits you. What? That isn't my nickname, and I'm not a zesty freak. I'm just Trump's secret lover. Man bun Obama, why must you do this to me? Wah! Barack, that wasn't nice. Be nicer to my Joey. Barack, you did the right thing. And now, Zesty Freak, you're gonna be hit with the big plus two card. What in the pumpkin spice latte? Trumpy Wumpy, that was so uncouth of you. Shut up, Drake. No one wants to hear the creepy talk from you. Obama, don't talk to my friend like that. Give me those cards. This is sweet payback. Ha! Barack, help me win this and I'll get Franklin from GTA to take Joseph on a vacation, if you know what I mean. Oh, hell yeah. Franklin is my homie. I'll make sure to play strategically. Boys, you can't do that. We all know that the rules say that we cannot cheat at all? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, did you also know that the rules say to not have zesty weirdos in the game to ruin it? Donnie Wummy, no, you aren't being a nice honey bear right now. And I couldn't care less. Shut the hell up before I come over there and rip all those paintings of me off the walls. Oh yeah, baby. Barack, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Drake, what the hell? Joe, I placed the card. Now, place your card. It's Biden time. Trumpet, I think I need to see what card you're holding over here. What? Oh, hell yes. You keep forgetting to press Uno. Yes, yes, yes. Daddy Joe, you keep forgetting to do that. Did Jill feed you the baby pills today? Shut the hell up, Drake. I don't take baby pills, and I don't even need them because I'm so in good shape. Yeah, you're in good shape for the grave. Be prepared for that, Biden. It's coming very soon. Donald, be ready. Your turn is coming up in a second. Ha <laughs> ha. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, Joseph, there is most definitely something we can do. Ha 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 ha. Give me those <laughs> cards, you degenerate. No shot. Drake, you idiot. Ha 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 This is easy. You're bluffing again. Joseph, you're gonna feel like a sack of crud in a second. <laughs> 
No, Trump, Brock, you cheated that round. This is unfair. All's fair in love and war. Suck on that loss, Drake and Joe. Okay, you two aren't allowed to cheat again. I'll have my secret service men monitor your games at all times. Ah, uh, that's so nice of you to keep this game nice and fair, Daddy Joey. Suck on these cards, you old hag. Shut the hell up, Donald. I'm gonna get back at both of you by winning this game. Oh, big, big daddy, Daddy Joe. Can I help you win the game? I will give you free ice creams and kids for life. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, Jill said no more ice creams or children. She is a bit concerned about me. Barack, I'm sorry, but I gotta take those cards. Joe's and Drake's probably suck. Okay, what the frick? Joe, I see why Jill is concerned about you. You're becoming a big dumb dumb. I'm not becoming a big dumb dumb. I'm in second grade again. Don't ask. Oh, Joe, you're finally starting to learn again. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, Jill forced me to do it. Today I learned how to spell big pickles. Big pickles is in Mike's big pickle. Ha 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 ha. Ah, up, Donald. No! Barack, I wasn't even talking about Big Mike's pickle. You know what? I'm going to ignore you guys. Up all of yours. Barack, let's be civil about this. Hey, Drake, do you want to eat some cards today? Donald, stop it. This never-ending bullying doesn't have to keep going. It's not bullying. It's called being the greatest friend ever for giving you more cards. Speaking of cards, it looks like Obama's picking up some. Oh, shut up, Joe. Oh, heck yeah. It's time for the Obaminator to take some cards. Frick you, Obama. I didn't even have good cards in that deck anyway. Hold it, ho. Give me those cards. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> that is the best nickname ever, Joe. No, I think I want to take those cards of mine back for good. Trump has three red cards, a green card, and a yellow card. Biden, what the hell? You can't say what cards I have. Oh, I just did, you little carrot. That's what happens when you be an idiot. Guys, let's just calm down and take some deep breaths. Okay, take a breath in. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Honey bunches, that wasn't a deep breath. You just screamed for no reason at all. I screamed because I got one step closer to being the victor in this game. Donnie, I think you forgot the meds today. You should go take those. Where are the meds? Who is eating up my meds again? Hey, tell me. Joey Pooh, no one is eating your meds. Trump just forgot to take his. Oh, why this freaking color? This is gonna ruin my card deck. I swear. Oh my freaking gosh. Frick this game and frick you as well, Drake. Trump, don't talk to Drake like that. He is my cuddle buddy. Wait, the hell does this happen to me? Ah. Uh... Don't worry your pretty little head, Donnie. Everything will be okay. Shut up. Hey, Barack, I'll be taking those cards now. Oh, I hate you. Out of everyone here, you just had to take mine. You're being a freaking racist again. Barack, I'm not racist until four o'clock, so you're completely wrong. What the hell do you mean by that? Trump, you better keep an eye under your bed tonight. Oh my Obama bear, you need to stop being such a shame, Dawson. Anyway, I'm gonna play a nice card right now. You better not- ah! I'm sorry, Daddy, but I had to take yours because Trumpy Wumpy was going to yell at me again. Stop calling me Trumpy Wumpy, you weirdo! Jeez, what is your freaking problem? I don't have any problem. I just love everyone for being themselves, especially you, my little Donnie Pookie Bear. Ha 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 ha! I am so happy that Joe invited this freak. This is making everything so much funnier. Oh, don't think I forgot about you, my little fuzzy wuzzy Obama kitten. I was gonna laugh at that, but it's actually weird. Josephile, will you stop? I just wanted to move on to the next person. I'm done this time, I swear, Donnie. Oh, Mr. Z Zesty freak, you're going to finally get what you deserve for being a creepy weirdo. Daddy Trunky Monkey, baby, this isn't how you should treat your friends. Apologize right now. Hell no. You don't deserve one for the way you're acting. Grow a pair. Hussein, why didn't you change the color? Great. Thanks a lot, Barack. Oh, hold the hell up. It's about to get heated up in here. I want those freaking cards, Obaminator. Frick you, crybaby. How about you go back to stealing babies' pacifiers? Oh, will you two cool down? I get you always fight since you both are women, but it's getting old at this point. Also, Obamna, thanks for the card. What the hell? Up yours, Trump. I hate when you always take my freaking cards. Oh, now you know how I feel, you little buffoon, Barack. What the hell are you on about? You were the one who stole cards from me before? I don't want to hear it. Boys, 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 please, let's calm down. Now, Trump, you will need punishment for starting this fight again. Ah! Frick you, Drake! I hate you! Donald, you need to stop with this. I know this game sometimes makes people mad, but you shouldn't take your anger out on others. Just keep it inside and meditate. Also, Trump, that isn't very nice. Joe is a great friend of yours. You shouldn't plus two him. Him. Joe sucks as a friend. All he does is chase children and old people with his pedophile squad. Joseph, stupid Biden, what the hell? Frick you all the way up and down again? Don't worry, Barack. I got your back because you're actually a better friend than Josephile. Oh, thank you, Trumpet. Hey, I don't think you're so bad either. Oh, Drake, by the way, suck on these freaking cards. Your advice sucks more than Michelle's. Oh, I love Michelle's advice. In fact, that's where I get all of my advice from. What the hell? Why in the frick are you talking to my dang wife? Answer me, you little freak. Well, last year, I had a lot of anger issues, and then I found Michelle meditation class. And for the past year, I've been taking that. We talk a lot, Barack. She's so nice. Oh, hell no. Nah. You're done. Michelle, kick that Drake guy out of your class. He's trying to hook up with you. Drake, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. Also, Joe, don't think I didn't see that plus four card. Oh, don't forget about
about the cancel card, you dingus. <laughs> Don't worry, Barack. I will avenge you by getting a card that will screw him over. No freaking way. Ha ha ha. Joe, you know what's gotta happen. No. I hate you. Sucks to suck, Biden. Thanks for avenging me, Donald. All right, since I pulled a card that screwed over Joe, your total will round up to $2,930. Do you have card or cash? Bro, I ain't paying you. It's literally a freaking game. Drake, what the hell? You freaking ruin everything. Ah! I'm so sorry, my daddy Donnie, but you were trying to charge Obama for you playing a card. Yeah, a card that was going to help Barack win the freaking game. That's bull. I haven't seen anything good happen to me after you played that card, which means it isn't going to help me win. You literally just plus two D Drake, and now I'm going to send it back to you because I'm going to play a cancel card. And what's your freaking point? See, look, now you're starting to place more cards while canceling Drake. And now I'm sending it back to you again. This is looking good for you, and this is why I deserve to be paid for playing that card. All right, I get it. If I win right here, then I'll send you the money. That is fair. Oh, great. Looks like I get to keep my money. Barack, keep it blue. I'll give you the win right here, right now. <laughs> Frick you, Donald. I'm keeping my dang money because you are full of it as always. What the hell? It wasn't a guaranteed win right then and there. I can't believe you won't pay me for the work I did for you. I will never work with a scammer ever again. What do you even mean? You are the freaking scammer, you scammer. Trying to charge me $2,300 or whatever the hell it was for just playing a card. Also, Joe, you forgot to press Uno again. Wait, I'm supposed to press the big red Uno button? I thought it was talking about the word Uno on the back of everyone's cards. Ha 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 There ain't no way. Hey, Joe, I think it's time to take some of Mike's meditation. No, you Donald Trumpet. <laughs> you suck. What the hell? After all that stuff I did for both of you, I can't believe this is how you freaking repay me. Oh, my daddies. What color should it be? Just kidding. Ha 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 ha. Girl boss. Daddy Drake, I don't have green. You're such a mean daddy. What the hell? Joe, never say that sentence in that tone ever again. I will talk to my daddies however I want to talk to them, Daddy Obama. Oh, hell no. Wait, off topic. But I just noticed Joe's profile picture is of him sucking on a pacifier. Dude, isn't that from the time you took a baby's pacifier and stuck it right in your mouth? Daddy Joe, is that true? Yeah, I walked over to a child. By the way, I love walking toward children. Anyway, I walked toward the child, ripped the pacifier right out of its mouth, and stuck it right in mine. You're freakier than Drake. Also, Drake, why don't you suck on this? Ha 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 ha. This is unfair. Donnie, you need to take Michelle's meditation because you're acting like a lunatic again. Says you, you're the one who has been a Mr. Cupcake this whole entire call, you freak. Stop skipping me. Donald, you're being so mean to me. Wow. I thought you were my big, big Donnie Pookie Bear, honey buns, snuggly, wuggly daddy. Bah, ha, 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 ha. Drake, he is your big, big Donnie Pookie Bear, honey buns, snuggly, wuggly butter biscuit. Sweet pea, sweetheart, love buck hot stuff, darling, kitten sunshine dream boat, honey babe, sweetie pie, muffin papa bear, snookums, cutie sugar daddy. Enough. Drake, I hate you and always will. I am not your freaking daddy either. Go get a wife, you buffoon. <laughs> Shut up, Drake! Oh, Shark! Barack or Joe is gonna win. Nah, it's gonna be me, fool. Barack ain't got nothing on me. Shut it, Joe. Hot stuff, I love you, but I will not let you win this. Drake, you fool. Now Pedo Pete over here is gonna win. Ha! Ah, you forgot to call Uno, you idiot. Get wrecked, nerd. Well, Joseph wins. I hate all of you idiotic people. Not just yet, Barack. Joseph over here doesn't have a red. It's a blue. Keep it off of blue and we'll be good. No! I was so close to winning, too. This game is so freaking rigged as always. Ha ha ha! This is payback, Donald. Oh, no. No. I will not let you do that to my daddy. Donald, I'm sorry. I still love you. I hope you'll forgive me. Hell no. I ain't accepting any apology. Suck on these cards, you freaking degenerate mediocre music maker. I am not a mediocre music maker. <laughs> Seriously, you're crying. You're 37 freaking years old. Grow a pair. Honestly, Donald, I think the mediocre music maker comment you made was pushing it. Drake actually used to really make some fire hits, except his new stuff is kind of trash, but I like the old stuff. No hate, Drake. Both of y'all are haters. My music, both old and new, are the best. I love my music. I am the king of music. Now that's where I draw the line. Your music doesn't compare to 21 Pilots' music. They're the real kings of music. I love those guys' music, but I don't think they're the kings of music. I would maybe put Kendrick Lamar or Chance the Rapper as kings of music. Obama, really? Those guys are like any other rapper out there. Blasting bass, pointless and terrible lyrics, and the worst singing I have ever heard. The voice changer tries to hide the horrible voice, but it doesn't work for crud. I think Joe's opinion is a big fat W. Suck it, Drake and Obama. Wait, I wasn't really paying attention to the game. What the hell happened? Well, some unnamed idiot placed down a zero and all our cards got switched. Oh! 
Uh, it's time to jump in. Yeah! Donnie, stop yelling! My hearing aid can't take the loud vibrations coming from your cantaloupe mouth. Donald is a cantaloupe now. Ha 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 ha! What's up, Mr. Cantaloupe? Joe, what the hell have you done? I am not a freaking cantaloupe! I hate you, Joe. Also, Drake, give me those cards right now. Take them. I will respect my daddy and give him anything he desires. Do you know, Drake, you always left me satisfied and smiling? That's what she said. Ha 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 ha! Also, hold up. That's a bit sus. Is there something you want to tell us, Donald? I was just saying it for the comedic bit, you black diamond apple. You racist mother fricker. I'm gonna beat you in the game and in real life. You keep telling yourself that, Barrack. All right, Joseph, it's time to give me those freaking cards. The hell? Barack, Drake, he's got some good ones in there. We need to do something about that. Frick you, Drake. Those were mine fair and square. Oh, Drake, I will be taking those cards. I ain't letting an idiot win this. No, I don't have a seven. We're all doomed. We are not doomed just yet. He has a green on him, but he won't play it. Keep it on green. That won't be necessary. Ha 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 ha. Suck on that barnacle. Frick y'all. Sounds like someone is a bit upset. Ha ha ha. You deserve that, Baraki! Shut your mouth! I'm blocking you all when this stupid freaking rigged game is over. Barack, let's take a chill pill. There's no need to be all angry. If you talk any freaking more, I will rip that little zesty freaking mouth right off. Daddy Obama, don't be mean to my Drakey poo. How about you shut the hell up as well? You are ruining this country with your terrible political skills that have been outdated since the Ice Age. Now get the Frick out of my face! Barack, shut up! Sometimes I can understand why you yell at Joe, but that's too far. It's just a freaking game after all. All right, fine. I will admit, maybe I was going a bit too far. Joe, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Not you, Drake. I still hate you. Don't worry. I still love you till the end of time, Pookie Bear. Oh, frick. I don't even know what to do here. I think Drake is going to win this. God, please don't let Drake win. Barack, Drake won't win. I have been keeping a strategy in my back pocket for quite some time. Trumpy Wumpy, you better not be using a cheaty strategy again. Barack, plus two. Joe, the plan I have might actually work. Get the dub turnip. You got this. This is cheating, but as long as Drake doesn't win, I'm okay with it. Oh, Joe, no way. Donnie, this isn't fair. We should all be civil. Hell to the no. Ah! Hell yeah! Suck on it, Drake! You f suck! This is so cheating! I will never play with you guys ever again! Hell yeah! Good riddance of that idiot! Barrack, you're my number one big, big daddy Obama. Come smooch me right on the lips and sleep with me. Hey, yo, what? Oh, boys, are you ready to play this game? What the heck is this? Were you smoking that Zaza with Snoop when you chose this? Nah, bro. I haven't smoked that Zaza in a while. Whoa, what is this? OMG! Giant tree! Okay, Joe, you're the green guy. Trump, you're the chicken, and I'm the horse. Barack, how do we play this game? We've never played before. So basically, our objective is to get to the flag. However, before we do that, we're presented with items we can place down to make it easier or harder. Wait, is this a teamwork thing? Oh, hell no. We're all against each other. Hell yeah! This is gonna be fun! This isn't fun! I wanted to work as a team! Ooh, I got a Ferris wheel! I'll place it right here! Yay! Every man for themselves! Ha ha ha! Ah! I can't see! Obama, what is this stupid map? It's the map you chose and I just died! Crud! Looks like it's just you and me, Joseph. Brah! Come on! Yeah! Easy jump! Don't rig the game! Wow, I don't know what to do, mommy! Joe, just jump for it. It's not that bad of a jump. What if I miss? Just jump for it. Okay. <laughs> that was a sorry excuse for a jump. LOL. Barack, you told me I would make it. You're a liar. <sighs> it's your own freaking fault, you child. Don't pin your loss on me. Children, be quiet. I'm about to make this course so much better. Why the hell did you put a big ball there? Now we can't get to the Ferris wheel. Ooh, what does this do, Hickey? Joe, stay down. What the hell? Joseph. <laughs> Suck it, Barrack. Oh, shut up, you Mars-looking buffoon. I bet you can't even get past this part. Hey, where did I go? I, I was just on the screen. Ah, I'm lost. You died, Biden. Now wait and watch my epic moves. Wow, the, these are some epic moves. Now actually do something before I kick you from the game. Uh, Trump, hit the balls. I don't win. Oh, I'm going to win, Pipsqueak. I got the moves like Michael. You better not be talking about my wife again, Donald. Oh, I was, hell yeah, I got the win again. You guys suck a lot. No, Obama sucks a lot, not me. Shut the hell up. I don't want to hear another thing about my wife from you twits. Stop being so sassy, Miss Obama. We know you don't have a wife. I have a fudging wife, you degenerate. So shut the hell up before it gets nasty in here. I wonder why you use that term. <laughs> Guys, I don't know where to place this. Just place it anywhere. I want to get the hell out of here. Sounds like someone's mad. You should use that anger to actually give me some competition. Stop activating the stupid punching thing. Oh, sorry, Hussein. I thought it was helpful. Wait, what the hell? 
No! Frick me. Who the hell put that hockey puck thing there? Ha 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 ha! I did. Ah! No! Frick! That's what you get for putting that hockey thing there. Frick, you in this game! It's been rigged since the start! Hey, Trump, I think you died to the balls. Oh, shut your mouth. You practically love them. Only Michaels. No one else's, bro. Wow, I didn't know you love Michael Jordan like that, you weirdo. Ha ha ha! That's funny as balls. Ah! See what I did there? You guys are meanie weenies. I placed a spike so you guys can't win. Trump, stop. Hi, Obama. Ha 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 ha. You. This game. I f***ing hate playing with you. I love you too, Barack. All right, jump, Joe. Ah! That was so close, dog. Oh, come on. Frick, 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 frick. Ha ha ha. Now you know how it feels to lose, you freaking idiots. Well, I died. Well, at least Joe died as well. Oh, shut up. At least I took the risk, bro. What's that I hear? Oh, it's just Joe crying about his losses again. Biden, just pile it on top of all your other losses. This is my first loss, bro. I never lose unless it's not rigged. And I'm going to be using that when I sue you for rigging the election. What the hell was that? Is Obama bombing another hospital again? Not yet. I was just destroying this stupid punch thing. You're lame. I hope you fall again. Speak of the devil. You just did. Ha ha ha. And Joe did too. Ha ha ha. This is awesome. Shut it. I'm going to call my tech team to hack the game. Don't be a sore loser. Just accept the fact that you will never be as good as me. Shut up and jump, coward. Beast mode time. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. You suck. Ha ha ha. Go shove that up your ear, loser. I still have more points than both of you. I don't want to hear it, doofus. You still died, bro. Imagine dying. I it was a miscalculation. I didn't think the balls were going to move like that. Oh, I got a coin. I'm going to grab this first. Hold up. How'd you know that you could grab the coin? Have you played this game before? Oh, of course not. I just figured it was like Super Mario where you can grab the coins and stuff. Dude, are you sure? Because I didn't even tell you how to wall jump and you just straight up did it. Oh, I figured that was like Super Mario as well. I don't really trust you, but I will this one time. Uh, guys, I don't know what this is. Do I eat it? Uh, what is that? Is it a bomb? Place your thing. It's a timer. Oh, okay. Dad, I love you. Joe, I'm not your dad. Your dad is dead. You're not dead. You're dad. Father and son, shut up. I'm trying to focus. Oh, shoot, shoot, frick. No. Saved it. I wish you fell, you orangutan. Guys, what do I do? I don't want to get hit by the balls again. Joe, the balls are nice. Just go toward them. Ah! You lied. You're so gullible. All right, it's time for the big D Trump to win. Wait, no! Frick! Ah! You guys are so bad. Ahaha! <laughs> this is so terrible to watch. Okay, you definitely played this game before. Frick you, Trump. It's all in the wrist, my homie. I call bull on that. You know what? I think Michael is like a bull because he's built like one. Say one more freaking thing about my wife and I'll shut down the Minecraft server for good. Guys, look! I got a flower that kind of looks like Michael. That is it. I'm shutting it down. No more server. Joseph, you freaking idiot! You just lost us all of our 2,000 hours of mining. What? I didn't spend 2,000 hours with a miner. What the hell? All right, I'm going to win this one because I said so. Oh, wait, I didn't jump far enough. Frick! Frick this game! Barack, please don't shut down the server. I had so much progress on there. All right, fine, but I don't want to hear you guys mention my wife ever again. Fine, we won't say anything about Michelle. Guys, watch this. I got the moves like Jagger. Ah. <laughs> You're an embarrassment to the whole United States. Shut up! You died as well. Oh, hi, Jill. Did big crates arrive yet? The ones that I ordered from Epstein and Shane Dawson. Bro, what? Joe, please tell me you didn't buy what I think you bought. Don't worry, Obama. I didn't buy the six-pack of kids. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I actually bought the 24-pack because six isn't enough. What? Anyways, I'm going to smoke you guys. Just watch me. Hell no! Ah! Holy shnikes, bro just broke his microphone. Frick, frick that stupid hockey thing. Oh, I love that hockey thing so much. Anyway, you want to go first, Joseph? Yes, sir. Just watch these amazing moves. Man, you are actually really stupid. Oh, no. Ah. Ha, 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 ha. Now that the riffraff is out of here, I can now perform my amazing parkour skills. Wow. Oh, yeah, I'm the best at this. Wait, no. Why did it do that? I hate you, game. Nice parkour skills, Trump. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> Shut the hell up. No one asked you to speak. Oh, piece of wood. Come to daddy, my pretty. Joe, stop being a weirdo. It's just a piece of wood, not a child. You're fake. I know a child when I see one. Okay, my pretty, I'm going to place you here. Don't let any daddy touch you except me. You're a freak. I hope you get hit by the puck. Hey, Trump, are you going to go? Yeah, I just got to time this so I can make it between the balls. Hell yeah. What? No. Uh, frick off, bees. Ah. Uh. 
Well, looks like it's just me who is gonna win this round. Oh, not a chance, bro. You don't have a clue on how to even be good at this game. Oh, I do. First, I have to wait for a good time to jump. You just missed so many opportunities to get across that dark abyss. Just give it a few more seconds, Trump. Two hours later. Okay, now, uh, yes. Oh, frick, that hockey thing. Ah! Oh, no, shoot, frick, no, crud. You idiot! You would have been able to do it if you didn't jump to the other platform. Idiot! Your stupid hockey thing scared me. Jumping felt like the right thing to do. Oh, perfect. We have three turns left. Looks like you two will be losing to the almighty Trumpazoid. Oh, hell no. Joe, we cannot let the sleaze bag win. Don't worry. I shall get my rigging device out so it will be an instant win for us. Hey, you're not allowed to cheat. This will be a completely fair game. Says the guy who played this game beforehand. That's not even cheating. It's just a skill issue on you guys' part. All right, I'm going to beat your rear, Trump. I'll bet a million bucks on it. I'll bet 10 million bucks on it. May the biggest D Trump win. Watch this. Oh shoot. No. All right. That was easy money. Joe, make sure he doesn't make it to the flag. He will win if he does. Don't worry. My epic skills will stop him from even touching any flag. Yeah, you ain't gonna do nothing, pal. You'll just die in a second. No, I won't. Ah! No. Joe, no. Ha 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 ha. And that's an easy win for the Trumpster. Suck it! Frick you! I should have known you were gonna cheat. Oh man, keep coping, Obama. I'm so awesome! Up yours, Frick face. Oh, I also want to thank the Academy! Shut the hell up! We're back in Ultimate Chicken Horse, baby! Oh, heck yeah! I got the fan, bro! What the actual Frick, bro? I was gonna grab that! Everyone was gonna grab that! Now shut your mouth, you little crybaby! Oh my gosh, who said my name? I heard someone say my name. Shut it, Joey! You need to place your item before the children leave your basement. Those children aren't going anywhere. I will stall as long as I am president. Joe, will you place your block already? I'll place mine right now just so you will place yours. Place it then, Mr. Sex Scandal. Do it right now. Fine, you old fuddy-duddy. I placed it. Now place yours before I call up Jill to pick me up tonight. Cool your bald head, Bill. I will place mine right here. Took you long enough, you old man. Now watch me as I cheese this game. Donald, I will be the one cheesing this game because I have been practicing since last week. Clearly not since I'm ahead of all you bald men. Ah. Nice, Trump. Try, Trumpkin. I am ahead of all you old people now. Ha 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 ha! Daddy Barrack, slow down. I want to win with you. Hell no. The only thing I'll let you win is the best predator of the year. Hold the hell up. Bill, you made this freaking impossible. That was the intention, nerd. Ha ha ha. I'm surprised you guys didn't say anything about it when I placed it before. Bill, what the hell? Just great. Now we all have to give up. Hold B to give up. Yeah, hold B to give up. Giving up means you're the biggest loser to exist. Ha ha ha. Shut your crusty lips, Clinton. The only reason we have to give up is because of you. I know, and it's so awesome. Hey, Joe, give up so we can move on. I know your tricks, Bill. You only want me to give up just so you can call me a loser. I'm not falling for it. Biden, just hurry up and give up so we can move on. I think Bill said he has an appointment with the horse doctor. How that horse became a doctor, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I have an appointment with the horse doctor as well. Joseph, the doctor isn't a horse. Trump is just being an idiot. Also, you don't have any horses, so you don't have an appointment. I have a horse, and it is big and strong. Oh, wah! I want to bomb some things. Boys, I got a dip. That old bag Hillary is calling for me. Tell beautiful Hillary I said hi and that she forgot to delete some emails. Frick you, Trump. All right, I'm out. Oh, uh, hold up. Are we still playing that new Mario game later? Hell yeah. Just text the group when you're done with the old hag. All right, bet. See ya. Guys, what are you doing? This doesn't make the game any easier. That's the whole point, you dork. All right, it's time for my Donny powers to activate. Oh, are you a superhero? I want to be a superhero too. Recruit me, chief. He's not a superhero. He's just a super idiot. Oh yeah, I'm ahead of Trump. Eat my dust, Donnie. Get Larry off the game. He's playing for you while you're giving him- Shut your pumpkin looking rear up. I'm the one who is playing right now, not this Larry Sinclair guy. Guys, where do I go? I'm lost. Mom, get the map. Where am I? What? Ah, what the hell? Frick, whoever put that dumb freaking flower there? Frick. And that's how you do a little trolling to the biggest idiot of the century. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Obama, there you are. I've been searching for you since, uh, two hours ago. I missed you. Oh, watch out. There are some bees following you. Ah, run. You fricker, Joe. You used the portal, and now I can't use it for a few seconds. Oh, frick. Activate that big black man's cheat program. This old man needs to be taught a lesson. Joke's on you, trumpet. I already learned a lesson from my master in kindergarten. Joe, I'm bringing the bees to you. Uh, suck on these. Bah-ha-ha-ha. Ha, ha. Ah! Oh, they were 
chasing you. Ha! You tried to trick me, you special fella. The racist meter is currently rising. Barack, do you have anything to say about that? Why the hell is there a racist meter? Get that nonsense off the screen before I send the whole squad up to your place. Editor, leave it. Barrack is just jealous of the racistness this thing possesses. Editor, I'm gonna come over there and sock you in the nose if you don't remove it. Guys, stop talking about that idiot and watch me win this round. Joe, you left a whole thing of ice creams on that last part of the map. You have to go back. Where are the ice creams? Wait, oh, I'm not addicted to that anymore. I need to win this so I can be two and oh with trombone over here. Presidential wins don't count in this game. And besides, you paid Obama to scream, you're not a gamer if you vote for Trump. Shake my head. I mean, it's true since you were the first one to unalive on this round. Shut up and just give up. I want to play that new Mario game after this. We are not playing without Bill, you elephant. Also, Joe, you're the biggest loser for giving up. At least I didn't get stung by some of your kind of bees. Black and yellow. The racist meter just went up a little bit. Joe, you may want to chill out. I won't chill out until the next freeze, you unripe orange. Hey, boys, you should place your items. I just want to observe for now. Oh, I'll do anything for you, my big pookie bear. Man, first he was your dad, and now he's your soon-to-be husband. This is giving off some sweet home Alabama vibes. Also, Barack, I know your tricks. You're gonna try to destroy my item after I place it. First off, he is just being himself again. Second, this isn't a trick. Just place your item. Hell no. I'm gonna wait it out because I know you'll place it five seconds before we run out of time. And while I wasn't paying attention to you, it seemed like you did what I said you were gonna do. Oh, shut it. What the hell? I hate this wall. Who even placed that freaking piece of wood there? I placed that there because you needed some wood support since you had a hard day at work today. Does that count for being racist? You better watch it, Trump. I'm right there at the breaking point. All right, it sounds like it. Editor, raise the racist meter. Oh, guys, where did you go? I want to win with y'all. The only person who will be winning is me. Ha ha ha. Joe, catch your butt up. Trump is going to be the first one to get that flag. I am. I'm coming, Brock. Not in a weird way, though. Oh, this is the furthest I've come so far. <laughs> it's about time you two dweebs actually make it to this part. I'm surprised Joe hasn't had to change his diapers yet. And I'm surprised Obama's linebacker hasn't caught him with Larry. My wife is not a freaking linebacker, and I am not dating that Larry guy. That guy is a load of horse crud, just like Trump. Oh, shut up. At least I didn't lie about being good at this game. Says the guy who can't seem to make this simple wall jump. If it's so simple, then why can't you make it? Because I'm just warming up for it. Just like you warming up Larry by rubbing his leg? Shut your <laughs> mouth. I told you that those stories are made up. Now, if I ever hear another <laughs> thing about this Larry guy, I will actually send nuclear drone strikes to your house. <laughs> Holy <laughs> dude, did Larry just do something to you? Honey bunches, what is happening? I will send my buff men to take care of Larry. It wasn't Larry. I'm just getting fed up with this freaking wall jump. Barack, you just have to believe in yourself or just accept the fact that you will never be good at this game. Cue the freaking time lapse. Don't cue the time lapse. I am about to get it. No, you ain't. I will get it before you, Trumpkin. Then do it right now, you coward. Watch this, Donnie. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, <laughs> Oh, yeah. I did it before Donald. What the hell? You act activated that biggest blackest man's cheat program again. You're trying to be the Hans Niemann of Ultimate Chicken Horse. Facts. Also, raise the racist meter. He made up that name. It's actually called the Big Black Cheat Program. Oh, did you just see that? I did it without the need of cheating. I didn't cheat. You're just jealous that you're not as good as me. No, I'm jealous that I don't have the past like you people do. Raise that freaking racist meter and add an angry Barack meter. It's about to get heated up in here. You want to say that again, you little piece of <laughs> Trump? I won't say it again, you burnt steak. You. <laughs> little <laughs> face. I'm gonna make sure to send my <laughs> gang to your place and they'll take every little thing you once loved, even the secret documents. You better prepare. Wait, hold up. I didn't actually mean it. Please don't send them. These documents are the only thing that I love. I will only stop them if you tell your wife that she is a dirty little pig who eats trash out of the dumpster out back with a fake wig on that she put together with the hairs of Joe. <laughs> what? I would never say that. Oh, wait. I love the documents more. Melania, you're a dirty little pig who eats trash out of the dumpster outback with a fake wig on that you put together with the hairs of Joe. And did I mention that you are a money-hungry dog as well as suck it, bitch? I didn't ask for that last part, but that is fine. Obama, where are you? Oh, crud. Dang it. I forgot that I put that dang saw blade there. Obama, you made this impossible. Now I have to give up on this one again. Cry about it, Biden. <laughs>
Joe, put that freaking pacifier in your mouth. I got it just for these types of occasions. That thing is for babies. I am not a baby. I am a gay mayor. Shut up and put that thing in your mouth. Dynamite. Ha 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 ha. I wanted to do a boom boom Trump. You're mean. As long as you have your diaper on, it'll still be possible. And as long as you lose this game, everything will be a-okay. Oh, with what I'm about to do, I don't think he'll be winning. I swear, you better not place that next to the portal. Frick you! I love you too, pal. All right, it's Obamnosphere time. Barack, you're a ball. Wear the other one so it can be a pair of balls. And just because of that, I'm out of the zone. Why the hell is this so hard to get up? Frick! Wow, you did it, Barack. Would you like an award for your hard work? ha <laughs> ha Zip it, you mango. Don't antagonize me again, or else your documents will disappear. Guys, how are you always ahead of me? I'm going so fast. Because you're using that slow, uh, walker again. You need to learn to walk, old man. I'm talking about in the game, not in real life, you dingus. Frick! <laughs> I hate you, Obama. I hope you fall when watering your plants. Bah ha ha ha. Dude, I can't. Bah ha ha ha. That was the best thing I have ever witnessed. Shut up! I hate you so much for doing that. I knew it was going to get me. Leap of faith! <laughs> Two in one package. Ha 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 ha. This is genuinely one of the best things I have ever done. Shut your mouth before I come over there and get that head bald before you lose it in a year. Oh, hell yeah! More dynamite! It's time to end this once and for all. Well, it was good while it lasted. I love you, bow and arrow. You are my life. I love you. Okay, you're starting to get a bit weird. Let's just get rid of this before you want to marry it. Oh, my love for that has faded away. I now love this popcorn launcher thing. Barack, why must you do this? I can't do anything about this. This is called payback for that whole racist meter thing. Oh, Barack, your little popcorn thing ain't gonna do nothing to me. I am immortal. Sure, buddy, sure. Oh, frick this wall. I hate it so much. Joe, I swear that wall will be destroyed one day. You will not be destroying any wall. I support the wall and the wall supports me. This orangutan and his walls. I swear, he can't play a game without talking about his precious walls. Oh, Joe, you're actually ahead of him. You can do this, bud. He's catching up to me. Eh. Run, run, run. You better run, Joe. I'm coming. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Oh, he's here. Oh, boy, I can't wait to go through here. Brock, you go first. I don't know if I will survive. No, thanks. I'll wait. Fine. I will take the risk. Oh, no. Well, let the master take the wheel. Ha-ha. <laughs> Suck on these nuts, Barack. How the hell? It's just pure skill from the pure and perfect Donald J. Trump. You ain't pure or perfect in any way. Get your head out of the toilet, bro. Donald, the only thing you're pure in is vitamin C. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Shut the hell up. I don't see you in this game at all. Oh, shoot. What the frick? I'm about to lose my <laughs> mind. Oh, no freaking way. Looks like the biggest and largest D. Trump is going to be in first place because Barack was being an idiot. ha <laughs> You're all happy now, but I will certainly pass you in points and take this win home. Barack, I think you meant to actually say me, because I will cheese these next few rounds and have more points than my little Trumpkin. I think you're on something to think you'll be winning a round. The day that actually happens, I will literally take you guys to Baskin Robbins, like I said a long while ago. Hey, Trumpet, while you were rambling on about junk, I did something that will totally help you out. Obama, if you put that freaking bow and arrow next to the portal, I will lose it. Donald, he didn't do that. He said he was going to help you out. That straight bull right there. Frick you, Barack. You're an actual <laughs> Oh, what the hell? The arrow hit the wall, but I still am alive. Hey, Barack, how's it going? Oh, what the hell? Bill, what are you doing here? Well, Big Mike invited us over for dinner. <laughs> Big Mike, I'm using that now. Michelle, I said I was busy tonight. Well, I guess I gotta go, guys. Barack, you don't have to exit. I can just play for you. And let you lose the game? Hell no. I'm shutting this <laughs> down so you can't play my stuff and ruin it. Barack, don't leave me with this buffoon. I can't can't stand the constant screaming and crying from this little toddler in here. There's a toddler in here? Where is it? Guys, I'm leaving. See ya. Wait, Barack, don't leave the call. Just switch it to your phone. Dog, I'm literally going to eat dinner with Bill and Hillary. No, you're not. You are going to talk to Bill while waiting for Michelle to finish cooking, because she sure as hell not done yet. Okay, maybe you have a point, but Bill probably won't like it. I probably won't like what? Are you talking about your small- Shut your mouth. Not that. Trump wants me to stay and call on my phone while we wait for Michelle to finish dinner. Yeah. I don't care. I like yelling at that small little pumpkin to shut up. Bill approved of it. Stay on call. Stay on call. Stay on call. All right, fine. Just shut up. Share your screen so I can see what's going on. Hey, Barack, tell Bill I said hi. I can hear you, stupid. Barack is on speakerphone. Hey, Bill, since you're good at causing chaos, where should I place this black hole? Well, I mean, there are already a few on Barack, so I don't think he needs any more. Raise that old racist meter again. Bill, you better watch what you say. I can slap you right here, right now. With that woman's strength? I don't think so, pal. Whoa, the hell? Extra body. Hell yeah, I'll take some extra items. Huh? Why didn't that show up when I was in the game? And this is actually rigged. And that is why we didn't 
want you to leave. Now I might place this thingy up here. And I shall place my big barrel up here next to Barack's black hole. Ah yes, watch the master at work. Joe, you better speed up. The Child Protective Services are chasing you. No! They have nothing on me! I don't sniff or touch anything. It's all a ruse to get me back in jail with that sleazebag hunter. He won't stop asking for money. Oh, Joe, they're behind you. You're finally going to be thrown in jail for all those crimes. I can't get up this <laughs> barrel. <laughs> this mother <laughs> barrel. Ah, I'm up. I'm going to catch Trump now. You're a lunatic. Get the hell away from me, creep. Come to Papa Joe, my little mango. I just want to smooch those little lips. Get away from me. Ah, freak you. Freaking predator. Barack, I have never seen Joe like this. Is he back to doing those child hunting sessions with Shane, Brent, and Dream? Unfortunately, yes. Except they started this new thing where they hunt old people instead. What the hell? Joe, tell your pedophile squad to stay away from me. Shut up! I'm about to cheese this! Fail! 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 Ah, stop it! Ah. Oh my gosh! There is no freaking way you won two games in a row! This is not good in the slightest. Trump, I think you might be tied with Joe right now. Yeah, you better put on your big boy pants so you can win this game. Oh wait, those pants are too small for you. Shut it! I will smash Joe in this by using my strategy that I've been holding back. Uh, I'll smash as well. Let me call up my guys and we'll get something scheduled. Joe, leave the smashing to the Hulk. He doesn't get to do that enough since she's always in the kitchen. Were you talking about my wife again? I'm gonna go to her right now. Hold up! No need to do that because I wasn't talking about her. I was talking about Bruce Banner. Barack, I think Michelle is finished. Hang up so I can stuff myself. Boys, Bill and I are going to eat dinner. Behave yourselves while I'm gone. All right, see you, Barack. I will win this game and rub it right in your little pitch black face. You mother f Well, looks like it's just you, Maine, and the big fat juicy win waiting for me. Look at this airplane machine. I loved it so much that I just had to pick it. Place it already. I need to show you how true professionals do this. And I need to bring out 5% of my power to win this game. Ah. You almost hit me with that freaking punchy thing. You suck. Oh, you're getting a bit too close. How about you back up and let the pro win? Like you did in 2020. Oh, wait, you didn't. I will beat you in this game like I beat you in 2020. Ah, there's a wall here. Thank you, wall. I need to destroy Trump again. He hasn't learned his lesson the first time. Clearly I did since I'm doing better than you. Get a clue, Joseph. You just unalived idiot. Watch as a true pro wins another round. This will be three in a row now. You are actually hacking if you win again. Just watch this, Trump. Oh, I'm watching, Biden. Lose. Ah! <laughs> Frick that stupid popcorn thing. I hate Obama for that. Ha ha ha. What happened to winning this round? Huh, you little loser? Oh, that is so it. I'm gonna beat your ass in this freaking game. Hell yeah. Three turns left. No chance you will win again. Oh, we will soon see, my good old pal. We will see. Huh. I wonder where I should place this fister. <laughs> Trump, would you mind placing your spiky thing? Well, since you have no dynamite, I should be fine. So I don't really mind. I just have to find a great spot for this. Yeah, place it there. That is such a good spot for that. And now with my keen and smart thinking, I shall place this above the spike so I can easily jump over it. Oh no, you're actually using some of your Biden power. I could actually be screwed this time. Just kidding, I am smarter in every way. Clearly not since I could easily place these stairs over Obama's black hole and therefore won't suck me in again. All right, let's just see you get by at this round, you fuddy-duddy. I am not a fuddy-duddy. Hey, don't try to jump back down here to activate that fister. That's what I thought, bro. I don't have time to deal with you. You'll end up unaliving somehow. Oh, baby, look who's ahead now. No, I just remembered that you can get extra points for being first. Crud, Trump, stop running. Looks like I'm gonna finish first. I'm gonna win this and you'll be an even bigger loser than before. <laughs> What the hell? I'm stuck. No, frick. Why the hell does this freaking happen to me? I gotta call up my secret service men to mess you up. You cannot win again. You will not be doing that. I have already called my secret service men to mess you up. Uh, I, I will finally win. Joe, there is a 99% chance you get shot by the popcorn thing. There's not. Oh, frick, no. That was my shot to finally win the game once and for all. Crud. Hell yeah, it's comeback season for Trump. Let's freaking do this. I'm hella pumped up right now. We still have two turns left, dog. So don't get your hopes up because they'll just be crushed when I have the upper hand. Also, I just got a freaking nuke, so I'm about to pull a Shima on something. Oh, get the hell away from here. I really like all of the things going on over here. Wait, actually go for it. It'll be good for you. Out of all the crud that is here, you just wanted to get rid of the spikes. I hate you so much. Man, these extra boxes are kind of trash. I just got a tiny piece of wood. Hey, this tiny piece of wood reminds 
me of your- Don't even finish what you were about to say. I'm gonna crush you. You can keep thinking that, Donald, but it will never happen because it really isn't possible. Why would you place that wood there? Out of all the places you could have put it, you decided to put it there. <laughs> I think you need to go back to the nursing home. Hey, don't fist me. Go up. I refuse to lose to an idiot. Says you. Can you just hold the B button so we can just say that I won? It'll save us both the trouble. Hell no. I think it's better if you do that because it seems like you're going to lose to me. Oh, you better catch up, Biden. I'm going to hit that flag first. Ha <laughs> ha. Not if you fail on that popcorn part. You have died to it three times in a row now. I think you should look again, Joe. I freaking did it. Time to get this easy dub. Ha. Huh. Good luck trying to get through all of this stuff. It'll be almost impossible. Oh, Joseph, I have studied this area every single time I've been here, I know exactly what to do to win. Let's just see about that, pal. Leap of faith. Ah, no. This is not good. I could actually lose to Joe. Nightmare, nightmare. Oh, Trumpty Dumpty, everything comes down to this last round. This will ultimately determine the ultimate chicken horse. You better be ready to put up a fight, Trump, because I am not going to go easy on you anymore. It's time to activate my Biden powers. Oh, Joseph, this is a really stupid idea I have, but it would result in both of us not winning. You better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. Trump, what are you about to do? Hey, Joseph, can you place that bomb? Tell me what your plan is and I'll place it. My plan was to eat some yummy steak with ketchup. Now place your bomb. That isn't your plan. Tell me your plan or else unspeakable things will happen. That is my plan. There you go. Just place that bomb over there somewhere. Hell no. Tell me it. It's nothing. Place it. Ah, frick you. What the hell? Are... You made it impossible. No. Cool your balls, Joe. If my calculations are right, there should be this in here and we're good. You better place that where the wood is. I want a chance to win this thing. Joe, this is for all the marbles. If you lose, then I could possibly win. Just let that sink in. I will not be losing this one. I cannot let this reign of terror continue. I will finally end it today. No more Trump wins. I will literally laugh hysterically if you get fisted by this thing. Trump, get ready. My Biden powers are about to shine bright like a diamond. Bring it on, old man. My holy trumpet powers are about to start blaring. Ha ha ha. I feel a win coming on. Come on. I hate this part. Biden powers. Activate. I am now using 5% of my power. That's more than Ultra Instinct. Shaggy's power. I will win. Hell yeah, I got this popcorn part down. Now it's time to tackle this. Hey, where are you, Joe? I thought you were using 5% of your power. Aha! Uh -huh. I am right here. It is time to beast mode this part. Just gotta wait for the perfect time. Wait, you're almost there. Stop. <sighs> oh, crud. You actually made it. Frick! Hell yeah. Now I just need you to hit that little saw thing. Oh, Joseph, that won't happen. How about you try getting up those stairs. Wait, what the hell? No! No! I shouldn't have placed that dumb thing there. And I am the freaking winner! Hell yeah! You never stood a chance against me, Joe. Oh, shut the hell up. It was all rigged from the fudging start. Ah, uh, yes, I am the ultimate chicken horse. Suck on that, Joe. Ah, uh, Joey, I'm glad you let me choose the game today. Bro, what the heck is this? There's a guy riding a moped. Joey, don't worry about that. Dog, what do we have a $7,000 budget for? Are we using it for Joe Zelina's campaign? Uh, I don't have any champagne. You nimrods, we have to build a bridge with this budget. Oh, hold up. Are we building a bridge for that car to get to the other side? You're right, Broccoli. Congratulations on finally using that smooth brain of yours. Hey, Trumple Stiltskin, I ain't no engineer, but shouldn't you make the bridge flat so the car doesn't go in the river? Pish posh. As someone who has built the most luxurious buildings in all of the world, I know exactly what I am doing. Trumpy, I think I'm in that car. Please don't let me fall in. Oh, now I really want this bridge to break so you fall in. All right, time to let her rip i can't wait for this to break haha -ha. hold up it didn't break but it looks like it's too steep bro ignore that look how wobbly this bridge is you know what else is wobbly jokey wokey smoky brokey oldie shut your mouth i know you were going to say something about my wife wow you're a mind reader also it's your husband not wife you silly goose jokey shut up and watch my fantastic building skills i am making this bridge great again Hey, I don't think you're supposed to use the road to hold up the road. Dog, I know what I'm doing. You just have to trust the process. <laughs> that was the best thing I have seen all day. <laughs> Guys, help me. I'm in the water. Ah! Oh, I'm out of the water. Thank you, turmoil. Ah, not again. Oh, phew, I almost went in again. Okay, so I think the game is rigged because my construction is too perfect for their liking. No, it's because you're not using anything strong to hold it up, you buffoon. Use your freaking head. Oh, wow, now you're using wood. Congratulations on using that smooth brain of yours. Dog, I was going to put wood on it before, but you and Jokey distracted me. Bro, you're a terrible builder. I don't want to hear it. 
Sounds like someone forgot to keep their mouth shut. Let the big D Trump build, you peasant. Trunky monkey, that isn't good enough. You need more wood at the bottom. Where did you get that info? Oh, wait! Your little puppet must have told you because he is an idiot! Oh, crud. I told you! This is why I should be doing this, because you're clearly not good enough for this job. Fake news! I know how to do this! You guys just keep distracting me. Oh, don't pull that card. No one was distracting you, fat tangerine. Guys, let's all calm down. Turpy Wurmpy will eventually build this stupid bridge. Yeah, he'll build the bridge when you finally admit that your wife is a man. Jill is not a man. However, your husband is a man. Or in reality, the person I'm married to is a woman who is also my wife. But your wife is actually a man. Hold up. Joe, is this whole man shell thing a plot to cover up the fact that your wife is actually your husband? What? Dog, I am totally married to a woman. I don't date men. Unless it's Ryan Reynolds, then I'm fine with it. Bro, I actually can't believe it. Obama really doesn't have a husband. Joey does. Yes, finally. I never thought I would live to see the day that Trumpy says I'm not married to a man. Oh, oh, bummer. All I said was that you didn't have a husband. I didn't say you weren't married to a gay woman. That is it. Say goodbye to your daughter because I'm sending my wife to capture her. Bro, I don't care. I just want to build this stupid bridge so we can move on to the next one. Dog, let me build this. I used to be a construction worker back then. Nah, watch this. I got it this time. There's no freaking way. Ha 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 ha. Uh, Trumple, you can't build for... Barack, I have a really big hatred for the word Niger. What's wrong with that country? Oh, wait a second. You racist orange. Baralaralar, can I say the word Wump just said? It sounds so cool. I will never give the pass to someone who is oblivious to everything on this terrible earth. Wait, why do you need a pass to say a word? Uh, am I going to go to the state fair with this pass so I can say that word? Joe, you're not saying the N-word in the middle of a freaking state fair. All of my money is going into your campaign, and if you're caught saying that word, then... Trump, listen to my freaking advice. Build a flat bridge with enough support beams underneath it. It's not that hard. Well, what if I didn't want it to be flat like Joe's bouncy castle? Just do it! Um, all right, fine. Jeez, someone is being a grouch today. Uh, did someone say something? I was too busy watching my flat bouncy castle in the backyard blowing away in the wind. Jaller Bill, I'm about to build this bridge Barkle keeps telling me to build. Bro, Barry knows nothing about building bridges. He only knows how to smoke the Zaza with the homies. Jokey, your nickname will be a reality when this bridge actually holds together. That nickname has always been a reality because he is the biggest joke ever. I'm not a joke! I'm the child sniffer, I mean child snatcher, I mean Robinette! Ah! Jokey, you have officially gone completely and utterly insane. Make sure to call your secret service men to take you to the insane asylum. Okay, I think this bridge is ready to break. No way. Ha ha ha. I'm always right, you nerds. Suck it. What do you mean? It was my idea to build a flat bridge in the first place, but you kept telling me that it wouldn't work. Oh, shut your mouth and just go to the next one. Oh, great. We have an $8,000 budget, but there are two cars now. Trumpty Dumpty, just copy what you did before. I'm sure it'll work just fine. Joseph, there's a bigger gap, so he's going to have to do it a bit differently this time. That doesn't mean to make the road go up and down. Hey, don't tempt me. Hey, wait a second. I've got to call Ben to ask about the structure of a bridge and stuff. Do not call him. Oh, great. Hey, Benny boy, quick question. How should I build a bridge? Well, the initial step entails an exhaustive survey of the site, scrutinizing factors like topography, hydrology, and geological substrata. This meticulous reconnaissance furnishes the requisite data to formulate a judicious foundation design, which is the bedrock, pun intended, of any bridge's resilience. Uh, what the hell is this? This isn't how you build a bridge? Bro, you need to speak English instead of using the most non-understandable words in existence. On behalf of the Nerd Academy, we take offense to your feeble-minded behavior. Now, if you want my help, you'll have to stop acting like you own the wall still. Just tell us how to do this. I don't care about your nerd academy or whatever it is. Okay, first, you'll need to remove all of this junk you built. Ah, uh, man, I'm gonna miss you, pieces of wood and road. You were the only good friends I ever had. Okay, now build a little thing in the middle. Like this? Yeah, and just connect it to that little rock underneath. Guys, this seems a bit like cheating. Barack, would it make you worry less if I invited Bill to the call? Do not invite him to the call. Guys, shut up. Okay, what do I do next? You need to add more wooden triangles to the bottom like you did with the middle one. There you go. Wow. I'm surprised that you're actually listening to my instructions instead of doing something else like you always do. Dog, it's only because you're the only smart person here. Shut your mouth! I gave you my freaking advice before and it worked. Don't tell me I'm stupid. Barack Obama, I feel as if you meant to say, Oh, my fellow friend, I am stupid. My feeble mind told you to do something and it was so dumb. But it actually worked because I got a little bit lucky. Rius, you people are dumb. I swear I'm going to bomb your nerd academy, Bendy. Hit me with your best shot, Brownie. We have fortified shields around the place. Ben, I'm going to do this. Hold up. What are you doing? 
Well, when I figure out how this stupid game works, come on, I hate you, game. Just let me do what I want to do. Man, it sounds like someone needs some advice. Oh, hold up. I think I finally got it. Don't do that. You are ruining the integrity of the bridge, and now it'll fall. Benny, this will actually hold the bridge together. Unlike your feeble brain, I actually have the brain cells to know that. You Democrat, I'll have you know that I have a bigger IQ than Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, and Elon Musk combined. No! It's gonna break! Wait, what the hell? And that's the freaking power of the big D Trump and Bark O-bombs. But I did all of the mathematical equations and predicted that it would fall. Maybe I forgot a key exponent in my problem. The only thing you forgot was some common sense, you dimwit. This can't be happening. I'm losing IQ points because of you Democrats and Republicans. Uh, who's Democrat? I barely know her. However, I do know this little kid who lives next to my house. Joe, stop being pedo Pete again. I'm about to construct this bridge by myself this time. Trump, don't be so ignorant. Listen to my genius advice. The last time you tried giving advice, you failed because of one key element that you didn't think of. Hypothetically speaking, that information cannot be backed up because there is no evidence. Benny, we literally have two other people on the call who heard your slip up. Okay, this bridge looks perfect to drive on. Trump, Trump no. no. I hate this mother game. I quit. Well, you guys want to play this again sometime? Yeah, and we'll invite Bill. Hell no, bro. All right, Joe, Bill, Hunter, are you guys on the call? Uh, I, I don't know where I am. Mommy, help me. Joe, shut up. Your mom isn't alive. Dang. Bro really just said that to the old man. How about you shut it, Hunter? Well, you three pipe down. I'm about to put my building skills to the test. Barack, I haven't seen you build just yet, but I think it's going to turn out extremely funny. What do you mean by funny? What I mean by that is your build is going to collapse just like the bed you and Michael sleep in. Oh, is my back breaking again? I need to go to the chiropractor. Dad, your back is fine. They're just talking about bridges, you dingus. I don't own any bridges. They're making it all up. Biden, shut your freaking mouth. We aren't talking about you. You are talking about me. Row! Holy crud. Joseph, wake up. Uh, where am I? Finally, now you can shut up. Hey, guys, where is Trump? Did you guys tell him we were going to play this? Absolutely, freaking lutely not. The only thing that orangutan will do is whine, whine, and whine. Here, I'll invite him to the call real quick. Joe, stop. Joe, you are not inviting him back. It's already bad enough that we have to play Uno with him again soon. Oh, sorry, guys. I already DM'd him. Joseph, no. Why the hell did you guys not tell me you were playing Polybridge without me? Because you're terrible at the game. Also, you're a literal child. Don't you dare call me a child. I am as adultish I can be. What is this bridge? Bro, let me take over. It's going to break. You are not taking over. We all seen what happened last time you played. The only reason the bridges were falling last time was because of your stupid advice. Shut up. You know all the times the bridges were falling was because of your building, not mine. Guys, will you two stop crying like babies and put on your big boy pants? Bill, I'm gonna mess up, Hillary, if you don't zip it, you smart aleck. Hey, if you mess up my wife, then I'll mess up Stormy. Oh, wait, that was already done by an orange. Stormy Daniels was lying, you simpleton. Hi, Trump. When in the hell did you join the call? Oh, I swear. Obama, you got the worst people to replace me. Up yours, Mars. At least they aren't crybabies like you. Wow. Wow. Where is my milkies? I want my milkies. Ha 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 ha. They're not crybabies. Ha ha ha. Get a load of this guy. Joe, I'm going to come to the White House and shove a baby bottle straight down your gullet. But, Dad, I cleaned the house today. You can't punish me. Oh, my gosh. Joseph, wake up. Ah, where is Daddy? I need to get back to the basement. Dad, stop with this behavior. This isn't how you told us to act when we got older. I don't even know who you are. Get away from me, you weirdo. Shut the frick up. I'm about to test this amazing bridge. Obama, it's going to fall like your life has fallen off. Let's just see then, Trump. Trump, I think you're about to start coping. What hacks are you using? It's supposed to fall. <laughs> Looks like someone just got godded. Cope about it, Trump. Shut the hell up. This was a rigged game. Man, you really like to call out things being rigged. It because everything that is rigged is indeed rigged. Just like 2020. Man, the next thing I know, you'll be saying 2024 was rigged. I won't be saying that because I will win 2024. Trump, shut up and listen. I'll give you controls for this one game. Okay, here. Oh, heck yeah. It's time for the ginormous D-Trump to make bridges great again. The only thing you'll be making better is nothing. Oh, shut up, Mr. Relationship. I did not have any relations with that woman, so shut up. Wait, why did you put the emphasis on that woman? Is there another woman we don't know about? Yeah, it's Melania Trump. I've been going out with her for six years. You dork. Nah, it was actually Rosie O'Donnell. Bro, you're really dating that slob? Ha 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 ha. 
Hunter, I'm gonna fly a plane right into your house. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna give the plane some of my white stuff. Oh my gosh, I was thinking the exact same thing, honey. Twinsies. Ha 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 ha! Joe, you gotta be on something. Ha 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 ha! I can't. Ha ha ha! Dad, you're embarrassing me. Stop being old. Uh, the light. I can see the light. Uh, don't go toward the light, Joe. Brock, did you guys smoke with Snoop again? I think Joe might be on something. Yeah, yeah probably. Boy, stop with the crack talk. You're about to watch Joe's creepy van cross this well-made bridge. Wait, that van had the other children in it? No! I knew you couldn't build a good bridge. Ha ha ha! You suck. I'm gonna make a call. Uh, hi. Is this Mexico? Okay, I need you guys to build me a bridge. Ooh, I'll wire you the money later. All right, bye-bye. Sorry about that. I just needed to call my son. He was trying to hack my Twitter account again. Trump, I am not deaf. Did you seriously just call Mexico to build a bridge for you? Of course not. I would never make the Mexicans do anything for me. Didn't you make Mexico build your wall? Anyway, I think my new and improved bridge will withstand Joe's heavy van. Bro, you're not even building this bridge. You cheater. Barack, keep coping and watch this. Ha ha ha! My building skills are impeccable. You're so lucky, Donald. I would have come over to Mar-a-Lago just to sniff that toupee on your bald head if those children fell in the water again. Barack, can I have permission to call Joe the N-word? Huh? Hell no, Trump. I will never give the pass to someone who is extremely racist. Hey, I am not racist. Just listen to the Mexicans. They support me. Guys, shut up for a second. I want to see how Donald is going to build this bridge. Oh, my dear Hunter, my building powers are amazing. Uh, just watch me do this. Bro, there's no way you're playing right now are you paying the mexicans to build another bridge for your us bill are you still paying paula to have relations with her i paid her 850 g's to get her off my back there is no hush money it's fake news oh so you don't mind showing us your bank transactions for the past week that is confidential information donald however what isn't confidential is how much you paid in taxes you cheapskate hey i offered to pay my taxes but obama was like nah bro let's just go hit it with snoop oh shut up you offered nothing all you offered was your terrible pvp and Hunger Games. I literally bought Minecraft the day I joined the Hunger Games server. You twit. I had no experience. Hunger Games? Bro is older than the dinosaurs. Hey, I'm the only person who's older than the dinosaurs. I mean, the only person who touches kids, I mean. Dad, what? I'm gonna kick you from the call, dog. You don't have the permission to do that, crackhead. Trump, why are the Mexicans taking so long to build this? Dude, I am building this. I'm not making the Mexicans do anything this time. He just admitted that he cheated last round, huh? <laughs> Trump, you can't jimmy yourself out of this one. You fraud. Odd. I was referring to them building the wall, not the bridge. Now let's drop it, you buffoons. Oh, guys, did you know I kissed my granddaughter on the mouth before? It was great. Did you know that you kiss any child in sight? Oh, you also touch them. Bro, he literally will kiss an old lady. That's how down bad he is. I'm not down, I'm up, because if you're up, then that means you're cool. <laughs> Bro really is an idiot. Joe, stop and think for a second. Oh, wait, you can't think because the cogs in your brain are all rusty. You know what else is rusty? Obama's bridge building. Ah! Oh, I almost got got rid of all my progress. You goofball. I knew you were dumb, but I didn't think you were Joe dumb. I am not Joe dumb. I am just dumb. Wait, I meant to say smart. Joe, we know you're dumb. You don't have to admit it for the 500th time this week. I'm not dumb. Where? Dad, did Jill give you bread and milkies today? That woman didn't give me any of that. She fed me this weird applesauce stuff. Ah, that's really what you should be eating instead because you're actually a baby. Jill says I'm a big kid now, Mr. Sex Scandal. <laughs> that is got to be the best comeback I've ever heard from Biden. Ha 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 Oh, both of you just shut up. That comeback was worse than Biden care. Biden care for these nuts. Ha ha ha. I can't. Okay, I'll take care of your nuts for the time being. Oh, hell no. You ain't coming near me or my nuts, you creep. Huh? Well, let me come near you. You guys need to stop and get some help. I don't want to hear this right now. Barack, don't you talk to Michael like that? Shut up. Uh, okay, Trump, hurry up so I can leave. Cool your jets, Mr. Hussein. I'm trying to add this little thing to the top for extra strength. You have no more money. Just press the play button so they can cross, you cheater. Well, where? Where? That's all I hear from you, Obama. Keep coping, crackheads. My bridge is working so well. Ha 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 ha. Beat that, Obama. I hate you, Trump the cheater. Go shove your win up your rear because it's a load of So you guys want to play again soon? Hell yeah. That was funny as balls. Where are they? I want to touch them. Joseph, we are definitely not inviting you back to play with us. Suck it, Dad. What am I sucking again? Huh?
Boys, let's hop straight into this. We're playing Poly Bridge again. Oh boy, I can't wait to build some bridges for all of the kids to see. Wow, Joe, you're weirder than before. George, Joe has been a weirdo all his life. Nothing has changed. Oh, guys, look, there's a boat. I wonder if it's delivering the 200 pounds of gold that I ordered from Mexico. Bro really demanded more things from Mexico. Shake my head. Barack, may I remind you that you stole a lot of oil from the Middle East? Anyway, I think you're doing a good job with the bridge. Bro's really trying to push off what Donnie just said. Shake my head. Hey, don't steal what I just said, Mr. Afghanistan. Both of you shut up. My building skills are about to kick into high gear. Hey, Trump, you definitely should add some support at the bottom of the bridge because it is too long to use that bridge method. Obama, 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 I know exactly what I'm doing. Just put your trust in me and everything will be okay. Hell no. You need some serious help if you think you can build a stable bridge. Yeah, and your puppet needs some help because it looks like he's about to rot in an instant. What the hell do you mean by puppet? I do not have a puppet. Obama, I think he's referring to Joe because you always tell him what to do. I am not a puppet. Kamala told me that I'm a beautiful butterfly ready to spread its wings. Oh, that woman is a psycho, just like you, Joe. My name is not psycho. My name is John Cena. Joe, are you drinking that booze again? Barack, I haven't touched any root beer in a long time. Root beer doesn't have any alcohol, you idiot. Don't call me an idiot. That's so mean, you meanie weenie. Trump, I'm telling you, you need to connect that bridge to that rock or else it will fall due to the lack of no support in the middle of the bridge. Oh, Barack, you have little faith in my building. You're gonna start coping when this thing actually holds up. <laughs> it sure did hold up. <laughs> what the hell? I added that freaking road. I swear on the queen. Hey, don't swear at my queen. She is so beautiful. Joseph, the queen is dead. Also, she ain't into your dumb face. She was always into me. In fact, I asked her if she wanted to dance and she said, yeah. And then I asked her if she wanted to chase the children. And then she blocked you for the rest of her life. Okay, I think my mighty bridge is finished. Now let's watch it hold up like a true bridge. Bush, you're about to witness stupidity at its finest. Shut the hell up. Here we go. And in three, two, one. What the frick? Ha ha ha. Wow, I guess Trump really is a terrible bridge builder. How about you shut up, George? We all know who is better at knocking down things. Oh, frick off. At least I didn't threaten the Mexicans. I didn't threaten them. I just told them that if they didn't pay for the wall, then there would be some problems. That's literally threatening you, Tangerine. Hey, Mr. Howdy, I think you need to shut your mouth before I send the Mexicans after you. You're threatening people again. When will you learn, Trumpy? He won't because he doesn't listen to anyone. You two are stupid. I think you need to watch this amazing bridge work that I perfected without any advice or help whatsoever. Bro, it's gonna fall again, no doubt. Ha 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 ha! That's even funnier than last time. You need some serious help, Trumpy. Shut the hell up! I'm just going to redo this entire thing because you old people keep distracting me with your silly billy talk. I'm not old. My victims told me that I'm young and hip with it, broski. Bro, what? There's no way you just said your victims. You're insane, Pedo Pete. Yeah, what the hell, Joe? You need to chill out. What's that? It sounds like a drink or something. Uh, I want it now. That's it. I'm kicking this buffoon from the VC. No! Don't kick me. I just want to entertain the young kids. And that freaking weirdo is kicked. Barack, don't think about bringing him back because if you do, then I will sneak Michelle out to dinner tonight if you know what I mean. Yeah, Bo Bamna, don't invite that freak back in here. You two are a bunch of doofuses, I swear. Hey, you can't swear, you're just a little kid. Oh, shut the hell up. I ain't no little kid. You're the little kid because of how you build your bridges and the way you act. I'll have you know that my bridges are the best in the land. Your bridges are best in the butt crack. Go back to school, you idiot. Holy moly, bro just got decimated by Obama. Yeah, and you decimated something during your presidency. That wasn't me, bro. I was too busy at the time. That's what they all say. Go shove this L up your rear. Obama, let's calm down. I think you forgot who is building this gray bridge. Oh, wow. You're actually building it correctly this time. Congrats on finding a tutorial on YouTube. This isn't a tutorial. I actually took your advice this time so you can shut up. Uh, or the reason was because you knew that my bridge advice is actually good. All right, fine. Maybe that was part of the reason, but I'm still confident in my bridge skills. You can be confident, but you should at least take advice from your boys once in a while. Or you can just ignore them and build another mess of a bridge. <laughs> Shut up, Mr. Wild West. I'm gonna listen to my boys, not your Texan face. I ain't even from Texas. I'm from Connecticut. You have the Yeehaw accent, dog. That's all I need to hear to know that you did something in Texas. I was the governor of it for five years. Also, don't call it the Yeehaw accent. Dog, that's what it is. I know my facts, partner. Shut the hell up. You ain't know a single thing about Texas, bro. Clearly I do, because I called you partner and you called me bro. Anyways, I think this bridge is perfect. Well, let's just see if it holds up this behemoth of a car. I bet 50 G's that it crumbles to pieces. I bet 5 million that it doesn't crumble or fall. Get ready to lose, partner. 
Wait, why isn't it crumbling? Because it is the best bridge to ever be built. Ha 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 ha. I'll be taking my winnings now. You rigged the bridge. I don't know how, but you did. Trump, can I invite Joe back? He won't stop pinging me. All right, fine. But if he starts acting out again, I will ban him. Trumpy, wumpy, dumpy, rumpy, grumpy, tumpy, gumpy, frumpy, lumpy, bumpy. Please don't kick me again. Oh, are you building a ramp? Heck yeah, I'm going to pull an evil coup and evil with this one. Trump, make it a little less steep. They need to be able to actually ramp it. Don't worry, Barack. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Wait, why isn't Trump? Trump yelling at you for giving your advice. Did he finally realize that he needs to retire from Polly Bridge? No, he realized that he's too stupid to build a bridge by himself, so he'll meet Trite Obama for his advice. Shut your freaking mouth before I come over to your house to knock everything off your tables, break all your vases, take your wife to dinner, and expose you and Bill for taking the silverware from restaurants. Hey, I didn't mean anything I said. I was just joking, dude. That's what I thought you was. Ooh, Trump, nice job on the bridge. Maybe consider adding a bit more support at the bottom. Bro, the disrespect, this ain't a bridge, this a ramp. Yeah, whatever. Just make sure to add some support at the bottom. You are a disgrace to society. I'm done meat writing you for stupid advice. <laughs> Bro really said what I said before. Bush, the Mexicans are about to be on your doorstep. Bro, you better be lying. Laura literally just cleaned the porch. Oh, your porch is about to be obliterated. Also, look at this bridge. I mean, ramp, crud. You're calling me a disgrace, but listen to yourself. You just ruined your reputation. Hey, what does that mean? It sounds so fun. I want to do that too. Biden, you already ruined your reputation. Anyways, watch my ramp do its magic. Ah, they're flying in the air. Hell yeah. Suck it, Obunga. I didn't need none of your help because you're a piece of crud. You're the piece of crud because you won't admit that my advice will help you. Bro, get a clue. Your advice doesn't work for Jack. My incredible mind is the one powering the great bridges and walls. What? What the hell are you doing? This isn't what you're supposed to do. Hey, Barack, I think what he's doing is correct. You should just stop giving bad advice, man. Towers, shut the frick up. Have you ever played this damn? Never. Exactly. So uh, go back to painting, you Bob Ross wannabe. Man, he got you fairly good, Bushy Wushy. Hey, Mr. Demented Man, I think there are kids at your front door. I need to see the kids. I will be right back, boys. And there goes Obama's favorite son. Ah, uh, uh, he is not my son. I am about to send drones over to both of your places. You can't do that because I'm about to finish the best bridge ever made? More like the worst bridge. There are so many problems with this that it is so hard to even explain to you. I think it'll work because of the way it's built, dog. No, it won't. Just get that through your thick skull, you degenerate. Guys, I'm back. Apparently there weren't any kids, but Michelle was there. Bush, what the hell? How did you get in touch with my wife? Never mind that. Uh, Joe, what is she doing? <laughs> well, she's cleaning my entire house because she wants to marry me. Guys, the bridge is done. Watch this. You're an idiot, Trump. Okay, I gotta go beat Joe up. Please don't do that again. What the hell? Well, you wanna play again tomorrow? I'll play again, but not with you. The hell? You're a jerk, bro. Sure, Mr. Wild West, sure. Joe, I think you have seriously gone insane. What in the actual world is the game that I am looking at right now? It's Untitled Goose Game. I really love this game because it is just so fun. Barack, I think Joseph is finally starting the process of literally going crazy. Guys, watch this and listen closely. What the frick was that? Whoa, it's a freaking duck. Well, actually, I think that is a goose because the game literally has goose in the title. Joe, you're the expert at this goofy uh, game. Is that a duck or a goose? Children are playing duck, duck, goose. I want to play with them too. Joseph, you're sleeping again. Wake up. And play the game. I am awake. You said something about duck, duck, goose. I was asking you if that was a goose or a duck. It's a freaking peacock. You gotta let him fly. Oh my goodness. This is the part where I can do my favorite thing ever. Joe, that is so annoying. Stop messing with it. Daddy Obama, you ruined fun. I'm gonna keep speed running this tutorial because I'm such a pro at this. Joe, do you take any sort of substance before you begin playing this wacky game? Yeah, I take a big old swig of the good stuff that Obama always leaves at my place. Uh, Joe, that ain't no alcohol. That's the stuff I I took from the bank I went to. I don't care, alcohol or not, I think it still tastes pretty good. Oh guys, look, I'm gonna break this fence so we can get through. Joseph, this has gotta be the saddest gameplay I've ever seen. You can do better, bro. Hey, I'll have you know that I am a freaking pro. Just leave this to the professionals and keep watching me. Joe, the only thing you're a pro at is being thrown in a sack with a massive rock, then being thrown in a river. Oh, what a coincidence. There's a literal river right here. Oh, shut your little racist mouth. I'm a pro at this game and nothing more. I mean, I'm not a pro at anything else. Joe, you don't have to tell everyone what they already know. Hey, there are some sandwiches right there. Biden, what are you doing? My balls dropped, so I have to put them back up. Never mind that. Just go eat those sandwiches. They look so good. I mean, you can't really eat anything in this game. However, you can pick them up. Also, here's our to-do list. Get into the garden, get the groundskeeper wet steel 
steal the groundskeeper's keys? Who is the groundskeeper? Oh, he's the big old meanie who doesn't like us. What the hell? I'm about to whoop this groundskeeper guy for being racist. Chill out, pods all block. I was trying to say that he doesn't like the geese. Hey, Joe, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just turning the water on. Also, you sound like a smoker. Were you smoking with my son again? Oh, frick off. Whoa, is that the groundskeeper guy? Yes, Trump, that is the groundskeeper. Man, for some reason, he kind of looks like Obama. What in the actual hell is that supposed to mean, Terp? I don't think I'll elaborate on what I meant there. Anyway, what are we doing first? Well, we have to get into the garden. Isn't bro gonna pull out his Glock? if he sees you in there? You better shut your freaking mouth before it gets crazy up in here. Guys, shut up. I think the next thing we have to do is get the groundskeeper wet. And the only way we can do that is if we steal something of his. I don't think stealing something of his will make him wet. Trump, you're a meathead. I'm gonna steal his keys and after that, I'll lead him into the water making him wet. Joe, you're really bad at this. I think you need to watch some tutorials on how to get good. Barack, you're just jealous that I am and always have been amazing. Don't try to roast me just because you don't play video games for Oh, shut the frick up. I bet I can play this game 100 times better than you. Keep dreaming, Barack. You will never be as good as the Big D, Joseph. Stop stealing my freaking nickname. It only applies to me and only me. Then let's call up Stormy and see if you actually do. I'm gonna shove your head in the toilet. Just shut your mouth. Hey, Joe, what do we have to do now? Well, we have to go back into the garden, but I want to get this guy further away so we don't have to worry about him stopping us. If that black guy tries to pull any funny business, I will just pull my pistol and take care of him. Classic Trump always being racist toward black people. Shake my head. Joe, I can say whatever I want about black people because orange is another shade of black. Case dismissed. Just because it's another shade of black doesn't mean you are black, bro. Sure, Obama, sure. Guys, quiet. I think the next thing we have to do is make the groundskeeper guy wear his sun hat but I'm too lazy. So we're just gonna do the rake in the lake one first. What in the actual hell are these tasks? Quite frankly, they make absolutely no sense. Dog, these tasks aren't for good, they're for bad. That's why they're always like that. Bro, why are you quacking at the guy? I thought he didn't care about a stupid rake. He does care about the stupid rake. I just need to slip past him without being seen again. Oh wow, you're doing it, Biden. I sure hope that groundskeeper doesn't see you. It would be such a shame. Trump, stop trying to jinx me. It ain't gonna work since I'm already out of his crust. Dusty sights, ha ha. And once again, Joseph has told his secret service men to play the game for him. I am so disappointed in you, Joe. I didn't tell them to play any game. You are just making stuff up like you always do. Okay, now we need to have a picnic. Oh gee whiz, I can't wait to have a great picnic. Joe, can you just bring whatever you want to the picnic or do we just have to bring certain things? We'll have to bring certain things to this picnic. So don't even think about going to KFC to pick up a bucket of chicken. You better watch your mouth, boy. You're on extremely thin ice right now. Oh, you know Obama's serious when he has to call someone boy. That's it! I'm texting Jill to unplug your internet for an entire week. What? Did, you can't do that. I literally have a meeting with some of my young friends this Friday. The only meeting you're gonna have is the one with Jill in the kitchen because all of your actions. Jill isn't my mom. I'll do whatever I want, be it sniffing children or talking to Mr. Cupcake. No one can stop me. Hey, Joe, you should turn your head 180 degrees. Barack, I am not falling for another one of your pranks. I guess you don't want some ice cream from the ice cream man. Where's the ice cream? Oh, hi, Jill. Wait, don't unplug it. I promise to smuggle more beauty products from China. I swear on mommy Barack. The hell? Thank you so much, Jill. They will be here tomorrow morning. Hi, guys. Joe, what the hell are you smuggling from China this time? Oh, it's nothing, Trump. Anyway, we need to find some jam and a thermos. If we need to find some jam and a thermos, then why did you just pick up a carrot? Because I forgot that we need to get a Trump carrot as well. I I am not a carrot, nor do I have the same color as that thing. Carrots suck a lot like Obama. I am not a freaking woman. Uh, shut the hell up. Uh, if it That's what they all say. Hey, Joseph, where are you going to find jam in a thermos? The groundskeeper guy brought them out here, so it should be right here on this table. I just have to get out of here without him seeing me. You better be careful, Joseph. Oh, I think I can see him. Run, Joe, run. He's catching up to you. He's going to catch you. Will you shut up, man? I ain't blind. I can clearly see that he is not even behind me. That's what the game wants you to think. Joe, run. He's coming after you. Donald, stop messing with the toddler. He might need his diaper changed if you keep scaring him. Mommy, stop being mean. Jill told me that I don't have to wear those things anymore because I'm a big kid now. First off, stop calling me that. Second off, you are the complete opposite of a big kid. You are a literal child. Wah! Stop it! Wah! Shut the hell up and get the stupid thermos. I'm trying! I just have to lure this guy away from it. Oh, I think this will work. You're luring the black guy away. Get the thermos. Quickly. Shut your mouth. Ha ha ha! You suck, groundskeeper guy. I'm gonna steal your little thermos now. Ah! 
Ah, I didn't think this one through. Uh, Joe, you buffoon, get that thermos back from him. We need it. Guys, hold on a second. I think we needed a radio for the picnic. Let's just take that one first. Joe, I do not think the list said to bring a radio. You're just wasting your time right now. Trust me, Barack. I know exactly what the list said, and I'm pretty sure it had the radio on there very clearly. Joe, unfortunately, I have to agree with Obunga. That list did not say anything about a radio. It only listed food items in a thermos. Pish posh. I think you guys are just on something again with Snoop. Oh, stupid groundskeeper, back off. Joe, that guy ain't gonna back off until he gets his radio back. He's very attached to it. I don't care. I stole this fair and square, which means he doesn't own it anymore. Biden, that's not what that means means you just straight up stole from him. You are a thief. You are the real thief for taking those lives and oil in Yemen. Now back off, you piece of crud. Ha ha, he ain't looking for the radio anymore. To, I'm gonna get the thermos now. You better get the thermos. I wanna go place my DoorDash order for some McDonald's. Hey Joe, where the hell are you going? There's nothing there. On the contrary, my black friend. There's a hidden tunnel right here. I'm just gonna leave the keys back here. Okay, get that thermos. Michelle needs me right now. Oh, dad needs you again? Okay, I'll make sure to get this thermos to the picnic. I don't care what you call Michelle. Just get it there fast. Yes, mommy. I will follow all of your orders because you're my favorite mommy. Hey, Joseph, isn't that groundskeeper guy still there? <laughs> get away from me. I need to get this to the picnic. Joe is actually losing it. Get the hell over here. Oh, I'll mail you some chicken. Uh, you suck. <laughs> get wrecked. Joe, he's still after you. Don't go over to the picnic area because he'll see the other things you stole. I will hide over here in this area for the time being. Barack, what the heck is this game? Ah, uh, Trump, this game is called Overcooked. It's a game about cooking in a restaurant. First, Joe wanted to play that duck game, and now you want to play a cooking game. What's next? A train game? Donald, just chill out. This game is so fun. Now, connect your controller so you can play with me. Bro, give me a second. Sounds like someone needs their pacifier. Oh my goodness me. You can make soup in this game. That's so fun. Shut up, Joe. Everyone knows how to make soup. It's the most generic thing ever. Trump, join the game. It's literally starting as we speak. Oh, frick, my controller. It just blew up into a million pieces. Are you okay, daddy? Do I need to send mommy to help you out? Shut up. I'm going to beat the living frick out of you. Joseph, since your dad can't join, you will have to join me. Oh, I don't know where I put my controller. Oh, wait. I had it up in there. What the heck? Guys, I have bad news. For some reason, my controller isn't working. I think it might have had to do with the fact that it was up my- Stop it right there. Okay, both of you are stupid. What are the chances that you guys do the stupidest things to break your controllers? Dude, all I did was press the on button and then it blew up. Oh, wow, you're cutting onions. I can't believe it's not butter. All right, you definitely said some sort of racist joke. Can you explain the racist joke to me? That wasn't a racist joke. I was just saying, I can't believe it's not butter. No joke there, dog. Mommy, don't cut your hands with the chopper thingy. Biden, it's a game. I'm not going to cut my hands with anything. Also, I am not your mommy. Barack, doesn't soup take more than just three onions to deem it a good tasting soup and a soup in general? I mean, aren't there a lot more ingredients than just three onions? Yes, but this is a game, so I don't need anything more than just three onions. Oh, I love onions. Keep cooking up some of that onion soup, Blackie. I'm gonna beat the living hell out of you if you don't shut the hell up right now. Oh, Barack, you have to do dishes now. Wow, the woman is finally in the kitchen doing her job. Shut your mouth. Oh, frick, I need to clean this plate. Ha 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 ha. I knew you were about to do that. Hey mom, while you're there, can you clean my baby cup? Daddy didn't want to clean it out for me. Joe, for the last time, this is a video game. Everything in here is all fake. Oh, frick, I can't do everything at once. Trump, call up the Amazon guy to deliver you a controller. I can't serve all these customers by myself. Bro, grow a pair. You can do this without the help of the biggest D, Trump. Yeah, listen to Trump. After all, he is your ex-husband. Shut the hell up. I have never married a man before, nor have I had any relations with one. All right, let's just bring out a Exhibit A, you and a man named Larry Sinclair. He said that you had a drug filled and- You better shut it. That guy is just a crackhead looking for some attention. Barack, we get it. You don't want to say what happened on that night in 99 because it's too inappropriate to be said in this video. There is nothing to be said. Everything that comes out of that buffoon's mouth is not true. Now let's focus on the game. Hey, Barack, I think there are some people waiting on their onion soup. You might want to fill those orders before they get mad. You're an idiot, Joe. I literally can see that. Do you think I'm blind or something? You know what? Don't answer that because you're going to say Say something stupid. I don't say anything that is stupid. I only say things that are smart because I am as smart as Ben. That nerd is an idiot. Both of you probably have the same IQ level due to how you act. Oh, Barrick, it looks like you got less than 50 seconds left. I wouldn't be surprised if you lost this game just like you lost to Larry in a beer pong game. For the last time, I have no affiliation with that man. Also, I see that, Dumbo. Cut the onions, Obama. Cut them faster than you cut ties with Mr. Sinclair after the 99 incident. Shut your 
ass up before I come over there and rip your mouth off your face. You can't do that because you're making soup for the hangry customers. Yeah, stay in the kitchen, woman. Michelle, Trump and Joe want to tell you something. Can you come here for a second? Hold up, we're just joking. We are not sexist at all. That's what I thought. Uh, oh shoot, I'm gonna lose. Come on, mommy, you can get this last order. Go, mommy. It's not letting me put it in the bowl. Frick this game, I'm gonna freaking blow a gasket. Oh, you identify as a car? I got you. Oh, shut the hell up. Let's just see if my big mommy won. Oh, hell yeah, I got three stars, ha 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 And you were saying that I was going to lose turnip. How in the hell did you get three star? You had so many unfulfilled orders. Trump, it doesn't matter how many orders were unfulfilled. What matters is the order's time running out. Because when it does that, it will bring my score down. Thanks for the rundown, doofus. Oh, Obama, your kitchen is in the middle of the road. A car is gonna drive right through it. Run, Barack. There are no cars. They, they shut down this road so we can sell some food. Crud, where the hell is the onions? Did that guy not leave us any? Ha 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 ha. This is actually too funny. Barack, I think you need to open your eyes. The hell do you mean? I've looked everywhere and can't seem to find this freaking onion thing. Joseph, do you see the thing that I see? Oh yeah, I can see the kid that is crossing the road. Barack, you should sniff them for me. Hell no, nah. I ain't no pedo Pete like you. Trump, where the frick is it? Barack, you just gotta look a bit closer at the countertops. I think you'll be flattered to find out where it actually is. I'll be flattered? What? Oh my freaking gosh, you're kidding me right now. <laughs> I can't. Dude, you're actually so blind. How did you not see that from the start? I don't know. Wait, I put a freaking plate over it. I'm such an idiot. Brock, you don't have to tell all of us what we already know. Yeah, it's okay to be an idiot, mama. Joseph, you sound like an idiot all the time. You have no right to talk, you immature little brat. I am not a brat. I am a big kid now, mommy. I, my stuff is gonna burn. Stop distracting me. Hey, frick. Miss Hussein, I think you're cooking this stuff pretty slowly. Maybe you should pick up the pace a bit. Donald, I'm going as fast as I can. You can't say nothing because you ain't even playing the game. Look, I've cooked some food before and I can confidently say that you're as slow as you're unalived grandma. Oh, let me guess. You microwaved a Hot Pocket? That isn't cooking, bro. For your information, it wasn't a Hot Pocket. It was a three-course gourmet meal. That's bull. I would have heard of this if it actually happened. And besides, if you can cook, then why don't you do that instead of door dashing some McDonald's? Well, um, I don't ever feel like doing that. Door dash is way better. Leave it to Donnie to be lazy. Boys, are you seeing this amazing productivity? I'm going faster than Ramsey ever could. The productivity is so good that you're about to miss an order. Order. No, I ain't. That order will be fulfilled before you can even say I will resign from the presidency. Hey, Joseph, you should say that to see if he's lying. I will resign from the presidency. Oh, man, he did do it before I finished saying it. Joseph, since you resigned, who are you going to give the presidency to? Oh, I'll just give it to Trump since he just offered me a free vacation to Mar-a-Lago through messages. Guys, did I tell you about how annoying this game is when you're playing by yourself? Obama, stop your crying. We get that you don't have a big and strong man to help you out in the kitchen. <laughs> Mommy, are you okay? It sounds like you're choking on the long john again. It Listen here, you two idiots. I am not a woman, nor am I a mother. I'm the father of two beautiful daughters. I am married to a great woman, and I never had any relations with a man in 99. Trump, you're probably a woman, and Joseph, you probably had relations with that man in 99. Thanks for reminding me, Barack. I completely forgot that I was invited to Larry's house in 99. My bad, Daddy. Hussein, I think you're going delusional or something. At first, you said that you were a man. Then you said that you were a woman then a car, and now a father. I'm going to ignore you because I'm going to run out of time. Go, Barack, go. You're about to have an unfulfilled order. You better go faster. <sighs> frick, frick. I hate that these things start to overcook so fast. <clears throat> Come on. You're going to miss an order. You're going to miss an order. I am not going to miss an order. Just watch my amazing maneuvers and cooking skills. You got less than 30 seconds left. <laughs> Oh, crud, stop overcooking. Yes, it's ready. Barack, you're gonna miss it. Why? Watch this, I got this in the bag, boys. Ha 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 ha, got him. There are 10 seconds left and there's another order unfulfilled. I don't have time. Let's just hope it doesn't run out of time before the real timer goes out. Oh no, the timer, ah. All right, yeah, let's just see the scores. I think you'll get three. Yeah, you did it, Obama. This is rigged. The game was supposed to give you zero stars because of the slowness. I was going fast the whole freaking time. I don't want to hear the jealousy, you carrot. Shut the hell up. Boys, it's time for us to rank new Minecraft blocks in tier list form. Broccoli, you seriously called me to do this junk? I'm out of here, dog. Yeah, I thought you said that we were going to order ice cream online. Guys, just put up with it. The producer needs us to do this before anything else happens. Screw you and the producer. I hate doing this. Okay, now that you have all your anger out, we can now start ranking these blocks. The first block we got is bedrock. Dog water. Worst block 
suck ever. Can't even use it for anything. Bro, this is more like mediocre. I don't think it's too bad. Guys, come on. People use this block a lot on their extremely big builds. I think it deserves to go in the okay tier. Yeah, we also use it to build your house, Barack. All right, I guess you have a point there. Joseph, I do not build my freaking house out of bedrock. Never mind that. What do we have next? Next up on the list is Andesite. Personally, I think the older one was the worst looking block. I could not stand how terrible it looked. However, it looks like they fixed it up a bit, so I think it's an okay block. Honestly, I gotta agree with Barack this time. The old one looked like Joe's mingled and wrinkly face, but now it looks less mingled, but still wrinkly. Throw it in the okay tier. You people are meanie weenies. My face is not mingled or wrinkly. It's okay, Jokely. You don't have to hide the fact that you look older than the fossils in the ground. Shut up. I look nothing like Melania. Boys, let's move on to the next block, which is the birch log. That is the most beautiful block I have ever seen. It's more beautiful than the children in my basement. Well, actually, maybe not, but it still looks great. And <laughs> big S tier. Joe, your opinion is big S, but not the big S tier. This goes into dog water. No hesitation. Barky, great minds think alike. Trunk, your mind will never be as powerful in black. I mean, awesome as mine. Dog, orange is another color of black, so my mind could technically be black like yours. Orange is orange. What the frick do you mean it's another color of black? You know what I always say, orange is the new black. Anyway, it looks like we got the copper block next. Bro, this is overrated as hell. All you can do with it is make a spyglass and a lightning rod. But spyglasses are so useful if you want to spy on someone who you had an affair with. That is oddly specific, dog. Anyways, I think dog water is perfect for this. Come on, bro. Give more credit to the block. At least it does something to help people instead of ignoring everyone like Jokey over here. What? I keep feeding the fire. Oh, I'm awake. All right, I'll put it in the mediocre tier. Hold up. What did you just say, Robbie? Uh, I was telling my men to keep feeding the fire in Hawaii. I mean, I'm just talking about the fireplace. Bidet, what the heck? I know what you're talking about, but we're gonna move on. The next block we got is the iron ore block. Bro, it's iron. It's definitely useful in my books, but like, it's just an iron block. Turkey Turkey, this block drops nine iron ore. It's literally way better than the regular ore. Joe, chill out. I think all of us can settle on the okay tier. Hell no. This deserves the great tier. No cap, homie. Joker Smoker, let the adults talk. Okay, Obama, put it in the okay tier. I got you, dog. <laughs> Joe, shut the frick up. No one wants to hear your baby crying noise. I don't make freaking baby noises, you Mars-looking idiot. Okay, Cactus is our next block. What are we thinking, boys? Green dye and XP. That's really all I have to say there. What's wrong with green dye? I actually don't have a problem with it since it's the color of money. Wow, who could have guessed? Anyway, this is kind of useful, but I literally don't use it at all. And that's why I'm putting it in the okay tier. Quite frankly, I can agree with that placement. Yeah, maybe that placement is pretty reasonable. Okay, the next block we got is... Cake! Oh my goodness gravy! This block is the best because, well, it's cake! I love me some good old cake. Slap that in the big steer. Alrighty then. Okay, the next block we got is the carved pumpkin. Bro, you wanna know something? You can actually make pumpkin pie with this. Pumpkin pie can give so many health points, so I think it's worth it. As much as I can agree with the health point thing, I feel like there's too much work to put in to just get one pumpkin pie. You gotta make a chicken farm for the eggs, a sugar cane farm, and of course a pumpkin farm. I think this is mediocre at best. Broccoli is right. It's too much work for us frail men. What do you mean? After you set up the freaking farms, you will barely have to do anything. You people are stupid. It's nothing personal, dog. The next block is the cauldron. Let me guess. Is crafting this block too much work for you frail people? Uh, yeah, it's too much work for us because of our frailness. You old man, do not include me in your stupid oldness. I think this block is so easy to get. However, the only use we have for it is holding our water. Wait, cauldrons can hold water? Well, I guess I wasted my time with placing water all around the house. You did what to the house? Hey, now Joe, when I get on later, there better not be water all over the ground. Uh, anyways... I think the cauldron should be in the mediocre tier. Yep, I agree. There's just not much this thing offers, but I do think it looks nice. Rala rala, be for real right now. This block does not look nice. Believe it or not, Trumpy, everything doesn't have to look bad. All right, the next block we got is the chest. This block is literally goaded. I would literally trade my left kidney for this block. It's just that good. Yes, I would trade all my kids for this. Guys, it's not that serious. I think this block is good, but it definitely cannot be on the same level as the cake. Bro, don't even. Those two are literally equally as good. Put it in the big S tier now. Yeah, listen to the tangerine. He really knows what he's talking about for once. Says the guy who has made the worst decisions in American history. 
Trumpy, don't start. We're trying to do a tier list. All right, all right. Just move the chest to the big S tier and then we'll be good. Hey, that wasn't the chest. Get that garbage out of here. Suck on these nuts, Trumpy. The chest is staying with the raw iron block. Frick you. All right, next block we got is the clay block. Obama, you have left me no choice but to call up Benny to ask him for his opinions on this block. Do not call him. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Joe, did you just call me a freaking carrot? If he was, he wouldn't be wrong. Okay, the glass block is up next. We'll talk later, Joker. Okay, so the glass block is pretty good if you want to see inside the victim's cell. Huh? Dog, I'm joking. I was going to say that this stuff is good for a house if you want everyone to see inside. Honestly, that is creepy but smart. I say we put it in the okay tier. Sounds good to me. All righty, boys. Looks like this is the last one. No, it can't be. This is literally the worst block in the list. Watch your mouth, Biden. I will have my workers at Mar-a-Lago fix you up in no time. While this block is kind of useless like Trumpy, I still think it's nice looking, and that's why I say we put it in the big S tier. Honestly, if that finishes off the tier list, then it's all good with me. Don't you dare put that junk up there and on that note i think joe has officially lost it joe i've got a bad feeling about this game you wanted us to play trump i want you to put down quincy the bow and arrow dude yes trump joe you said we were playing on the minecraft server today well i figured that we needed to play a different game for once fair enough but why did you specifically want to play this game well i wanted to play this game because all of us can work together rather than arguing every single second Man, you took the words right out of my mouth. What the pickles did I just click? Oh, never mind. I was a bit dumb. Barack, is Michael at your house still? Trump, please do not call her Michael. And yes, she is here. Why do you ask? Well, I just wanted to tell her that I got her account banned from Facebook. Wait, you really weren't kidding when you said that? Nah, man, you can go check it real quick. Trump, turn on auto start so we don't have to keep clicking the play button. Already three seconds ahead of you, Joseph. Trumpy, why haven't you gotten a banana farm yet? We're only three rounds in. What do you mean? Oh, I thought it said round four. It said round three a few seconds ago, but we moved on to the next round. Wait, it says round five now. What is going on? Jokey, did you make sure to take your things this morning? Dog, I take the things that are in a bottle every day. Guys, let's focus on popping these balloons. Nah, I want to focus on making this money. Donald, don't you have enough of that already? You know, a man can never have enough banana money. Trump, don't be greedy. Buy something that will keep us in the game. Buy something that will keep us in the game, huh? Hmm, I'll have to save up a little bit. What are you saving up to buy? I'm buying something that will keep us alive for a long time. Oh boy, I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, boys. The thing I'm about to buy is extremely useful. You piece of caca poo poo. I knew you were going to be greedy. Hey, this will allow us to make more money to buy more things. I hate to admit it, but he's right. When we get further into the game, we'll need all the money we can get. I have the biggest brain moves that you can't even comprehend. Dagnabbit, Trumpy. You're making me a tad bit mad. Joe, breathe. <sighs> Do you feel better now? Yes, I feel way better. Wow, I didn't know you were taking breathing classes. Trumpy, I didn't know you were wasting all of our banana money. You just said that it was a good thing that I bought the banana farm. What the pickles? I know, but I've got a feeling that you're probably just going to focus on the farm and only the farm. Bro, I promise you that I won't be a greedy caca poo poo, okay? You literally just placed down another farm. Look, I just placed that for the aesthetic. I have no intention to make any banana money from it. You're capping. You just want more banana farms just so you can make more banana money. All right, fine. That may be the case, but it still helps with buying more magic monkeys. Speaking of monkeys, we really need to get Dragon's Breath because we will lose if we don't get it. Um, actually, it would be better Kick if him you from get the, the call. Okay, who on God's green earth let Ben join our private call? Well, the chat says that Joe added him. Joe, why the flippity flop did you add Ben to the call? It was a misclick. I was trying to change my Discord name to Joe the Balloons Tower Defense Master. Bro, you're tripping if you think that you are the master at this game because I am clearly the master at this game. Yeah, you're the master at buying things that don't help us pop balloons. Cork it. I will buy things that will pop balloons when we actually need them. Trump, please don't buy another farm. That doesn't pop balloons. Bro, I know that farms don't pop balloons. Farms actually do some good for this banana land. Hold up. Why did you call it banana land? Oh, wow. I can upgrade the farm so that they give us more banana money. Dog, you need to buy more magic monkeys. Oh, shoot, Trump, you need to place down a non-magic monkey? Nah, that would be a waste of money. Bro, you just let some balloons through. Yeah, what the flip, Trinket? You know what? I'm glad I didn't do anything to stop those balls of rubber-filled helium. Don't you mean helium-filled balls of rubber? Hush, I know how to speak words. Looks like someone's gonna have to start taking things like me. The only thing I will be taking is your wife. Impossible. Jill and I are in an unknown location currently. Let me guess, your mom's basement? Holy shnikes, you finally bought something more useful than farms. I only did that to make you stop bothering me about it. Hold up, how did you know I was in my mother's basement? Joseph, let's just say that I used to stop by there a lot. What the flippity flop? Guys, we're going off track. Let's try to focus on the game. Hmm, this banana farm looks like it needs some upgrading. If you're going to keep wasting our money for money, then you might as well buy some more farms. This right here is not wasting. If anything, I'm doing the monkeys a service by giving them more bananas and some goofy looking costumes. Trump's got a point. Those magic monkeys do look very funny in those costumes. All right, fine. I guess I can agree with that, too. I'm glad we three can finally agree on something that is very funny. Us agreeing on something is like Trump actually buying more wizard monkeys. 
So you're basically saying that it's a rare occurrence? Guys, chill out. I will buy some wizard monkeys right now. Holy moly, he's actually doing something that will help us win the game. The only thing helping us win the game is me, because I have my almighty and powerful monkey village. Bro, that's got to be the most terrible placement since Trump Towers. Dog, Trump Towers is in the top 10 best places for a hotel to be. Also, this monkey village is in a great spot. Trump, not going to lie, that is a great placement for the monkey village because it will be able to reach all around the area. Ha! Even POTUS agrees with me. You can never go wrong with something like that. Joe, you were supposed to be on my side. Barack, that monkey village is in an amazing spot. I genuinely don't know how you can see that as a bad spot. Well, um, if you did, uh, well... All right, fine. Maybe you're right, Trump. I know I'm right. I am always right. Trump, why the fiddlesticks can I not get on Facebook? Hello, Michael. I called up Zucky and he got your account removed. Trump, I had all of my family photos on there. You need to call him back. Michelin, man, you can talk to me when I'm not playing Balloons Tower defense with your wife and Joey. Uh, fine. Then let me know when you guys are done. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm not letting her know when we finish, LOL. Guys, did you notice that we won? Dog, we don't win until round 100 has been beaten. Yeah, true Sigma males always go to round 100, and people like me only go to round 3. Oh, is that why you were freaking out when we passed round 3? Yes, Trump, I hate to admit it, but round 3 and I go back a few years. Are you like friends with round 3, or are you guys enemies? I'd prefer not to talk about it. Hey, I love the placements for the wizard monkeys. Thank you. I felt as if this was the best place for them because one, there's a lot of space and two, they'll be able to pop the balloons quicker. I love the placement and all, but I feel like we need some in the back. Oh, great. What's your reasoning now, Barack? Well, if any balloons get through all of those monkeys at the front, then there'll be nothing to stop the balloons at the ending part of the track. Bro cooked and we devoured everything. Barack, you are the best cook ever. Well, they don't call me Gordon Ramsay for nothing. Wait, this round has fortified ceramic balloons. Uh, what does that mean? It means they're extremely weak balloons that can't handle the absolute unit of this wizard monkey. Facts, bro. We got the best monkey in the game. Yep, and we'll keep placing them down. Hold up. The magic monkeys can't pop those balloons. You'll have to place a dart monkey or something. Okay, let me find it real quick. Trump, hurry. We're going to lose. Sleepy Joe, those balloons are gone. You need to chill the flip out. Wait, where the hippity hop am I? For cheese's sake, Joey, we're playing Balloons Tower Defense. Make sure to subscribe to see a sneak peek of my Biden blast. Joe, we don't ask for subs, but I guess there ain't no harm in doing that. Biden blast, boom, boom, wah. Oh, great. I think Joe is off his rocker again. The only thing I am off of is water. Wait, you don't drink water? Dog, I've been off of it for three years now. Oh, my goodness. Joseph, you need to drink some H2O. All right, fine. I'll drink some after this game. Dog, I just realized you almost got crossbow master. Yeah, I've been saving up for it this entire time. Hello, my little Trumpy Wumpy. Ah, kick him! Joe, you need to stop inviting people to the VC. I actually didn't invite anyone that time. I think he just found a way into it. Drizzy is one of the strangest people I've ever met in my entire life. Like, he doesn't stop being so weird. Anyways, I think we're doing fairly well. We've only lost five lives and our defense is amazing. Speaking of defense, I think it's time we brought more banana farms into this American soil. Bro, we have enough farms, you greedy orange. I have to agree with Joe on this one. You're basically just doing this for the money now. You know what they always say, the more banana money, the better. Trumpy, I don't think anyone in this universe has ever said that. Plenty of people have said that. You've just never heard it before. Sure, Trumpy and oranges have been to the moon. Wait, Trump has been to the moon. Wow, congratulations, Trump. Ha ha ha, very funny, Joey and Obama. One day I will prove that my all-natural tan is not like an orange. Nah, it's more like a planet, such as Mars. Man, this is making me want to save up my banana money just to spend it all on farm upgrades. Bro, please spend the money on something that is actually useful. Barack, we've been over this. Farm upgrades are very much worth it, especially if you want to annoy your friends. That isn't very nice, Donald. Yeah, and Obama trash-talking my tower placement wasn't very nice either. Bro, did you seriously spend 16 grand on a farm? I cannot believe you right now. Hey, I am the one who is controlling the game, so you have no say in what I spend my money on. Guys, cool your jets. Flip no! Obama needs to stop telling me what to do. Nah, dog. You just need to stop making bad decisions before we lose the game. My decisions are the best in the game industry. Bro, don't lie about it. We all know that it's not true. Obama, when I have the chance, I'm going to spend all of my money on farms, and there ain't nothing you can do to stop me. Actually, there is something I can do. Hi, Melania. Trump is being mean to me. Hold up. You are not on the phone with Melania. Yes. Can you please tell him to spend all of his money on wizard monkeys? Barack Obama, stop faking that. You are not on the phone with Melania. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. I had to contact my people. Barack, Melania is not a part of your people. She is my wife for Pete's sake. Hi, world. I love popping rubber. Joseph, that was so random, and I'm not a big fan of it. Being random is my specialty, dog. Just ask me something, and I'll guarantee you a random answer. Okay, how far is the moon from Earth? 238,900 miles. 
Joe, that wasn't random. You literally said how far it actually was. Not going to lie. I'm really impressed, Joseph. I'm starting to become proud of you. Hi, starting to become proud of you. My name is Joe. Never mind. I'm now disappointed in you. In fact, you can't even measure how disappointed I am because it's just off the charts. Wow, Obama, you are so brutal. Trump, you spend all of our money, so I don't want to hear it. Look, it's all for a good cause. Yeah, because you want to make as much money as you can before you lose. I know. Dog, I'm literally spending the money on wizard monkeys. How the heck is this making as much money as I can? Oh, I wasn't really paying attention. Sorry about that. I guess you do care about the defense. Yeah, you goober. I would never spend my money on farms. That's just not me. Man, we have come a long way to get to this point. Although it kind of feels like we just teleported to a different point in time. Bro, Joe is going crazy right now. Can you believe this guy? Dog, Joe isn't the one going crazy. I'm the one that is going crazy. Yeah, it seems like you've been doing that quite often, dog. Trump, this is the first time in a while that I've really felt like a volcano erupting. Oh, are you mad because of me upgrading the banana farm? Yes, and because you haven't gotten any phoenixes yet. Eh, who needs phoenixes? Those birds are literally the worst. Trump, I would highly recommend getting the orange birds. They will help get to round 100. All right, fine. I'll think about it. Trumpster, what is a dart monkey? A dart monkey is a dart monkey. But like what it is, does it do anything? Yeah, in fact, I'm fairly sure that it does your mother. Okay, guys, we're four rounds away from 100. Let's flip and go. I knew we could get to this round. Joseph, we're not at round 100 yet. I was just saying we are four rounds away from 100. No, dog, I know what I heard. Trump, place more magic monkeys. We need as many as we can get for the big fight against the BFB. Nah, I think that's all that needs to be placed. Bro, if we lose, then I'm blaming it on you. Dog, trust me, we ain't gonna lose this. I am too good looking to lose. You literally look like Mars. We're gonna lose. Joe, Barack said that I look like Mars. Obama, be nice. What the heck? I didn't do anything. I'm just speaking the truth. Okay, this is it, the BFB. What happened to Phoenix's being trash? Dog, we need to focus on this. Come on, you stinking balloon. Just pop. Ain't no way. We just won the game. Let's flip and go. Good job, Trumpy. I guess you might be good at the game after all. Dog, of course I'm good at the game. Ah, oh, man, it feels good to be back in Bloons Tower Defense. I love this game more than my wife. Joe, no one asked. Okay, let's put down the wizard monkey because that is the best one. Oh, wow. Obama looks so much different in the game than in real life. Joseph, you better watch your mouth. I'm going to let this one slide, but next time you ain't going to get away with that. Boys, I'm about to blow your minds with this amazing new life hack. Wowza, so cool. Bro, you're an idiot. Everyone literally knows about their money drops, and it's not even new. You rock orange i know i just wanted to flex on you little poor man and fossil <laughs> whoa it's a smart monkey man with a tablet i wonder if the tablet has minecraft on it joker smoker this is a freaking video game i doubt he has anything downloaded onto there hey trumpy you should place more wizard monkeys it will save us from needing to wait for a balloon to get back to the start nah i have a way better plan with this money that i stole from the monkey workers donker trunk at least upgrade the only wizard monkey we have a little bit we won't survive with the default job Okay, there you go. Now it's time for the banana farms. I'm going to be richer than Bezos. Ugh, I knew you were going to do this. Just focus on staying alive. Don't be greedy again. Dog, money is way more important than staying alive. Well, actually, they're both equal, but I'm going to keep focusing on the sweet, sweet cash baby. You greedy pumpkin looking. Ah, you will buy more, but I mean monkeys or else I will take Melania. <laughs> oh, finally. I've hated that woman ever since we married each other. She is a gold digger. Wait, Melania just married you for the money wow i guess what she said about not buying stuff was false hell yeah it was she spent 12 million on so many freaking lamborghinis sounds like someone married a gold digger hey joseph get your freaking head out of the clouds he literally just said that oh and monkeys have been on the moon i'll believe it when i hear it barack hair loss obamna i am not losing hair it's just the camera's lens they're all messed up boys i'm giving you a chance to choose what i upgrade next upgrade obama he needs new hair because hair loss <laughs> shut the f up trump upgrade the freaking wizard monkey these balloons are gonna start getting through if you don't upgrade him yes finally i know you're actually using that little orange size brain for once obama what did i use to buy that upgrade with you use the bananas of course all right and where did i get those bananas from you got them from popping the balloons i got some of them from popping balloons but most of them came from my epic farms get wrecked nerd tesar obama you just got destroyed nah he got cooked like a steak on a grill. Dog, he was obliterated by the forces of America. Nuh-uh. He got blasted by my- Just shut up. No one wants to hear you two go back and forth about something so stupid and pointless. Just drop it and move on. Frick me! Chill out, Mr. Bombs. I think you need to take the Michelin Man's meditation class. That isn't my wife's not- Hey, yep, he definitely needs some help. 
All right, let's focus on the game now. Trumpy, we're on round 12. You need to put more monkeys down so we don't lose. Fine, but I'm not paying full price. I need to place down a monkey village for the big savings. Classic Trump, always looking for ways to save money, even though he's filthy, stinking rich. I mean, he ain't wrong for that. We literally don't have much money to work with anyways. Yeah, go back to school, you degenerate. Oh, wait, they probably won't let you since you're Joe Biden. There's nothing wrong with being me. All I love to do is put kids in my white van, then we go get ice cream in the White House. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, could you tell me the numbers and letters on the little white plate on the back of that van. I need it so I can send you unlimited ice creams. Oh boy, unlimited ice creams. Let me message you it. Oh wow, another monkey on the track. I can't believe it's actually happening. Yeah man, I was gonna place AC-130S, but you can't really do that in this game. Uh, why in the world would you want to place AC-130s? Man, I can't believe you don't know. Well, I was going to place them so we can recreate 2015. Shut the hell up. We accidentally misclicked the location when we were doing that. All right, Mr. Hoss Anyway, I feel as if it's time to start upgrading the village again. Don't yell at me, Barky, or medicationless. I am not medicationless. Eh? In fact, I had Fauci invent a serum that will cure all of my problems. <laughs> Suck on my... That's enough, child toucher. There, are you guys happy? I put down more monkeys. It's about time. I was about to call up my men so they could raid Mar-a-Lago again. Joseph, we all know that your secret service men are children. Don't try to hide it. Hey, yeah, I didn't tell you that information. How did you know about that? Uh... Moving on. Oh, dog, I'm about to get Dragon's Breath up in this joint. Uh, uh Trump plays a dart monkey. Uh, no. I don't have enough money. Ah, uh, ah. Uh... We're gonna lose because of your stupidity, Term. Thanks a lot. I forgot about these freaking balloons existing. Don't blame me for catching Joe Biden's disease, you potheads. Oh, it looks like we didn't lose. <laughs> I knew that my super smartness wasn't wrong. Hey, <laughs> You got lucky this time, Donald. Now place down those monkeys. Eh, we need them on the field, fighting to keep the balloons out. We need them on the what? Oh, hell no. Obama, that, that's friendly fire. Yeah, you really just made a racist joke about your own race. You both are about to go to the infirmary after I'm done with you. Oh, wait. I just realized that we called Obama a monkey. Yeah, you buffoon. Now, are you ready to face the power of my Obama Hamaha? Bring it on, chocolate ice cream. I have the power of the trumpets on my side. The trumpets? Ha <laughs> ha That sounds so weak. I bet it can't even beat Jokey's Biden blast. Ha 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 ha! So weak! Hey, my Biden blast is so powerful. Don't underestimate it, my child. There are great balloons. Uh, pop them, Mary, pop them. Joe, shut the hell up. We have wizard monkeys. They can pop the freaking lead balloons. Jeez. Oh, phew. I thought they were going to get through because they were mean looking. Joe, how in the Sam Hill can balloons be mean looking? They're just freaking balloons. Well, they have this angry face that they always put on when they pop up on the screen. Uh, Joseph, I actually think your doctor drugged you or something. There is no angry face on any of the balloons. Uh, so I recommend finding a new doctor to give you meds. But I love Dr. Kamala. She's a great doctor who gives me green looking pills to smoke every day. What? Joe, are you smoking the green stuff from a pill? Nah, man. It's Kamala's secret ingredient to make my issues go away. Joe, smoking that green stuff doesn't make your issues go away. You need to stop taking the stuff that woman is giving you. Trump round 40 is coming up. You need to buy more Harry Potter monkeys. Barricade, I think you need to get your head out of your rear and look at the money count. We have no money. That's because you keep spending it on farms. You can focus on the farms after round 40, all right? Nah, man, I gotta give this monkey more work than Joe has ever given to the American people. Oh, man, I bet you're so fun at parties, you rotten carrot. You'd be right, because I am so fun at the parties that Obama and Snoop hosts on the weekends. Wait, you host parties on the weekends with Snoop, and you don't even invite me? Shut up. We only do it for this exact reason, you cry baby. I swear, let's just focus on the game. Guys, I'm gonna spend two grand on Sharpshooter. That should help with our purple balloon problem. Uh, guys, we literally just took down that MOAB in a matter of a few seconds. How? With the power of my farmers generating money for us. That's how, my dear Obama. I was gonna argue with that, but you're technically not wrong since money equals more monkeys. Hold the truck up. 
How are we healing? I thought we couldn't do that. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's the little monkey holding the tablet that is healing us. Wow, this news is so new to me. I had no idea that the hacker monkey could hack in hearts for us. This information is so mind-blowing. Will you shut up, man? We don't play this game as much as your tangerine rear does. Dog, I only have 12,000 hours on this game. I really don't play that much ever. What? How in the child sniffing do you have the time to play that much? Well, I actually hired impersonators dressed as me to go around the world and make speeches for me. Oh, that's exactly what you did in that one episode. Uh, I think your son was one of those impersonators. Episode of what? Joe, are you making fake shows about me? I'm not doing anything of the sort. I just found the show on CBS. Well, I'm going to take down this fake news and you as well. Also, I'm placing more villages so we can get more deals on these monkeys. Smart move, Turmpy. We need to save as much money as possible so we can recreate that thing you were talking about earlier. Huh? Obama, I was joking about that, you crazy freak. Oh, I want to recreate ice cream too. Yummy. You blue people are insane. No wonder why Kamala is feeding you those pills. Uh, Actually, she's making me smoke them, not eat them. Joe, stop it. Get some help. Anyways, it looks like round 50 is just around the corner. You know what else is around the corner? Me and Michael's vacation to the beach. Oh, I was at the beach a while ago. It was fun to take off my shirt in front of all those kids. Joe, ask Kamala to give you more of those pills. I think it's for the better. Yeah, and make sure to sign the little paper document that I just sent over to you. Oh, I just got it. Uh, It says that if you sign this, you have to give Donald J. Trump the presidency. And as a prize, we will send you unlimited ice creams and children for life. Oh, golly, God. Gosh, I'm going to sign this. While you're doing that, I'm going to place more of these monkeys because we can save money, baby. Oh, you should save up for Crossbow Master. It is literally one of the best Tier 5 upgrades in the game. Eh, I don't know about one of the best, but it's definitely good in a situation like this. Oh, don't even hate on it, dog. This thing can pop more than a freaking super monkey ever could. Whoa! Don't diss the super monkey, bro. The Black Knight upgrade is so OP that it can pop so many balloons. The Black Knight? That is not the name of it, you racist. Look, when you upgrade him, he can turn black, so I think it's fine if he's called that because he's technically black. All right, fine. Maybe you have a point there, but I don't want you calling him the Black Knight. It just sounds stupid. Friendly fire. Friendly fire. Wee woo. Wee woo. Oh, cork it, you pumpkin. You know what I meant? Broccoli, it's okay. We get that you don't like other black people. Michelle, get me my pew pew. Well, hold on, Barack. We were just joking around, you know? Uh, never mind, Michael. I mean, Michelle, gosh dang it, twerp! Ha 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 ha! Bro really doesn't want to admit that she has a husband. My wife is not a man, and I am not a woman, so shut up. Hey, look at the upgrade I just bought. It's the Black Knight. With the Black Knight, we will be able to get to round 60. Bro, the Black Knight is dog water. You cannot tell me that it is better than any of the other monkeys on the track. But Barack, the Black Knight has the abilities of Batman, and Batman can do whatever he wants because he's a self-made billionaire like me. You are not a self-made billionaire. Your dad gave you everything he had. Barack and roll, that's fake news. Anyways, I think we're about to win. There's no chance in hell that we're gonna win with your trash black knight. Wait, what the hell? Ha ha ha! Eat your words, Barky! Rigged. All right, let's play free play now. Thanks to everyone on screen for becoming a member. Also, thanks for watching. Joey, why the flip do you keep choosing weird games like this? Hush up, Trumpy. Oh no, a trolley is heading toward five people. We can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but it would unalive one person. To keep my great reputation, I will choose to pull the lever. You still unalive someone, so it didn't really matter. Hey, at least it was only one person and not all of your supporters. I have more than five supporters, dog. Guys, be quiet. We have the choice to unalive four or five people. Hold up. These five people are Joe's supporters. I need to do what I must. What happened to not ruining your reputation? Well, you know, things like this are worth ruining your reputation for. Bro, what the heck? You're insane. Ah, it's money. Don't pull the lever. Bro, your net worth is literally $2.5 billion. Joey, read the fine print. That is my life savings. Oh, well, I think we know what to do then. Don't you dare. Oh! Dog, I didn't run over the money. Oh, I just noticed that, and I'm very surprised. Yeah, and I'm not surprised that you are a complete buffoon. Shut the hell up. Joey, would you unalive yourself to save five people? Well, I guess that answers my question. Look, I don't know who the five people were, so I couldn't care less about them. Joe, they were your supporters. You crusty old man. Dog, I ain't crusty. I'll have you know that Jill moisturizes my skin every day. No one cares, Joe. Oh, we have to save the Mona Lisa. 
What the hell? Dog, why didn't you flip the lever? Because the Mona Lisa is worth money. Trumpy, you're crazy. I ain't crazy. I'm just a great businessman. Look, there's a businessman and he's offering me 500 grand to save him. Trump, don't do it. Hey, uh... Don't worry. Joseph, I'll give all this money to Ukraine. Wait, really? Hell no. This is going straight into my pocket. Guys, do we save the cat or the lobsters? Well, lobsters can make for a great meal and cats are just annoying. Of course you would bring up meals. Look, I think lobster is fairly good. But the cat is cute. Would you pull the lever on that cutie? Yep, and I just did. Wah, wah, ah, my cute cat. Joe, shut up. Would you guys unalive five sleeping people or one person that is awake? Well, I'd have to go with the one person. And there goes Obama's reputation, right down the garbage disposal. Dog, I answered your question because I know Sleepy Joe is still bawling after the cat incident. Well, I'm not bawling. My name is Joseph freaking Biden. Wake up, Joe. Oh, uh, I'm awake. Guys, stop it right now. We can save five people that tied themselves to the track or save the guy that tripped on the track. Man, the five people must be Trump supporters. Those people ain't my supporters. I think Trump supporters should be unalived. What the hell? Don't do that. Too late, drunky monkey. No, why have you done this? Because you got what was coming to you. Ah, Joe, you better watch your back. 2024 is mine. Naw dog, that's my year. Oh, whoa, I didn't know you were Mr. Voice Crack McGee. Shut the hell up. If we pull the lever, then it'll speed up, making it less painful. That's not how that works, but we'll roll with it. Ha <laughs> ha, I see what you did there. Yeah, I was doing your mom. No, you ain't. Hey, I'm trying to do this game right now. Would you rather pull the lever, but have your Amazon package be late or unalive the person? Bro, the Amazon package is way more important than an ugly dude. I actually think he looks handsome. And now you just sealed the deal for me. No, you want to live my king? Did you just call him your king? What the hell? Don't judge, dog. He was like a husband to me. Oh, great. Who's the best friend in this scenario? Well, I'm going to be real for a second. Both of you guys are my best friends, but if one of you had to be on the tracks, it'd have to be Joe. I can't stand his constant bawling. Oh, come on, dog. I mean, I get it, but why though? Two words, cat incident. Wah! Wah! And there's the proof. Hey, at least you admitted that we are best friends. Yeah, you did do that. Now move on to the next level. All right, fine. We shall continue with this rigged game. Ah, did I forget my glasses again? Joseph, you didn't forget your glasses. The screen is just blurry. The trolley is heading toward five people, and we can pull the lever to divert it to the other track that has one person on it. Yeah, but it says that we forgot our glasses and we aren't sure about it. Ooh, pretty button. Joe, what are you doing? I wanted to click the pretty button. Dog, we weren't ready yet, you freaking oldie. Joe, next time, don't click the button without our permission. Sorry, Daddy Obama. Hey, what the hell? Anyways, do we want to unalive our first cousin or our second cousins? Well, my first cousin probably isn't rich, so don't touch the lever. Okie dokie, Trunk and Donuts. That isn't my name. My name is Trump. Did you say your name is Trunky Monkey? Okay. I want to speak with the person who made these dumb nicknames so I can deal with them. Holy shoot, there are five Joe Bidens on the track. I'm not elderly! I don't know what you said, but we're not going to touch the lever. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Goodbye, Joe Bidens. Barack, that wasn't me on the tracks. Trumpy was lying to you. Never mind that. There are five clones of us, and we're on the other track. Bro, send it straight through the clones. I'm too powerful as is. Yeah, and we all know why. Yeah, it's because I'm a ripped man. Plow through those clones, Trunk. That's what I was doing, Jokey. All right, Trinket. All right, crusty old man. All right, Trunk and Donuts. All right, Joseph. Dog, that's actually my name. Guys, will you pipe down for a minute? A trolley is headed toward a box that has a 50% chance of having two people in it. But we can divert it to the other one, which has a 10% chance of having 10 people in it. Dog, I like your thought process. Thank you. Elon and I talk on the weekends, so that's where I get it from. Wait, he always tells me that he can't talk on the weekends because he's always busy with stuff. Uh, awkward. Anyways, it looks like there are robots this time. Wait, don't put my brain in the robot. Joe, no one is putting your brain in the robot. Oh, phew, I didn't want to do that again. Anyways, I think we should plow the robots because they might take over the world one day. Man, Donnie is slowly starting to turn into me. Bro, I will never be anything like you. Whoa, what the hell is going on with this track? Oh, I think I parked my trolleys in the wrong place. Joe, this isn't real life. This is just a video game. Hold up. The trolley is heading toward three other trolleys that are worth $900,000. But the other one is only worth $300,000. Now, as a businessman, I have to say that we need to pull the lever because the three trolleys are way more valuable than the other one. Sounds like bro was having a stroke at the end of that sentence. I was not having anything of the sort. 
No way, it's Trump's wall. I'll have you know that my wall is way bigger than that puny thing. Guys, should we crash the trolley to make it stop releasing carbon dioxide? Well, if the wall disappears, then heck yeah, let's do it. Aw, oh, dang. I thought you wanted to keep your almighty wall, Trump. That wasn't even my wall. I don't know, man. It seemed like that was the wall you were talking about in 2016. Stop the cap, dog. It was Trump's wall. Now, can we move on? Yeah, let's move on. You're a reincarnated being who will eventually be reincarnated as every person in this classic trolley problem. What do you do? Well, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea how all that stuff works. So I'm going to say the five people. Sounds like someone is developing my disease. Joe, you are a disease, you disgusting old man. I'll have you know I take showers every day, except for when Obama comes over. I knew it. Uh, guys, there's nothing on the tracks. Hold up. It says that we kind of want to prank the trolley driver. Are you saying we can do a little trolling? Hell yeah. Let's do a little trolling. Hey, I was supposed to say that, not you. Too bad, Dolan Trunk. Ah, you ruin everything. I ain't ruining nothing. All I ruined was Melania. What did you do to my beautiful wife? I, I took her on a date last night. Hold up. Trump and I are on the tracks. I'm the good one and you're the bad one. You're the bad one because you wanted to build a wall. At least the wall would have helped. I'm choosing since you two can't stop being dumb. Dog, my IQ is at a staggering 269. Let me guess, you took an IQ test. How the hell else would I find out my IQ number, you old man? Oh, the trolley's going in circles. So pretty. Due to a construction error, a trolley is stuck in an eternal loop. If we pull the lever, the trolley will do a boom boom, but if we do nothing, it will just go in an infinite loop. Thinking logically, it would be better if we just blew it up because the people inside won't have to go in circles for eternity. But they can get out whenever they want to. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they had flags with your face on them. Is that because people can't get enough of my handsome facial features? Joe, did you completely forget about 2024 or something? Speaking of 2024, the trolley is heading straight toward our worst enemy. Do we divert the track or just let him go bye-bye? Well, Joe, you are my worst enemy, but I really can't think of anyone else. Also, I would definitely not have a trolley hit my best friend. But you just said I was your worst enemy. You're not my worst enemy right now, but you will be in 2024. A trolley is heading toward a person, and their lifespan will lower by 50 years. We can pull the lever to divert the trolley and lower the lifespan of five people by 10 years each instead. All right, so if the five people were Obama, Jill, Melania, Michael, and me, but the one person was Joe, I'd have to go with the one. But what if the one person was Ivanka? Joseph, stop being a weirdo. Ivanka would never be put in this stupid situation. Oh, but Melania would. He's got you there, Trumpy Wumpy. Look, she's been a bit of a money-hungry person for these past few days. And I'm starting to get tired of her. Seems like a simple skill issue, dog. It's not a skill issue. It's a personal issue. Guys, I think we're getting close to the last level. How would you know that? Wait, did you play this game beforehand? What? I would never do such a thing. Hold up! I heard a noise at 3 a.m. when I was getting something to eat, and the noise was him calculating every single move for a trolley game. Anyways, a, a trolley is heading toward five people. We can pull the lever to teleport the trolley into the future to unalive five people 100 years from now. Click what you think it is, Mr. Cheater McGee. I'll admit I was up at 3 a.m., but I wasn't doing calculations for this game. I was just helping Ben with the wedding costs. Oh, I forgot that Ben is marrying Ivanka. I told that math nerd not to marry Ivanka. I'm going to give him a call after this game. Okay, a trolley problem is happening in front of you. Do we actually have a choice in the situation? Oh, hell no. But we have to at least save some lives. So you want to pull the lever? Uh, hell yeah. Well, it looks like Trumpy Wumpy is now going back to court for flipping the lever. Yeah, and you'll be back out on the streets like the other day. Guys, I decided that we needed to try a new game today. Could you tell us what it is? Nah, I'll just let the game tell you. Bro, that's gonna take so long. Sleepy Joe, it's literally on the screen right now. That ain't it. That's just a typo from Nintendo. Joe, I'm pretty sure that isn't a typo. It seems too legit to be a typo. Oh my gosh, it's the new Zelda game. Wow, look who finally woke up. Guys, be quiet. I think the game is about to start. Ooh, pretty flame. Joe, we're trying to watch this masterpiece. Go back to sleep or something. Whoa, why the pickles are they under the ground? Maybe they're looking for something or someone. This strange bloom keeps getting thicker. Guys, this game is creepy. I want my mommy. Shh. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. It's actually pronounced Hyrule. Bro, I couldn't care less. 
Let's go. We can walk with the pretty lady. Joseph, please stop being weird. She's only 17. Bro, I thought she was over a century old. Ooh, let's talk to her. Joe, I think you need to take that therapy session again. Says the guy that was blowing a gasket when taking therapy. Wow, you actually remember when Michael made us take therapy? Yeah, and I remember when you wanted to nuke a hurricane. Joe, shush. Trump, why the fiddlesticks are you walking ahead of Zelda? Because she is walking slower than Joey. Hey, don't insult my woman like that. You're a creep, Joseph. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. Passes out five seconds later. Hush up, we'll Trumpy. Keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. The hell? Let's go solve this mystery. Ha! I knew she didn't like you, Joey. It's not true, dog. She and I were supposed to get married. First off, you're a pedo. Second off, we have to go further down. I wonder if they're down here for something. I mean, they wouldn't have wandered into a cave for no reason. Hmm, maybe they're down here for that triangle thingy. The Triforce of Wisdom? Hold up, never mind. I think Zelda already has that. Come on, my queen. I will never leave you behind. Joe, Zelda doesn't want your oldness. She wants Link. She may have flirted with Link before, but that doesn't mean she doesn't want me. Joe, let's be honest, you will never get a single woman besides Jill. Yeah, and you will never be able to have your wife's name be Michelle because it's actually Michael. What the wiener schnitzel did you just call my wife? Don't you mean husband? Guys, stop speaking facts. Zelda found something. Oh, what did you find, my queen? Whoa, why is that sword glowing? I think it's about to do a boom boom or something. It must be sensing something. That actually could be it. Ah, uh, I love listening to my queen talking. Jokey, she isn't even talking. She's using subtitles to talk. Trumpy, don't disrespect my queen. She can talk however she wants to talk. Bro, the only thing I was disrespecting is that hairline. For your information, I have the best hairline in the land. Uh, hold up. She wants to go further down. The heck? Honey, maybe we should stay up here. Sleepy Joey, please stop being a creep. It's getting really weird. Dog, this is how I feel after you said that. You felt like swinging your sword? Oh no, I'm so scared. Bro, there's more of this misty stuff that Zelda was talking about earlier. Yeah, and it's the same color as Obamna. Hey, yo, I'm going to tell Zelda that you are already married. Wait, don't tell her. I'll do anything. Anything? Hmm. You have to say that you are a frail, sleepy, and ugly old man. What? I ain't saying that. Hey, Zelda, Joe is already married. Okay, okay, fine. I'll say it. I'm a frail, sleepy, and ugly old man. Hey, Zelda found something. Oh, of course you would point out that she found something so stupid. Hey, this wall is not stupid. It's amazing. Actually, she just said that it's a ruin from ancient civilization. What in the fiddlesticks does she mean by Zonai? Well, the Zonai are an unseen prehistoric civilization whose existence is marked by ruins and an armor set. Barack, you used too many words in a sentence to comprehend, uh, what was I saying again? Joe, you're falling asleep again. Wake up! I'm awake. Ooh, I think Zelda's looking at more ruins. Actually, those are carvings, which are way different than ruins. Barack, who asked you to be a Ben? Your mother did. Ah, oh, zip it, you misty fog. Wow, I didn't know it was Be Racist Day. Yeah, and there's more where that came from, Mr. Yemen. Guys, be quiet. I want to hear my woman talk. Joseph, have I already told you that you're the next Epstein? Trumpster, you're just jealous that you can't pull women like me. Ah, uh, again with the nicknames. Stop it, Joseph. I like how we didn't even pay attention to what Zelda just said. No, I can't believe I wasn't paying attention. Trunk, this is your fault. How the fiddlesticks is that my fault? You were the first one to open your mouth. Guys, stop arguing. It looks like we're about to go down into the darkness. Wow, we're going into Obama's basement. Get it? Because it's black? Not gonna lie, you messed up that joke so hard. Oh my gosh, those pictures are beautiful, Queen. Zelda, those are the ugliest pictures in the whole universe. Bro, don't be mean to her. I could literally say that for your hairline. Oh, wait, I forgot. You're just wearing a wig. I ain't wearing a wig. This is all natural hair. All right, then, if you don't mind, I'd like to personally come over there and touch your hair. What the heck? You're a weirdo, Joe. Yeah, you could have worded that a lot less pedo, like... Nah, I like how I worded it because it's lit. Guys, this game is getting creepy. We keep going further down. What, are you scared of the dark? No, but I am scared of you sneaking into my house just to touch my hair. Hold up, this game is actually getting creepy. Just listen to the music. Actually, though, this game's soundtrack is creepy AF. You guys are scaredy cats. This game ain't creepy at all. The music is so peaceful, like... Ah! Unalive it! Unalive, you stinking bat! 
Ah, yes, I just did that. See it and weep, Joseph. Hey, I could have done that easily. You are not hurt, are you, Link? Joseph, there's no chance in the world that she wants you. My queen, don't talk to him. Talk to me, the pedo. I mean, old man. I mean, Joe. Don't worry, my queen. He is an all-in-one package. It comes with the pedo, the old man, and the frailness. Look at these murals. Wow, these must be from when the Zonai were a thing. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Not gonna lie, I thought that said Denton King. Same, bro. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? The legend of Joe's mother. Hush, Donald. <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. What's a Hylian, my queen? Joe, she can't hear you. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. That my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... These nuts! Hush up! The kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. Is that Ganon? Whoa, I didn't know they had Trump's mother on the wall. With what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. If the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... Man, that is a great close-up shot of Trump's father. Dog, I'm about to put you in a box floating down the river. Incredible. I agree, my queen. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. Bro, that music was getting out of hand. True that. Right then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Isn't that just a camera? That's what it seems like. Well, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. <laughs> just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. My queen, we should just stay up here. Jokey, stop calling her queen. She don't want you. Just like Melania. Keep my wife's name out of your old mouth. Then you have to promise to keep my queen's name out of your mouth. Nah, dog. I like roasting you and your queen. Uh, guys, what in the world is that? Ooh, it's red. I love the color red. Nah, bro, that is some creepy horror stuff. Then pull out your sword if you think there are creepy horrors in this place. Um, guys, maybe we can go back. Like, we could just ditch Zelda. We are not abandoning my queen. We are walking with her. Joe, you really need to take therapy. Like, I think you're really starting to lose it. I'm not losing anything. I just don't want to leave my queenie behind. Yeah, and since you don't want to leave her behind, we're forced to walk down in the depths of this cold earth. Hey, as long as it's with my queen, then it's all good in the hood. The only place that is good is your mother's house. Okay, maybe this is getting a bit creepy. Oh, now he realizes a very obvious fact. Come on, my lady. You don't want to be left behind. Bro really needs a meat shield for a jump scare. Whoa! I would never use Zelda as a shield. Also, this is not a horror game. What the heck do you mean, bro? This is the type of stuff that you see in a horror game. No, it ain't. This is just a nice and peaceful game. Says that as we're walking further into the earth. Bro, just grow some peaches. You clearly need some because of how scared you are. Nah, he doesn't need peaches. He needs more oranges. I swear to flipping gosh. Stop making jokes about me. All right, fine. Ooh, guys, I think we're getting close to the bottom. Dude, I don't like this. Let's just pull an Obama to get rid of this whole thing. Joe, why the pickles did you stop? 
because I'm waiting for my lady to catch up. Dog, you need to give up trying to get hooked up with her. It will never happen. Holy moly, what is that? It looks like a tornado thingy. Wait, this has to be where the misty stuff is coming from. Nah, I still think that mist is coming from your house. Trunky monkey, expect a knock at your door at 9 p.m. tonight. Ah, my queen, I don't know what this place is. Joey, click not yet. We had the chance to leave, but you clicked OK. Look, we're already here, so it's fine. It's not fine. We might unalive in here. Ah, what is that? Oh, my gosh. Can you not zip it for a few seconds? <sighs> Joe, it seems like you just dropped your replacement eye. Queen, can you pick it up for me? Thank you. That ain't no eye. That's literally an earbud. What kind of earbuds do you have that glow like the sun? <gasps> ah, it's moving. Run, my queen. It's alive. Run. Joe, what happened to it not being scary? Ah, my queen. No, we're losing all the hearts. The hearts aren't important. The hearts are important. No, my queen is important. He just broke the sword. Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. How do you know her name? You, who carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you. Raru, these nuts. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Ah, he's pulling another Yemen. Joseph, watch your mouth. My queen, where did you go? She's unalive, Jokey. No, I'm pretty sure she's still alive. Whoa, why did the ground just shake? Probably because your mother is walking around. Or maybe because that weird monster dude is pushing the ground up. I don't know, man. I really think it is Joe's mother. It ain't my mother. It's literally just you walking around. Oh, I guess Obama was right. Yeah, and you guys were completely off. I may have been off, but at least I wasn't off my rocker like Joe over here. Bro's trying to be Walter White. Joe, no memes right now. Me, Queenin. Shut the hell up, Joe. Ah, save her! Ah, no. ah, why? Ah, oh, finally. Now Joe can stop being a weirdo. Whoa! Whoa! My queen, she's gone. Joe, no one cares. Ooh, there's a hand. Well, I care. She was my queen. Joseph, get over it. We need to figure out where the heck this hand just took us. True, and we also need to figure out how the flip our master sword just shattered when it hit that red thingy. Holy shoot, that unalive dude has some really strong muscles. Yeah, he's just like me, for real. Guys, we need to find Zelda. Joe, um, how do I put this? Zelda is, um, Zelda is unalived. She's gone forever. Wah! 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 Zip your mouth right now! Wah! My woman is gone! Wah! I'm gonna mute you if you don't stop! Wah! And he's now muted. Thank you, Trumpy. He was getting quite loud. It's not a problem. Ooh, is that money? Of course, that's the first thing you thought when you saw green. Look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? Bro, that doesn't even make sense in this conversation. Okay, I think it's okay to unmute, Joseph. Joey, are you done crying about Zelda? Yes, I'm done, but I'm still very sad about it. Whoa, his hand is glowing like that weird earbud from earlier. Yes, except the glowing color is greed instead of yellow. Ooh, I love that color, greed. That is my absolute favorite color. Obama, I don't think greed is a color. I know. I just accidentally said that instead of green. Ah! Holy shoot, why did you scream? Because you're supposed to scream for ice cream. What? Where? Just kidding. I just wanted to scare you because you're easy pickings. I ain't easy pickings. I'm Joe freaking Biden. Guys, he's got a robot arm now. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, that's as cool as me. Keep dreaming, jokey. Ah, oh, Link. 
Finally, you wake. Uh, who the heck just spoke? If we're being honest, it's probably just hallucinations. Of course, you would say that. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Guys, I'm scared. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Ha 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 ha! What the heck? Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Oh, so he's a nice person? No, he's probably planning to bring Zelda back to life just so he can be her husband. Wait, is that the Master Sword? It looks destroyed. Destroyed just like Joe's relationship with Zelda. Stop making jokes about her unaliveness. It's very rude and impolite. You know, impolite means rude, right? Guys, hush. I think we can pick up the sword. I know. That's why I'm trying to get near it. Hey, from the looks of it, it seems like it's damaged. You've got to be kidding me. I thought that mysterious guy was going to fix it. Why would the mysterious guy fix it? He's literally a bad guy. Joe, I was lying about that. I don't have no idea if he is bad like Obama. What the actual flip is that supposed to mean? Well, don't you have a gang or something? Trumpazoid, I'm going to give you a chance to take back what you said. All right, fine. I won't take it back. Anyways, I think we have to get out of here. Trump, just remember nine o'clock. Hey, use the sword to slice through those vines. Whoa, that was cooler than 2020. Keep coping, Donnie. Okay, I think Melania needs me. Do you guys want to continue tomorrow? Heck yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sleepy Joe, get on the damn server. What's wrong? Still mad that I blew up your house? Yes, I am peeved, you fossil. Hey, you brought that upon yourself, orange man? Look, I just stole your weed. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal? Don, I paid good money for that. Where did you even get that kind of money from anyways? Uh, I stole from Obama. What the f***, Joe? When Obama finds out that you stole his money, he's going to lose it. Oh, c what the heck do we do? I don't f***ing know. This is your problem to solve, dog. What the f***, Trump? You gotta help me. See ya, fatty. Oh, f***. What am I supposed to do? Oh, sh Hello, what's up? Hey, Obama, nothing is up, bro. Joe, is there something wrong? Uh, no, absolutely not. I don't know, man. You seem a little bit tense, Mr. Prehistoric Man. No, not at all. I'm perfectly fine. What the f***? What's wrong? Someone broke into my house. Huh, that's odd. Joe. Yes, Obama. Who the f*** stole my money? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe Don did. Nah, you had to have gotten that weird money from somewhere. Where the f*** are you? Oh, shoot. Obama, that's f***ing messed up. I couldn't give a shoot about it. Now, where the f*** are you? I'm not going to ask again. I ain't telling you my location, f***. All right, fine. Have it your way. I will eventually find you. Oh, shit. All right, you f***ing retards. Get on the dang server now. What's wrong, Joey? You know what you did, you fat orange. Hey, guys, what's up? Trump is what's up. He blew up my dirt house. Yeah, that's for blowing up mine. Get wrecked, you f***ing idiot. Anyways, how's it going? You know how it's going, dog. Hello, my fellow friends. Oh, for f***'s sake. Come on, Joe, be nice. No, I will not be nice. Very well, then. What? All right, fine, fine, I'll be nice. That's what I thought, All right, who the heck sent drone strikes towards my house? Joe did. What the f***? Joe, what the heck? It was Obama, not me. Sleepy Joe, I don't believe you. Let me call an old friend to help. Hillary, that won't be necessary. I swear I didn't do it. Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, Obama? Oh, sh. Did you just bomb Obama? Yes, yes, I did. Did you use the triangular method of physics divided by the molecule of a speck of dirt? You know what? I kind of want to bomb Ben, too. Wait, what? Yes, please. Would totally appreciate it. Uh, what's that noise? Goodbye, Ben. Oh, sh. Guys, I'm feeling fairly nice today. Joe, I'm going to build you a new house. What? Really? Of course. Anything for my old pal? All right, man. Hey, Obama. Yeah, Trump. Would you like some diamonds? What's the catch, dog? No catch. I just feel like being nice today. Oh, all righty then. Joe, I finished building your new house. Okay, where is it? Uh, 19345. Trump, this is extremely weird. You're usually not this nice. What are you planning? I'm not planning anything, dude. I'm just being nice today. Bro, that is highly suspect. Just come to the coordinates. Oh my gosh. You actually built me a house. Yep. Wait a second. Did you rig this with explosives? Nope. No explosives, no traps, nothing. So you wouldn't mind if I dug underneath this door, right? Go for it. Huh. You really didn't rig this house to blow. Well, thanks, Trump. I'm glad you're finally starting to be a lot nicer. It's not a problem, dog. Anything for an old friend. All right, I gotta go. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, see ya. Bro, Trump really is starting to change. Yeah, it's so weird, dog. Hey, Joe, what's up? Nothing much. I'm just formulating a plan right now. What? What's the plan for? It's for figuring out what Trump is doing, because he is acting super suspicious. Not going to lie, I think that's a bad idea. Why? All it takes is one wrong move to make him mad again, and I don't think you want that. You know what? All I want to do is figure out what he is doing. I don't care if he's a jerk, because that's his own problem. All right, man. What do you have in mind? Well, I want to go to his house and look around. Maybe try to find some clues. Yeah, that too. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go find out what he's planning. Huh, there's his house. Okay, let's look around. Find anything yet? Nope, I haven't found a single thing. What the heck? 
What? What did you find? That slippery lib stole my Obamacare. Bro, that's not important right now. We need to find something bigger. All right, all right. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Holy shrimp. He's got a whole arsenal of weapons and swords. Bro, he's got explosives too. Obama, we have to get out of here and move all of our stuff to a secure location. Okay, we have to hurry up. He'll be hoping on the server anytime now. Hey guys, what's, what's, up? Up? what's up? Shut up, Ben and Hillary. Trump, do you remember what I did to Obama? Um, yeah. I'm going to do the same thing to you if you keep telling me to shut up. Sorry, Hillary, it was just a reflex. Um, why are you running, Joe? What? I'm not running, I'm just doing my morning jog. I don't know, you're moving your legs at about three inches per millisecond, and if you calculate that into the polynomial, y-axis, and Newton's law of gravity... Ben, no offense, but I don't really care. Huh, that's odd. What's wrong, Trump? Nothing, I just thought that my door was closed when I was on the server last time. Oh, well, must have been the wind or something. Yeah, that darn wind. Anyways, has anyone seen any good movies lately? What the scallop? What's wrong, Trump? Who broke into my house? No idea, dog. I've been doing some final touches to my White House. Guys, it's getting late. I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, same. Those barnacle heads. After giving them all of those things, I thought we had a good friendship, but no. They just had to go and rip it. Trump, are you good? Hey, I can help you get them back, Trump. I'm good, Ben. I'm good. One day, I will get my revenge. One day. Those jerks, they're going to pay for what they did. What are you going to do, Trump? Oh, Hillary, all you have to know is that it's not going to be a nice day for them. Trump, I'm kind of concerned now. Are you okay? I'm all right. I just need to prepare for something. And that's what he did. Trump stayed up all night preparing for his most diabolical plan. Hey, Trump. What's up, Ben? Nothing much. Um, have you been on all night? Yes, yes, I have. But why? Don't you remember what happened yesterday? Oh, yeah. Now I remember. What even are you planning for? I'm planning the master plan. I'm not in that plan, right? No, not at all, but Hillary is... Uh, all right. While Trump and Ben talk, Obama and Joey are in a private voice call figuring out what to do. I think we just join it, you know? Rip off the band-aid. Joe, not trying to be mean or anything, but that is a stupid idea. We can't just join the VC and expect Trump to forget about what happened yesterday. Obama, we have no other choice. It's either we join or don't join at all. All right. Which one are we doing then? Let's just join. We'll see what happens. What is up, guys? Hey, Joe, we were just talking about Trump Tower being built. Oh, yeah. Trump Tower is definitely something to be talked about. Sorry, Ben. I'm back now. Oh, it's you two. Trump, we want to apologize for what we did. We were just a little bit sussed out because you were being very nice. All right, I accept your apology. Really? Of course. I totally get why you did it in the first place. Thanks, Trump. I'm glad you're not mad about it. It's not a problem, man. All right, I'm going to grab my stuff then. Yeah, same. What the heck? What is going on? Hey, let me out. You know, I didn't want it to come down to this. Trump, please, we're sorry. Yeah, we really are. Sorry ain't gonna cut it. You guys will stay in those cages for one week. One, one week. week? Bro, that's so long. Well, you should have thought of that before you searched my house. Ooh, what's this? Obamacare. So you stole from me too? Trump, I'm so sorry, dog. Please let us go. I was considering letting you guys go, but now I've found that you stole from me. Oh man, it's gonna be a while for you two. All righty, boys, I'll see you next week. Trump, please, we just want peace. Obama, what do we do? That moron, he had no idea. What, what are you talking about? I have a water bucket on me. No way, dog. I'm out of it, dude. Okay, can you come and help me? No can do, Joe. What? What the heck, Obama? Joe, you don't remember, do you? Remember what? Look, I just stole your... It's not a big deal. Not a big deal? Don, I paid good money for that. Where did you even get that kind of money from anyways? Uh, I from Obama. What the f***, Joe? When Obama finds out that you stole money, he's going to lose it. Obama, I can pay you back, I swear. Joe, I'm sorry, but this is where we part ways. Obama, no, you can't do this. Goodbye, Joe. He just left me. I can't believe this. I thought I could trust him, but no. He just stabbed me right in the back. I will never trust him again. Hi, Joe. Ben, please help me. With what? Trump trapped me in a bedrock cage and I can't get out. Okay, where's your house? It's on that Paradise Falls looking cliff. Oh, I know where that is. Give me a minute. Please hurry. All right, I'm here. Okay, I'm in the hole that is in front of my door. Oh, I see that. Place some water or something, and after doing that, you have to leave immediately because Trump might join the server and see you. Okay, the water is placed. I'm now running away. Yes, I'm out. I'm going to get Obama and Trump back so hard. But in order for Joey to do that, he had to come up with a plan. A plan that would make him victorious. There was one problem, though. Joey had no ideas. No matter how hard he was thinking, he just couldn't think of any ideas. But then, Ben suggested an idea that would change Joey's thought process forever. Why don't you just steal their prized possessions? I mean, they'd probably be willing to do whatever you want them to do. Ben, that is actually a genius plan, but here's the thing. I don't know what their prized possessions are. Didn't you search Trump's house? There had to have been something there. Oh my gosh. Ben, you're right. We gotta go back to his place. We? Joe? I don't want to be on anyone's team. Is that so? Joe, please don't blow up my house. Join my team. All right, fine. Good. That's what I thought.
What's the first order of business? Well, we have to go to Trump's house, steal his explosives, and get out of there. What about Obama's stuff? We'll go to his house and do the same thing. All righty, let's start running then. And that's what they did. They went to their houses and stole their prized possessions, hoping they would obtain a higher authority over Trump and Obama. 24 hours later, Trump hops on the server. All right, boys. How's it going? What the heck? Oh, those scoundrels. I knew I should have blocked it up with bedrock. Wait a second. My house. No, no, no. My stuff. My explosives. They're gone. Hey, Donald, my good old pal. Joey, how the heck did you guys get out? You know, simple mechanics. Nah, I don't believe that. You know what? That's not important. Where are my nuclear weapons? Nuclear weapons? I don't know anything about nuclear weapons. Joe, you're lying. Where are they? All right, fine. Obama has them. And I think he still has them in his inventory. You better not be lying to me. Trust me, I told him it was a bad idea, but he did it anyway. Mm, I'll believe you this time. But you're not off the hook, bud. Trump believed the lie, but here's the big question. How long will it keep him distracted? Ben, we have to do something with this nuke. In order for us to figure out what to do with the nuke, we first have to figure out how it will help us. Okay. Oh, I know how it will help us. How? It'll help us blow up their houses. Joe, that's not what I meant. I meant, like, something along the lines of, we th- them, but don't use it at all. I guess that works, too. But what if they don't feel, th- what if they just don't care? Then we th- them by holding Obamacare over the fire. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot we had that. Yeah, we raided Trump in Obama's house yesterday. Yes, I remember now. Okay, we can't really do anything right now, so we'll just wait. On the contrary, my crusty old friend. What does that mean? Ugh, let me say it like this instead. There actually is something for us to do. Joe, don't say what you're about to say. Your mom. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. As I was saying, we could grind for some better armor to, you know, seem bigger than them. That's a great idea. Let's do it. So Ben and Joey went down into the mines and started mining. Their mining trip lasted about two and a half hours, and they were able to get a full set of diamond armor. After getting the armor, they decided to hop off for the night. Bro, there ain't no one in this call. I'm going to start playing my tunes. Hot. Joe, Joe Biden, you stole so my stuff. Biden, what the heck? So oh my gosh, Trump, Trump. I don't even want to know, bro. Don't worry about it. What? Joe, I know that you did it. What are you talking about? I spoke to Obama. Obama, what did he say? His exact words were, I didn't steal from you. And he also showed me his inventory. Uh, that's quite interesting. Joe, don't do anything that you'll regret. You mean don't do anything that you will regret? What's that supposed to mean? I have a nuclear bomb that is ready to go off. What? You stole that one? Yep. Now don't come near my house or my teammates. Bro, I ain't going near your house, nor Obama. Obama? He isn't on my team. Oh, really? Who is your new teammate then? Why do you want to know? I'm just curious, you know? Hey, Joe. There ain't no way, dog. This math nerd is your teammate? That's Mr. Math Nerd to you. Ben, shut up. (laughs) I should have known. The two worst people on the server are teaming. That's ironic coming from you. Look, Hillary and I were teamed for two days. I don't want to hear it. Obama, they're going to blow up the server. What? Only if you come near our houses or us. They stole the bomb? Joe, let's go to a private call. Okay. Okay, so they're not posing any real threats, which is a good sign, but here's the thing. What do we do now? Welp, I think we try to clear the air. Maybe even start an alliance with both of them. Joe, I have a better idea. I'm all ears, Benny boy. Let's start a war. What the heck, Ben? That's just the worst idea. I mean, the last six videos were titled, The Presidents Start a War in Minecraft. So, I feel like we should do what the title says. Oh, good point, but how would we go about doing that sort of thing? Well, I think think we should build up to it. Okay, so we wouldn't do it today. No, absolutely not. But I feel like we could do something in the meantime. We could build a new base. All right, let's do it. And done. Ben, you lazy moron, you did absolutely nothing. What do you mean? I just stared at this wall for two hours. I'd say that's productive. Lazy jackass. Next time I will make you do it all. Um... We got a problem. What? Trump left us a sign saying, you guys may have the power, but that doesn't mean you have the strongest power. Oh, no. That's all they said. What do you think it means? Ben, this war is going to end so badly. Trump, what is going on? I heard that war was breaking out soon. What? Who said that? Obama did. He sounded very serious, too. Hillary, that's a bunch of malarkey. Dude, you've lied so much throughout this Minecraft life. Why should I trust you? Let me tell you a story. A story of when I was a good person. I'm playing Minecraft, and I realize that I'm not the nicest of people on the server. And you may ask, how did you realize that? Well, I thought about when people treated me poorly. They always didn't trust me. They called me names, ignored me and have taken items that I loved. And after realizing that, I decided that it was time for a change. So the next day, I was on a call with Joe and Obama, and I offered to get them stuff for free. I then gave Joe a house and Obama some diamonds. They were very appreciative and weren't mean to me. Until I find out the next day that they broke into my house and stole my Obamacare, I was genuinely devastated. I couldn't think of the reason they did it, but then I realized that they didn't trust me. 
And it all just went down from there. So, yeah, I feel like I'm still trustable, even after everything that has happened. I'm sorry, Trump. I had no idea. It's fine, Hillary. Wait, I get what's going on. You don't want to start a war. Is that it? I don't, Hillary. All I want is for everything to go back to normal. No wars, no name calling and no stealing. Just good old fun, you know? Trump, the only way you'll be able to make peace is to have a war. We could make a peace treaty. They have a nuke. And I have something more powerful than a nuke. What are you talking about? I have a block wand. Trump, how the heck did you get a block wand? I thought those were impossible to get. A magician never reveals his secrets, dog. Does it even work? Let me share my screen real quick. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Okay, watch this. Oh my gosh, it just disappeared. I hope that answers your question. Okay, now it's definitely possible to make a peace treaty. All right, let's do it. While Trump and Hillary write up a peace treaty, Joe and Obama talk again. Hello, Joe. What do you want, Obama? I want the nuke. What? Obama, that is the dumbest request ever. I can give you a dog for it. Oh, really? What else are you going to give me? A bone? Ha ha ha. Joe, I don't think you understand. This dog isn't any ordinary dog. This is your dog from many years ago. Come on, Snoople. Good boy. Snoople. I thought he was unalived. Nope. I bought him from Trump a few years back. What the heck? What's it going to be? Dog or no dog? Joe, what is going on? Obama has my old dog. Snoople, how the heck did they get him? I don't know. All I know is that I can get him back if I trade the nuke. What? Joe, don't take the deal. It's not worth it. It's my dog, Ben. My old, old dog. I'm getting impatient. You have 10 seconds. 10. What do we nine, do? Eight, don't do the seven, trade. Six, That's what five, you do. Four, it's my three, dog, two, Ben. One. Time's up. What's it going to be? We'll take the deal. Joe, you're throwing it all down the drain just for a dog. Good choice. Here's the dog. Take it. Have a good day, boys. I can't believe you just did that. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? You are. That's it. I'm leaving this team. This is why I didn't want to be on a team with you anyways. What? Why? Joe, you're old. You have no idea what you're talking about half the time. And you make horrible decisions. Just like the one you just made. You know what? I don't care. Leave. Who's a good boy? You are. Wait, what the heck? His name is spelled wrong. Oh no, this isn't my dog. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. That lying thief. Meanwhile, Obama and Ben arrange a call. You wanted to talk, Ben? Yes, I want to know if I can join your team. Aren't you on Joe's team? Nope, I left that crusty old man. Interesting. Why do you want to join my team? I want to join it so that we can take down Joe. Huh, that's actually a great reason. Welcome to the team. Thanks. But wait. How can I trust you? Obama, we both have the same mindset. I think you can trust me. Fair enough. All right, so do you have a base of operations? Yes. Head to 493, 80, 506. You'll find the base there. All righty. Thank you, Obama. No problem, man. Little does Obama and Ben know that a meeting was about to be called. Uh, why the heck am I on a call with these dodo brains? Right back at you, Joe. I don't know why I even wanted to team with you in the first place. I should have just left you to build your little dirt house. Guys, please. Thank you. We have gathered you here to offer you guys something. A peace treaty. This peace treaty will affect the entire server. This means no more wars, enemies, scamming, and even name calling. Bro, I literally hate Joe's guts. To be honest, I don't like none of y'all here. Joe, just hear us out. I know we've been through a lot for the week, and I get that a lot of you are mad. But if you sign this peace treaty, it will all end the anger, the hate, and the sadness. It will all go away. Yeah, he's right. It will all go away. But what Obama did will stick with me for the rest of my life. Joe, you know I had to do it. You didn't, though. We could have been good friends if you just helped, but no. You just left me. I'm sorry, Joe. Sorry isn't going to cut it. I'm out of here. Yeah, same. Obama, please. Trump, I know that you want to reverse everything and make it good again, but there's one thing you can't reverse. You can't reverse a moment in time. Goodbye, Trump. At this moment, Trump is at a loss. All of his friends have completely ditched him, and now he doesn't know what to do. Are you all right, Trump? No, I'm just... I don't know. I'm just going to hop off for tonight. All right, see ya. So, they want to play like that, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Who just joined? Listen here, you two. If you don't sign our peace treaty, then there will be another war. We ain't signing your peace treaty. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Then so be it. I'll see you soon, boys. She has no idea what she has gotten herself into. Anyways, how are we going to prepare for this war? Well, we don't really need to prepare since we already know what we are doing. All righty then. Since that's the case, I'm going to hop off for the night. All right, I'll talk to you later. See ya. Man, these next few days are going to get crazy. Obama. Joe, what do you want? Nothing, just... Bro, Joe Biden, I can't so hear hot. myself think. Joe I'm out Biden, of here. Ha ha ha, let the wars begin. Come on, pick up. We have to do this now. Obama, what the heck? It's three in the morning. Ben, we have to do the thing now. If we don't do it now, we'll lose our chance to do it. All right, fine. Do you have the TNT? Yes. Now let's go blow up Joe's house. Okay, just let me wake up fully. I can help with that. Joe Biden, Ah, uh, so I'm hot. awake. What is that horrible song? It's apparently Joe's favorite song. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do this. I'll place it. You'll ignite it. Got it? Yes, I got it. Let's get this show on the road. All of the TNT is placed. Are you ready to ignite it? Um, well, what if we like, I don't know, blow something else up? Ben, why would we do that? Because I feel like Joe needs to get some sleep. I see what's going on here. You feel bad for doing this? No, not at all. Then ignite the TNT. It's not that hard. Uh... 
Geez, you're a stubborn little math nerd. Obama, we need to talk. I've been thinking of that peace treaty Trump offered us, and I feel like we should sign it. I mean, you never know if Joe has more nukes. Ben, I hate to say this, but that is the dumbest move since Joe was elected president. Also, I don't think he has more nukes. You know what? You're right. I know I'm right. I'm always right. Hi, always right. I'm Ben. Bro, stop right now. Ha ha ha. Got aim. Okay, let's go blow up the next base. All right, always right. Shut your mouth right now. Hey, this looks new. That's because it is. Joe literally built this the other day. Bro, this is such a pristine place, too. It'd be a shame if we rigged it to blow. Yeah, it would be a shame. All right, make sure you don't step anything when you come out. Bro, that sleepy moron won't have a clue that we've been here. Where to now? Well, I'm not sure because we really only had beef with Joe, so I think that's it. I mean, we're going into a war, so I don't think it matters if we have beef with them or not. Obama, I'd like to see if we can get a peace treaty going with them, you know? Especially since there'll be new members coming on the server. New members? Yeah, did you not hear about it? I was told nothing of the sort, Benny. Ah, I see. Oh, here's some more info. They'll be joining tomorrow. It's 3 a.m. Do you mean today or tomorrow? Oh, I forgot about that. I meant today. Great. Hopefully they don't team with Joe. TBH, I doubt it. Although, these new members could also think that Joe is a cool dude, which wouldn't be good. All right, so what do we do? Why are you asking me? You're literally the team leader. Um, maybe we can ask them to join the team. Okay, let's do that then. All right, the first thing we need to do is get some sleep. Yeah, that's probably important. All right, good night, Ben. Night. The next day, Obama and Ben await the arrival of the new members. Oh boy, my two favorite people, Ben and Obama. Bernie, how are you? I'm fairly good. I just took off my mittens for today. Bernie, that's so 2020. Yeah, and your mom is so 1950s. Oh, Bern. Your mom is so old that you had to, uh... Ha, huh, you can't even come up with a roast. Guys, let's calm down. Bernie, we were wondering if you are on a team. I am not on a team. Yet. Okay. Do you have any teams in mind to join? Nope. That's very interesting. Bernie, we were wondering if you wanted to join our team. Hmm. I'll think about it. All right. Just call us when you've made a decision. All righty. Hey, guys. Ronald, did you come back from the dead to play on the server? Yes. I just really wanted to get some play time in. Dog, that's cold. Nah, my computer is fairly warm. Bernie, he doesn't know young people's slang. What does slang mean? Never mind that. Let's talk about teams. Oh, I'm on Trump's team. Seriously? Why? I can't tell you that information, Barack. What is Trump's team planning, Ronald? Like I said, I can't tell you that information. And he left. Great. Okay, I've made up my mind. Yes? I'm going to join Joe's team. What the heck, Bernie? Bernie, don't you know that Joe is literally not trustable? What do you mean by that? He has scammed so many people on this server. Yeah. He is the biggest liar and scammer on the server. Really? Wow. Yeah, he's a scammer. Well, I guess I'll have to find a different team to join. You could always join our team. We are very trustable. Hmm. I don't know, man. All right, fine. I'll join your team. Let's go. Whoa, we got Mr. Mittens. But only on one condition. What? You're not allowed to invite Michelle Obama to the team. Are you serious right now? Yep. Sounds good to us. Ben. Obama. Michelle has never been on the server. But she's my wife. Obama, let it go. Ooh, I love that song. All right, fine. While Ben and Obama gear up Bernie, Krusty Joe sets up traps. Bro, they ain't going to see this coming. Why are you even on this call? Because I'm gathering intel for my team. What the heck? You're on a team? Yes, sir. Hashtag make America great again. Oh, great. You're on that team. Yes, I'm on the American team. All of the teams on this server are American. Dumb fuck. Any new information? Yes. I think Ben and Obama wanted me to join their team. Really? Yep. Oh, Bernie was there too. That's fine because he said he was going to join Joe's team. All right. Hey, boys, any updates? Well, Bernie decided to join Joe's team. You've got to be kidding me. To be completely honest, it doesn't surprise me. Ronald, I need to show you something. What is it, Orange? Don't call me that ever again. Sorry. Here it is. This is the block wand. It's able to destroy blocks with a simple command. Back in my day, we didn't have this type of technology. Anyways, if everyone isn't willing to stop the fighting, then we'll use this. Trump, why don't you just use it now? The war can end if you just reveal your secret weapon. Because there's a chance that Obama and Joe can become friends again. And I don't want to throw that chance in the trash. My goal for this is to stop the war, make peace, and be friends again. Being enemies is something I don't want. Fair enough. So are we going to do anything in this war? Nope. But if someone does something to the base, then we'll have to relocate our base. We're not going to retaliate or anything like that? Ronald, we're trying to end the war, so no, we're not doing any of that. Trump, this is why I think you're a dope president. Thank you, Ronald. I think you're fairly dope, too. Guys, I'm going to talk with Obama. I don't think that's a good idea, Hillary. I just want to talk about creating an alliance. Hillary, just leave it alone. I get that you want to end the war fast, but that's not how it works. You just have to give it time. But, but... Just give it time. All right, fine. In the meantime, we can just grind for a better wall defense. While Trump's team builds a wall, Joe reevaluates his decisions. Heh, <laughs> first Obama, now Ben. Why does this happen to me? Now that I think of it, I haven't been really nice lately. I've also made really bad decisions. Maybe I am a bad person. I, uh, I need to talk to Obama. 
Obama, I want to talk to you. Oh, it's you. What do you want? I just wanted to apologize for being mad at you. I realized what I did was bad, and I really want to make it up to you. Joe, we're in the midst of a war. There's no chance I'm accepting your apology. Obama, please, just think about it. If you accept my apology, then we can end the war. I'm sorry, Joe, but the war must go on. Dude, I can't believe this right now. Joe, what the heck did you talk about with Obama? Why do you want to know? I'm just curious, dog. Ain't no chance that I'm telling you, bro. Hey, Joe. Bernie, I'm glad you're finally willing to team with me. About that, I, uh... Might have joined Obama's team. What? I'm sorry. Trump. Yes, Joe. I've been thinking about it, and I think I'm willing to sign your peace treaty. Wait, seriously? Yes, and I also want to join you guys' team. Joe, this is all of a sudden. Are you planning something? I'm not planning anything, Trump. I just realized that I'm a jerk and that I make bad decisions. No matter how much I try to make friends with someone, it just doesn't seem to work. My whole life has been based on being a terrible person. I just want to make peace and be friends with everyone again. Wow. You haven't talked like that in a long time, Joe. I know. I've been reading a lot. Well, before we make a decision, there's one question that needs to be asked. Okay, what is it? Will you be enemies with Obama still? I'm not sure because I tried apologizing to him, but he didn't want to accept it. All right. We'll let you join our team. First, you have to sign the peace treaty. Thank you, Trump. It's not a problem, bud. After Joe made the deal, he went back to his house. What the hell happened? My house. It's gone. That's it. This is war. Trump. What's up? They blew up my house. Are you being serious right now? Look at the screen share. Oh my gosh, they actually did. What are we going to do? Let me call Obama. What do you want, Trump? Obama, we're coming for you and your team. What? Team, get ready. They're coming. What? Already? Yes, they're coming right now. Everyone, get your gear. We're going into battle. You heard the man. Get ready for the war. Trump's team was eventually ready, and Obama's team too. After getting ready, the teams further prepared their plans. Hillary, you'll go near Obama's White House. Ronald, you'll need to take the area where Biden's house was blown up. And last but not least, Joe, I think you should stay at home base. What? Why? Um, well, we know that you aren't the best with PVP. Trump, I promise you that I'm a lot better than before. Joe, we can't risk it. You could die. So be it. I will fight for my country. Okay, Joe, you'll go to my wall on the other side of the hill. All right. Thank you, Trump. Save it. We have to go fight for our land. Yeah. yeah. One more thing, guys. Whatever happens, just know that you guys are the bestest friends a guy could ask for. Good luck, soldiers. I'll be ready to bring the power if needed. All right, Ben, you'll be taking control of my old White House. Bernie, you'll go to Biden's exploded house. What about you, Obama? I will be planting the nuke underneath Trump's old wall. All righty. I have a speech that I want to give today. My fellow teammates, this is one of the biggest things I've had to deal with. I just want to assure you that we will win. There will not be a single thing to stop us, especially since I have a nuke to help us. So do not fret. We will win this. And just remember this. If you are about to die, then you need to retreat to me. Nothing else. Capiche? Yes, yes sir. All righty then. Let's go win this war. Yeah. yeah. The first Minecraft war has just been declared. Let the wars commence. All right. Well, where the heck are those f***ers? Hey, Benny. Interesting. Man, I've been underground for so long that I forgot what the wind feels like. Ah, uh, that feels great. Who the heck is that? I really hope I find that traitor. I want to destroy his ass. No f***ing shot. I found one of them. What are they doing? He's building digging a around. hole. One at a time. Ben is looking around. This old dude is building a wall. Obama is digging a hole. Digging a hole. Is he doing anything with the hole? He's just looking at it. Okay, just keep an eye on it. Oh, sh What? Ben sees me. I'm going in for the attack. Hillary, good luck. Come on, Ben. Let's see what you got. Bet. Bro, I can't do this. I'm not even a trained professional. Let's just hope he doesn't see me. Huh, who's there? Uh-oh. Who the heck is in my area? Surprise, mother trucker. Oh, shoot. What are you doing, you slippery lib? Holy shoot. He's planting the nuke. Joe, you have to make sure it doesn't go off. Bro, how am I supposed to get it? Start shooting him. Right now. What is up, my fellow moron? Ah, uh, Joe, what a surprise. I wasn't expecting to run into you. Well, since you're here, you can witness the explosion of the nuke. What? You lit the nuke? Of course. I want everyone to go down with me. Obama, you're a psycho. Joe, look at your ass. You've made the worst decisions ever in dealings. Dang it, Obama. I made that deal for my dog because I loved it very much. And then I realized that it wasn't really Snoople. Yeah, it's very easy to trick a 78-year-old man. Trump, code black. Code black. Let's fight, old man. You're on. Oh, shoot. Trump, I'm getting low. Same. I won't survive another minute. Run back. Don't die. Joe, I'm coming to help. Please hurry. I don't know how much longer I can run. I killed Ben. I got him. Hillary, help Ronald. I'm on my way to him right now. Where the heck are you, Trump? I'm at the wall. Keep Obama away from the wall as long as you can. What? Why? Just trust me. Take this, you old man. No! We got him, Hillary. Trump, we're on our way. Hillary, don't come here. Run as far as you can. What? Why? Just do it. Hillary, let's go. Trump, I can't hold him much longer. I'm almost done. I'm at the wall, dog. Uh, Trump, no! Joe! No! Trump, we can hear yelling. What the heck is going on? It's Joe. He's gone. What? what? 
I can't believe this. We gather here today for the death of our good friend Joe. One week ago, Joe fell from a high place and lost his life. Now we're here to mourn and to say our final words to our friend. Trump, you can start it off. Joe was a good friend. He always made unfunny jokes, cursed at me a lot, and most importantly, he didn't lose to me in the election. Uh -huh. Shut up, Joe. I know you're up there making fun of me. Anyways, Joe was a great friend. Joe was one of the oldest friends that I know. He always had a bad joke to tell, but for the most part, he was a fairly nice guy. I never really knew Joe, but I'll tell you something. From one president to another, you're a worse president than me. Uh, ouch, bro. I was enjoying it up there. Why the hell did you put me back down here? Uh, whatever. I gotta go find everyone. Trump, Hillary, Ronald, where did everyone go? Hey! Hello, who's there? Hello, Joe. Who the hell are you? Who am I? Well, I'm the guy who caused the incident. Gay schlatt. Shut the f*** up. I'm not gay. Where the heck is everyone? Well, after you unalived, all of them moved far away. Wait, how long ago did I die? It was about six years ago. No, you can't be serious right now. I'm sorry, child sniffer. If it's any consolation, they did leave a lot of their memories here with me. Memories? What do you mean by that? They wrote a book to remember you by. Here. Joe was a great teammate. He wasn't a great person at first, but with time, he slowly became a better person. There were so many words I wanted to say to him for making that change, but there wasn't time to do it. The moral of the story is to spend time with the ones you love and talk to them as much as you can. Rip Joe. Wow, I don't know what to say. That's making me tear up a little bit. I didn't know they really cared about me. Yeah, and they talked about you quite a bit. Schlatt. Yes, Joe. Did anyone stay here with you? Nope, but random people started showing up. Who are the random people? Follow me. Hey, there's a person I'd like you to meet. Joe? Michelle, you joined the server. Yeah, I joined two years ago. I'm sorry about what happened to Obama. It's all good, Joe. Did anyone else come to this town, Schlatt? Yes, but something happened to them. Who is Ron DeSantis? Ron was the governor of Florida. Oh, that guy. Wasn't he a Trump stan? Bro, I have no idea. I just react to TikToks and sell inappropriate drinks. Are you done looking? This grave, it looks so familiar to me, like, I feel like I've seen it before. Hey, where'd you go? Over here, you ding-dong. Oh, all right. So are there any more people? There's one more person that joined the server. They're in that house over there. Okay, thanks for the help, Schlatt. No problem. See you later. I wonder who this last person is. Ben. Joe. I thought you were unalived. I was, but I got sent back here. Didn't you unalive too? Yeah, but I have no idea what's going on. Well, to sum it up, we've been unalived for six years, and now we aren't unalived anymore. Maybe there's a reason for it. I mean, we wouldn't just come back to life randomly. That's not how it works. Wait, maybe we're supposed to fix our friendship. That could be it. Joe, I'm sorry for calling you a bad teammate. I'm sorry too, Ben. Okay, that wasn't it. Maybe they want me to be the president again? Nice joke. Wait, maybe we're supposed to reunite with the old crew again. Oh my gosh, you're right. But where are they located? Hell if I know. I'm literally in the same situation as you. All right, well we could look around for some clues. Yeah, let's go do that. So Ben and Joe looked around to see if they could find anything that would help them. Find anything yet? Nope, what about you? I haven't found anything yet. So how have you been? Oh, you know, I was unalive for six years and it only felt like a few minutes. But other than that, I've been fine. All right. Well, I was thinking, what if we became friends again? Well, I don't see why not. Cool. All righty then. Oh, here's something. What is it? It's a piece of paper with coordinates on it. 1,380, 456. Bro, that's only 1,800 blocks away. Let's start running. All right, let's go. What the heck is this? It looks like some sort of old base. Ooh, there's a door. Hold on there, jackass. This might be a trap. Let's look around before we go in. Okay. Hey, there's a lever. Ben, don't pull that lever. Whoa, that's a trap. You're lucky, you freaking moron. From now on, don't activate anything. Got it? Okay. All right, I don't see anything off. Let's just go in. Dude, this place looks old. Joe, I don't like this. Then wait for me outside, and make sure to get a wine burger while you're waiting. Shut your ugly... Ah! Scaredy cat. What the... No, this can't be. So did you find anything? It's Ronald. He's unalive. What? Are you serious right now? Yes, I am being very serious. How did it happen? Did it say anything on the stone? It said he was blown up. Bro, they ain't going to see this coming. Hey, Joe. Are you okay? What? I'm good. I was just thinking of the good old times. Oh, all right. Well, what do we do now? I don't know. I just feel horrible right now. Joe, I totally get it. Losing someone is really hard, but it's just the way it is. I guess. Don't worry about it. It's all going to be okay, all right? All right. Now, did you find any other clues or anything? Well, I found some more coordinates. Okay, let's head to those coordinates then. And that's what they did. Joe and Ben started heading to those coordinates. Ben, I'm getting tired. Can we stop for a minute? Joe, we're 1,200 blocks away. You will most likely survive. But I'm sleepy right now. Just keep walking. Huh, what is this? An enchanted axe. This looks very familiar. Holy shoot. 
Joe, why the heck are you wandering off? What is that? It's Trump's axe. Wait, that means they might be at these coordinates? Let's get a move on. What the hell happened here? I have no idea. Joe, you might want to come and look at this. This isn't what I think it is, right? Oh, it is. So much for I want to end the war. Yeah. What are we supposed to do now? We should search around this place. Maybe we can find a year. Good call. I'll start searching over here. Hours upon hours passed, and they couldn't find a year. So what now? We've practically searched the whole place. Hey, what's that? How the heck did you miss this? Uh, I'm blind. Yeah, that makes sense. The date on here says 2027. That was two years ago. I guess we were a bit late to it. I'm going to take a guess and say that they have settled their differences. Bro, guesses aren't going to get us anywhere. We just have to find them and ask them ourselves. But what if one of them is unalived? I highly doubt it. Those two are very strong players. Good point. All right, we need a plan. A plan to find them? No. A plan to bake a cake. Yes, you moron. A plan to find them. Okay, then. Maybe we could just search the world. Ben, are you crazy? It'll take us so long to even find something. Well, I don't see any other way we could find them. Ugh. All right, let's start searching then. So Joe and Ben started to search the entire Minecraft world. Day by day went by, and the search was going nowhere. Bro, I've completely lost hope. Don't lose hope. We will find them. Joe, let's just quit. There's no chance we'll be able to find them. Heck, they probably live somewhere completely different, or they could be unalived. Don't say words like that. We will find them. I'm sorry, Joe, but you're on your own. Ben, wait. Please, you can't leave me out here. I thought you wanted to find them. Joe, I want to find them, but if we're not meant to find them, then that's just how it is. We are supposed to find them, though. Goodbye, Joe. Ben, please. You were my only true friend. Uh, I just want to find my old friends. It's not too hard of a task. After losing Ben, Joe started to search for his friends again. Twelve consecutive days pass, and he is at a loss. Ugh, maybe Ben was right. Maybe we weren't meant to find them, but I just felt like we needed to find them. All right, I'm done with this. Where did I put those coordinates? Oh no, I forgot to write them down. Well, I guess I'm stranded out in the middle of nowhere. Ah, uh, good morning, grass. It's time to make breakfast. Come here, piggies. Eh, hey, cows will do. Cook her up. Breakfast is served. Mmm, yummy. Ah, uh, yes, this is good. All right, time to get back on that grind, dog. Oh, almost forgot. I gotta pop on some tunes. Let the search resume. Oh, what the heck? Whose house is this? Oh my gosh, it's Trump's house. I knew I'd find them. Well, one of them. Hey, who the hell is on my property? Hi, Trump. I think I'm hallucinating right now. Nope, I'm 100% real. I think Hillary drugged the bread I was eating. Why would Hillary drug your bread? Well, Mr. Hallucinations, if you must know, Hillary and I aren't friends anymore. Not after the incident. What incident? You know what? Why am I even talking to you? You're practically just a ghost. Trump, I came back from the dead. I am not a ghost. So you're telling me that you're really back? Prove it. Hit me. What? Just hit me. That will prove everything. All right. Wow, you pack a punch. Joe? Yes. You're unalived, but how? It's impossible for you to come back. That's what I thought, but here I am, standing right in front of you. Are you here to, like, relay a message or something? Not that I know of. Joe, I'm so sorry for unaliving you. I was just trying to stop the nuke from going off. It's okay, Donald. All right. Oh, I want to inform you of what has happened. I'm all ears. After you were unalived, Hillary was mad at me because I unalived you with the block wand. She then proceeded to yell at me and tell me that I'm no good, but eventually I had enough of it. So I moved away from it all, but little did I know that she was on my tail. For three years, she followed me until I finally unleashed a war, a war which would end our friendship for good. And ever since the end of the war, I've been thinking about the good times, the times when we had fun, no wars, no fights, no nothing. Huh, I just wish I could have it all back one more time. Trump, I think there's a way we could fix the friendships. There's no point, Joe. I tried so many times to get her back on my side. It just didn't work. Did you bring me along when you tried? Nope. And it won't work, Joe. She just straight up hates me. Donald, you'll never know if it'll work until you try it. Just drop it, Joe. Do you want your friendship back? What? Do you want your friendship back? It's a simple question. Yes. All right, then. Let's make a deal. You try one more time to get Hillary to be friends again. And? And if she declines, then I won't bother you about it anymore. All right. I think that's a fair deal. All right. Let's get some rest. Then we'll leave right away in the morning. Hey, I got an extra bed if you want to sleep in it. Really? Thanks, Trump. No problem. So Trump and Joe went to bed to be well-rested for tomorrow's trip. Sleepy Joe, it's time to get the hell up. Uh, good morning to you, too. We have a long day ahead of us. Oh, sh**. You already got everything ready. Yep. Now I'm just waiting on you. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. Here, I got some extra steak. Whoa, thanks, Orange. Don't even bring that back, Joey. Enough of that. Let's get a move on. Oh, you haven't told me how far Hillary's house was. It's approximately 22,000 blocks away. Holy sh**. She really wanted to get away from it all. Hell yeah, dude. She was very keen on privacy. Wait, if it's so private, then how do you know where it is? You know, I got people in high places. Who's that? Obama. Yeah, really. Anyways, how was everyone like before the whole war? 
Everyone was good until Hillary decided to be a something. What about Schlatt? Schlatt? Oh, that sh- head. That guy was a jerk to us. How come? Well, he always built planes and flew them into... Stop. That Denton guy doesn't want this video taken down. Who? Anyways, how was Ronald? Ronald? Well, Joe, he was unalived. What? How? He was blown up by Obama's trap. Obama's trap? Yeah, he had a trap set up in his White House. That's, uh, very strange. It's messed up. That's what it is. Yeah. R.I.P. Ronald. He was a great friend. There was a quote from him that went like this. Peace is not the absence of conflict. It is the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. I think you nailed it. Yeah, just like I nailed you in the election. That was the worst thing you could have said there. Hey, I'm just stating the facts, dog. Well, your facts will be incorrect for the next election. Bro, I will win over you in the next one. Keep dreaming, Sleepy Joe. Hey, you never told me how Ronald was doing. Oh, well, he was doing fine. I guess that's fine. Also, I just want to inform you that he shit on you at your funeral. What did he say? You're a worse president than me. I'm not even surprised. While Trump and Joe talk while walking, Ben talks to Schlatt. I feel like what I did was wrong. I mean, we searched for so long and couldn't find anyone. That's a very scumbag thing of you to do. But if you guys were searching for that long, then I can understand why you did it. Oh my gosh. Bro, he doesn't have coordinates to get back here. Well, it looks like you'll be walking again. I'll see you later, Schlatt. See ya. I gotta find Joe. But where the hell could he be? And I said to him, that's big. Yeah, Obama did do a number on that building in 2016. Yeah, it wasn't good either. Hey, keep walking in a straight line. What? Hey, where are you going? Just keep walking in a straight line and don't move. But, all right, I am a little bit curious as to what he's doing. Where the hell is he? Trump, where are you? Hello there. Where the hell have you been? I went behind that tree to get some rest. That's impossible, though. It's not impossible if you have speed potions. Trump, we could have used that. I only had one, Joey. Still, dog, we could have thrown it on both of us. Look, that isn't even a great use for the potion. And doing what you just did is, you're a f***ing orange. It's called geniusness. No, it's called being a dumb ass. Hey, we shouldn't be arguing. We're supposed to be friends. I guess you're right, but I won't forget about what you did, though. All right, we've walked 2,000 blocks. That's it? It felt like 10,000. It only felt like 100 to me. Shut up. Put one foot in front of the other. What? Put one foot in front of the other. What? Do you not know that song? I have no idea, Orange. So you've never seen Santa Claus is Coming to Town? Oh, that one. Yeah, I've seen it. I keep forgetting that you have dementia. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking across the floor. Dude, I've been walking for so long. Oh, wait, it's only been 12 minutes. What the hell is that? Oh, my gosh. It's the broken village. Okay, now I just have to go this way. Or maybe it was this way. It was probably this way. Here's something you never thought about. We have rectangles as arms and hands. Bro, do you think we can't see our hands? I obviously knew that. Oh, all right. I see trees of green. What? Are you serious? Trump and Joe kept running for about eight hours until they had to stop for some rest. Ben did the same thing, except he couldn't sleep for half the night. Get up, Sleepy Joe. What the hell? Hey, at least you tried to get up before me. Oh, wait. Oh, shut your trap. I assume you got everything ready? Yep, it's all packed and ready to go. All right. And do you have extra steak for me? Yes, but you have to say please. I ain't saying that, bro. More steak for me, then. Wait, can I please have the steak? You sure can. Jackass. What was that? Oh, nothing. All right, let's go. Uh, that was the worst night of my life. Where did I put my furnace? Great, I think it was stolen. Just great. Well, I didn't need to cook anything anyways. Mmm, raw pork. My favorite. All right, time to go. Goodbye, tree. Goodbye, grass. Goodbye, beautiful land. Why did I just say goodbye to inanimate things? So how far are we now? We should be arriving in approximately 15 minutes. Dude, is this like making you anxious? Oh, absolutely, because I haven't seen Hillary since the end of the war. Okay, let's drop the anxiousness then. It'll definitely help us focus. Bro, I can't just do that on command. You have to say something positive. Um... Hillary doesn't hate you anymore. She's done with the war. Yeah, keep it coming. Uh, she'll forgive you for killing me. What if she doesn't, though? She will, definitely. Okay, I'm ready for this. All right. So, uh, how are you doing? Oh, sh**. What if she still hates me? Trump, is that her house? What the hell? That wasn't 15 minutes. This stupid brain lied to me. Are you ready? Uh. Okay, this was the place that I ditched Joe at. Now I just have to go in the direction he was going before I ditched him. Happy trails to you. Until we meet again. Happy trails to you. I think I'm starting to go delusional. Am I in a desert or a savanna? Hey, is that a house? Whoa, he's got two beds in this joint. Wait, this has to be Trump's house because the beds are very orange. Whoa, it looks like he left his base. Wait a second. I can't do this. Bro, you can do this. Just believe in yourself. Bro, that motivational sh** don't do nothing, dog. Trump, get your ass out there or else I'm leaving. All right, fine. Jeez, this is a bad idea. No, it ain't. What the hell? Joe, run. Oh, sh- Are you okay, Trump? 
I told you this was a fucking bad idea. We could have just stayed home and lived life peacefully, but no. You just wanted to go and knock on a bomb of a house. Okay, maybe you're right, but I just wanted to fix everything. Joe, we just need to leave it alone. Huh? I'm going home. But there's still a chance. Man, that's the second time that's happened now. Joe. Ben, you came back. Yeah, I realized that you didn't have the coordinates, and I knew that there is still a chance that we could find Trump. Yep, if you just stayed for a little bit longer, then you would have been there with me when I found him. Wait, where is he now? Well, he just left. I'm going to assume that this exploded house had something to do with it. Yep. So what do we do now? I think we should just head back to town. Really? You're going to give up that easily? What else is there to do, Ben? Trump doesn't want anything to do with finding Hillary. What do we need Trump for? We could just find her ourselves. Ben, if we tried to do that, then we'd be in the same situation we were in the first time. All right, fair point. How about this? We go back to town, then you can think of ways to find her. Wait, what would you do? Well, I would try to rebuild my old house. Dude, what's that going to do for us? It ain't going to do anything for us. It's going to do something for me. So, you're telling me that you're just giving up? Ben, some things aren't meant to be fiddled with. You jackass. What the f*** else are we supposed to do, Benny? I can't believe you're just giving up. You know what? I ain't gonna look for them. Yeah, don't waste your time. The coordinates back to town are 12, 70, 469. Thanks a lot. I can't believe that f***er just walked out on me again. Hey, whatever. I'm going home. Sh dude. This place looks like Mar-a-Lago after being raided. Time to fix it up. Fix up the ground, plant some weed. Build the walls just like Trump and it's done. This looks like a pile of sh Schlatt, do you have any place I could build my shit box at? Well, there's a plot of land next to the giant hole. Giant hole? What giant hole? This giant hole. Where the hell did this come from? This right here came from Trump. D was bro trying to use self-defense to not get arrested? Bro, I'm fairly sure that whole Trump getting arrested thing was a hoax. Yeah, probably. Anyways, where's the plot of land? Right over here, my good man. Oh, this is perfect. All right, that'll be 10 diamonds. What the f***, Schlatt? I'm just kidding. It's free real estate. Is that what you said about the towers? Anyways, have fun with her. Thanks, you too. Bro, I don't got a girlfriend. Got him. Shut the hell up. Ha ha. Ah. Anyways, sh box time. And done? Hey, that looks like sh Yeah, just like your girlfriend. Oh, wait. You don't have one. It'd be a shame if my plane crashed into that heap of junk. Wait, wait, wait. I'll stop making the jokes, all right? Hmm. Good. Ah, uh, good morning, America. Time to get my morning drink. Hey, Joe. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Well, I finished writing my book. Oh, could I see it? Here. How to be a shithead 101? Yep. It's designed for shitheads in the making. Step one, drop the sun on your friend's house. Step two, smoke weed. Step three, win against your friends in the election. Well, it looks like I'm so close to being one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Joe, I've been thinking about the old gang. Oh, here we go again. Just hear me out. What if we try one more time to get Trump to make friends with Hillary again? We've been over this, Ben. If we try it again, then someone will most likely lose their life. And I don't want that to happen again. But Joe... Ben, just drop it. You know what? I'm not going to drop it. Where are you going? None of your beeswax. Whatever. I'm going to interrogate Trump. So Ben got ready to go and started to head toward his house. Three days later. If my calculations are correct, his house should be around here somewhere. Bingo. Okay, now I'm certain that I'm hallucinating. Trump, we need to talk. About what? About Hillary's whereabouts. I have no fucking clue, dog. She isn't in her old house, so I have no idea. Did she have another house? What? Just answer the damn question. Yes, she owned another house. And what are the coordinates to that house? 7,679, 169. Thanks. I'll see you later. What the hell are you even doing? I will fix this friendship no matter how much I have to go through. What's this? Oh, shit. Landmine. That was way too fucking close. That was the worst thing I've had to deal with for a while now. I think this is it. I don't think anyone is home. Who the hell is there? Hillary? Who am I speaking to? It's me, Ben, from the war, remember? Ben? Hi, Hillary. I thought I unalived you. You did, but Joe and I came back to life. Are you serious right now? I'm very serious. Please, come in. Hillary? Yes? Before we go any further, can I trust you? Dude, that whole war thing was resolved. I don't have any grudges against you, so I think I'm trustable. All right, I trust you. So tell me, why did you come here? Well, I came here to fix the friendships. You've got to be shitting me. Hear me out. If you and Trump become friends again, then we won't unalive again. What do you mean? Joe and I have come to the conclusion that if you guys don't become friends again, then we'll jump into the hole that Trump made. So you're telling me that you guys will unalive if we don't become friends again? Yep, and you have 48 hours to come up with a decision. you got to be kidding me. I'll see you later, Hillary. I don't know why this is so hard for me. I can choose to save two lives while being friends with Trump. You know what? I'm going to call an old friend. Bill, I need some help. What do you need help with? So Ben said that if I become friends with Trump again, then he and Joe wouldn't unalive themselves. But he said if I didn't, then they would unalive themselves. I think it's fairly obvious which one to go for. You obviously have to unalive them. What the actual f*** 
Bill? I'm just kidding. Geez, cool it, old lady. All right, so I should become friends with Trump again? Yeah, I'd say so. Thanks for the help, Billy. Oh, one more thing. Can I join the server? Sure, I don't see why not. Thanks, Hillary. No problem. I'll see you later. See ya. Holy moly. This looks so cool. Oh, there's a house. Ben Shapiro? Uh, why the f*** are you on this server, Bill? I'm in it because I got that swagalicious swag. Bro, stop the cap, because hypothetically speaking, I actually got that swag. Dream on, Benny. Oh, I love that song. Dream on, dream on. That's not what I meant, but we'll roll with it. Anyways, how did you actually get into the server? Oh, Hillary said I could join. Hillary, that's interesting. Anyways, I'm going to find a place to build my house. Alrighty, see ya. Man, building this house is going to be fun. What the hell is that? Looks like some weird thing. Hey, come closer. Did you just talk? Yes, now please help me out. Okay. Uh... I need to stop overthinking this whole situation. It's a simple pick one or the other situation. Hillary. What the hell do you want now? I just wanted to let you know that you can always choose the other option. Hillary, don't fall for that, and it's a trap. You don't know what you're talking about, Angel. Just shut up. I just need to do the right thing. Yes, I totally agree, because doing the right thing is always good. It'll be even better if you didn't, because you won't have to deal with them anymore. You know what? I'm going to give Ben my answer, and I ain't telling you voices what it is. Hillary, I'm hoping you chose what you know is right. Yeah, unaliving your friends. You two will find out what it is when we get there. After Hillary argued with the voices in her head for two hours, she packed up everything, including the house, and she began walking to the old town. But there was one problem. She had to get there in 48 hours, so she put on her running shoes and started to run as if her life depended on it. I need to go faster. What the hell? Someone left a speed potion on the ground. I wonder who that was. I gotta get to that tree before the fucker does. This is actually really useful. Let's go. So, uh, how's it going? It's going fine. Joe, I have something to tell you. What? I found Hillary. What are you talking about? Well, I went on a search to find Hillary's house and I found her. What did you do when you found her? I proposed a deal to her. Before you even say what the proposal was, tell me something. Did you lie about it? I told her we were going to unalive ourselves. I can't believe you right now. You just straight up lied to her. If I didn't lie about it, then the friend group would never have a chance to be revived ever again. Hey, where are you going? I'm going home. Ugh. Why am I always the bad guy in these scenarios? I was just trying to fix the friendship. Ben. What the heck? Ronald, is that you? Yes, Ben. Now listen to me. I get that you were trying to fix everything, but lying isn't going to make it better. I want you to tell Hillary the truth when she gets here. But she'll see us as enemies again, and I don't want that. Goodbye, Ben. I'll see you later. No, wait, Ronald. Uh... This speed potion is actually really good. It feels like I've already walked over 1,000 blocks. Wait, what's going on? No. Well, I guess it's back to running. So how's your day going? It's going bad. How come? You know why. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't worry about it. Why the hell would I worry about it? I'm literally the devil. It was just a suggestion. Well, I don't want any more of your suggestions, capiche? All right. You know that you're annoying, right? That's my job, shithead. I'm sorry if I've caused any annoyance to you. You're good. I just have a problem with the devil. What the hell? Yeah, you're always the voice in my head telling me that doing wrong is right. What's wrong with that? I'm clearly doing you a service. Everything is wrong with that. You made me lose my friendship with my friends by starting a war against Trump. That was the angel's idea. Don't lie, devil. You know that you caused that. All right. Maybe I did cause it, but that's my job, you know? Yeah, and your job is a terrible one. Hey, keep telling yourself that. Literally. Ha ha ha. Ah, uh, whatever. Hi, Hillary. I lied to you. No, that sounds stupid. Hello, Hillary. There's a milli chance that I might have lied to you. Dude, I can't do this. What if she pulls out a bow and shoots everyone? She could potentially end everything for everyone. Bro, I gotta stop thinking like that. This is why I hate my mind. Sorry about that. I had to go do something. Let me guess. You just manipulated someone else, didn't you? What? Why would I do such a thing? You're literally the devil. You angels always assume the worst of me. I wonder why. What the hell? Now, I'm no scientist, but it looks like someone dropped a bomb over here. Oh, bomb, uh. Wow, I can't believe you just said that. Not gonna lie, that was a fairly good joke. Hillary, you're better than this. She literally started a war, so I don't think she's better than that. True that. Ooh, there's a chest down here. What does this say? Beware of the wild Boris. What the hell does that mean? Maybe it's a D's nuts joke or something. Boris, these nuts in your mouth. No, I know what this is. Who could that be? Ben, we have a serious issue. What's the issue? Just take a look at that mountain over there. Ah, it looks like Bill finished his house. Bill? Bill ain't on the server. Yeah, he is. Okay, so that makes two new people then. Wait, another person joined? Yep, and that person is... Boris Johnson, nice to meet you. Why the hell did they allow a British person to join the server? Hey, you better shut your cake hole before I... Before you what? You won't do sh**. 
You want to know why? Because we'll defeat you in a heartbeat. Yeah, America. Fair point, but I still have a nuke that Abamna gave me during his rubbish presidency. I call bull on that. Okay, can you guys pip pip cheerio away from my gaff? I have things to attend to, alright? Yeah, you have to attend these nuts. Oh, sod off, why don't you? I think that went well. Yeah, I'd say so. As the night came around, Hillary was still walking. Oh wow, I didn't even realize it was nighttime. How did you just realize that? You've been walking outside this entire time. Well, technically I'm sitting down holding the W key and scrolling TikTok. What? Anyways, I think we can get there tomorrow. Now that's the spirit. Wrong. You won't get there. In fact, you'll get there right after they jumped into the hole. But I did all of the calculations and everything. There's no way I can be late. Oh, there are ways. Maybe you're right. Hillary, he's trying to manipulate you again. Just don't listen to him. All right. Hey, does anyone want to play I Spy? Sure, that sounds fun. I Spy with my little eye, something black. Oh, Obama. Obama isn't even here. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. Hey, maybe we can do something else, like name blocks. Grass, stone, dirt, wool, stone bricks, oak wood. That was fun. No, that was actually very lame. All right, I'm going to sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Ah, uh, perfect. Hey. What the hell? I know what you do at night, so I ain't sleeping. Throughout the night, Hillary was having trouble staying up, but she pushed through and kept going. I'm so f***ing tired. Maybe I should take a break. You can't take a break now. You have to keep walking. Hey, a break sounds really nice. Sitting down, kicking your feet up and sleeping. That does sound really nice. Wait, no, I'm not falling for that. Falling for what? There's nothing to fall for. Just stop and take a break. Bro, I ain't doing that. Yeah, what she said. Anyways, it looks like we will get back just in the nick of time. Very nice. Uh, good morning. Uh, I hate this house. You know what? I'm done with this shit box. I need to build an actual house that is suitable for my sleepy needs. But where will I get a design from? Hmm. Oh, I got it. I can't believe he just left his house out in the open just for someone to steal the design. What the hell are you doing? Holy shit. Uh, nothing. Oh, really? Then why are you weirdly looking at my house? Oh, I was just admiring it. You were admiring my house? Yeah. Hmm. That's a bit sus, Sleepy Joe. What? It's not sus at all. Joey, get away from my house and stop looking at it. All right, fine. Okay, I kind of remember what it was like. Ah, uh, perfect. Now I don't have to live in a shit box anymore. Huh, who built this drivel of a gaff? What the hell does that even mean? Oh, I forgot you Americans don't indulge in the brilliant British slang. Just tell me what you said. I was asking who built this sorry excuse of a house. First off, I built this house. Second off, this house is way better than your British castle. Okay, fair dues. I suppose it's not a muck-up build. No, you mean it's not a f**k-up. Yeah, I presume that works too. Anyways, get the hell off my property. Tickety-boo, I'm off. While Joe and Ben wait, Hillary finds someone. Hey, do you guys see that? See what? I don't see anything. Wait, I can see it. It looks like a person. I'm gonna see who it is. Hello? Oh, hey. What's up, Hillary? Uh, who are you? That isn't important right now. All you need to know is that you're four hours away from the town. How the hell did you know where I was going? Goodbye, Hillary. Who the f**k was that? I don't know, but we're apparently four hours away. I've been walking for that long. Wow, that's very surprising. I'm fairly sure that guy was lying. Why? Because my GPS says that we're four minutes away. No way, that's impossible. It Look at your clock, Hillary. What the f***? How the hell did I not notice that we're this close? Well, you actually fell asleep halfway through the trip. Wait, so you're telling me that I walked in my sleep? Yeah. Man, no wonder why I feel absolutely good and horrible at the same time. Yeah. Anyway, are you ready for this? Uh... Where the hell is Hillary? She'll be here any time now. Dude, I'm tired of waiting. Call me when she gets here. All right. Oh, sh**. There she is. Sh there he is. Hello, Hillary. Ben, I've made a decision. Okay. What did you decide on? Well, I thought about it long and hard, and I think me and Trump can be friends again. Hillary, I have something to tell you. You lied. What? You lied about the whole deal thing. Yes. I thought I could trust you. I let you into my house and listened to you. But there's one thing that has me confused. You wanted to fix everything. The guy that used to be an enemy wants to bring friendships back together. What is your motive to do that? Well, I guess making people happy is my motive. Because when I unalived, I reflected on all of the bad things that I've done throughout my life. And suddenly, it hit me. I realized that being the bad guy wasn't all that great. Because it led me down a path that would put me in a very bad position. Such as the one I'm in right now. Hillary, I don't care if you leave and still want to be enemies with everyone. I just wanted to at least try to fix it all. Nothing more, nothing less. Ben, I'm not going to leave. I want to be around my old friends again. Really? Yes, really. So does that mean that you'll be friends with Trump again? Yes, I will be friends with Trump again. In fact, I will be friends with everyone. What about me? Shut the hell up. Well, I'll be friends with almost everyone. Thank you, Hillary. You don't know how much this means to me. Don't mention it. All right, where can I put my house? Oh, there's a place next to Obama's old White House. Okay, I'm going to build my house there then. All righty. I'll see you later. See ya.
All right, I'm back from my nap. Oh, you just missed Hillary. Wait, she was just here? Yeah, she literally just left. Ben, did you at least tell her the truth? Yes, I told her the full truth. Good. All right, so who's going to tell Trump about it? You should go tell him because you have a better friendship with him than me. But I'm still sleepy. Joe, don't pull that card. This game. This game. This game. Joe, hey, you good? What? Yeah, I'm good. Are you sure? You've been standing there for three minutes, staring into the sky. Oh, I just zoned out. Okay, I'm just making sure. All right, I'll see you in a few days. Wait, don't you need anything for the trip? I already have everything. Oh, all right. See you in a few days. Trump, are you home? Trump? What the heck is that? Come over here, Joey. F no, I'm backing off. We can make a deal. I give you your dog and you come to help me. Wait, no. This can't be. It's not true. Oh, Joey. It's true. How the hell are you back? That's not important. What's important is you helping me out. Hell no. Why would I help the guy that wanted to unalive everyone? Joey, I'm not that guy anymore. I've changed. Really? Yes, I want to help everyone get back on their feet. Wow, it sounds like you're really starting to lie about all of that crap. Uh, I didn't want to tell you this, but I took Bill. What? What do you mean? He's inside of me. What the hell? His soul is inside of me. Oh, phew. You're a fucking weirdo. You were the one that literally worded it like that. That's beside the point. Okay, I'm giving you one more chance. Punch me or else I won't release Bill. What will happen if I punch you? Ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Okay, fine. I'll punch you. But you have to release Bill first. Fair enough. Did you do it? Yep. He's back in the cave that I got him from. All right. Uh, this feels great. I'm finally human again. Obama, before we go any further, do you have plans to destroy our team again? You know what? I actually don't. So I guess you guys aren't my enemies anymore. Wait, so you aren't planning to unalive us or anything? Nope. I just want to play in a peaceful Minecraft world with my friends. What kind of therapy did you go through up there? Obama therapy. I call bull on that. Sure you do. All righty, it was nice seeing you again. Wait, aren't you coming back to town? Yeah, but I just want to admire this world before I go back. Oh, all right. I'll leave you to it then. All right, see ya. Help me! This thing is going to unalive me. Help! Please, somebody! Huh, why did it have to be me? Shut the hell up. I'm trying to read a book on how to get bitches. Even reading a book, you still wouldn't be able to pull in some women's head. Hey, remember who has you locked up in this cage, pal? This cage is just a cage. Ain't nothing in this cage that's going to damage me. Oh, really? So this won't damage you? What won't damage me? Ow, holy sh**. What the f Yeah, how about that, you moron? Okay, maybe your cage can damage me. Sh that inflicted some damage. Ha ha ha. Why the heck am I in this cage anyway? Oh, you'll find out soon, Trumpy. I've got a bad feeling about this. Trump, where the hell are you hiding? Anyways, Trump, come out of the place you're hiding in. Joe, I'm down here. Welp, I genuinely have no idea where he went. Oh, maybe he went back to town. That's gotta be where he went. You idiot, I'm down here. Boris, where did Joey go? I'm quite sure the bloke set out on a journey to get Trump. Oh, is that why Ben is still here? I suppose. All right, see you, British boy. Oh, hush up. Ben. Yeah, what's up? When's Joe coming back? Joe will come back once he has told Trump about the whole situation. How long do you think that will take? How long was your presidency? I was never a president. Then that's how long it will take. What the hell? Okay, whatever. For real, though, he'll probably be back any time now. All right, thank you for the answer. F***ing moron. Where the f*** am I? I think I'm lost. Obama? Hey, Joey, uh, what's up? I need help. What do you need help with? I need help getting home. I kind of don't know the coordinates back to town. And you expect me to know them? Of course. Well, luckily, I may have coordinates to a location that might contain the coordinates to the town. Oh, I thought you actually had the coordinates to town. Joe, you expect too f***ing much from me. Take the coordinates and go find the other coordinates. Okay. Hey, it was nice talking to you again. You as well, dumb f***. Joe was now heading toward those coordinates, and when he gets there, he would be able to find the coordinates to get back home. Dude, luckily this location is only like 200 blocks away, so it shouldn't take too long. Ooh, pretty flowers. Bill! 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 What the actual hell do you want? Can I have some food? Let me think about it. Um, no. Come on, dog. If you're going to hold on to me for a while, you might as well feed me to keep me alive. Hmm, you may have a point. All right, fine. You can have some raw pork chops. Bro, you ain't even gonna cook them. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Well, there's nothing necessarily wrong with me, but I do feel like there's something wrong with you. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I like how we're talking to each other, even though you have me trapped in a cage. Yeah, it's quite interesting. What the f***? That's for snapping back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Don't even start with the singing. Ah, oh, you ruined fun. Sh head. Hmm, those were some tasty flowers. Holy sh I think this is it. Obama Towers. Yell code black to get in. Code black. I assume I just opened the door. Oh, yep. What the actual f*** did Obama build? 
Plans. Bombs. Ah, here we go. Coordinates. Town coordinates. Bingo. Now I can finally head home and let them know about Trump being missing. Hmm. I'm just a little bit curious. Betray Biden. Complete. Man, I didn't know he created a plan for that. Anyways, I'd better get a move on. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes, yes, I did. Okay. You didn't take anything else, right? Yeah, I took something. I took Michael. Oh, shut your old ass up. I haven't even seen Michelle since my unaliveness. Hey, she actually lives in the town, so you can see her again if you want. Wait, she lives in town? Yeah, she's lived there for many years now. All right. Well, I'll probably go there soon. Hey, you can come with me. I don't know, man. You might talk the entire trip. Oh, all right. Uh, I guess you don't want to see Michael then. I do want to see Michelle, but I feel like it's not the time right now. I got you. Okay, I'll see you later then. See ya. So much for they'll be back any time now. Hey, I still stand with that statement. Your statement was made a few hours ago. How the hell do you still stand with it? I guess you have a fair point, but I've got a feeling that they'll be here any time now. I'm done with your dumb guesstimates. I'm going to find them. Wait, I'll go. That's what I thought. Now go find those jackets. What Ben didn't know was that Joe is walking toward him right now. And I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the old man. Uh, how does the rest go again? Hey, it was a shit song anyways. You know what? I think I'm just going to walk because I don't know what else to do. Man, it's dark out here. Joe. Benny, what the hell are you doing? I came to find you guys. Wait, where's Trump? Well, Trump wasn't anywhere to be found, so I decided to walk back and tell you about it. Did you look in his house? Yeah, and the only thing I found was... Obama? Ben, is that really you? Yes, it's me. What are you doing here? Well, Joe and I are looking for Trump. Did you look in his house? Joe's going to look again. So how have you been? I've been fine. Oh, I finally became friends with everyone again. Oh, that's good, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, I would love to catch up right now, but we're currently looking for Trump, so I'll see you later. Oh yeah, definitely. Any luck? Nope. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's nothing. Is this Hunter's bag with green stuff in it? Ben, I can explain. I'm going to burn this, Joey. I paid good money for that, though. Wait a f***ing second. Wasn't this the stuff you bought at the start of this whole war? Uh, maybe. This is the stuff that started the f***ing fights. No, your mom started the fights. I'm burning the shit out of this bag. You're paying me back, then. I ain't paying you back. I'm f***ing done with this. Hey, where the hell are you going? I'm going wherever I want to go. But you can't just leave me here. Uh, that mother f***er. Benny thinks he can burn my weed. Well, he could, but he can't. Because it's mine. Ah! Why the hell is my nose flat? Ow! Joey? Trump, where the hell are we? Well, we are in... My dungeon. Trump, how long have you been here? He's been here longer than you, I'll tell you that much. Holy sh**. Is that you, Billy? Don't ever call me Billy again. And yes, it is. Why the hell did you trap us in here? Well, technically, you trapped yourselves in here. I did none of that trapping stuff. Bill, what is your plan? Oh, Joey, the plan will explain itself soon. You bitch. Whoa, chill, Sleepy Joe. Did you take your medications today? I don't need no f***ing medications. Sh head. Are you good, Joe? That was quite a fall. Yes, I'm good. Well, seeing as we're going to be here for a while, we might as well get comfortable. Great. Just great. Sh dude. Trump has got a fudging soft bed. Wake up, ladies. We've got a long day ahead of us. Uh, what do you mean by that? You'll be cleaning Chubby's cage. Why the actual f*** are you having us do your chores? Well, I figured you were a good pick for this job. Also because I'm lazy. All right, get to it. Who does this guy think he is? Making me do all of his chores. I guess I kind of do the same thing with other people in real life, but that's beside the point. What'd you say down there? Oh, nothing. I'll be here watching and listening to you, brother. F***ing idiot. Hmm. Ow. What the hell? Don't try it, Sleepy. It was worth a shot. Ah, that was the best night of my life. Uh, time to find Joe and Trumpy. Morning, Obama. Morning. Where are you going? I'm going to find Joe and Trump. Joe, I thought it was just Trump. Well, Joe got a little bit heated last night and ran off. So now I'm going to look for him. Typical sleepy Joe. Anyways, I'll see you later. See ya. As Ben looked for them, he started to lose hope because he knew that there was a good chance that they could have ran far away. But out of nowhere, something appeared. Hmm. What the hell? Is this some sort of secret entrance? Well, only one way to find out. Geronimo. Oof. Oh, no. And this day just gets better. Bill, what is this? Well, it's a cage. And you are trapped in said cage. I'm a f***ing idiot. Hey, who the hell is that? Trump. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Are you good? No, I'm not good. I'm trapped in a cage with no way out. Well, obviously. All right, ladies. I'm going to pick up some American fried chicken. Does anyone want something from there? Yeah, can I have mac and cheese? Joe, shut up. Mac and cheese? All right, I'll be back soon. We have to figure out how to get out of here. I've already tried many times to get out. It's practically impossible. I'm out. What the hell? How? Good old dirt blocks. Okay, I think this one opens the doors. 
What the hell are you doing, Ben? Let's get the f out of here. I'll meet you guys back at my house. Okay. What is that noise? That's my f***ing alarm. I knew getting AFC was a bad idea. Holy sh! Where the hell are they? Oh sh! How the hell do I open this door? Oh, there's a button. There are so many. Why the f*** is there parkour before the exit door? I suck at this. Come on. I'm so close to that f***ing exit. Stop right there. Oh sh! I'm out. Yes. You're going to fall, Benny. F*** off, Billy. I ain't going back in your cage. Oh, but you will. That was extremely racist, and now you won't catch me. You're f***ing white. What do you mean? Burn in hell, you f***ing idiot. Motherfucker. I gotta get to Joe and Trump. Holy sh**, Ben. We thought you got caught. Yeah. Holy sh**. That was too close. I'm so glad we didn't get caught. What's this? It's your green stuff. I couldn't burn it. You couldn't, but I can. I don't want that stuff ruining my life anymore. Hey, isn't that the green stuff from the start of it all? Uh... No, no, it is not. Oh, all right. So what's the plan now? Well, I think we should take out Bill. Wait, you want to unalive him? I don't want to, but if he has a master plan to do something to us, then we have to... Or we can imprison him. Oh, yeah. I guess that works, too. All right, let's get our own master plan going now. And that's what they did. They started to form a plan that would help them capture Bill. All right, Joe. You'll be building the jail cell for Bill. What the hell? Why do I get the boring job? Well, we think you're a skillful builder. Wait, really? No, you suck at building. What about me? You'll be watching from afar, or as I like to call it, back up. Wait, so you're going to take on Bill all by yourself? Me and my block wand. You still have that? Yeah, I actually take good care of my things, so, you know. All right, are we ready for this? Yes, sir. Let's do this. All right, do you remember the plan? Yeah. Good. Oh, one more thing. If I yell the word cheese, then that means that I need help. Got it? Okay. I'll see you soon, Benny boy. Good luck, Orange. Bro, this place is a mess, dog. It's almost like an animal went on a rampage in this place. The f*** was that? Oh, it's just a pig. You're cute. I'll name you Epstein. That's an interesting name. But alas, her name is actually Chubby. It's over, Bill. Surrender now or else. Oh, I think it's the other way around. What do you mean? Well, funny old me thought it would be funny to plant three nukes underneath some houses. He also thought it would be smart to lock all of the doors in this dungeon. Huh. What the hell? Now I'm willing to make a deal with you as long as you're good with it. What's your deal offer? I will remove these nukes and let you guys go. And in return, I want the block wand. What? Are you insane? Don't you know how powerful this is? Oh yeah, and that's why I want it. All right, fine. I accept your deal. Good choice. Now remove the nukes. Eh, hey, nah. What the hell? We made a deal. Cheese. What, do you want cheese? Ah, uh, take that. Grab the wand. We have to go now. Got it. I'll check my house. You need to go back to town to make sure there aren't any nukes there. All right, going right now. Oh, make sure to check in with Obama. I will do that. So Trump checked his house. My house is nuke-free. Thank God. He then hit up Obama's place. Obama! Obama! Open the door! What's up, Trump? I think there's a nuke underneath your house. A nuke? What are you talking about? Someone said that they planted three nukes under people's houses, so we're just checking to make sure. Well, I can check my nuke detector real quick to make sure. Yes, please do that. Holy sh**. There's an unidentified bomb underneath my house. It's a nuke! We need to dig it up and defuse it. I got some shovels that we can use. Let's get to digging then. Oh, f I'm not going to get there in time. Ben. Ronald, right now isn't the best time to talk. Here, use these. You'll get there faster. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Ronald. Don't mention it. Now go defuse those nukes. Yes, sir. Holy sh**. I'm so close to town and it's only been 10 minutes. Hillary, you need to leave right now. What the hell? What's going on? There might be a nuke under your house. All right, I'm out of here. Shoot. Time to dig this piece of junk up. You got it, Obama? I got it. Okay. Do you know how to defuse it? Well, I know a little bit. And done. Holy shoot. You're fast as f boy. Dude, thank you for letting me know about this. It's not a problem. All right, I have to get to town. I'll see you later. Okay, see ya. I gotta pump my legs for this one. Oh, what the hell? There you go. Ronald, is that you? It could be. Well, if it is, then thank you. No problem, bud. Now get to town. Yeah, buddy. Ain't nothing underneath her house, so it's gotta be either Boris's castle, Joe's house, or my house. Oh shoot, I gotta get to my house. I can hear beeping. I'm almost there. I just have to keep running. Oh shoot, there it is. It's changed quite a bit. Come on, dig through. There it is. Ben. Trump, I only checked my and Hillary's house so far. Okay, I'm going to check the other ones then. Be fast. Holy sh**. Diffusing these things is hard. We'll go to Joey's house. What the hell, Joey? What the f***? Did you capture him? No. There might be a nuke under your house. What the hell? Never mind, I think you're good. What is going on? 
It has to be Boris's castle. Oh, shoot. There's a bomb here. Come on. I almost got it. Oh, f I don't think that was normal. Where the hell is this bomb at? Shoot. It's in the castle. What the bloody hell is going on out here? There's a nuke in your castle. Oh, pip pip cheerio. I'm out of here. Moron. There it is. I think I got it. Nope, I did not. And done. I only got 15 seconds. Ben, did you defuse the last one? No, it won't defuse for some reason. 10 seconds. Give me the fucking bomb. Take it. What the hell happened to it? Oh, shoot. Yes, you did it. Holy sh**. I did it. Thank you, everyone, for attending the ceremony. Two days ago, Donald saved the town and many lives from a potential nuclear explosion. And for that, I award him with 64 diamonds. He will also give a speech. Thank you, Joey. Six years, six years of my life I've tried to dedicate to being a good person. And before that, well, it was the complete opposite. In those six years, I made some good friends, had good times, and I've even done good things for people, such as saving an entire town. Now, certain people in this life don't want you to succeed or just want complete power over everything. And the person that planted all of those nukes just wants power over everything. But luckily, we were able to take out this person. And that person was Bill. At first, we didn't want to take him out, but he left us no choice. It was to either take him out or take the whole town out. Okay, we may have taken him out, but that doesn't mean that's the end of it. For me, I feel like it's a warning for something bigger coming. That's just me, though. So I wouldn't worry about it. Anyways, it is time to celebrate. Let's do it. Man, I can't express how grateful I am right now. Like, the whole town could have blown up. But you guys found out and you acted fast. Yeah. Trump. Yes. Do you really think this is a warning for something potentially bigger? I don't know. We'll just have to see. Man, it feels like yesterday this whole war started and now it's finally coming to an end. We've been through so much to get to where we are right now. It just, I don't know. It feels like I can finally accomplish what I set out to do in the first place. Make peace and be friends with everyone. I still wish I had trusted you the first time. We could have avoided all of this conflict, but I guess it's too late for that. Joe, it is what it is. You can't really change that. The only thing we can do now is get along. I mean, we can still call each other names, but we shouldn't have any wars, period. I totally agree with that. No wars, just peace. You kind of sounded like those hippies from back then, but I guess it is true. Peace is something that certain people strive for in their lives. And I guess we are those certain types of people. Yeah. Man, I would love to go back and just live it all again. Too bad time travel isn't a thing. What do you mean? Haven't you seen Back to the Future? That's a flippin' movie. No, it's not. I saw it in a newspaper. It said, Back to the Future, it is real. Sleepy Joe, those are just conspiracy theorists trying to make a living by spreading lies. I don't believe that for a second. Here, I have a proposition. If you can bring me a time machine that actually works, then I'll believe your little newspaper thing. Hell yeah. Deal me in. Very good. Oh, you also have three days to get it? What the scallop? Three days? What's wrong? Is that not enough time? No, it's enough. Very well, then. And if you can't get me the time machine in less than three days, then I get to move back to my private home. What the heck? Trump, I thought you loved it here. I do, but if I don't put something big on the line, then it won't bother you too much. All right, I'm going to find it. I'll see you in three days then. Yeah, hopefully. Joey now has something big on the line, and he has three days to get it. First, he has to get ready to go. Probably will need armor, these tools, this food. I don't think I'll need Porky. Sorry, buddy, I'm going to be gone for a few days. I'll see you later. Joe is now ready to find this time machine, so he pulls up the coordinates for the newspaper shop that he had seen before and started to run. I guess this trip might take quite a bit. Well, might as well do something while I'm waiting. I spy with my eye something orange. Darn, it's too bad that Trump isn't here because he would be a big help with this challenge. Uh, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, I was going to put my second favorite song on. Man, I wonder what Joe is doing to entertain himself on his extremely useless trip. Yeah, this is so fun. Oh shoot, there's a tree. Hey, he's probably just talking to himself again. Hey Trump, what's shaking? Not much. What about you, Barry Benson? Let's say hypothetically that I need to borrow some materials from you. Would you be able to lend me some? What do you need them for? I need it for my flying home because I did the calculations and it says that I need a few necessary blocks for this to work. Okay, and what are these blocks that you speak of? One bedrock, one command block, and 20 observers. Ben, I don't have bedrock or command blocks, but I do have observers. I thought you were around for the great creative mode war, though. Don't you ever say those words again. I have too many bad memories from that war. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, I'll give you the observers. All right. And I guess you'll have to ask someone else about those other items. Yep. Thanks, Trump. No problem. Ben, wait. 
What? I might know where one of the blocks that you need is. Where is it located? I remember from a few years back, I trapped Obama in this house. Dude, I remember that. Didn't you trap Joe too? I did, but he wasn't here. He was at Joe's old house. Yeah, I know. Did Joe tell you about it? No, I was the one that let Joe out. Donald, are you okay? Donald, you're starting to turn white. Don't talk to me right now, Ben. Are you okay, Trump? Leave me alone. Hey, whatever. He's probably just tired. He was the one that let Joe out of that trap. I can't believe this right now. Wait, am I really getting angry over this? I mean, this was over six years ago, but it still bothers me. Oh, uh, I gotta get away from all of this. So Trump packed his bags and left the town. Uh, hopefully this whole getaway thing will calm me down a little. Meanwhile, Joe is still having daydreams. Whoa, is that Obama's old White House? No way. Wait, I'm daydreaming. I forgot to take my medications. Bring me back to reality. Oh, I'm back. Okay, where's my medication? There it is. Phew, that could have been bad. Wait, where the heck am I? Oh no, I was going the wrong way. You've got to be kidding me. Trump was obviously being bothered by something. Maybe it was me. I'll go talk to him. Trump, I want to talk to you. What the? Some of his stuff is gone. No, this can't be. He ditched us. But why? What did I do to make him leave? Hmm, I got an idea. Hillary. What's up, Benny? Um, do you know if anyone has been messing with Trump lately? Not that I know of. Actually, I heard you guys played Uno the other day. Huh? What are you talking about? You played Uno with Trump, Joe, and Obama. Um, I don't think so. Wait, so have you been messing with him at all? Ben, what is going on? You know what? I think I have to plant some flowers in front of my house. I'll see you later. That was very odd. First off, how the heck did she know about the Uno game? Second off, I think Trump seemed very agitated when I told him about me letting Joe out. Maybe I'm the cause of this. Maybe, just maybe, he got mad because he didn't know who let Joe out until I told him who did it. Yeah, that's definitely it. Dog, this trip finna be longer than William Henry Harrison's presidency. Wait, actually, I think we might be getting close. There's a block and a sign. Town is 2,000 blocks away. That's not too bad. But I will have to stop soon because it is getting dark. So Joe walked until the sun was not visible anymore and stopped to set up camp. These tents suck more than Jill. Geez, I don't even know how to do this. Oh, there are some instructions. Uh, step one, get impeached. Wait, that's not it. Here it is. Step one, place blocks in a triangular form. I don't know what that means, so we'll wing it. This looks perfect. All right, good night, bed. I think this is a good place to stay for the night. All right, tent time. Wait, where the heck is my tent? I swore I packed it. Of course, I think Joe took it for his useless trip. Great, just great. Now I have nothing to stay in. Hold up. Maybe I do have something to stay in. Ha, I knew that item would come in handy. Good night, outside world. Man, even with this house, I can't sleep. I just keep thinking of that thing Ben did, but I'm also thinking of that war he mentioned. If Joe finds that quote-unquote time machine, then maybe we could go back and take some stuff from that war. Those were very dark times, though, so it might be a bad idea. Uh, I don't know what to do. Should I look for him or just wait? Wait, let's think of his past. He wanted to make peace, but he wasn't able to. Then he moved far away and didn't come back. So, maybe he isn't coming back. Okay, I have to find him. But first I have to figure out which direction he went because that's a big key factor to finding this tangerine. So, Ben stayed up all night, taking in all of the information and went further into detail with it. He eventually narrowed down all the ways he could have gone, and after that, he got ready to go. I think I got everything, except for my sleep, because I feel sleepier than Sleepy Joe. Whatever. I think I can pull through without it. Ah, uh, I've got a long day ahead of me. I feel like drinking some honey for breakfast because it's orange like Trump. Ah, I love me some good old black coffee in the morning. Oh, huh, that's odd. I feel the sudden urge to punch something. Come here, homie. <laughs> Man, that honey really hits the spot. All right, time, time to, to pack, pack it all up. up. La la la. This is easy. This sucks. Okay, I think I got everything. And I think I have to travel like 1,000 more block, which isn't too bad. Anyways, time to run. Ooh, what's that? A piece of paper. Closed permanently. Huh, that's strange. I wonder what is closed. Wait, no. No, no, no. It can't be. It's only been eight years. I can't believe this. Wait, maybe there's a door unlocked. Locked. Locked. Aha, bingo. Let's see what they have. The Legends of Obama. Nope. Donald Dump in the trash can. Ha, I'm going to keep that one. Hmm, ah, here it is. Back to the future. It is real. Wait, now I need to find the actual thing. But where am I going to find it? Hold up. Hold up. I'm now starting to realize something. The newspaper store that I went to had diorite flooring, not granite flooring. I think I forgot to take my medications again. Dang nabbit. Man, I don't know what to do when I get there. Should I stay permanently or temporarily? I mean, I finally made them my friends, but Ben told me that he was the one that let him out. You know what? I'll just stay a week. I think they can survive without me. Bro, I can't believe that I slept for two hours. 
I got to hit the road if I want to find Trump. Okay, I've calculated every single way he could have gone, and I'm fairly sure that he went this way. There are no signs of Trump being here, but I feel like we would have to go a long way to find some real evidence of him being here. Okay, the shop should be 500 blocks away. Wait, there's a paper here. Oh, please don't be the same thing as last time. Renovations from January 1st to the 18th. Oh, so it's still open? Nice. Hey, there it is. Hopefully they didn't take out the old newspapers. Wait, what's this? On lunch break? Dog, it's one o'clock. Who the heck eats lunch at one o'clock? Dang, this McTrump triple cheeseburger hits harder than Joe's presidency. All right, I think this is a perfect place to build my all-new vacation home. Uh, I still feel bad for leaving them, but at the same time, I'm extremely mad. Eh, whatever. It's not like I'm not coming back ever again. Like, I'll probably be back in one week, so they shouldn't be so worried about it. Unless they start thinking that I was taken by someone. Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, maybe I'll cut my vacation by four days. I think that's fair. Anyway, I gotta get the base set up for the nighttime. So, Trump built his house successfully in a matter of 30 minutes, and Joe was still waiting. Where the heck is this tardy store owner? It's like he fell into a hole and can't get out. Wait, am I foreshadowing? Oh shoot, I literally just foreshadowed something. What the heck? Hey, are you good? I'm in a flippin' hole, so no, I'm not good. Wait, Pence, when the heck did you join the server? Joe, I'll tell you everything when you help me out of this stupid hole. Okay, here, take this shovel. You should be able to dig out with it. Yeah, I would think that you can dig out with a shovel. Dude, you never told me that you joined. No, you never told me that you joined. Wait, what are you talking about? Joe, I've been on the server for almost 10 years now. Wait, then how did I not know about you being in it? Well, first off, you've never seen me on. Second off, Trump probably didn't tell you about the big war we had. Wait, what big war? Back in the old days of Trump being president, we always had this fun friendship where nothing bad ever happened. Until that one fateful night, Trump was setting up a funny prank for me. He placed a pressure plate on top of a piece of TNT in front of my house. And underneath that TNT was a deep hole. Now I came home and noticed something off. So I looked around, checked the ground, and came to the conclusion that it was all good. Wrong. I walked into my house, activated the TNT, and fell down. Wait, how the heck did you survive that? It's literally impossible. I had a water bucket on me, and I pulled an incredible clutch. However, this didn't stop the TNT from killing me, so I put my shield on and prayed to God that the shield would protect me. Well, did it protect you? Yes, it did. Thank God it did, because I wanted to get back at him so badly. Oh, no. After making my way out of the hole, I grabbed my stash of TNT, ran to Trump's house, and blew it all up, including his doggo. And that was the start of the creative mode war. The creative mode war? Ha, ah, that name is so creative. Sorry, carry on. For two straight months, the creative mode war lasted. And when it finally ended, we all voted to remove creative mode from everyone. After doing that, I left town and haven't gone back since. Wow, that was quite the story. Yeah, anyways, I have to get back to running my store. Wait, you work here? Well, I'm actually the owner of this business. But I've been to this place before and I've never seen your face, like, at all. Yeah, because I used to have Bush running the store. Oh my gosh, I remember now. Bush was the one that was running the store. Whatever happened to him? There was this dude on the server. His name is Ron DeSantis. They apparently had beef and decided to settle it by having a big sword fight. Like, until one of them was unalived? Yes, but here's the thing. I don't know who won. I did, however, bet on who I thought it was. Back in town, there were a few graves, and one of those graves was Ron's. Dang, looks like I just lost a bet to myself. Yeah, he unalived in 2025. That sounds about right. Anyways, let's get down to business. I came here to find a newspaper that says, Back to the Future, it is real. Um, you might look in the newspaper aisle. Okay, thanks. Let's see, movies, comic books, ah, uh, newspapers. Now I just have to find it. So Joe spent an hour looking for this newspaper, and something unexpected happened. They literally don't have it anymore. Mike, do you have any old newspapers in the back? Let me go take a look. Oh, please, I hope they have it or else I'm screwed. All right, I got some right here. 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023 editions. Take all the time you need. Thanks, Mike. It's my pleasure. Okay, if I'm thinking correctly, it should be from 2021. No shot. There it is. Back to the Future, it is real. Let's go. Wait, what does this say? Back to the Future is not actually real. Do not take it seriously. No, this can't be. Hey, did you find what you're looking for? Yeah, and it was a waste of time. How come? I was on a mission to prove time travel is real, but this paper says it's fake. Joe, I've never shown anyone this, but I can make an exception today. Follow me. Mike, what the heck is this? This is my secret garage. I've been working on something big. Behold, a time machine. No way, dog. You actually have one? Yep, and it's fully functional too. Can we take it for a test drive? Sure, but you have to note some things down. Don't touch or take anything. Don't interact with anyone. And most importantly, don't wander off. 
Did your sleepy head get all of that? Yes, I got it all. Okay. Brace for a strong shock impulse. A what now? Ah. Whoa. Where are we? We are an hour in the past. Hey, there you are, and you just fell into the hole. Yeah, and the funny thing with this is I can go to any time period I want. Wow, that's amazing. Can I have it? Whoa, hold your horses. This is a very delicate machine. I can't just give it to the most clumsy person I know. Mikester, I promise I won't ruin the machine or the timeline. I swear on it. Joe, it's too dangerous. I can't let this fall into the wrong hands. I made a bet with Trump. Huh? I bet him that I could find a time machine in three days. And if I didn't find a time machine, then he would leave town forever. Wow. It seems like you have a good friendship with him. Yeah, we had to go through a lot. But in the end, everyone became friends again. Hmm. Maybe I'll reconsider this whole thing then. You will? You got to give me some time to think about it because this is a big thing. How long does your thinking take? It's not as slow as yours, so it should take like a few hours. Okay, I'll just be waiting here then. Oh, Trumpy, where are you? Man, he really wanted to get away from everyone. Wait, what is this? A random piece of oak wood, huh? That is quite interesting. So this could potentially mean that we are getting very close to Trump, or it could just be a random wood block. We'll just assume that it's Trumpy. I mean, who else could have placed this random block? Eh, probably Bush. Nope, it's me, your favorite U.S. president, Donald J. Trump. Man, this is the best vacation ever. Eh, who am I kidding? This just straight up sucks because I left without even telling them, and now they're probably worried sick about me. You know what? I'm going back tomorrow. I can't live with this sorrow and regret. I'm going to pack right now. Whoa, what the hell was that? Hello, is anyone home? Benny, what are you doing here? Well, I thought you left us for good because of something I said. Then I started to do some math to find you, and I found you. Ben, I'm sorry for leaving you guys. I should have let you guys know I was taking a break before I even left, but I guess I was too angry to do that. Eh, it's all right. We're just glad that you are okay. What do you mean by we? Anyways, I'm going to head home now. Wait, you're going to travel by yourself? Yeah, I guess. Well, you could stay here for the night, then we can travel back in the morning. Really? Thank you, Trumpy. Ben, don't ever call me that again. Sorry, I guess I carried some of that Uno energy over to this series. I'd prefer you just leaving that energy in the Uno video. All right. Hey, did Joe ever go back to town? Uh... Mike, it's been three hours. Have you thought about it fully? Okay, I have thought about it. Thank God. I'm gonna give you a chance, okay? Here, go show it to Trump, then bring it back. Got it? Thank you, Mike. I'll have it back to you a sap. I really hope he doesn't screw anything up like he usually does. Man, I can't wait to rub this in Trump's face. Man, it's getting late. I think I'm going to set up this tent. I think I remember how to do it. This goes here, that goes there, and it's done. Easiest build of my life. Heh, <laughs> I think I'll hold on to this time machine tonight. I can't take any risks at all. All right, it's Betty Bye time. Ah, uh, yes, it's morning time, and I can't forget to take my pills because I might start hallucinating again. All right, I gotta pack this junk now. Wake the hell up, it's time to get ready. Whoa, what the heck? Get ready to go, you barnacle head. All right, I'm going. Man, this leftover cheeseburger hits the spot. Bro, where did you get that burger from? Oh, are you referring to the McTrump Triple Deluxe Burger? I guess. Well, in that case, I got it from McTrump's. What the hell? I didn't know that you owned a restaurant. I've owned a restaurant since 2025. Can we go to it? It is on the way, so I guess we could stop by to pick up some burgers. Yay, free lunch. Bro, Trump won't be able to leave town since I have the proof of this time machine being real. Wait, wasn't there a time frame? Oh my gosh, I think it's getting close. I have to start running faster. Running isn't going to get me there in time. Wait, I can use the time machine. Place this down and flip the lever. I really hope he doesn't screw anything up like he usually does. As long as I don't touch or talk to anyone, then I should be good. Whoa, what the hell? This isn't where I want to go. Okay, what day is it now? It's yesterday, yes. Now I can get there before the three-day deadline. Holy shoot. Trump, this burger is amazing. Thanks, I stole this recipe myself. Wait, what? Anyways, I think we should be getting relatively close to town now. But we've only been walking for a few hours. Yes, but I like to make it seem like we've been walking for a while now. I don't get it. Benny, you wouldn't get something if it hit you right in the face. Trumpy, hypothetically speaking, I would get it if it hit me right in the face because I have an IQ of 200. Hey, it looks like we're home. What the heck? How did that happen? Ben, a magician never reveals his secrets. Man, I hope that I can make it in time. Hey, there's town. That time machine must have teleported me closer to town. Man, it's good to be home. Oh, Trump, I found it. Found what? Oh, that stupid thing. Yep, and now you can't leave town. Joe, I already left town for two days. Wait, what? Don't worry, it was just a little vacation. Okay, well, I still got the time machine, and I can prove that it works. Let's see it, Joey. Place that and flip the lever. Wait, what? Joe, remember what I said when you left for that trip? No, wait, it was working a second ago. No. 
Joe, it's fine. Even if it doesn't work, I won't leave town. You won't? No. That's good. But I have to give this thing back to someone. Oh, let me guess. Elon? Nope. It's your old vice president. Pence? Yep. And he apparently owns the store that I told you about. Man, Mike and I go way back. Yeah, I know. He told me everything. Wait, even the war? Yes, even the war. Hmm, well, how is he? Is he still in good shape? I'd say so, yeah. Man, I wonder if there's a chance that me and Mike could be friends again. I mean, we could go to his shop together. Okay, let's do that. Hey, Mike, I got your time machine and it's still in pristine condition. Very good, very good. I didn't trust you at first, but now I do. Thank you, Mike. Hey, quick question for you. Would you ever consider being friends with any one of the guys from that war you guys had? Matt, it really depends on who it is. Give me a second. Hey, Mike. Trump, what are you doing here? I wanted to apologize for what I did. That whole scheme of me planting a trap under your door was very dumb, and I really should have thought about it before I actually did it. Yes, you really should have thought about it, like, a lot. Mike, I know that you probably still don't like me, but I have a question. Will you be my friend again? Trump, even though you almost unalive me and started a war, I will forgive you. But will I be friends with you? Yes, of course I will. Yes! After all of the conflict, Trump and Mike have finally become friends again. And now that almost everyone has become friends, well, I was going to say the war is over. But please help me. And that fixes that problem. Trump, I'm glad that we're finally friends again. I am too. Also, I think this is a good opportunity for you to move back. I would love to move back, but I have a store to run. Mike, let's be honest, you probably don't have any customers at all. So there's literally no point in having this store. That may be true, but it makes me happy. If it makes you happy, then why don't you just move the store? I mean, it will be the same as it is now. Oh, that's actually a great idea. But what if I don't want to move back? Oh, well, I guess my good old friend doesn't want to see my face anymore. Trump, stop being a crybaby. Fine, I'll move back. Yay. Okay, I'll go clear a spot for your new house. All right. Okay, I need to make sure that Joe didn't actually screw up the timeline. You got to be kidding me. He went back one day. Whoa, what the heck just happened? Dog, I think I messed something up when I time traveled. Oh no. Joe, I'm going to get you back for blowing up my wall. Joe, are you there? Ah, whatever. What the actual f is going on? Oh my gosh, the server is way different. Hey, I think that's my house. Back off, Trump. Dog, this is very weird. Hello? Is anyone on this call? Okay, I think I'm good. I gotta plant this boom boom in Trump's house. Holy moly, Joe's house is looking fire. Come on, Nixon, focus. Okay, let's do this. I got this boom boom. We'll place that down and I'll blow it up. Take that, Donald Trunk. Hmm, I am a little bit curious about this new house. Hello, is anyone home? Even though this house is made of dirt and mud, I think it's pretty darn good. Nixon, Bush told me that you were finna ready to blow up my house. Donald, I would never do anything like that. I'm literally going to blow up Joe's house for what he has started. Whoa, 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 let's not do that. Bro started this whole nickname thing, so he deserves it. Wait, I'll stop calling you nicknames, all right? Hmm, okay, fine. But if I hear anyone else call me by a stupid nickname, then I will do it. Geez, Trump needs to chill the hell out. First he wants to nuke a tornado, and now he wants to blow up this beautiful house. He needs to get his priorities straight. I need to get the hell out of this timeline. Wait, is that who I think it is? Snoople, I can't believe you're alive. Oh shoot, I forgot that I'm not supposed to interact with anything. Actually, this dog isn't very smart, so it wouldn't be able to affect the timeline. Okay, I have to get the hell out of town before I get seen. So Joe got out of town as fast as his sleepy head could and tried to think of a plan to get back. Bro, I don't even know what to do. This whole thing happened so fast. Come on, Joe, think. Hmm, maybe I can eat some ice cream. No, that won't work. Ugh, I can't think of anything. Oh, what the hell? Joe is starting to get on my nerves. Ugh, that's it. I'm going to steal his dog. I wonder where he's going. Oh, he dropped something. Schemes and plans. Destroy Joe's house, trap Nixon in a trap, and steal Joe's dog. Oh no. Dude, I have to do something. Oh, but I can't interact with anything or anyone. Uh, it's for the better. Okay, I have to take out Ben. I have to get this dog out before I blow it up because it is crucial to my plan. Not so fast, you mother trucker. You ain't blowing up nothing. Ah, hello there, Joseph. Yes, I will be blowing up something, and that something is your house. You can't blow it up if I unalive you, dog. Oh, Joey, here's the thing. I have my ways. What? No. See you later, Joey. Have fun with your blown up home. Oh, shoot. Run away. No, Snoople. He just started another war. Wait, I have to warn Nixon about the trap. Nixon, Ben is going to trap you at your house. You need to grab everything you care about and leave immediately. Seriously? Okay, I'm grabbing everything that I need. Dog, you need to hurry. He's going to be there in a few minutes. Okay, I think I got everything. All right, get out of there. 
No. Ha! Do you really think that you can think ahead of me? Wrong. I am one step ahead every time. You're a monster, Ben. Oh, I'm not a monster. I am the monster. Have a nice day, Joey. You're a... This Ben is so ruthless. There's got to be a way to stop him. Actually, I could do something. Okay, I need to get the fudge to town, a sap. Man, why did you have to do this, Joe? You could have just gone without using it, but no. You just had to use it for some stupid reason. All right, I have to focus. The coordinates that Trump gave me are pretty far, so I guess it's time to put my walking into overdrive. Bro, Mike is going to love this plot of land. Donald Tucker wants to join the server. Tell him that he's not allowed to join. Trump, can I join the server? Tucker, why the heck do you want to join the server? Because I want to help you all with the world. Like we can spruce it up, you know? Dog, you literally don't like me. Why should I trust you? Look, that whole thing with me not liking you was a joke. I never unliked you in the first place. What are you talking about? So I thought that I unliked you and you unliked me, then maybe we could be friends. Um, Tucker, I'm not going to lie, but that makes absolutely no sense. How the heck would we be friends if we unliked each other? Kamala said that if I unliked you, I would be able to be friends with you very easily. The first mistake was you listened to Kamala. Bro, this is literally common sense. How the heck did you not think about it? I don't know. I just wanted to be friends with you. Ugh, all right, I'll bite. You'll bite what? No, that's not what I meant. Uh, whatever. So will you be friends with me again? Yeah, sure. Okay, can I join the server now? Sure. Just don't destroy anything or else I will find your base and do the same thing. I promise that I won't destroy a single thing. Okay, good. All right, I think Melania needs me. I gotta go. I gotta go too. See ya. Wow, I can't believe they did all of this. It's amazing. Whoa, who the hell are you? Oh, it's you. Mikey, I'm sorry for unliking you. I just wanted to- Save it. Where is Trump? He logged off to help Melania with something. Dang it. Did he say when he was coming back? Nope. Okay. Well, I have a job for you. Do everything in your power to get that man back on the server. If I do it, will you be my friend? Yes, just hurry up and get him on. Okay, sorry. Come on, I really need you to pick up. Bro, I'm trying to help Melania right now. What do you need? Pence needs you. It's an emergency. Get the hell out of the way, Melania. Okay, I'm running to my PC. Please, hurry. Okay, he's running back to his PC right now. Very good, thank you, Tucker. It's my pleasure, friend. Pence, what's the matter? It's Joe. He time-traveled and messed up the timeline. What? You gotta be kidding me. He went back a day and now it's all a mess. Okay, is there anything we can do to fix it? Yes, but first we have to find Joe. All right, let's search his house then. You'll have to take me to it because I have no idea where it is. It's just this way. Here it is. Okay, go inside to see if he's there. Joe, are you in here? He ain't here. Oh no. What? What are you all knowing? He got sucked into a different timeline. Dude, they literally have pew-pews in this timeline. Good thing because I can do this. Dang, I'm very proud of this. Ow, what the heck? Got one shot in. I surrender, please don't unalive me. This is what you get for blowing up my house. Secret exit. Whoa, where the hell did he go? Hmm, let's take a closer look. It looks like an entrance to something. Yo, this is a dope underground base. Ah, ouch, that hurt. Well, well, well. It looks like we have ourselves a wild Joseph. So naive and frail. How could someone like you be on this server? I mean, you could have just worked on your presidential stuff, but no. You just wanted to join this server and wreak havoc. That's ironic coming from you. Joe, I don't know if you remember. I used to have a friend, and that friend's name was Obama. You took my best friend away from me, all because your pride and ego got in the way. I don't know what you were thinking when you tried to pew-pew me from the hillside. It was a dumb move. And now, you will pay for what you have caused. Ben, I didn't do anything to Obama. Obama and I are closer than water in a pool. Man, Tucker must have taken your medications again. Anyways, goodbye, Joey. Ben, you can't do this to me. Uh, what do I do? Wait, what did we do to get out of Bill's trap? Hmm, that wouldn't work since there's literally a roof over my head. Wait, I can mine it with my fist. So Joey started to mine the obsidian, and while he was doing that, Ben was getting ready to unalive him. Man, which one should I use? Hmm, I like this one more, but this isn't my style. Wow, this is big. Too big. Ah, this is the perfect one. Oh, Joey, it's time to... Wait, what? I knew I should have built this out of bedrock. I have to get the hell out of this timeline before Ben unalives me. I will find you, Joey. One day. Okay, I set up this timeline switch. And all we need to do is flip the lever, and you need to jump right as I do it. Got it? Okay, I got it. Wait, Pence, if I don't come back, then tell Michael that I love her. Who? All right, I'm ready. Remember, Trump. You will be teleported back here in 10 hours, and if you don't bring back Joe, then the timeline will disappear. Wow, thanks for putting the pressure on me. Okay, jump in three, two, one, jump. Goodbye, Mike. Good luck, Trump. Whoa, this place looks way different. Hey, is that my glorious wall? 
Wait, I'm being distracted. I need to find Joey before the time runs out. Okay, I think I have enough time to think of something. Um, I should get some ice cream. Wait, I drank it all, Sag. Wait, I just had an idea. Why don't I think of a plan? That's a great idea. Okay, so I have to travel back in time, right? Well, what if I just travel to the place that I got the time machine from in the first place? Actually, we're in a different timeline, so it might be different. Eh, who cares? I'm going to it anyway. Where the heck could this Obama stand be? Think, if I were Joe, where would I be? Eh, probably the ice cream store. Wait, maybe there actually is an ice cream store here. I mean, think about it. I'm in a different timeline, so that would mean that things have to be different. Okay, I must find this ice cream shop and fast. Holy shoot, is that freaking Tucker? Where is my cute Benny Wenny? I know you're around here somewhere. I've got a feeling that he's probably weird in this timeline. Okay, I think he's gone. Wait, there ain't no way. Ain't no way what? Ah, uh, holy sh**. Get the hell away from me. Oh, hi, Trump. I was just looking for my Benny Wenny. Stay away. Sounds like someone is a little bit angry. Shut up, bro. There's literally an ice cream shop over here. I'm praying to God that he is here. Hmm, it looks like it's empty. He must have been here already. Man, I'm so glad that they have an ice cream store in this timeline. Hmm, that cream hits the spot. Hold up. This place doesn't look the same as it was before. Wait, there's Pence. Pence. What the hell? What do you want? I was wondering if you had a time machine that I could borrow. Bro, I ain't giving nothing after that whole thing you pulled on Obama. Mike, I did nothing to Obama. Obama and I are friends. Bro, did you eat too much ice cream today? Obama isn't here anymore. You unalived him. Joe. Joe, wake the hell up. Pence, I would never do anything to Obama. He is my buddy. Well, you should have told yourself that when you unalived him. Goodbye, Joseph. I can't believe Joe from this timeline would do such a thing to Obama. I mean, Obama is my best friend. I can't see how I got so mad to the point where I wanted to unalive him. Huh, I need to take a walk. Bro, I swear, this sleepy dude is literally so complicated. He comes to this timeline just to stop by an ice cream shop. It don't make sense. I guess everything that Joe does never makes sense. Just like that time when he fell off his bike. That man confuses me sometimes. Anyway, I think I'm hot on his tail because there are ice cream bottles on the ground. Or it could just be Tucker. Ha ha, ain't no chance in the world, dog. Hi, my dearest friend. What the hell? Did you follow me out here? No, I've been out here eating some delicious and scrumptious ice cream. Okay, please don't follow me, all right? Okay, ah. Whoa, what the heck, Tucker? Stop pulling my leg, dog. Actually, I don't even care. I'm out of here. Darn, my whittle plan didn't work. How much time do I have left? Two hours? Gosh dang, time must work differently in this place. Oh, hold up, that's a house. Why does this look familiar? Hey, it's probably Mike's house or something. Hello, is anyone home? Hmm, I don't think anyone is home. Hello? Oh, hey, Trump. Hey, Pence. Hey, I was wondering if you've seen that sleepy guy anywhere. Oh yeah, that moron was at my door like 20 minutes ago. Do you know which way he went? No idea. Why are you looking for him anyways? Isn't he your enemy? Um, yeah. I just wanted to give him an explosive gift, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, I gotcha. All right, we'll have fun doing that. Yeah, will do. Take care. Wow, Joe and I are apparently still enemies in this timeline. That's very funny. Why would Joe do this to Obama? Like, how is that even possible? We have the strongest presidential connection ever in history. It's, uh, what was I saying again? Oh, right, I have to get back to my timeline. And the only way back is by using Mike's time machine, which is not possible to get because he apparently thinks that I was the one who unalived Obama. But I'm not. I'm just a normal sleepy Joe. Okay, it's plan time. For the next seven hours, Trump continuously searches for him, and Joe creates a plan to get the time machine. The first part of the plan is simple. Walk up to Mike's house and knock on the door. Then I'll run to the back door, sneak into the house, find the time machine, and get out of there as fast as I can. All right, let's do this. Bro, there's only one hour remaining, and I still haven't found this guy. Joe, where the hell are you? If you don't show yourself, then everything will disappear. Hopefully he heard that, because that's all I can really do at this point. There's the house, and it only took me 30 minutes to get here. Okay, we're going to walk up to the house. Knock on the door. Okay, let's go. Come on, open the door. Bingo. He's out, and now I'm in. Bro, this thing could be anywhere. Dog, where the hell are they? No, that's not it. Nope. Dude, he's got so much junk in here. Aha, I found it. Now I have to get out of here without being seen. Very sneaky. Okay, still clear. And I'm out. Yes, now I have to get to a safe area. Ah, uh, those ding-dong ditchers get annoying sometimes. Hey, what the heck? I didn't leave my back door open. Eh, it was probably the wind. All right, I have to get this thing set up fast. Place that and it's done. Joe, don't do it. Trump, what do you want? Joe, I'm from the other timeline. I'm here to bring you back. How can I trust you? 
We are best friends, Joey. You made me and Pence friends again. Heck, you even signed a peace treaty with me. Oh my gosh, it is you. Yes, now please don't flip that lever. All right, I'll destroy this machine. Joe, make sure you leave that on the ground. Why? Can't we just take it back with us? Joey, that will ruin the timeline. All right, fine. Wait, if you don't have a time machine, then how did you get here? Mike just created a different type of time machine that allows me to be here for 10 hours. And when it hits 10 hours, then it teleports me back. Just you? Hold up, what about me? Here, hold this. What's this? This is an item that will bring you back with me. Oh, nice. So, uh, how's your day? It's fairly good. I traveled back in time and ate a ton of ice cream. How about you? Mine has been terrible. I ran into weird Tucker while trying to find your sleepy head. Okay, it looks like we got five minutes left. So Trump and Joe sat there for five minutes and this happened. Okay, it's time for me to shine. Hey, wake up, narrator. Uh, what? Get the hell up and narrate the rest of this. I have to insert myself. Okay, so Trump and Joe waited five minutes and this happened. Please tell me they made it. Yes, you did it. Of course I did it. I'm just that goaded. Mike, I'm sorry for using your time machine. Joe, I forgive you, but don't use the time machine ever again. I don't care how important the situation is. Just don't use it. All right. So is the timeline completely fixed? As long as you guys didn't bring anyone along, then yeah, it should be fixed. Wait, so do we just go back to our normal lives? Yes. All righty then. I'll see you guys later. See you, Joseph. Trump, I'm going to run some tests to make sure everything is back to normal. Could I come with you? Sure. I have all of the stuff set up in my house. Oh, you built your house? Yeah, I figured that I should do something while doing nothing. Ah, nice. All right, let's run some tests. So Pence ran some tests, and he wasn't able to get the results yet. It looks like this test will take about one week. One week? That's so long, though. Hey, I wouldn't worry about it. It'll probably come through as fixed. Man, this is such a neat world to take over. Any updates on the timeline? Nope, the machine is still processing the information. Well, do you think it will be done anytime soon? Donald, you have asked me the same question so many times today. I just wanted to make sure that nothing has changed. I will let you know when it is done, all right? Uh, all right. Okay, now do something productive. What is something I can do that is productive? I don't know. You can add another person to the server or something. Just do something that isn't going to bother me. Do something that isn't going to bother you? Hmm, uh, I got it. Building a wall that isn't bothering anyone. Donald Trunk, what are you doing? I am building an almighty and powerful wall that will put other walls to shame. Trump, why did you decide to put it in between me and Ben's house? That's literally so dumb. Joey, it's all for the aesthetic look. Well, I don't like it. Take this wall down before I do. Hey, Pence permitted me to build this wall here. Mike has no say in where this wall goes. Go talk to him then. He would love to have a little convo with the President of the United States. Oh yes, we're going to have a heck of a convo. Pencil, why the hell did you tell Trumpy to build a wall? What? I didn't tell him to build a wall. All I told him was to do something productive. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. I'm going to lay the law down. Hey, what you're doing is not productive, so get down and demolish this wall or else. Joey, this wall is the staple of America. We can't live without this magnificent piece of historical art. That does it. I'm blowing it up. Hey, isn't that a little bit overkill? Trumpy, blowing up a wall that you created isn't overkill. Bro thinks he can build a wall on our land, huh? Well, I'll show him. Hmm, these guys don't seem any different in this timeline. Maybe it's because they went back in time and changed everything. Hmm, interesting. Joe, don't blow up my glorious wall. Okay, then you have to mine every single individual piece of it. All right, fine. But only because I don't want you to be a moron. Very fascinating. Very good. Don't ever build here again. Got it? I will abide by your stupid rules, all right? Good. Now do something productive, okay? Fine. I will do something quote-unquote productive. Man, he is a total party pooper. What do I do now? Hmm. Oh, I got it. Hey, welcome to the server, Bushy. It's nice to see you. Thanks for inviting me to the server, Trump. I can finally play with my dearest, most friendly friends. I don't know about friendly, but we'll go with it. Anyways, you can build your house wherever you want to. Alrighty, thank you, big orange man. Back the truck up. Bush, that name has been retired for weeks now, so stop using it. Wait, people don't refer to you as an orange anymore? Nope. They refer to me as other things, and no, I will not be saying those other things. Come on. You can trust me, Brosif. Hell no. I'm out of here, brother. Well, I guess I'll find out eventually. Anyways, I need to grab some wood. Where would I find that? Ah, oh, bingo. Dog, there's so much wood here. Wait, what is that? It looks like an item frame holding a red piece of wool. Huh, I wonder what that is supposed to represent. Ah... Uh, Hey, what is this? Man, trapping you was way easier than I thought. Wait, you look exactly like me. Wait, are you a clone or something? Look, all you need to know is that you won't have a great time down there. Wait, what do you mean by that? Hey, let me out. 
Now that I have this timeline's bush, I can initiate plan A. Huh, that's odd. Some changes are happening with this graph and that's not supposed to happen. Eh, it's probably just the Wi-Fi. Mike, how's it going? Trump, what did I tell you about bothering me? Dog, I'm not here to bother you. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Oh, well, I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. All right, I'm going to see how Joe is doing. Jokester, where are you? Hey, Trunk. Joseph, what the hell are you doing up there? Well, I wanted to get a better view of your house. Why would you want to do that? Because something might happen near your humble abode. Joey, nothing is going to happen to my house. Hi, Donald. Jeez, Bush, why the hell did you startle me? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to... Okay, did you get some tools and stuff? Yeah, I got some iron tools. Very nice. Hey, could you run to my house and pick up some diamond? It would be much appreciated. Oh, yeah, sure. I can do that for my best friend in the whole wide world. Just go already. All right. Bro doesn't know what I'm about to do to his house. Where the hell is Bro? He's been gone for a bit now. Sorry for the long wait. I got trapped in a hole. That's fine. As long as you didn't steal my diamonds or plant any boom booms in my house, we'll be good. Yeah. Anyways, I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Man, that guy is always happy for some reason. Eh, he probably took some of Joe's pills. Oh, what's this? I left a little gift for you. Open it. Signed by Obama. Wait, Obama came back? Wow, and he didn't even bother to say hi. That's messed up, man. Whoa, what the heck? Run! Oh boy, this is a major threat. La la la. Joey, my house was boom boomed by Obama. Yeah, I know. It was fun to watch you blow up your own house. Joseph, I didn't do the boom boom to my own house. Obama did. Wait, Obama planted those boom booms? Apparently, yeah. And now I'm thinking about taking action for the situation at hand. Do we need to build a defense to hold off Obama's army if he comes to invade our territory? I don't know. All I know is that Obama is now a threat to our town. Why would Obama turn on us? We became friends again. Maybe this was his plan all along, to end the first war and start another one that would be way more significant. It doesn't make any sense. Joe, let's not think about it that much. Right now, we need to let everyone know of this situation. And that's what they did. Joe and Trump went to everyone's houses and told them about the explosion. Yes, my plan is working itself out right now. Who would have thought that Tangerine was so oblivious? Mike! Ugh, what is it now? We have a new threat on our hands. What? What are you talking about? Wait, is this another one of those stupid schemes to make me tell you what the status is on this time travel thing? No, this is a real thing. Obama left a boom boom underneath my house. Are you being for real right now? I'm being so for real right now, dog. We'll need to build a great defense for this town. I have to stay with this testing machine so I can't help you all out. Okay, keep working on that. I'll get Ben to help me. Ben, come help me build a wall for this town. Okay, yeah, that's great. Yep, and it will be the most glorious wall you have ever seen in your entire life. Now let's get to constructing it. And done. This wall looks beautiful. Matt, it could look better. Benny, don't talk bad about my exquisite wall. Man, I never thought I would be going back to where it all started. I mean, it just feels so weird. Eh, well, hopefully they'll accept me into their town with open arms and not with firearms. Hey, do we have any bows in the arsenal? Hell, if I know. Why don't you look? Yeah, I'll do that. Wait a second. We don't have an arsenal. Yeah, I know. Okay, then I'll look in my house. BRB. Ben, why the hell is there a wall here? Because Obama might be starting another war. Oh, I remember now. Trump came into my house and told me that... Not to roast you or anything, but you actually remembered something. I guess I remembered something for once. Wow, maybe you're finally starting to recover. Hi, I'm Joe Biden's husband. Never mind. Let's see. Swords, blocks, boom booms, aha, bows and arrows. Bro, my house should literally be called the arsenal. I got so much weaponry in here that it's not even funny. Hey, I found some bows and arrows in my house, so we should be good. Very good. Okay, do you think we should have someone keeping an eye out for him? There's already someone watching for him. What do you mean? Joey made some tall tower that he likes to use to spy on people, and I think he also lives up there now. Ah, what an ingenious and fun thing Joseph has done. Spying on your neighbors is fun? Wow, you are creepy. Dude, why is it doing this? The machine is supposed to be giving green signs, but it's not. It's giving yellow signs, which could potentially mean something is wrong, but the chances of something being wrong are fairly low. I'll have to do some more digging. No, I want your finest ice cream. Yes, I really want to buy the ice cream. Wait, what? Oh, I was dreaming. Phew. I thought I was actually being jumped by Obama. Okay, I have to put all of my concentration into looking for Obama. Hey, is that him? No, that's just a rock. Hey, Joey, how's it going? It's going fine. I haven't seen anyone yet, though. Okay, let us know if you see anyone, all right? Aye, aye, Captain. I shall let you know if anyone dares come near our land. Joe, don't try to copy Captain Jack Sparrow. You do a horrible job at it. Aye, I thought it was pretty good, lad. 
Whatever floats your boat, dollar store, Captain Jack Sparrow. Hey, I'm not a dollar store, Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm $1.50 store, Captain Jack Sparrow. Man, people can't seem to get the name right. Trumpy, any update from Joey? No update, but there is an update on our friendship. Oh, really? Yeah, the update is me destroying it and blowing up your house, all because you called me Trumpy. Wait, Donald, I was joking around. I didn't mean to make you mad or anything. I'm sorry. Hmm, all right, fine. I'll accept your apology, but only because we're friends. Hold up, what the hell is that noise? I don't know. Let's go up and see. Joey, what is all that noise? It's Elon. What the hell? I haven't seen him since the creative mode war. Wait, Elon was in that war. Yeah, and he was my enemy. Dog, this music is bussin' for real, for real. Elon, what the heck are you doing here? I was just going to get my new Yesla model XYZ. Wait, you still live in this war field? Yes, I still live in this war field. It's my home. Wow, and to think, you said that you weren't coming back to this place. Look, things have changed since then. Anyways, could you please go around our town? Yeah, whatever. See ya, Trumpet. Don't call me by that name ever again. Trumpet. Gosh, Elon is still an annoying little prick. Hey, did you make him leave this area? Yes, and he won't ever come back here again. Wait, let's back the truck up. You said that he was your enemy in the war. Was Obama by chance the enemy in that war too? Holy shoot, I never even thought about that. Um, yes, yes he was. Trump, I think the third war is starting sooner than we thought. Get ready for the fight. I ain't losing to these little morons. These fools. Little do they know that this is all a setup. Thanks again, Elon. It's my pleasure, Mr. President. Please call me Bush. Uh, all right, Bush. Mike, we're about to have another war. What, did Obama arrive early? No, but Elon so happened to stroll near our base. Wait, he was the enemy in the creative mode war. This isn't good. We need to get ready to fight for our land. Joe, you'll be keeping an eye out in your watchtower. Ben, you have to secure the south wall. And Mike, you'll have to secure all the other sides because the other teammates aren't on right now. You've got to be kidding me. Why can't we get them on right now? Because they went to the Bahamas. Well, maybe they brought their computers. Nope. They said that they wanted to get away from all of the technology. Dang. And of course, they leave the day we go into war. Mike, it is what it is. Now let's get out there and show Obama who's boss. Yeah, let's do this. Man, I think I'm getting close to the town. I wonder if they'll mind if I rebuild my house there. Hold up, I think I can see the town. I'm in position. All right, and how about you, Pence? Yep, my area is secured. Okay, so now we wait. Guys, guys, I see Obama. Wait, where is he? It looks like he's in a boat, but he's by himself. Is he holding anything in his hand? Yeah, he's holding a piece of boom boom. Okay, I give you guys full permission to pew pew on sight. I just lost sight of him. What do you mean you lost sight of him? I can't see him anymore. He just disappeared. What the hell? Hi, Trump. Ah, uh, Obama. Why the hell are you trying to start another war? What are you talking about? There was a chest left by you in front of my house, and it was a full-on boom-boom. What? Trump, this is my first time here since I unalived. Obama, I don't trust you for a second. All right, fine. Don't believe me. But I just want to make something clear. You started this, not me. Dog, don't even lie about it. We all know that you planted that boom boom. Trump, I really wanted to be friends with you guys, but now you just destroyed any future friendships we could have had. If you became friends with us, then you would probably boom boom more of our houses. This is war, Trump. I hope to see you very soon. Yeah, and I hope to see you lose this battle. Guys, Obama has betrayed us, and he is no longer our friend. Did he really plant that boom boom in front of your house? Yes, Joe. He did do that. Okay, we need to prepare for this war. We can't have a war now. We still have to wait for the results from the machine. Mike, we have no choice. It's either we lose everything to Obama or we fight for it and win. Are you sure we can't postpone this for a few more days? Do you think we can push off something this big? Dog, Obama will fight hard and he'll do it for as long as he needs to. So no, I don't think we can. Wait, maybe I can talk to him. I mean, he is my buddy and all. Joseph, you guys fought head to head in the war we had. I don't think it's a good idea. That war was a long time ago. He won't remember that. Joe, do not talk to Obama. I don't care if he remembers or not. Just don't talk to Obama. Got it? All right. Now let's go get a good night's sleep. We'll have a lot to do in the morning. Obama was my best friend. He would never do anything like this. Ugh, it doesn't even add up. Wait, maybe someone else planted the boom boom and framed Obama for doing it. That's gotta be it. Trump, open your front door. Ugh, what could this sleepy old man want now? I just thought of something. Oh, here we go. What if someone else planted that boom boom? What are you talking about? Well, we got along with Obama, so I don't see any reason for him to do that sort of thing. Joe, he is known for doing that sort of thing to my Minecraft houses. And that was when he was your enemy. So, let me get this straight. 
Are you trying to say that someone else in town planted this boom boom in my house? Well, they could be out of town, but it could be in town too. Joe, did you plant that boom boom in my home? What? No. I stopped doing that when we became friends. Okay, that's good to know. So, what do you think of my theory? Well, for once, I actually think it's an interesting theory. But do I think that's what happened? Hey, maybe. I'm still leaning toward Obama planting the boom boom. But do you think I could be right on this one? I do. But I'm not too confident about it because no one else on this server would blow up my house except for Obama. He always used to do it. Okay, fair. It's uncertain whether or not he did it. Okay, well, I'll let you sleep on it. And yeah, I'll see you later. I'm going to find Obama. So Joseph set off to find Obama, but there was a problem. Joe doesn't remember which way he went. I think he could have gone this way, but he also could have gone this way. You know what? I'm going to flip a coin. If it lands on tails, I will go this way. But if it lands on heads, then I will go this way. All right, in three, two, one, flip. And it landed on tails. All right, let's go this way. I'm really hoping this is the right way I'm supposed to go, because if it's not, I'll be wasting a lot of precious time. I feel like they were making up things to not let me back into town. Like the only time I boom boom Trump's house was during that whole war we had. But now that war is over, and he still thinks I do that sort of thing. Man, I know for a fact that he made that whole story up. No cap. Hold up, I can sense something. It's almost as if Obama was around here. But where could he be? Oh, there he is. Whoa, what the heck? Obama, I come in peace. I mean no harm, I... What do you want? I want to talk to you. About what? The fact that Trump made up that whole house blowing up thing to keep me out of town? What? Trump didn't make up that house thing. His house actually did a boom boom. Okay, well, he blamed me for it. What's up with that? I don't know, but I don't think you did it. Finally, someone that actually believes me. I think someone framed you for this, Barack. Well, obviously. But who did the framing? I don't know. It could be people in or out of town. Either one. I'll tell you something. It ain't me, bro. I just decided that it was time to pack up and finally move back to town. Wait, you finally decided to move back to town? Yes, until this whole thing happened. Uh, I guess that is very true. Let's not get carried away here. Do you think that you could talk some sense into Trump and make him stop believing that I did that? I guess the only logical way I'd be able to do that is if I had some solid proof. Okay, let's get some proof. Wait, you want to go into town and get some proof? Heck yeah. Right now is the best time to do this thing. Hmm, I guess you are correct about that. I know I am. All right, let's roll. So Joe and Obama went back to the town to search for hints or clues that would potentially help them with this situation. Okay, take me to his house. It's just around here. Oh, wow. This did the boom boom, hardcore style. Yeah, it was a gnarly sight to see in the morning. Okay, it looks like this person used around 15 pieces of boom booms and was triggered by a chest. Wait, how the heck do you know the exact numbers? I brought my boom boom detector with me just in case of situations like this one. Does it say anything else? Wait, it's got player handprints. No way. Whose hands are they? It shows up as unknown. Wait, it straight up says unknown? Yep, and now I'm confused. Hold up. Maybe it was an animal. Like a zombie piglin or a villager. Nope, they have traces of human DNA. Oh shoot, I hear someone coming. You have to go, Obama. Okay, I'll see you later, Joey. What the heck is going on out here? Hey, what's up, Trump? Oh, it's just Sleepy Joe. Joey, can you please stop talking to yourself and go to bed? Yeah, sure. Sorry about that. Man, I hope someone can help me out of here. All right, I gotta get ready for this fight we're gonna have today. Wait, where the fiddlesticks is my sword? I left it in this item frame. Ah, uh, yeah. I think today should be a lot better than yesterday, especially since I stole Trump's sword. Hey, Barack, wait, is that Trump's sword? Um, no, it's my all-new Backscratcher 3000. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought you stole from the team that you wanted to team up with. I would never do such a thing. All right, wait, where the hell are my pills? You still take pills? Yes, I need them for my thing. Well, maybe you left them at your house. Left my what where? Oh, no. Joe, wake up. Um, what do I do? Oh, I got it. Free chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. What? Where? Huh, I knew that old trick still worked. Dang, I thought there was actually chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Dog, you forgot your pills again. You'll have to go into town to get them. Wait, but if I go there, then Trump will make me take a position for this made-up war. Okay, then just be sneaky. Aren't you good at that? Who the heck is sneaky? Go into town without making any noise, got it? Oh, that's easy. I'll see you soon, Obama. Good luck, Joey. Where I'm going, I won't need luck. Uh, where am I going again? You're going back to town to get your pills. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay, I'll see you later. So Joseph set off to town, but there was a problem. Joe would forget what he is doing, but luckily, the town is only 250 blocks away. I can do this. Come on, Slippery Joe. Sleepy Joe. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Hey, is that a drone? Oh, it's just the sky. Phew. Ben, stop being a couch potato. It's time to get ready for the war. Ben. Whoa, why the hell are you in my house? Because we have to get ready for the big war against Obama. Dog, just let me sleep for a few more minutes. 
All righty, then I'm just going to keep this very high-tech block to myself. What high-tech block? What the hell? How do you have a piece of bedrock? Ben, let's just say I have friends in high places. Can I have this block that is in your possession currently? Yeah, only if you're going to get ready for the war. Oh, yeah. I was literally just thinking that. Let's go get ready. Come on. I have to pull myself together. Ooh, is that a group of children? I have to focus. It's not that hard. Rise and shine, sleeping beauty. Trumpy, get the hell out of my house before I destroy the timeline. Hey, it might happen anyways if you don't get ready for the fight. Uh, all right. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna wake up the others now. Whoa, I'm in Candyland. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Ah, wake up, wake up, I can see town. Dog, Hillary, and the others are still gone. Man, they are going to regret leaving for the Bahamas. Wait, I forgot about Joey. Oh, Joey, it's time to wake up. Wait, where the hell is Joey? His pills are gone. Yes, I did it. Now I have to get back to Obama's camp. Come on, I know that you might be able to make it back, Joe. Obama, I got the pills. I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay, now that the issue is dealt with, should we start talking about plans? Yes, but we'll have to make it fast. Why? We should have plenty of time to talk about it. Joe, when Trump sits around waiting for me to come, he's going to get to the point where he wants to search the area around him. How in the cheese puff would you know that? Well, I had to deal with the same thing in the creative mode war. Dude, you guys always talk about the creative mode war, but never say how it started. Look, that's beside the point. Okay, let's get this plan going. Dog, don't glide over this. I want to know what happened. You'll find out in due time, Joseph. For now, we need to focus. Joe and Obama took three hours to create the most well-thought plan for this. Okay, let's go over this again. You will go into town, scan Trump's blown-up house with this device I created last night, then you'll report back to me for the next part of the plan. You got all that? Uh, I think so. All right, good. Now here's the device. All you have to do is go into the crater and press this button. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay, I wish you all the luck, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Dude. Uh, okay. I guess that works. I won't let you down, Obama. I swear on my life. Oh, boy. The last time he swore on his life was when my Minecraft house did a boom-boom. I can do this. I can't find him. Wait, Obama must have taken him. What's wrong, Trump? It's Joe. I've been searching for him for three hours. Did you look inside your house? Why the hell would Joe be in my house? I don't know. He could have forgotten his pills. Therefore, that would put him in a state of confusion, which would make him go to different places. All right, all right. I'll go check my house. Let's see. Nope, he's not even in here. Why did I even listen to Ben? Uh, how do you turn on this thing? Uh... Hey, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I'll stay on this channel. Just let me know if you need help. Thank you, Obama, but I think I got this. Joe, just remember, if you get caught, then we'll be screwed, and they'll think that you're working with me. I mean, I kind of am. Joey, you're not supposed to be smart. Oh, one more thing. If it beeps three times, then that means you can come back as soon as possible. Okay, that's good to know. All right, good luck, brother. I'll see you soon. Okay, I think they're probably looking for me, so I'm just going to climb up the side of the mountain. I don't know where he is. I think Obama took him. That monster, we shouldn't have trusted him in the first place. Trump, we can't seem to find him. Obama took him. What are you talking about? Obama took Joe to his secret place. I'm very certain of it. How could you be so certain? Ben, you have to trust me on this one. Okay, well, do you have any ideas? Yeah, and that plan consists of us not going anywhere. Dog, our friend is out there and you just want to sit around and do nothing. Obama is very secretive. It would be nearly impossible to find him. It just sounds like excuses to me. Ben, shut your mouth and listen to me. We can't do anything about it, period. I thought you were his friend, but we were apparently wrong. Ben, I didn't mean, uh. Okay, I'm finally here and all I have to do is press this button. Easy. Joe, come in, did you make it to the area? Yes, I made it to the area. And did you press the button? Yes, sir. Okay, oh, I forgot to warn you. The process takes up to three minutes. Three minutes? Why does it take so long? Dude, three minutes ain't long. Ten minutes is long. I'd suggest finding a hiding spot just in case someone comes around. Dang you, Obama. Okay, I think I should be hidden in this area. Hopefully. Man, I was just trying to explain to him that we need to do what's best. What the heck? Hey, who's there? Oh, shoot. Huh, I thought I heard something. Oh, phew. That was too close. Joey, is everything still going according to plan? Yes, but I was almost caught by Trump. Okay, you just need to stay out of his eyesight. That's what I'm trying to do right now. How much time do you have left on that? It says one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, I swear I heard something that time. Obama, he heard me talking. Stay the hell out of his sights. You can't screw this up. Okay. Who the hell is back there? Hmm, that's interesting. It's like the person that was back here moved somewhere else. Oh, shoot. I got one minute left. Come on, where the heck are you hiding? Go faster, you stinking device. You can't keep hiding, dog. Come out, come out wherever you are. 30 seconds. Okay, that's it. I'm pulling out the old x-ray device. 
Oh, no. Obama, he's about to use his x-ray device. Joe, you need to get out of there now. I can't. I'm so close to getting this done. Now you listen to me. Get out of there. Now. No. 20 seconds left. There we go. Let's get this machine going. 15 seconds. Setting up. There we go. 10 seconds left. It's so close. And we'll start up this baby. All right, let's see who is hiding around my house. Wait, it's just a pig. Oh, um, I really thought I heard talking. Obama, I got the information and I'm heading back. Wait, so you weren't caught? Dog, I'm sneakier than Trump getting a cookie out of the cookie jar. Wow, I'm actually surprised. Good work, Joey. Thanks. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, I'll see you then. I guess with Joe missing, it's just been taking a toll on me because I really thought there was someone outside. Trump, open the door. Ben, look, I changed my mind. Save it. We have a bigger fish to fry. Wait, what is going on? Mike, what the hell is going on? The machine, it's starting to break on me. What do we do? We need to fix it by finding a specific block. Okay, and what is this specific block? Bedrock. Hey, I have a piece of bedrock, but I was going to give it to Ben. Trump, saving the universe as we know it is more important than a little promise. Okay, you're right. Here. Thank you. Okay, it should be good. For now. What do you mean by for now? Well... I found out that the timelines are still messed up, and if we don't fix them, then we're going to be in trouble. What the hell? We did everything we were supposed to do. Trump, you guys clearly did something that you guys weren't supposed to do. Okay, maybe we interacted with some people, but we didn't tell them we were from a different timeline. Logically thinking, everything should be fine if you didn't tell them that. However, if someone brought something back from a different timeline, then that would affect everything. But we didn't bring anything back. Well, Trumpy, it's starting to seem like that was the case. Dude, what sort of thing would have we taken? I don't know, an item, a piece of dirt, a seed. Heck, you could even bring a person. Mike, there is no way in hell that we took back any of those things. Let me ask you a question. Was there an ice cream store in that timeline? Holy shnikes, there was. We have to find Joe, a sap. But we don't know where the hell he went. Trump, do not fret. I have a device that will tell us where Joey is. Wait, how the heck did you make that? Well, I took a subatomic particle and- Never mind that. We have to find Joey. Now fire up your machine so we can get this search going. After a few minutes of setup, Mike was able to fire up the machine. All right, the machine is up and running. Okay, so does it show us where he is currently? Not yet. It has to scan the atmosphere real quick. And it's done. Hmm, It looks like he's on the edge of a mesa biome in a river. Wait, this doesn't show any direction or anything? Dude, my stuff isn't that high tech. However, we should be able to pinpoint his location. Oh, well, I guess that's way better. Whoa, what the hell happened? Well, the system overloaded while trying to pinpoint his location. Okay, then we'll just see if we can recognize a place in this photo. Yeah, good luck with that. I haven't been here in years, so I don't really remember. Dog, you could at least help me search for them. Yeah, I'll help you search for them, but I won't be able to recognize a lot of areas. All right, then leave the recognition to me. Now that you have the info, what are we supposed to do now? Well, we're going to let this machine scan the information, and in the meantime, we can potentially spy on them to see what they're doing. There's no point in spying on them. All they're doing is sitting in their houses. You never know, man. They could be searching for you right now. I highly doubt it. Mike, you'll go that way and I'll go this way. Okay. Do you have the photo on you? Yeah, it's in my big cranium. I guess that's one way to take a photo with you. All right, I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay, I'll see you later, Trump. Good luck. You too. You'll totally need it. Okay, so the only area I can remember having a mesa near it was the old village where Hillary and I had our war at. All right, so it sounds like I'll be heading there then. Nice. Joe, do you see anything? Uh, I don't see anyone over here. What about you? I see absolutely no one. That's so flipping weird. Maybe they're out looking for me. That could be it. Okay, so we should have time to waltz our way into town, right? Why the heck do we need to go into town? I don't know. They might have some information on you. Fair point. All right, where do you think they have this information? Well, Mike has a laboratory over there, so that might be where it is. Okay, let's go to it then. All right, I'm walking toward it right now. I'm doing the same thing. Where the hell did Trump and Mike go? They were literally here a few minutes ago. Go back, go back. Ben is still here. Oh, shoot, I'm running back. Obama, don't be seen. I know. That's why I'm pulling a sneaky move. What does that mean? Obama? Hello? Obama, come in. What the hell are you doing? Man, it's good that I brought my shovel because I would have been burnt toast. Obama, please tell me you weren't caught. Oh, no, I think he was caught. Hi, Joey. What the heck? You dug under the ground? Yeah, it was the most sneaky way of getting back over here. Okay, we need a different way to get over there. Well, we could just dig another tunnel. Ooh, that's a great idea. You'll have to dig it, though. Of course. All right, let's do it. So Obama and Joe dug a tunnel to Mike's laboratory, and when they made it there, they got ready to dig into it. Theoretically, there should be no one up here. Okay, it looks clear. I'll block this up over here. Very good. All right, what do we have here? What the heck? What? What's wrong? That's where my tent is set up at. Oh, no. 
We need to go now. Unblock the door and fix this floor. We need to get a move on. The door is unblocked and I'm out of here. Obama, do you think they're at the base right now? I have no clue, Joe. Let's just hope they aren't because that machine is still running. I'm in the Mesa, but I don't see any river. Hmm. Maybe it's more this way because I heard that rivers normally spawn this way. Trump, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Did you find anything? But I did find a dark oak boat in a river. Hold up. The only person that uses dark oak boats on the server is Obama. Dog, you're hot on his trail. Okay, then I'll just keep going this way. Wait, I found the area. Nice. I'll probably be there in a few minutes. All righty, roger that. Dude, he's got a tent set up and everything. Whoa, what the peanut is that? Hmm, I genuinely have no idea. No, we were too late. Wait, when does the machine finish its scanning? Oh, well, I guess that answers my question. What the heck? Hmm, this is interesting. Wait a second. Why is he getting Bush's DNA? There's no flipping way. It was Bush, but why? I don't know. We never had any disagreements or anything like that in the past, so it doesn't make sense. Unless that's not actually Bush. Dog, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is... Oh, Obama, come out from wherever you are. I know you're hiding somewhere. Oh, shoot. We gotta go. Okay, let's get out of here. Hold up. I know for a fact that this isn't Bush's DNA because his DNA is more square. Wait, it all makes sense. The booming of my house, the change in the faces, the iron tools. This isn't our Bush. This is a different timeline, Bush. I have to tell Mike. Mike, Obama didn't do a boom boom on my house. What are you talking about, Donald? I found a sample of Bush's DNA, but here's the thing. This isn't our Bush. Oh my gosh, I get it now. Bush from a different timeline did all of these things. That explains why the timeline is going crazy. Wait, how long do we have to fix the timeline? Well, we have less than 12 hours to fix it. What the hell? Why didn't you tell me this before? I forgot about it, all right? We need to go now. Right, let's go. So Mike and Trump headed back to the laboratory to track down the fake Bush. Okay, let's go over what you said again. You said we have to find this other timeline's Bush and return him in less than 12 hours. Yes, and we have to make sure to bring all of the ice cream bottles too. But right now we have to focus on Bush because he is our main priority. Okay, so are you able to track down this Bush? Well, with this DNA, I should be able to insert it and get a location. Bingo, we've got a location, and this time it has coordinates. Nice, but how am I supposed to get him? You use this. Whoa, is this a poke ball? Kind of, but it's a lot more complex, and it's also made for humans. Trump, I trust that you will catch him and bring him back. Mike, you know you can trust me. We've been friends for a long time. I'm glad you said something about being friends because I wanted to give you this. It's the medal you gave me when we first became friends. Wow, I haven't seen this in a long time. I know, Trump, I know. Mark my words, I will catch this fake bush. Good luck, Trump. Thank you, Mikey. All right, it's time to get this fake dude. So he traveled through the forest, and he eventually found his house. I think this is the place. These plans that I have are way too diabolical. Now they just need to be put into action. Hey, mother trucker. What the heck? Ah. Ha, I got him. Mike, are you there? I'm here. I caught the fake bush. Did you make sure to lock it? That's the first thing I did. Okay, now bring it back to the lab. All right, I'm heading back now. The walk shouldn't be too long because he literally just set up his house right next to town. Yeah, his house is just 100 blocks away from Hillary's. Wow, he was so smart. Hi, I'm back. Nice, all right, bring him here. Here, it's a little bit shaky for some reason. Okay, hmm, all right, this looks fairly good. All right, let me go set up the time machine and we'll take him back. How long will it take to boot up? Uh, It only takes a few seconds. Man, I haven't fired this thing up in a few days. Mike, we're on a deadline. Hurry up and start it. All right, all right, and it's booted up. Wait, how are we both supposed to travel if there's no one flipping the lever? Well, I programmed my phone to have an automatic lever on it, so we don't need anyone flipping the actual lever. Ah, all righty then. Are you ready, Trump? I'm ready as I'll ever be. We're going in three, two, one. It appears we have traveled to the wrong timeline. Then take us to a different one. Whoa, what is going on? Ah! Oh, Mike, Mike, where the fiddlesticks are you? Whoa, what is this place? Hold up, this looks like a neighborhood. Trump, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Mike. Where the heck are you at? Right, I don't know. Hey, weren't we together a few minutes ago? Yes, but I think we passed out or something. So if we passed out, then how am I in a completely different place? Dog, I think someone moved you. Wait, weird thought. Maybe this is a timeline where everyone has to act nice, but in reality, they're unaliving machines. Trump, I highly doubt this timeline would have that sort of thing. Oh, you're finally awake. Hillary. Who else would it be? Yes, it is me, the one and only Hillary. Where am I? Well, you're currently at your house. Mike, you hit your head pretty hard. Did you forget your own house? I hit my head. Yep, I saw you and Trump walking on the sidewalk, and while doing that, you fell and hit your head. Wait, but I don't remember walking on a sidewalk. 
Mike, do you need me to take you to the hospital? No, I think I'll just be going somewhere. I don't think it's a good idea to do that. So just come back over here and sit down. Don't worry, Hillary, I will be back in a few minutes. Trump, what the hell is going on? We literally just came through the portal and then found Joe. Dog, I think your machine put us to sleep or something because I vividly remember falling on the ground right as we came through. All right, now explain how we were walking on the sidewalk. We were not walking on the sidewalk. Well, this timeline's Hillary said we were walking together on the sidewalk. Dude, I am so stinking confused. Look, let's not focus on this. We need to find each other. Okay, well, I am currently in someone's house or something. Find a way out of there. We need to get out of this timeline as fast as we can. Uh, Mike. What's wrong? I'm trapped in someone's attic. Get the heck out of there. I think someone took you there. I literally just said that I was trapped. So there is literally no way out. Hmm, okay. Are you able to see which house you are in? Uh, no, but I'm able to see a house across from me that is red. Oh, I think I saw that house. I'll come back and you'll let me know if you can see me, all right? Okay, I'll be looking out for you. Hey, I'm closing in on the red house. Okay. All right, I'm here. Can you see me at all? Yes, I can see you. Nice, I'm coming over to your house right now. Hold up, I can see someone coming. Wait, what? Mike, what are you doing? Uh, Hillary, I'm just taking a walk. I don't need any help. Oh, really? You don't need help? Mike, you never not want my help? Mike, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, uh, gonna, gonna, uh, 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 hell no, I'm out of here. Trump, you need to get the hell ready. What is going on? Your stupid theory from earlier was entirely true. Hillary is turning into some unaliving machine. Ah, uh, uh, Mike, Mike, you, you will, will pay. pay. Oh, shoot, I can hear her yelling. Trump, I am in the house. Did you say you were in the attic? Yes, please hurry. You, you can't, can't hide, hide in, in there for long. long. You're so lucky that I brought a lever for this trip. Mike, okay, how the fiddlesticks do we get out of here? On three, we will jump. Three, two, one, jump. Ah, uh, they're, they're gone. gone. Ah, ouch. Whoa, what the heck is this? I don't know, but we need to find out if this is the right timeline. Okay, so do you want to split up? Well, I feel like that is our best bet at this point. So yeah, that's what we should do. All righty then. Make sure to have your walkie-talkie on at all times, just in case of any situations. Hold up, let me turn mine on real quick. Ow, that hurt my flipping ears. Okay, let's go find out if this is the right timeline. All righty. So while Trump and Mike were looking around, Obama and Joe debated going back to Obama's campsite. Obama, it's a few hours. They have to be gone by now. There's no shot in the world that they are still there. Joseph, we cannot risk ruining everything. Trump probably thinks that I want to start another war. Or maybe he realized that you weren't the one that boom boomed his house. That is entirely possible, but the chances of that actually being the case is slim because he's so hooked onto the fact that I quote unquote boom boomed his house. Obama, let's just take a peek at the camp. There's no harm in doing that. If you want to go to it, then you can. I'm just going to stay here. Dude, you can't just stay here and be a coward. You have to come. Joe, this is the last time I say it. Go if you want to go. Ugh, fine. I don't even get why you're acting like this. Ah, I can't take it anymore. Joey, I was going to declare war. Yes, I know. Joe, I'm not talking about the whole Trump house being blown up by me. I'm talking about me genuinely starting another war. What, what are you talking about? Ugh. When I came back from the unalived, I wanted to wage another war against you guys. So I built a house and started to craft lots of TNT, weapons, and even nuclear weapons. But you guys were being nice to me, as if nothing ever happened before. That right there held me back from doing anything drastic, but I still had intentions to start another war. So I kept loading up my arsenal, and it eventually got full. I then decided that it was time to come back to see what you guys had in your town, and from my observations, it didn't seem like you guys had much... And that got me rethinking this whole thing because you guys wanted to be friends with me, so I shut down my plans and headed into your town. And that's when I ran into Trump. He thought I blew up his house, and then he wanted to start another war. And now, I think another war is in order. I cannot believe you. After everything we did for you, you just wanted to wage another war against us. Joe, it was not my intention to start a war when I thought about you guys, but now, Trump is really asking for it. Obama. Yes, Joe? Get out. Do what? Get out of our territory. Joseph, I didn't want it to end like this, and I didn't want it to start like this. I hope you're happy with what you have started. He has no idea what he just started. Hmm, this doesn't look very familiar to me. Hey, there's a dirt house. I wonder if anyone is home. A, probably not. The designs for this aren't too bad. However, it is made out of dirt and mud. I've got a strong feeling that the Joe from this timeline built this. Huh, this area seems empty. Like, I don't know, it seems like nothing would be here. Mike, come in. I think this is the wrong timeline. Agreed. Let's just meet back at the original place we teleported to. I'm already here, so I'll just wait for you to come. No need to do that because I'm already here. Ah, nice. Okay, are we ready? Yep. All right, three, two, one, jump. Whoa, this isn't Minecraft. What the heck is this game? 
Oh no, Mike, I think we're in Roblox. Bro, I've never even played this game. Let's jump in three, two, one, jump. Wait, what the heck? Um, why aren't we being teleported to a different timeline? I don't know. Wait, we don't have an inventory. I don't have any of my items. Mike, are we stuck in here? I don't know. I don't have any of my items. This is actually really bad. Hold up, if we travel to a totally different timeline, then there must be another version of us. And what's your point? Well, if there's a Mike in this timeline, he might just have a time machine. Okay, then let's find this timeline's Mike. So Trump and Mike stayed together to find this timeline's Mike. Bro, do you even know where we are going? Nope, but I've got a feeling that it could be this way. Mikey, feelings aren't gonna help us find this timeline's Mike. We just need to look around for people. Trump, that is a bad idea. Do you remember what happened last time we talked to people? Ah, uh, good point. Hold the hell up. I just thought of something. Where is the bush we trapped? Theoretically thinking, he should still be in my Minecraft inventory unless the timeline cleared it. And if that happened, then that bush should be put back in his timeline. Also, he wouldn't remember a single thing that happened. Oh, phew. So he won't be able to escape the egg, right? Trump, that egg is one of the most powerful things I have ever created. So no, he shouldn't be able to. I cannot believe Obama would have done that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Ugh, I just want all of this to end. Please help me. Whoa, what the pickles is that noise? Help me out of this hole. Wait, is that you, Bush? Yes, now help me out of this hole. Where the heck is this hole you speak of? It's underneath that empty item frame. Okay, Bush, what the heck happened? There was another Bush, and he trapped me in this hole. Wait, the other Bush was here? Yes, dog, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I gotta go tell the others that the fake Bush was pretending to be the real Bush. Trump. Bush was trapped in a hole. Wait, where the heck is Trump? Mike. Bush was trapped. Where the heck is everyone? All of them left. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm pretty sure Trump and Mike left town to look for you. And here you are, just barging into people's homes. Ben, I came to warn everyone about Bush. What's wrong with Bush? Did he forget to take his medicine again? No. There's a fake Bush in this timeline that trapped the real Bush. What? How is that even possible? I don't know. We just need to figure out where the heck Trump and Mike went. All right. Let's start searching the town for any clues. Copy that. I'll search the east part of town and you'll search the west part of town. Got it? Yep. Now let's get to looking for clues. Oh, hold up. What is this? If you found this book, then just know that Trump and I traveled in time to return the fake Bush back to his timeline. If we're not back by tomorrow, then you have to press the button on my computer. By doing that, you will be sending us back to this timeline, and the whole universe of timelines will be permanently destroyed. And one more thing. Tell Kamala that I love her. Oh my gosh. Does it say when they wrote it? Yeah, it was written a few hours ago. Okay, so the only thing we can do is sit around and wait? I hate to say it, but yes. We have to sit around and wait. That's great. Well... Let's pray to God that they're able to get back here intact. Mike, just admit it. We are lost in this game. Trump, I'm almost certain we can find something that will help us out. How in the world are we going to find something? Trump, you have little hope in my searching abilities. But just give it time and we will find something or someone that will help us get back. All right, fine. Uh, Mike. Yeah, what's up? Don't we have a time limit to get Bush back to his timeline? Oh, no. We got to go fast. Do you know how much time we have left? I don't know. My inventory didn't come with me, so I have no idea. Hey, I can see something in the distance. This could be our ticket out of here. Okay, let's hurry up. We need to get out of here as fast as we can. So, Trump and Mike ran toward whatever it was in the distance, and they found someone. Dog, I don't know how much more I can run. Oh, there's someone there. Okay, go talk to them. You're the professional at this. Ah, uh, never mind. Hi, I'm looking for a Mike Pence. Um, you are Mike Pence. Joey, I'm Donald Trump, not Mike. Oh, well, in that case, Mike is just that way. It's about flipping time. Mike, he's that way. Okay, let's go. Ben, do you know what time it is? It looks like it's 2 a.m. So they probably have like seven hours to go. How in the heck can you make an assumption like that? Well, it says it right there on that sign. We have to be back at 9 a.m. Oh, how the heck did I not notice that? Ugh, I wish we could help them with this. But no, we just have to sit here and do nothing. Hey, we have a very important job. And that job is pressing that button if they can't make it back. Fair point, but I feel like maybe I don't know. One of us should go find them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now that is the dumbest idea ever. There would be no point in doing that because they know what they're doing. But what if they got trapped? Joey, we cannot do it. It's way too risky. All right. However, we could clean up the town a bit to pass the time. Ooh, I like cleaning. All righty, let's do it. Trump, when we get there, you will have to talk to him. Wait, why do I have to do it? Because if that Mike sees me, then he'll know that I'm from a different timeline, and that'll mess up this timeline. Okay, that's some fairly good reasoning for me. All right, I think we're here. Trump, do not let him know that we are from a different timeline. Just say, I walk from Burger King, then I walk back home from Burger King. Wait, why do I have to say that? Trump, don't ask questions. Just do it. 
Okay, I'm going. Man, where could this guy be? Oh, bingo. There's the man I'm looking for. Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up, Trump? Nothing much. I walk from Burger King, then I walk back home from Burger King. Follow me. Dude, there ain't no way. Here, take this machine and make sure to press the button when you are done using it. Thank you, Mike. It's my pleasure. All right, it's time for us to get back. Mike, I got the machine. Very good. All right, are you ready to jump? Yes, I'm totally ready. All right, we'll go in three, two, one, jump. Ah! Whoa, we're back! And I still have my inventory. But wait, the egg is empty. Are you serious right now? I'm being so flipping serious. Trump, we need to find the fake bush right now. Where the fiddlesticks do we need to look? Well, it would most likely be in this timeline, so we'll split up and look for him. Mike, if we can't find this bush, then I just want you to know that you are my bestest friend. Trump, we will find him. Now let's go find him. We have five hours to do this. Those fools, they really think they're going to find me? Well, they would be wrong because they won't be finding me. Instead, they'll be finding my good old pal. The Trapmaster 9000, ha ha ha. Mike, come in. I think we're back in the timeline we were in before. I think we are too. Oh, just remember something. There are still other people in this timeline, so Trump, you'll have to be careful by not talking to anyone. Bro, I learned my lesson the first time. I'll make sure not to say anything to anyone. Okay, then if that's the case, I'm going to hang up for now. If you need anything, then call me up. Okay, Mikey, will do. Now it's time to find this scoundrel in under four hours and 55 minutes. If I was fake Bush, where would I be? Hmm. All right, so Bush would have a lot of ideas for building some sort of trap, but this time I have a feeling that this fake Bush wouldn't do that. Even though he may have set up a trap at my house, he just doesn't seem like someone to build a trap to trap someone. However, on the other hand, he could have built a trap to trap someone. I don't know, I just want to find him so I can go back and relax. Many long, excruciating hours later, they weren't successful. I need to call Mike. Trump, what's going on? Did you find anything? Mike, I can't find anything. This is hopeless. Trump, we only have 45 minutes left. This hunt cannot be hopeless. Newsflash, Mike, I haven't found a single clue or hint to find Bush. Look, we need to look harder. We have no choice. Look harder? Dude, I have been looking the hardest I have ever been and I can't even see a single thing. Heck, I could look up and I probably wouldn't see anything. Holy shoot, I see something. Ha, huh, I knew it. Trump, give me the cord. Okay, I just sent them. Now get here as fast as you can. I'm putting my all into running right now. Put your entirety into running. We don't have time. If we don't have time, then search it without me. But what if it's a trap? If you think it's a trap, then try to get a better look. You'll know if it is or not if you just get a better look. Okay, I'm going to get a better look at this thing. I'll let you know what it is. Roger that, and please don't let me down. Dog, I don't let people down. Now pump your little legs to get here. Ben, I finished picking up everything. Very good. I'm glad you wanted to do everything for me. It's not a problem. Hey, have they come back yet? Well, seeing as they aren't here, I'm going to say probably not. Well, there's still an option to go in and find them. Joe, if it comes down to it, I will go in and find them. How much time do they have left? It looks like they have 38 minutes left. What? Ben, you have to go in now. Joe, give it time. I trust that they will make it back. Trust isn't going to help us. We just need to go in. Joe, you need to stop. They will come back. Just give it time. If they don't come back, then it's your fault. Ugh. Okay, I'm looking at it, and it just looks like, um, I actually don't know what that looks like. Also, I don't see Bush around here, so maybe he's hiding or something. Eh, I guess we'll just have to find out. Trump, I'm almost there. Did you get a better view of the thing? Yes, and now I'm walking toward it. I know I said that you should search it without me, but you should just wait for me to get there. Mike, we don't have time to wait. I'm going to search it. Trump, do not search that thing. Trump, Trump, don't search that thing. Don't search that thing, my rear end. We don't have time. I'm going to search this thing no matter what. Ah, uh, yes. I knew Trump would find it. Now all he has to do is step on it so that it traps him in it. Huh, this is so weird. It looks like some sort of bunker or something. Or rather, a trap. Ha, huh, now I can trap him. Wait, why isn't my stuff working? What's up, Bush? What the heck? No. Man, I'm so glad we created a plan before any of this. All right, let's get this Bush back to his timeline. Mike, are you there? Trump, I caught him. Oh, phew. For a second there, I thought you forgot about the plan. Nah, man. I don't forget legendary plans like that. You think my plans are legendary? Wow, thank you, Mikey. Save it. Let's find each other and get this bush back to his timeline. I'm actually right behind you. Ah, uh, I didn't realize that. Okay, get ready to jump in. Three, two, one, jump. Ah, uh, man, that never gets old. Trump, do you want to do the honors? Ah, uh, well, it would be my pleasure. All right, let's jump in. Three, two, one, jump. Ah, I think we're back. Oh, wow. We made it. We're finally back to our timeline. And only with three minutes left on the clock. Wow, I am surprised we were able to do it. 
wait, let's go look to see if it's all back to normal. Yes, and let's be quick because we might have forgotten about something. Okay, it looks like, wait, it's still off, but how? The ice cream bottles. Trump, find the bottles. I'll fire up the machine again. Okay, I'm on it. Bro, this place is clean. This is not good. Wait, let me search Joey's house. Okay, and the machine is booted up and ready to go. Mike, I found them. Okay, give them to me and I'll be back in a few seconds. Here, take them. I have one minute left. If I don't make it back, just know that you are my best friend. Hurry up and return the bottles. Okay, three, two, one, jump. Man, that was actually really fast. Dude, you literally had five seconds left. I know. Man, that was too stressful. Whoa, what the heck is going on? Joseph, do you know what you just caused? Whoa, who the heck are you? I am the editor, Joe. Ooh, that's cool. Joseph, it is not cool that you are seeing me, because that means you have destroyed the universe. How did I destroy the universe? You traveled through time using Mike's time machine without anyone knowing. And I'm not even talking about when you did it a few days ago. I'm talking about when you did it to find Trump and Mike, because you thought they were apparently coming back, even though they would have came back completely fine. So, I destroyed the timeline by being dumb? Unfortunately, yes. However, I am able to give you two options to potentially fix it all. You can either go back to the day of the big war, or you can sit on the one chunk for eternity. Wait, the big war? That was the day I unalived. Yes, but I'm allowing you to find a way to stay alive when you go back. But what about all of the enemies? To be honest, that's your problem. What the heck? So what's it gonna be? One chunk or the big war? Uh, hmm, you know what? I think I'll go back to the big war. So be it. Let me get the universe booted back up again. How long is that going to take? I don't know, probably like three days. Bro, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I mean, I can give you a replica Trump to play with on the one chunk world. Alright, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Your replica Trump should be delivered soon. Okay, thank you. No problem. Alright, it was nice talking to you, Joey. Uh, I can't believe I'm going back to the original war. That's just weird to me. Ah, hello there! Oh, great. Man, that Denton guy is fairly weird. To be honest, what feels weird is me going back to the end of something that has changed the course of time. I just feel like it's not right. Well, if you don't want to go back to the war, then you can just ask Denton to leave you here. And that's the problem. I don't know if Denton has any mercy. Like, he seems like an evil person. Look, I'm sure Denton is not an evil person. However, he could downright be a selfish person. Hmm, I guess I'll probably sleep on it because there's nothing I can do or plan out. Joseph, I say that you should give it a shot. Just ask him straight up if you can go back to your designated timeline. I don't see any risks. You know what? Maybe you're right. Okay, next time I see Denton, I'm going to ask him if I can go back to my timeline. When's the next time you'll see this mysterious man? Well, he said that the universe would be booted up in three days, so I guess in three days he should be back here to let me know about it being booted up. Hmm, I guess in the meantime we could build a fancy house to live in. No offense, but I'd rather live in my own house rather than live in one with you. Fair enough. So, Joe passed the time by doing various things, such as building a house, farming and mining, and when the final day arrived, Denton came back. Welp, it's the last day, and now I'm going to wait. Um, Joe? Yes, Replica Trump? Uh, what's going to happen to me when you're gone? Well, um, I'm not entirely sure. I could probably ask him when he gets back. Jokey, the universe is booted up. Where in the one chunk are you? We're over here. All right, good. Are you ready to go back to the timeline? Well, about that, I was wondering if I could just go back to the timeline I was in before. Joey, I told you already. You destroyed that timeline. There is no way I'm letting you go back. Denton, you don't understand. All of my friends were there, and they were absolutely great friends, like Ben. Ben is a very funny fellow that makes jokes about nerdy things. Trump is a great friend, too. Sure, he may have messed with me a bit, but he was a great person. It almost felt like a brother that I never had, and Obama. Ugh, he and I aren't on the greatest of terms right now, but I still love him like a friend, because we've practically been friends our entire lives. Denton, you gotta let me back into my timeline. It's the only good thing I've ever had. What's the only good thing you've ever had? My friends. Hmm, alright, fine. I shall send you back into that timeline. However, you will have to do something for me. What do you mean? Well, I'm gonna put you in a fresh timeline that has your friends in it. But you will have to save them from unexpected events by using critical thinking. Dude, you've gotta be kidding me. Why in the world can't you just send me back right now? 
Joey, I need to be sure that you actually care about your friends. And what better way to do that by making you do this? It's too perfect. Okay, then can you at least let Replica Trump come with me? I cannot let him go with you. He needs to be put in a better place. Wait, you're not going to do what I think you're going to do, right? I'm sorry, Joseph. It has to happen. Why, though? Don't you care about anyone? Like, you could leave him here? That's not how it works, Joe. I don't care. Don't unalive him. If you unalive him, then I'll unalive myself, too. Whoa, Joe. There's no need to do that. Here, how about this? I give Replica Trump his own timeline, and he can live a happy life. How about that? As long as he doesn't die in a matter of seconds or days of getting there, then yes, I'm happy with it. Very well then. I shall create him a new timeline, and in the meantime, he will be here in this one chunk world. Good. I'm glad we were able to come up with a compromise. Yes. Anyway, are you ready to prove that you are a loyal friend? I'm ready as I'll ever be. All right. I want you to jump on the count of three. One, two, psych. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, three, two, one, jump. Whoa. That kind of felt like the first time I met Jill. Anyway, I need to find out where the heck I am. So, Joseph searched the area and couldn't find anything. That was until he was able to find the original town. Holy moly. This is the original town. I wonder if everyone is nice in this timeline. Joey, can you hear me clearly? Whoa, what the heck? Did you plant a microphone thing in my head? The heck? No, I'm just talking to you normally. All right, whatever. So what the heck am I supposed to do first? Okay, you need to find Hillary. She'll be walking out of her house in one minute. Why would I need to know that? Well, someone may have put a trap at her doorstep that can unalive her in a matter of seconds. Oh, what the heck, Denton? You're crazy. Hey, I had to give you a challenge somehow. Yeah, a challenge that is completely insane. Dude, chill out. I'm sure you can make it to her house before she walks out. But what if I don't make it? Well, if you don't make it, then you'll be sent back to the Big War timeline. What? I only get one shot at doing this? Bro, I can't just make this an easy cakewalk. So, of course, there's only one shot at doing this. That's just great. Oh, I see her house, and, and I also see the trap. You better hurry up before she walks over it, Joseph. I cannot concentrate with you talking to me. Okay, I should place this dirt block in front of the door and break the plate. Hmm, that's a very interesting approach. Yeah, and it's more interesting than you. Well, why the pickles is there a dirt block at my front door? Oh, it's you. Why in the world did you do that? Uh, well, there was a trap at your front door, so I got rid of it. You got rid of the trap by placing dirt? Wow, I'll have to use that strategy sometime. Yeah, anyway, I gotta go to my bed, and I'll see you later. Bro, that was smooth as butter. Hush. Okay, who's the next person that needs saving? So, the next person on the list is Bush. Oh, great. What did Bush get himself into this time? You'll see when we get there. Hold up. You never told me where he's located. Oh, he's actually at your old house. Hold up. Is he taking my stuff from the chest? Yes. Man, now I don't want to save him from whatever it is, but I have to. Wait, what am I saving him from? So, he's about to down a whole bottle of the stuff you take in the morning? Oh my gosh. He can't do that. He's gonna unalive. Then you better hurry up and save him. Bro, I'm trying to hurry up right now. But the problem is I can't run any faster than I am now. To be honest, that seems like a you issue. Don't even start that right now. Mmm, I can't wait to try this yummy stuff. All right, here comes the airplane. Stop right now. You're not supposed to have that. Oh, come on. I just wanted to try that yummy stuff. No more yummy stuff for you. Now give me back my stuff and leave the premises. All right, fine. You can have your netherite armor, netherite tools, netherite blocks, and stacks of steak back. Thank you. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. Okay, what's next, Dent? First off, don't call me Dent. Second off, you need to take a break. Just like, take a walk and stuff. Dog, is this all a part of the plan or something? No, not at all. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll just walk around. Alrighty, you failed that test. Wait, what the crabfish? Don't worry, I just wanted to test how much you care about your friends that could potentially be in trouble. Bro, I literally asked what we needed to do next. You did, but it seemed like you didn't really care. I do care, though. Alright, fine. I'll let this slide. But if you act like this again, I'm gonna send you back to the big war timeline. Fair enough. Okay, who's the next person that needs saving? The next person that needs saving is Benny, and he is located in the mountains. I'm gonna assume that you're talking about the ones on the east side. Yep. And the thing you have to save him from is a falling anvil trap. Where the heck do you come up with these trap ideas? Don't ask. Anyways, this will be the last time I tell you where anyone is. And why is that? Well, you know, this seems to be too easy for you. Okay, that's fair. But will you at least tell me what traps there are for specific people? I can do that. Okay, I'm here. Now, where the heck is he? Just look around. You'll know where he is. Uh, oh, I see him. Ben, stop moving. 
Now, hypothetically speaking, why would I do that? Because there's an anvil trap somewhere in this forest. Joseph, the chances of you lying are 69%. Why should I believe you? Oh, look, I have a copy of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Wait, okay, I'll believe you. Just hand me the book. First, you have to step out of the area you are in. All right, all right. And make sure to be careful where you walk. I am being careful. There, I left the area. Now give me the book. Here you go. You're welcome. Okay, who's the next person? Joseph. What? Joseph. What do you want? You asked who the next person was, and I'm telling you that it's Joseph. But I am Joseph. Oh, right. I must have forgotten to remove that from the last time. Anyway, the next person is actually Drake. Drake isn't my friend. All right, fine. How about Tucker? Tucker Carlson? Yeah, and I know for a fact that you guys are friends with him. Bro, he's not even in the server. Dude, he joined a while ago. All right, whatever. Could you at least tell me what I'm saving him from? Yep, you are saving him from a lava trap. Like an underground lava trap? Well, it's in the ground, so I guess. All right, then I'll start to search for it. Good luck looking for him. He's in a very strange spot. Oh, great. So Joe searched all of the strange places and couldn't find anything. Denton, I've been searching for so long. Can you give me a hint or something? Tree. He's in a dang tree. Uh, why in the world would Tucker be in a tree? Don't worry about it. Hey, you know there's a time limit, right? You said nothing about a time limit. Okay, now I have to find this dude. Joseph, I'm... Joseph, I'm not gonna lie. I think you need glasses or something. What? Oh my gosh, I can see him over there in that tree. Yeah, and he's about to leave that tree to step on the ground. Oh shoot, I have to stop him. Tucker, stop walking. Tucker... We're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You know he's got headphones on, right? Ah, uh, I'll do something else then. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna... Ah, uh, whoa, well, what is going on? Well, you were literally about to unalive in a lava trap. So I placed down some water to get rid of the lava. Wow, you're a hero, Joe. Thank you. It's not a problem. Just make sure to keep one earphone off when wearing headphones. All right, that guy is taken care of. Who's the next one? Okay, so the next person goes by the name Michelle. That is incorrect. It's actually the Michelin Man. Are you referring to the dude made out of tires? No, I'm talking about Obama's husband. But Obama's wife's name is Michelle. It says right here on my list. Well, whatever list you're reading off of is not correct. Anyway, what am I saving her from? So, um, you aren't going to like this one. You have to jump in front of an arrow for her. Bro, that's crazy. Why can't I just use a shield? Because you don't have time to get one. I keep forgetting about that ludicrous timer. It's not ludicrous, it's smart. Never mind that. I gotta find this dude. But where in this world could he be? I think it's fairly obvious where she could be. Oh, let me guess. Is he in a therapy office or something? Donald, what do you do when someone says something mean about you? We ignore them and move on to the next thing. Very good, Donald. Now what do we say when someone shares something of theirs? We say thank you. Wow, you're doing great, Donald. All right, I'll call it there for today. I hope to see you tomorrow. All righty, I hope to see you tomorrow too. Man, my life has been great lately. Okay, I'm finally out of that hole. Now I can take it out with my TNT and arrows. Mwahahaha. Oh, dude, there's actually a therapy office. WTH, hold up. I just had a thought. How would Michael get hit by an arrow? You might want to think about that later. It's about to go down. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going. Ah... Uh... I'm so happy to see some progress from Trump. Michael, watch out. Oh my gosh. Are you okay, Joe? Oh, I forgot to mention something. The building is going to explode in a few seconds. We need to get the hell out of here, Michael. A boom boom is about to go off. Are you serious? Get out of the building now. I'm going. I'm going. You may want to get out too. I can't. That shot hurt so bad. Here, drink this potion. What's this? Just drink it and run for your life. Joseph, are you okay? I'm actually feeling great right now. Thanks for asking. But you got shot in there and nearly dodged an explosion. Michelle, really, I'm fine. I just need to go somewhere. Man, you're so lucky. Because if I didn't give you that potion, then you'd be unalived. Thank you, Denton. You really are a lifesaver. It's my pleasure, dog. Alright, the next guy is Mike Pence. He's about to perform some tests on a dirt block, and the test turns into a disaster. Oh, I know where that slippery lib is. He's at his laboratory doing all this stuff. We'll see. Mike, stop performing your tests. Wait, he's not even here. Huh, that's very odd, isn't it? Hold up. I feel like you're hiding something. Or rather, he's hiding something. Bingo. All turbines are active. Flux capacitors are running. And most importantly, the dirt is in the frame. Time to fire it up. Wait, don't pull that lever. 
Hey, what's up, Joey? I was just about to run some tests on this dirt block. Mike, if you pull that lever, then everything will turn into a disaster. What are you talking about? I did all of the calculations, so there is nothing that can go wrong. Well, something could go wrong, like that weird looking thing over there. It could potentially do a boom boom, or maybe other things that my head knows. Oh, what? Man, I think I know some other things, but my head doesn't want to respond. Oh, um, the flux capacitors. Oh, uh, one of them is unplugged. One of your flux capacitors isn't plugged in. Joey, I would know if one of my flux capacitors wasn't plugged in. Oh, wait. One of them is actually unplugged. Joe, tell him that his dirt block isn't aligned with the particles. Oh, and the dirt block isn't in the right direction. I made sure to triple check it. Oh, it's not actually facing the right way. And you can't forget about the turbines. They need to be a C3 model, not the older ones. And I noticed you were using turbines that were the older models. I know for this type of thing, you would definitely need the C3 model. But my old one should handle it. No, it'll just burn out and blow up this entire place. Hmm, maybe you're right. All right, I'll push off the project. I just need to get the newer model for this. Yeah, I mean, dang, that sucks. Oh, well. Real smooth, Joey. Zip it. I don't see you down here doing this. All right, you've got a point. I know I do. Okay, who's the next person? The next person is Trump, and he is about to fight a bear. A bear? Like a polar bear? Yes, like a polar bear. Hmm. I remember in the olden days, Trump and I trapped a polar bear underneath my house. So I wonder if he could be there. Wow, it sounds like someone took their peels today. I did take my peels today. Thank you for noticing. No problem. Hey, is that your house? Oh my gosh, it's my old dirt house. I can't believe I'm seeing this again. Wait, I remember something. When Obama and I were searching for who stole my green stuff, Obama found a hole behind my house. Hey, I found a hole. What the heck is this? Dude, that must be the entrance. How did you not know that before? Oh wait, I forgot that you didn't take your peels on that day. Hush, I'm gonna dig into it. Please help me, I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, is that replica Trump? This needed to have high stakes, you know. High stakes, my rear end. Replica Trump, take this sword. Joe, is that you? Yes, it's me. Now grab the sword and take care of business. Okay, I grab the sword and I'm taking him on. Don't unalive, Trump. Trust me, I can do this. Yeah, take that. Trump, Trump, are you okay? Hi, Joey. I unalived the bear. Don't do that. I thought you unalived. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Okay, who's the next person? Actually, this is the last person. Wait, this is the last one? Yep. To be honest, I'm surprised you were able to save all those people. Like, I kind of expected you to fall asleep halfway through. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Okay, so who's the last person? The last person is Obama, but you guys had a big argument, so I don't know if I should count him. Denton, can you make Obama a friend again? Joe, you know I can't do that. Well, can't you change it up a bit? Do you want me to count Obama as a friend or not? Uh... Things are complicated right now, but I guess we can count him as a friend. Alrighty, so you'll have to save him from a nuke that someone left at his house. Whoa, Denton, that's way too far. Joe, this is all a test. Nothing is too far for me. Anyway, it looks like you have three minutes to tell him about the nuke. Bro, his house is literally over five hours away. Not that house, you knucklehead. I'm talking about his original White House. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, I can make it. I love the enthusiasm, Joe. I do too, but it's probably not going to be around for 2024. Joseph, focus. You need to save your quote-unquote friend. Yeah, you're right. We may not be on good terms, but he's still one of the greatest friends a guy could ever have. Joseph? Yes, Denton. I'll see you soon. Wait, what are you doing? Are you leaving me? Denton, I can't focus on that. I need to save Obama and the town. Let me be clear. This is the most amazing flower pot in the whole Minecraft world, and nothing could ruin it. Obama, there's a nuke underneath your house. Talk about bad timing. Joseph, how would you know? Um, because I hear beeping. Joe, did you take your peels today? Obama, you gotta listen to me. We only have one minute to defuse it. Hmm, all right, I'll take a look, but if there's nothing there, then I'm gonna pull another 2016. Trust me, there's definitely something there. Oh my gosh, there really is a nuke down here. Are you able to defuse it? Can I defuse it? Joe, I'm a master at this, and it's diffused. Wow, you did it. Of course I did it. I'm the best in the business. Uh, why is it beeping? Oh, shoot. Joe, do you have a piece of dirt? I don't. Let me get one. Hurry. We only have 10 seconds. I'm grabbing the dirt. Okay, I got it. Obama here. Okay. Did it work? Joe, I'm going to be honest. I planted that nuke under my house. What, what are you talking about? I wanted to see if you still cared about me, even after we had that big fight. Wait, you're my timelines, Obama? Yes, Joe. I am the original Obama. But how? Well... Denton told me to create this whole situation just to see if you still valued our friendship after the fight we had. Obama, 
I still value the friendship, but you threatened our town, our people, and most importantly, our friendship. I couldn't let one of my friends do that. Joe, I don't want to start any wars anymore, and I don't want to threaten anyone or anything. I threw away all my plans and disposed of all my weapons. You know, I remember when Trump wanted us to sign a contract to become friends and to stop the fights, but we didn't sign it. We just kept on and on with our shenanigans. But then we had the big war, which I still regret to this day. The point is, everyone can be forgiven for what they have done, whether it be boom-booming a friend's house or taking their tools. Friends can always be forgiven for those things. Joe, will you forgive me for what I have done? By the way, don't feel pressured to answer right now. You can answer at any time you wish to answer. Obama, I forgive you. You're my best friend, and that will never change, ever. Joe, jump for me in three, two, one jump. Ah, I see you have brought an old friend back. Denton, I thought I would never see you again. On the contrary, my crusty old friend. I never leave without saying my goodbyes. Thank you, Denton. No, thank you. You've given me something to do for these past couple of days, and it made me realize that fixing friendships are awesome feeling. You should be proud of yourself. Eh, nah. Alrighty, I'm gonna go back to my mom's basement. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, friend. Man, that was a crazy day. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to finally fix our friendship. Wait, where am I? I'm just kidding. Huh, your jokes are still mediocre as always. Ah! Ouchie! Dude, please tell me I'm hallucinating. Trump, you buffoon. You sent us through the stupid time machine. I didn't think it was going to send us through when we went in. I thought you had to press a button. Great, just great. Ah, man. Sitting here watching the world is great. I have no cares, no worries, nothing. This really is the life. Ronnie, I want to speak to you. Come to my office. Wow, I've never been asked by him to do anything. Ah, I'm glad you were able to make it. Anyways, let's address some things. I'm sure you remember when Joe used that time machine and ruined everything, right? Dude, I never forget such a big event like that. Everyone was scrambling just to get everything back on track. Why do you ask? Well, it's unfortunately causing some problems for us. When I gave Joe his life back, I have been getting some letters from an old friend. Wait, are you talking about- Don't say his name. That name shall never be said in this great place. Anyways, we're gonna go back a bit. You won a life to Joe by the trap he left in Obama's White House. Now since the whole timeline was messed up, your death was altered. So you're saying that I could have lived a lot longer if Joe didn't mess with the timeline? Yes, Ronald, yes. Now let me get to the point. You have to be sent back down there. Hold the truck up. Why are you sending me back down? Ronald, chill out. You'll find out everything you need to do on this little notepad here. Give that to me. How long will this take? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I will wish you good luck. To wait, what? Denton? No! Ah. Whoa, where am I? Dog, this is some weird-looking room that I need to get out of. Holy shoot, that was scary. Okay, I need to focus and read this book Denton gave me. Dear Ronnie, you're probably wondering what you have to do. Well, it's a bit complicated, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. You have to send Joe to the real-life timeline where everything is skinny. I know it sounds crazy, but keep reading. A person on the server who goes by the name Mike Pence has a time machine. You can use that to send him to the skinny timeline, but there's a catch. We need to do this nicely and perfectly. So what you'll do is make yourself known to all of the people on the server and slowly become their friends. This process could take a while, but it's worth it to make it perfect. I trust that you will obey my orders and everything will go as planned. Good luck. Denton. Well, this is going to suck. All right, I got to find the town. I'm going to take a guess and say this way. I could be entirely wrong, but I won't think like that. I'll be very optimistic about this. Ah, man, this new me feels so strange. That's really the only way I can describe it. Trump. It's great to finally have you back, Joey. I really thought my old life was over, but now I finally have it back. Thank you, Denton. Uh... Who's Denton? Oh, don't worry about it. Anyways, I think it's time we get this town back in shape. Dude, nothing changed when you left. Oh, really? And that's actually dope. Except for the fact that you destroyed the whole timeline before. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about that. Well, luckily, all of that is over now. Okay, if my estimate is correct, the town should hypothetically be over here. Whoa, what is this? It looks like some sort of build was blown up by someone. You know, I'd expect myself to know since I've been watching the world for a while, but nope, I really have no idea what happened here. Anyways, let's go this way. Oh boy, it's my house. I can't believe it's still here. Huh, what is this? Dear Joe, just wanted to let you know that I'm moving. Ever since you destroyed all the timelines, I just felt like it wasn't right for me to have such power near a frail old man. Anyways... If you're reading this at 2.02 p.m., then I should be at my old home for a few more minutes. So if you want to say goodbye, then this is your last chance. Sincerely, Mike. Oh, no, this is all my fault that Mike is moving. I have to stop him. Mike, please tell me you're still here. Joe, you better be here to just say goodbye. Mike, you know I can't do that. 
Look, I'm sorry for using your time machine and for destroying the timeline. I only wanted to save my friends. Uh, Joseph, I uh, appreciate the apology, but I just feel like this is best for the town. And I, the only reason all of these timelines are breaking is because of me and my machines. I know that you used them, but I was the one who built them in the first place. Mike, don't blame yourself. My stupid brain is the only one in this town that can make a stupid decision like that. So it was more of my fault than yours. I'm sorry, Joe, but I must go. It's for the better of this town. Hey, what is going on down here? Mike, why did you empty your lab? Well, I'm moving away. These machines I built are too dangerous, and I feel as if I need to get them away from everyone. Mike, you can't leave. We finally got our friendship straightened out. I know, and it will stay like that. I just need to leave to stop any more bad things from happening. But Mike! I'm sorry, Trump and Joe. Uh, goodbye, old friends. Mike, wait. Ronald! Ronald, I thought everyone said you went alive. I was, but I have come back to get my life back in order. What, all of this isn't making sense? Now look, you can't leave. And I came back just to see you. You came back from heaven to see me? Yes, Mike. This is crazy. Like, you really just came back to see me? I came back to see the whole town, but my focus is on you now because you want to leave. Since you came back, maybe I will stay. Do you really mean it? Well, if I stayed, I would have to dispose of these machines I have built. It's your call, Mike. The machines or your friends? Mm, all right, fine. I'll stay with you guys. Thank you, Mike. This means a whole lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to the town as well. Well, you want to help me move back in? Sure thing, pal. And I think that's everything. Thanks for the help, man. It's the least I can do. Anyways, I'm going to find a place to put my house. Hey, I can help you find a spot if you'd like. Oh, that would be very nice of you. All right, just follow me. So what do you think? I think this is great. You are a literal Chad for finding this amazing piece of land, friend. Thanks, Ronnie. All right, I'll leave you to build your house. See ya. All righty, I'll talk to you later. Okay, so it seems they're acting like I'm a close friend. Now I just have to get that time machine. Wait, he's going to dispose of it. I have to find a way to somehow stop him. Think Reagan. Oh, I got it. I have the choice to use fire or lava to dispose of these machines. Hmm. I think I'll go with the fire. Mike, you've got to help Trump. He's in danger. What? What are you talking about? Where is he? He's in Joe's house. I'm coming to help Trump. Thank you, Mikey. Now, it's time for me to send Joe to the skinny timeline. Joe, where are you? I need you. Mm, oh, Joe, free ice creams. They... Ice cream? Where's the ice cream? It's right here. Just step on this and it will dispense a chocolate chip cone. Oh, boy, this is going to be some great ice cream. Ah. Uh... Mission complete. Now, I need to find Mike to tell him something. Ah, uh, ouchie. Whoa, what is this place? Whoa, this is a dope house. I'll bid $69 million. You owe me, Joe. Uh, what do I owe you now? You owe me $69 million for the house you wanted to buy. I don't have $69 million, though. Also, where am I? Jokey, did you forget your meds again? We're at the house I just bought for you. But I thought I was just talking to Reagan. Ronald Reagan, Joe. Ronald unalived in 2004. I think you definitely forgot your meds. Here, let's go inside and Obama will feed you your meds. Oh, okay. Now there are two outcomes for this. Outcome one, he'll be forgiving for what I've done. And outcome two, he will be absolutely mad at me. Ronnie, Trump wasn't in there. In fact, I found him, and he told me that he was completely fine. Well, I thought I heard him screaming in Joe's house. Ronald, don't lie to me. I would have heard Trump if he screamed. Can you hear him screaming right now? Honestly, I can only hear my generator generating power from my house. But Trump is screaming. Nope, Trump is not screaming. Oh, whatever. I'll go see what he's screaming about since you want to pretend... Trump, what's wrong? My wall. Someone removed a piece of it up. Was that really all you were screaming about? Look, my wall is so important to me. Oh, that's actually so important. Is there any way I can help? Build a little bit higher. This wall will be back in shape in no time. We could have just replaced the one block of... Yeah, but this wall really means a lot to me. Keep going, Ronnie. Dude, this wall is so tall. That looks good, Ronald. You can come down now. How do I do that? Just jump in this little pool of water. Ah. Uh... Wow, you did it. You're a great friend. It's not a problem. Anyways, I better get going. See you, Trump. Hey, don't leave just yet. I want to ask you something. Would you want to take a walk tomorrow? You want to take a walk with me? Well, yeah. I feel like it's been a while since we've really done something together, especially since you unalived a long time ago. Look, let's not reminisce. I think taking a walk would be nice. I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Yes, sir. All right, what do you guys want from here? Can I have a happy meal with fries? Can I get a happy meal with fries? Okay, what else? Oh, and can I have a Coke with that? Also, add a small Coke to that. Not small, I want a large one. Make that a large instead. 
Oh, man, I can't wait to eat this yummy, happy meal. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Hey, stop eating my fries, huh? Look, I still feel a bit famished. You had two quarter pounders in the car. Trust me, Sleepy Joe. You are not still hungry, Trump. You never act like this. What are you talking about? This is how I always act. You're normally a lot nicer. Yeah, a lot nicer than Jill. Uh, see, that isn't something you would say at all. Jokey, I think Obama slipped something in your drink again. His name is Obama, not Obama. All right, whatever, Mr. Smarty Pants. Wow, it's already midnight. That's crazy. Well, I guess I should get some sleep before I go back up tomorrow. Ah, uh, good night, Mr. Wigglesworth. Man, I love to. Ah! What's wrong, Joseph? My blankie. It's gone. Ah! What is that noise? Oh, it's just that box thing with ancient writing on it. Joey, get up. We're heading to Dunkin' Donuts. Ooh, do they have ice cream there? No, but they do have donuts. Oh, I guess that's fine. Ugh, I really don't feel like getting out of bed, but this is the last day, so I will try... Ah, uh, all right, let's get ready for this. Teeth brush, check boots on, check shower. Oh, I don't think I can shower. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, I think I'm ready for this day. Ah, uh, a little bit of McTrumpies and I'm ready to go. Wait, Trump didn't say where he wanted to meet me at. Oh, there you are. Good morning, Ronald. How was your sleep? Oh, it was quite dandy. How about yours? It was good. Anyway, shall we walk? Of course. Man, this place is beautiful. I know, right? I don't think much has changed, but it still looks really good. Yeah. So how has life been for you? Oh, well, you know, it's just been a sort of bumpy here and there, but I pushed through it because I'm a boss. Well, what about Joe? I noticed he got a bit smarter than before. Oh, trust me when I say this. He has not gotten smarter, and I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible, but he may have devolved throughout the years. That's, uh... That's a bit unfortunate. And honestly, it probably explains why he used Mike's time machine. I actually beg to differ on that one because it really seemed like he was caring about his friends. He may have been caring about his friends, but he still wasn't thinking like at all. True, true. Hey, Trump. What's up, Reagan? Well, um... Ronald, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say that you've matured a bit from the looks of it. I'm glad someone finally noticed. It's been a long and tedious thing I've been trying to adapt to, and now I've almost fully adapted to it. That's great. I'm glad to hear... Man, that breakfast was great. I wonder what the rest of this day holds. Boys, I think it's about time we move out of this house. Wait, what? I just think we can't get much done here, and that's why we're moving. Oh, I'll get it. Hi, I'm looking for a Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and Barack Obama. Hold up, is that you, Josh? You've seen too much. Team, apprehend the suspects. Joe, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm following you, Obama. Put your hands where I can see them. I want my freaking lawyer right now. Josh, where are the other suspects? I don't know. Search the rest of the house. Oh, what is this? Obama, where are we going? Well, you can take a look for yourself. Uh, it looks like an old house. It's not just an old house, it's our old house. I don't remember this a single bit. Come inside. Welcome to the old casa. Wow, this place looks nice. Uh, uh, wait, what is that? Boys, please help me. Wait, is that you, Reagan? It is me. Now, please help me out. Uh, help you out of the game. No, help me out of these nuts. Yes, help me out of this game. Uh, how did you get in there in the first place? Well, me and Trump were playing on the Minecraft server, and some mysterious dude showed up behind me. I don't remember anything after that besides being here. What Minecraft server are you talking about? Joe, you should know which one I'm talking about. It's the war server. Uh, wait. I remember now. Why am I in real life? I knew it. Me and Trump knew there was something off about you. You knew about him not being your timelines, Joe. Open the freaking door. We followed you with this tracking device you left at your house. Oh, shoot. You guys need to go. Not without you. I'm taking you with me. Okay, let's go. EBI, come out with your hands up. Wait. Where are they? Yeah, baby, we're out of there. Yes, sir. Ronald, thanks for letting us know about this car. Mr. EBI agent, I'd like to know why you guys are taking me in. Well, the timeline is breaking, and unfortunately, you guys were involved in the incident. But we've never owned a time machine, nor have we ever touched one. Look, I'll cut to the chase. Joe definitely used a time machine. There's no denying it. And now, we need to find him so we can send him back. So you're telling me that the Joe, who is our friend, is not actually our Joe? I know it's a hard thing to accept, but we still... Still kind of want to run some tests to solidify the EBI's statements of him not being from this timeline. Honestly, I will help you guys find him, but I want your trust. Oh, you want our trust? Just follow me. Josh, there's someone I want you to meet. Hold up, it's Trump. Look, I want to help you guys find Joe. This guy told me everything about the situation. Arnold, did you tell him about Bill? I wanted to leave that for you to show. Trump, watch this video. Josh, before I go, I want you to make a promise to me. Yes, Bill? Find the man that is doing this and send him back for good. I will find the man who is causing all this. Arnold, let's go. Yes, sir. I, I don't know what to say. Trump, with your help, we can stop the guy who is behind all of this. All right, I think... Ah! Wait, there's Joey. You'll never take me alive. Joe, wait. I'm making a deal. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, before I go into detail, 
Josh, I'm putting my trust in your operation. Trump, what are you doing? He wanted to capture us. I wanted to capture Joe, not you guys. The only reason all of this is happening is because of Joe using the time machine. An unaliving Bill. I don't know what you're talking about. Joe, we can run some tests to see if you're really this timeline's Joe. I don't trust this one bit. Team 5, don't let him escape. Obama, please don't run away. And I won't, because the theory we had was true. The one about McDonald's meat? No, I'm talking about the one about Joe acting different. No way! I didn't think that was true! Yeah. Uh, did you tell Josh about it? Tell me about what? Josh, I caught him. I'm gonna put him in the temporary cell for now. Very good. All right, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say that Joe has been acting a bit odd, so I don't know if that helps with your research. Yeah, that sort of helps. Oh, I have to get the tester ready. Trump, why didn't you tell him? Because I love this Joe. He's half nice and half dumb. I agree, but if he stays here, the universe might be destroyed. I don't care. He ain't leaving. Trump, stop right now. Oh, jeez, you're a heavy son of a gun. Wait, what is ah! that? Ah! Ah! Ouchie! Dude, please tell me I'm hallucinating. Trump, you buffoon. You sent us through the stupid time machine. I didn't think it was going to send us through when we went in. I thought you had to press a button. Great, just great. Welp, how does this even work? I think you just move your legs. Whoa, it's all blocky. Oh my gosh, what happened to everything? Dude, is this really the place you lived in? This used to be the place I lived in, but it's all different. What happened? Has it always been like this? It's never been like this. Actually, it was like this when I broke the timeline before. Wait, are you saying that you... Uh, every time I'm involved with everything, something always goes wrong. Joe, please don't run away. Or what? Am I going to ruin more things? You're not going to ruin anything. Donald, just let him go. We have to get back to our timeline. Arnold, I am not leaving Joe here. Trump, you're going to destroy the universe. Just let it go. I never should have used that time machine. I wish everything was back to how it originally was. Whoa, am I asleep again? Joseph. Who's there? It is me, the editor. Joseph, where are you? I've spent two hours looking for you. Ugh, I should have just stayed with Arnold. Trump, there you are. Why in the world did you run off like that? Because Joey is my friend and I am not going to lose him. He is not your timeline's Joe, though. He is the Joe from a Minecraft timeline. I don't care. Donald, let's go back. There's no point in searching for him. He is just gone. Uh, what the heck is this place? Joe, follow me. So you may have noticed that everything is different. Well, Joe, I gotta be honest with you. The amount of time you were gone totals up to three years. What? What? Joseph, listen to me. When you go to another timeline, the way time works will change. So I was gone for three entire years? But how? It only felt like a month since I was in there. Like I said, time will be different for every timeline. Hey, where are you going? Joe, what are you doing? If I can't stop traveling in time, then I'm gonna stop it all. Uh, Joe, what is that in your hand? Oh, whoa. That potion Trump gave me in the skinny timeline didn't exactly take me to the past. <laughs> Ah, uh, Mr. Joe Biden, the original Joe Biden from timeline number one. Oh, what the heck? Where am I? Hello, Joseph. I see you just woke up from a dream. That wasn't a dream. I was running away from Donald, and then I passed out or something and saw Denton, and now I'm here in this weird-looking dungeon thing. Oh, you saw Denton. Interesting. Where was he when you saw him? Why do you want to know that? Are you planning to get ice cream with him? And oh, of course. We've been planning this ice cream trip for a while now. I don't trust you. Tell me who you are. Wait, why do you have red eyes? Joe, it's just me, Trump. I ate some red glowberries before I got here. No, it's not. Uh, someone help me. There's a crazy man holding me hostage. Just an FYI. We are way underground, so no one can hear anything you just said. And why did I just hear a cow moo through the wall? Oh, uh, knockout blaster. Wait, what? Ah. Uh... Hey, Obama, why does it look like the time machine was used? Wait a second, did Trump just use it? I don't know. I was just running to stop Trump from keeping Joe here. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me. Arnold Joe, Trump, great. This is awesome. Now we have to get these numbskulls out of there before they set off a bomb or something. And how do you suppose we do that? Well, I should be able to rip a small hole in time for them to jump through. Just gotta reprogram this teleporter. You'll rip a hole in time for them to jump through, but how are they even gonna know about it? I, I actually didn't think that far ahead. Oh, hold up. We can use this to let them know about it. You're gonna use an infinite loop of Minecraft parkour to let them know about the ripped hole in time? Exactly. Reagan, can you get out of third person mode? Uh, who are you talking to? Ronald, just switch your POVs real quick. Obama, this is no time to talk to your computer. We need to get them back before it's too late. Just give me a second. Ronnie, please show yourself. That's it. You need to get the heck out of here if you're going to keep talking to a computer. I'm trying to help my friends out, you robot. Man, these guys don't know when to be quiet. Well, at least I didn't... Ah. Uh... Hey, what the heck? Ah! 
Ah! And that takes care of that problem. Ah! Josh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Well, where are we, and why is my whole body square? It appears we're in some sort of Minecraft world. Uh, if everything is square, does that mean my- Barack, we need to search for that ripped hole. You'll go that way, and I'll go this way. That's not very smart, Josh. There could be something in these lands that could harm us. Look, I get that you need an actual man to keep you safe, but right now we need to cover as much ground as we can. We have a set amount of time to find it before it closes off and traps us in here for good. Alright, fine. Then how will we be able to communicate with each other? Well, lucky for you, I have these. They're walkie-talkies. Whoa, were these from the skinny timeline? Yep, I created them just for this type of situation. Okay, how do we use them? I don't think we have any fingers. I don't know how. We'll have to figure it out while we're searching. Alright, I guess I'll see you later. I guess so too. Oh, and the portal looks like an obsidian rectangle with purple stuff in the middle of it. I got you, dog. Okay, I'll see you. So, are we just gonna camp out here tonight? What else can we do? There's no possible way to get back to our timeline. Ugh, I guess you have a good point. Wait, what if we built our own time machine? Trump, we have never been in this game before. How do you expect me to find a way to build a time machine with just blocks? Just let it go. It's practically a lost cause. Arnold, I am not going to give up. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the mines. We're not staying in here for the rest of our lives. Please don't unalive. We don't know if we can respawn or not. Trust me, I am a literal genius when it comes to fending off mobs. Dude, this is as easy as it seems. You just mine, mine, and mine. Until you start hearing the hissing of a creeper. Ugh, that sound always gives me the shivers. I hope I don't run into any of those. Oh man, Trump has been gone for a bit. I should go look for him. Oh hi there, little pig. How might you be doing on this terrible day? Man, you humans haven't spoken correctly since the great young and takeover. Whoa, I didn't know pigs could speak. You even understand me? Wow, you humans must finally be getting back into your old ways. Wait, you said something about a takeover. What did you mean by that? Well, a long time ago, aka three years ago, a person by the name Content Creator made a name for himself on social media. All his accounts totaled up to 272,233 followers. Insane, right? Anyways, he thought it was a smart idea to use that following to introduce them to his new way of speaking. And no, I'm not talking about another language. I'm talking about slang. He tricked everybody into using these slang words he came up with. And let me tell you, these words made absolutely no sense. He had them saying words like lit, bangers, poggers, etc. I thought people used those slang words already. Trump? What the heck? Why were you gone for two hours? Shush! I want to hear what else the pig has to say. Oh, that was actually all I was going to say. Do you want me to, like, sum it up or something? Yes. Youngin came out of his mom's basement and told his fan base to start using his slang. Uh, thanks for summarizing that. Hey, while you've been passing by, have you seen any people around? Maybe a guy who looks similar to Red Tie over here? I actually have. Unfortunately, he was one of the victims of this Youngin takeover. Oh, was he by chance good looking? Let's just say this. He looks exactly like you. No way! He's got the amazing hair and all! Never mind that, Donald. I just had a brilliant idea. Man, so this is what it was like for Joe to live here? That's crazy to think because... Wait, I gotta go. Uh, oh wait, this is Minecraft. Never mind. Whoa, what was that? Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, bro, uh, dog, uh, have for real seen my dork bluck on God? Trump, is that really you? Obama, I can't even. You toad showed up again. Uh, is everything good, Donald? You're talking a bit funny. Dog, that's like not rad to say. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, I've just never heard you ever talk like this. I don't know, bro. I always spoke like this. For how long? I can't even with this guy. Look, just get off my back about it, my homie. I was just curious, all right? I'm sorry for bothering you. Hey, hold up. Follow me. Literally a few years ago, this radical dude on the interwebs was like telling us to say these dope words and now we can't stop because he literally said to. So wait, why are you guys listening to a random dude? Are they trying to- Did you just assume his pronouns? No, I'm just trying to figure out why you guys are listening to this dude. Barack, come in here and look. Okay, this is starting to become very suspicious. Are you about to trap me or something? Yes, that's exactly what I was gonna do. Boss, I caught one of them. Ah, huh, where could this portal be? Wait just a darn second. My computerized compass. I completely forgot about this. Let me just turn everything on, and it should point to where the portal is. 50 hours? I don't have time to wait that long. Ugh, I guess the only other thing I can do is... Wait, what is that? Oh, it's my walkie. Hello? Uh, hello? Is anyone there? I've been clicking this walkie for God knows how long. Joe? Is that you? Josh? Oh my goodness, I haven't seen you since the house bidding. The house bidding? Hold up. You're not Joe from this timeline? I don't know what a timeline is, but I just want to go home. I don't like being in Minecraft. Joe, listen to me. You're able to talk to me, which means that you're close. What does the surrounding area look like? 
Uh, what's the surrounding area? I kind of forgot some terms since I've been here for so long. The area around you, like, tell me what you can see out of your two eyes. Oh, well, I can see some grass and trees. Oh, and a sky. Okay, what type of trees are they? Uh, they're brown and white. Okay, so they're birch and dark oak. You must be in a dark oak forest. What else is there? Uh, there's a bit of water. Is it a little pond or what? This is definitely not a little pond. In fact, it's a really big pond. Joe, are you on an island? Because that's what it sounds like to me. That's what it's called. Yes, I'm on a little island. Oh, great. Now, I just have to look for an island. Ah! My walkie-talkie is beeping. Joe, someone is calling. You must be closer to whoever that is than me. Oh, I'm getting called, too. Hello? Josh, I'm in big trouble right now. What's going on? Well, I got trapped in some sort of hole by... Barack, you cut off! Say that again! Barack! Obama, what is happening to you? Josh, help me! Barack! Joe, I need to find you, and fast. Josh, was that Barack? Never mind that. Give me more info about your location. So, could you give me a recap on what we talked about earlier? Yeah, so basically, you asked if there were any smart guys around here, and I told you that this land did not have any of those anymore. But then I remembered that there was one survivor left from the takeover. And then Trump hopped on my back and nearly broke it because of the amount he weighs. Anyways, you asked where the guy was, and I told you, and now we're heading to him right now. Thanks for the recap. Uh, what should we call you? Oh, you can just call me Shaj. Alrighty, Shaj. Hey, Shaj, sorry for jumping on your back earlier. I just wanted to be reminded of the good old days of riding. It's alright, wait. What do you mean by- Oh, Soj, is this the place? Oh, yes. This is it. Welp, I wish you guys good luck on your adventures because I got a tuna casserole in the oven that needs to be taken out. Thanks for all the help, Soj. We really appreciate it. It's not a problem. Alright, see you later. See ya! So, uh, do you want to knock? What's wrong? Are you scared the boogeyman is gonna jump out at you? No, I just have a long history of having people knock on doors for me and it sort of didn't go so well. Oh, I gotcha. Let me do this then. Uh, why is it taking so long? Do you think he's not home right now? Wait, what if he unalived on his couch? Or worse, he could have turned into a ghost. Will you just... Ah... Uh... Oh, it's you hooligans again. Are you here to dump sand all over my house like you did to the other one? Wait, the smart guy he was talking about was actually just my vice president, Mike Pence. Whoa, I haven't heard you speak a coherent sentence since the olden days. Well, um, Mike, to be honest, we aren't from this timeline. We're from the skinny timeline, which I don't know if you're aware of. What the hell? You guys are from that timeline. Yes, and look, I'll cut to the chase. We need to find our other guys and somehow get the hell out of here before something bad happens. I think I may still have a way for you guys to get back, but you'll need to help me with something. We'll do anything we can to get back to our original timeline. Just let us know what you need. Follow me for now. I need you guys to take a look at what we're about to repair. So this is what we're fixing up. Oh wow, is this some sort of machine that will teleport us back? Yes and no. This machine was initially programmed to teleport a person or a group of people to different times and timelines until someone stole this machine and broke the whole system. Unfortunately, I'm not able to fix it because of the lack of minerals and power in the world. We lost a lot when that whole takeover thing happened. I don't know if this is useful to you, but I have these ores and stuff. Wait, where did you find this? I thought all the redstone and iron were mined by those teenagers. Well, I dug down and found a chest full of those two things. Wow. So they're hiding their value valuables underground? Interesting. Anyway, this is exactly what I need to fix the machine. However, this isn't an easy task for me to take on, so it'll take around a day to fix it. That's great! We'll be able to find them in that time period. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Finding people in this horrible place is one of the most tedious things you can do. Also, it's very unsafe since a lot of people carry bows now. This is insane. Arnold, I don't know if it's safe for us to do this. Donnie, you don't have a choice. We have to find these guys or else the timelines will be forever broken. Trump, listen to Arnold. He knows what he's talking about. Hey, how did you know my name? Oh, I know everyone's names. I've been to so many timelines and I can see and hear everything. That's a bit creepy, but whatever. All right, we're gonna... Wait, my radio is picking up some radio waves. Someone must be using walkie-talkies or something. Joe, I cannot see you. You are not on a flipping island. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh, that's Joe and Josh. Let me speak to them. Here, just speak into that. Okay, Joe, Josh, are you there? Can you hear me? Trump? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, I can also hear you as well. Trump, we have a serious issue. Obama is in trouble. Huh? What are you talking about? He and I were talking on the walkies, and then he yelled, Josh, help me! Holy shoot, did he say where he was? No, but I do have an idea of which way he went. Okay, we need to prioritize that then. Trump, let me give them the plan of action. 
Thank you. Josh, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, so we talked to someone about fixing up an old time machine of his, but he said that it's gonna take a day. We were going to use that day to find you guys, but now we have bigger issues. So, the new plan will go like this. We'll unite with you guys, then... We'll scout around to look for Obama. After we find him, we're gonna get the heck out of here with the time machine. Boom! Don't forget about Joe. We have to look for him, too. But wasn't Joe just talking like a few seconds ago? Yeah, about that. He's actually our Joe. Wait, but how's that even possible? He would have had to use a time machine to get here. That doesn't matter right now. You guys just need to head south, and you'll see us. Whoa, south? You're asking for a lot of trouble, pal. What are you talking about? Well, haven't you heard? That's where some of the zombie apocalypse happened. Zombie apocalypse? Well, it's not nighttime, so it's fine. It's fine for now. I'd suggest both of you get out of there before it does turn nighttime. All right, all right. You just gotta give me time to find Joey. Oh, that's just great. You don't know where he is. Look, I'm trying my best right now. Uh, I'm trying my best too. Okay, make it fast because you two don't have much time. Roger that. I'll see you guys soon. All right, see you, Josh. Oh, my good old pal, Obama. After all this time, I was finally able to catch you. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, nothing. You were just in my dungeon with your other friends. What other friends? That doesn't matter right now. What really matters is you telling me where your other friends went. Why in the world do you want to know? Well, let's just say that they need to come check out my dungeon, Mr. Obama. Your dungeon doesn't seem so cool. Hey, you look like Trump with red eyes. Are you evil or something? And Look, you can push this off as much as you want, but I'm not going to stop asking. Where are your friends located? I I'll never tell you, you crazy person. Oh, so we're going to play this game, huh? Well, let's just tighten these chains a little bit. Oh, what is happening? Ah, ha ha ha. That feels so great. Oh, don't worry. You're about to feel even better. What do you mean by that? Ah! Tell me where your friends are. I'm not telling you anything. Did you say do it again? Okay. Wait, no. Ah! Stop! I'll only stop if you just tell me where they are. Look, I don't know where all of them are. All I know is that Josh went north. That's all I know, I swear. I don't care about him. I want to know where the others are. Rise and shine, creepy. It's time for food again. Oh, man. I dreamt that I was out of this place, but then I woke up because of you. I don't care. Just eat this food so I can get out of this stupid cell. Dude, I don't like fish. I want milky and bread. Uh, well, too bad. Fish is the only thing on the menu, pal. Now eat it. All right. All right. Can I at least have a fork? Uh, just eat it with your hands. My hands aren't clean, though. Ah. Thanks to everyone on screen for becoming a member. Also, thanks for watching.